I'm Xu Sheng. My story began a few years ago. I woke up on the continent of Duluo with no memory of how I got here. A beam of light descended from the sky at great speed, cutting through the clouds in its path. It was a local, powerful being. It looked at me and said, Say insect, have you seen a creature as strong and majestic as me? To which I replied that I had not. Strange, you are certainly beautiful for a bug, but I don't sense any strength in you. I must be mistaken. Goodbye. After that I realized that no system or magical power was manifesting. To ease my adaptation, I decided to just accept the local realities and move on without too much ambition. Once in a small village named Holy Souls Village in Fasnuo Province, I quickly adapted to the new reality. I was left without parents, but my pleasant face and ability to make friends easily helped me find a new family and friends. So, a life without magic and adventure seemed quite acceptable to me. But as it turned out, even in this world, I was destined to encounter more than just a carefree existence. My life in Holy Souls Village is quiet and measured. The morning usually begins with me waking up to the voice of Tang San, my young friend who, despite his young age, has already shown himself to be particularly talented and respected among his peers. Although Tang San is often busy with household errands and exercises, he sometimes takes the time to wake me up, which has become a ritual of sorts for us. On the other hand, my relationship with Jack, the village headman, is somewhat more complicated. Jack is a strict but fair leader who always looks out for the good of the village. He often visits me to remind me of my duties or upcoming events, which sometimes seems intrusive, but I know it's his way of maintaining order and discipline. One morning Jack came to me with an important message that heralded a significant change in my quiet life. He announced that it was the day of the soul awakening, a ceremony in which villagers can discover their spiritual abilities and become spiritual masters. For many, this event is an opportunity to change their destiny and reach new heights. For me, however, the announcement was a real challenge. Contrary to the fact that I did not aspire to magical or spiritual practices, the feeling that everyone should undergo this ceremony made me think. On the one hand, the awakening could open up new possibilities for me and give me a chance to better understand this world and my place in it. On the other hand, I was afraid that I would not be able to live up to expectations and would remain an unremarkable villager. This internal conflict was compounded by the fact that Tang San, full of enthusiasm and determination, saw the awakening as a kind of test for which he had been preparing all his life. His attitude reminded me of my own doubts and how important it was to make a decision that could change my entire future. Thus, the preparation for the soul awakening ceremony was not only a physical, but also a moral test for me, where I had to not only learn more about the magical abilities of this world, but also to understand who I was in this new world and what my options were. The preparations for the soul awakening ceremony at Holy Souls Village took place under the watchful eyes of all its inhabitants. During this time, I tried to concentrate on gathering information about what awaited me. Since I had no magical abilities and was unfamiliar with the spiritual practices of this world, my main objective was to at least understand the basics of the process. Tang San, aware of my doubts and fears, tried to support me by talking about the different types of souls and their influence on the future spiritual master. His enthusiasm and confidence were contagious, but also served to remind me of my own limitations. Jack, the village chief, also took an active part in my training. He visited me numerous times to make sure I was prepared for the upcoming event. Everyone should go through this, he insisted. This is a chance for you to find a new purpose in this world. His words were full of conviction, but I could feel beneath them the pressure of responsibility I was about to accept. In the days leading up to the ceremony, I spent a lot of time thinking about my place in the world. On the one hand, the possibility of gaining a soul and abilities seemed tempting, but on the other hand, the fear of being nothing and not living up to the expectations of others tormented me. My musings were often interrupted by encounters with other villagers who either tried to support me or unwittingly reminded me of my possible disappointment. Also, I had to face questions about whether I really wanted to go through with the ceremony. Maybe I should just go on with my life as I've lived it so far, I thought. But deep inside, 
I knew that refusing to participate in the ceremony would leave me with a sense of unfulfilled duty to myself. The evening before the ceremony, I had a long conversation with Tang San by the fire. He shared with me his hopes and dreams for the future, which were so bright and so different from my own anxieties. This conversation helped me to partially let go of my fear and resolve to take on the challenge in front of me. I realized that regardless of the outcome, this ceremony would be an important step in my life on this new continent. The morning of the Soul Awakening ceremony came. All the villagers gathered around the large stone in the center of the village where the event was to take place. Excitement overwhelmed me when Su Yun Tao, the high spiritual master from Martial Soul Palace, began the process. He touched each participant, activating their inner powers. My heart raced as I waited for my turn, partly out of fear, partly out of curiosity. When my awakening occurred, the sensation was indescribable. Energy surged through me, and I felt something that had seemed impossible before, a connection to the spirit that was now a part of me. To my surprise, my spirit turned out to be unusual and rare, which caused wonder and admiration among those present. This moment radically changed my self-image and inner identity. I felt that I now truly belonged to this world and had a place in it. After the soul awakening, my attitude toward myself and the world around me changed. I began to feel more confident and purposeful. I began to realize that my newfound abilities could benefit not only me, but the whole village. At that moment, I finally decided that I would use my powers to protect and help others, trying to contribute to the well-being of our community. Guys, if you want subtitles, you can include them on the video. Subsequently, Tang San and the others followed Su Yun Tao into a very luxuriously decorated house. Wow. All these things look so expensive, are worthy of being the palace of martial souls. I've never seen such exquisite things. Zhu Sheng also looked around, although these things were exquisite, but they were already covered in gray dust. It seems that they have not been used for a long time. Tang San looked at Zhu Sheng curiously, inquiring Brother Sheng. Why don't you look nervous at all, although he has two lives, but also the first time to contact the martial soul awakening this kind of thing? The face did not show, but the bottom of the heart is still a little excited, but only Zhu Sheng is not the same. His current age is only a child by reason, but this mind is even more mature than their own. Zhu Sheng shrugged his shoulders. Lightly said what nervous, the come or will come, if not soul power, this is not there you well tang three rolled his eyes. To this answer, do not know what to say er. At this time, Su Yun Tao had already walked to a step. He clapped his hands and said softly, Okay. Children, all come to stand in a row in front of me. Prepare for the martial soul awakening, after everyone heard this. They all stood in a row in front of Su Yun Tao in an orderly manner, straightening their backs. Su Yun Tao then took out six black stones from his sleeves and threw them gently towards the sky. The six stones emitted a yellowish light after they were thrown into the sky and quickly began to rotate in a circle, Su Yun Tao. After the six stones were thrown into the sky, they emitted a yellowish light and quickly began to rotate in a circle. Su Yun Tao thought for a moment and once again reminded with concern. Children, no matter what you see in a while, don't be afraid, the leftmost child. You first the boy standing on the leftmost heard that he was first. Quickly walked forward, excitedly said yes. Su Yunt, how coldly shouted Lone Wolf, possessed, only to see a white and a yellow two soul rings rose from his feet. Then, in the back of the Su Yun Tao, immediately appeared with a huge body of the wolf. Dense hair covered the lower half of the body. It stared why, dyed open blood, colored fangs, exuding bloodthirsty breath, condescendingly looking down at the children in front of the in the forefront of the boy, frightened backward a few steps, ah, 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 what is this, is this, this a martial spirit? It's awesome, heavens, could it be that I'm about to have a powerful martial soul like this? Tang San looked at one person and one soul, instantly realized the relationship between the two, secretly pondered is this the said martial soul? It seems like Su Yunt, how, should be able to obtain some of that martial soul's abilities. Zhu Sheng shook his head as he held his arms. This lone wolf is only a low, 
grade beast martial soul, amongst the many beast martial souls, right, moreover, with Zio Tauzi's two levels of soul power, he would only be a great soul master in his lifetime, Su Yunt, Ao looked at the nearest boy, who was pale with fear and comforted him with a reassuring don't be afraid, son, this is my martial soul. The lone wolf, and it won't harm you, the former nodded and stood back up into the six rapidly rotating stones. He slowly closed his eyes, and then a scythe slowly floated out of his hand. Su Yunt, outside a scythe, it's barely an attack. Now let's measure whether you have soul power or not. He handed over a crystal ball and said, Now put your right hand on this crystal ball. The boy placed his right hand on the crystal ball, as he was told to do. However, the crystal ball did not have a trace of light. Su Yun Tao shook his head and said, There is no soul power. I'm sorry, you can't become a soul master. First, go back. The boy looked at his own palm and froze. Somewhat stunned, his eyes gradually reddened and sadly retreated. Su Yun Tao next, Zhu Lai, a clean, cut girl, walked forward, then closed her eyes. A hoe gradually appeared, followed by stretching out her right hand and placing it on the crystal ball. There was still no light. I'm sorry, you can't become a soul master. Tao next, Lai Guang, martial soul Ho. No soul power, next, Zhang Ga, martial soul brick. Interesting, but no soul power. Finally, Su Yun Tao was out of breath next. Tang San, please walk forward to awaken your martial soul. Tang San nodded towards Zhu Sheng and walked towards the middle of the six stones, then closed his eyes and began to feel it. The next moment, a blue silver grass with vitality appeared from his hand. Tang San then opened his eyes, and when he saw a small grass in his right hand, he somewhat wanted to curse his mother. Depressed really, blue, silver grass, really, by Sheng brother cursed to, I didn't think it was just a joke. But now it has really come true. This is the standard waste martial soul that everyone knows. Tang San's heart couldn't help but feel a little lost. No, the next moment, he sensed something was wrong. His left hand seemed like something was about to come out. He very covertly touched the shape and realized it was a hammer, not knowing why. He was very vigilant and took his hammer back into his hand. Zhu Sheng, who observed this detail, raised his eyebrows and muttered there's no change from the original. It seems that it's the blue silver grass and the Hayashin hammer. I thought his arrival would make Tang San appear some changes. It seems to be his own overthinking. Already psychologically prepared, Su Yuntao is also too lazy to waste expression. Waved his hand and directly said blue silver grass. The standard waste of martial souls. The next one. Tang San voiced out to stop. Wait, Master Scientao, you haven't given me a soul power test yet. Su Yunt, Ao shook his head, your martial soul is blue silver grass. In all these years, I've never heard of one that can have soul power. Next, Tang San bit his lip and said again, Master Scientao. Just let me try, it won't take long. Su Yunt, Ao was a bit hesitant this. Zhu Sheng in the back coughed a few times. Cough, cough, Master Su Yunt, Ao. Let Zayo San test first. There's only the two of us anyway, Tang San sniffed, casting a grateful gaze towards Zhu Sheng. Not bad for Brother Sheng, reliable at critical times, even if there was only a sliver of hope. He wanted to try whether he had soul power or not. Su Yunt, I looked at Tang San's determined expression and handed over the crystal ball all right then. Tang San took the crystal ball and gently placed his right hand on it. The next moment... Dazzling light blossomed out from within the crystal ball. From within, the crystal ball blossomed out, directly blinding the eyes of everyone present. Su Yuntao, who was the first to regain consciousness from the dazzling light, said with a face full of astonishment, surprisingly, It's the first, innate full soul power. Are you kidding? Tang San's puzzled gaze looked at Su Yuntao. Su Yuntao noticed, Explained without haste the so-called innate full soul power is in the martial soul awakening. Innate can achieve the highest soul power, he said with regret, but it's a pity that your martial soul is a wasted martial soul. Blue silver grass. It's not easy to come across an innate full soul power. 
but it is a waste of martial arts soul. This is really some shrimp pig heart. Tang San looked at the blue silver grass in his hands and inquired in an urgent tone so. My blue silver grass martial soul can't be cultivated. Su Yun Tao paused for a moment, pondering this. Isn't impossible. It's just that a martial soul, like blue silver grass, is and of much use even if it's cultivated. He then shook his head and ordered Tang San, you return to the team first, next. Zhu Sheng Tang San's eyes flickered for a few moments, then pursed his lips and walked back to his previous position, since I'm able to cultivate. It means I have the hope to become a soul master. And thinking of this, silently looking to his left hand, that hammer, what is going on, forget it or first look at Brother Sheng. Tang San refocused his gaze on Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng slowly walked out from the team, calmly standing in the middle of the six stones. Su Yunt Hao surveyed the bland expression on Zhu Sheng's face and wondered in the bottom of his heart, is this child Zhu Sheng? Sure enough, he hadn't guessed wrong before, just based on this temperament. He felt that this child might actually have the potential to become a soul master. Zhu Sheng, relax, now silently feel your martial soul and release him. Zhu Sheng casually closed his eyes. And the next moment, he felt that something inside him was going to explode out. This breath was incomparably violent. So much so that it was going to tear his body apart. He stiffened his head and forced himself to hold back this power that was going to come out. And his face gradually turned a little pale. Su Yun Tao saw this pained expression on his face and urgently said Zhu Sheng. What's wrong with you? Don't ever deliberately suppress the martial soul that's about to gush out from your body. Tang San looked at Zhu Sheng's cheeks that were already somewhat distorted and said in a shocked voice, Brother Sheng, What's wrong with you just now when he measured his martial soul? There wasn't this kind of pain in Zhu Sheng's situation either. Zhu Sheng's pale cheeks revealed a few threads of determination in fine. Lord Su Yuntao, but please let all of them out first. Su Yun Tao frowned. Zhu Sheng, are you suppressing your martial soul or not? You don't need to worry about it. Just release it. Tang San was also filled with anxiety. But Brother Zhu Sheng, you, although he didn't know what Zhu Sheng's situation was. But as far as the immediate future was concerned, it definitely wasn't simple. Zhu Sheng glanced at Su Yun Tao, and then his eyes looked at Tang San with a grave look, and said seriously, Tang San, Please take them out, that Su Yun Tao's brain was too slow, really doesn't have a bit of color in his eyes. That violent thing suppressed within himself was released. He wasn't sure if Tang San and the others could survive. Tang San froze for a moment, looking at Zhu Sheng's almost pleading appearance, clenching his teeth brother Sheng. I understand. He then turned around and directly executed the Chuan Jade Hand. Tang San's palm slowly changed from yellow to jade that emitted a chilling feeling, quickly bringing out all the other children who still wanted to stop and watch. He wouldn't let these people affect Brother Sheng's awakening of his martial soul, even if it would temporarily expose himself to these secret techniques of the Tang sect, Zhu Sheng's pale face. Yet completely unconcerned looked at Su Yun Tao's own heart deer in the head. He angrily scolded Zhu Sheng. If you suppress your martial soul like this, you will explode and die, he felt that if he didn't do anything. This child would definitely become the first person on the continent to resist his martial soul and explode and die. Upon hearing this, Zhu Sheng rolled up a blank stare and glared over, somewhat speechless who said him suppressing my martial soul. After speaking, he was not deliberately suppressing the martial soul that was going to explode out of his body. And that berserk power began to surge out of his meridians. In Zhu Sheng's right hand, a strand of petals containing crimson blood color took the lead in emerging, as if it had been infiltrated with countless blood, and each petal was filled with extreme killing intent. And after that, the entire nine hearts bloody begonia blossomed out of the heart of his hand completely open up. The moment it bloomed open, the entire house was covered up by a shadowy blood light, just like a hill on earth. Zhu Sheng narrowed his eyes 
and looked at the scarlet begonia flower in his palm, which was full of deadly temptation like a short-lived flower, and was surprised, what kind of martial soul is this? Why does it feel very similar to that nine-heart begonia? To be as such a high-level martial soul, Su Yuntao was incomparably shocked and said, as the nine-hearted blood begonia bloomed, he could clearly feel his lone wolf martial soul actually trembling, that's right, his own beast martial soul was actually trembling in front of this bizarre begonia. It was enough to see that this martial soul was absolutely extraordinary. Su Yuntao excitedly handed over the crystal ball. Urging with great anticipation, Zhu Sheng, quickly measure whether you have soul power or not. This kind of martial soul of yours is definitely considered to be the king of plant, based martial souls. If that was the case, then I was afraid that my own performance this year would be multiplied countless times. Zhu Sheng took the crystal ball and said in a somewhat lazy tone, I know, I know, obviously, he was the one who had awakened his own martial soul. So, why did this little Taozi feel even more excited than he was? Afterwards, Zhu Sheng placed his left hand on the crystal ball, only to see the crystal ball erupted more violent light than before Tang San innate full soul power. And with time, the crystal ball directly appeared cracks, with the crystal ball issued a click sound. Directly from the center towards the, the crystal ball issued a click sound. Directly from the center towards the surrounding cracked into countless fragments slowly fell to the ground. Su Yunt, how dumbfounded eyes looking at the ground broken into a mess of crystal ball, hate to slap himself to see if it is not a hallucination. Soul power is so strong that it makes the crystal ball, surprisingly, surprisingly cracked. The only possibility was that Zhu Sheng's soul power was far beyond what the crystal ball could withstand. But hell, he knew that this crystal ball he took this time was something that even a great soul master could measure. But now it even shattered. That means Zhu Sheng's soul power value is far greater than that of a great soul master. Zhu Sheng was just about to speak when he saw Su Yunt. I'll cover his forehead first, and in a tone of pain he said, Don't speak. Let me be quiet. How can this be compared? How to compare? people's innate awakening of soul power than cultivation for more than ten years, and also horrible. He Su Yunt, I really only deserve to be a civilian player. Zhu Sheng looked at his feet suspended eight red. A red gold soul ring. This is intended to salted fish life he did not know what to say for a time. Only had to shake his head. Went over to pat Su Yun Tao's shoulder quietly said that. Small Tao, Sun Ah. I know my talent may be a little bit scary. If this all makes you despair, promise me, don't look at my feet. Su Yuntao, who had been crying silently for a while, let out a deep breath, pulling himself together. He turned around and said firmly, Zhu Sheng, I'm fine. It's not just the fortieth level of innate soul power. I can withstand this blow. Zhu Sheng silent only to see Su Yuntao's gaze unconsciously slightly downward, until he saw Zhu Sheng feet horror of eight red and one gold soul ring. Completely dumbfounded, he immediately cursed out you damn. Zhu Sheng, am not going to be able to stand against you. This guy is not an innate 40 level soul power. This is the 90th level of the innate soul power. He's become a sealed duluo at the top of the continent. What's with the rings, eight red? There is a soul ring that you cannot understand. You fucking just awakened so fierce. Absolutely is TM stayed up all night to slaughter this continent's one, hundred, zero, zero, zero years of soul beasts, right? Silence ensued for some time. Su Yuntao's face gradually became expressionless. Zhu Sheng, you should take these soul rings back first now. It's too scary. Innate soul power level 90. Su Yuntao finally realized at this moment why he could only stay at this stage of a soul master. Perhaps it was the knowledge that he was about to encounter an innate soul power level 90 mangaka, and even the virtues that he had accumulated in his previous life had been depleted. Zhu Sheng shrugged his shoulders. With a movement of his mind, the nine soul rings under his feet instantly merged into his body. Su Yuntao was not clear, but he was very clear 
that the nine soul rings that had just been there were not his own nine heart blood tongue. Rather, they were another powerful weapon martial soul hidden in his left hand, as for this nine hearts blood tongue. It merely had ninety levels of soul power, but it did not have any soul rings attached to it. Su Yunt, who suddenly changed his previous character, stroked his right hand over his chest, bowed slightly, and said, Zhu Sheng, your talent is definitely the first in this millennium. On behalf of the Martial Soul Hall, I here and now invite Coronet to join. That's right. Knowing that Zhu Sheng's soul power had already reached level 90. Su Yuntao, he changed his address to one of incomparable respect. Zhu Sheng lifted his chin and narrowed his eyes joined the Palace of Martial Souls. He originally thought of hugging Tang San's thighs and then salting for the rest of his life. But now, he's cluelessly become a sealed duluo. Understood. Then he would change his choice and join the Martial Spirit Hall and salted fish for the rest of his life. Situating Cut He Yi was eager to meet the Pope with a stunning face. By Bidong, Tang San by Bidong. Cute boy, dumping woman. Of course it is to choose the latter la. The corner of Zhu Sheng's mouth curved up in an arc, and his expression was as cold as ice as he said, I can join the Palace of Martial Souls, however, I hope you don't say anything you shouldn't. Otherwise, I will kill you. His left hand suddenly appeared a cold ice sword like the one used by the god of Dion. The ice sword continuously released the cold air, surprisingly hard around the formation of a blue ice rose petals. The nine horrible soul rings with infinite oppressive force that rose under his feet appeared again. And in front of him, Su Yunt, Ao fell to his knees uncontrollably with trembling legs under the strong pressure. Su Yuntao, who was kneeling on the ground and looking up at Zhu Sheng, had his pupils shrinking violently, double. Dual life martial soul. If other people behind can't see the light that erupted inside, but they are not the same. He has opened the purple pole magic pupil staring inside before and can clearly see the blue light that emanates. Tang San secretly said in the bottom of his heart just now that light. Soul power seems to be stronger than me. Could it be that Sheng is also the same innate full soul power as himself? Just as he pondered, the door was finally pushed open. Zhu Sheng and the expressionless Su Yunt how slowly walked out from the inside. Tang San went over and wondered Sheng, how is it? If Brother Sheng was really innate full soul power, then Master Su Yuntao's face should not be so ugly. Zhu Sheng raised his eyebrows and said suavely, How can your brother Sheng not have soul power? Just the martial soul has some defective problems. Tang San understood why Su Yuntao's face was expressionless just now. And it turned out to be that brother Sheng's martial soul was defective. Zhu Sheng's gaze gradually serious up. Zio San, after I cannot go with you to the soul master school to study, but do not worry. We will meet again in the future, hearing a long time together with the brother to leave immediately. Tang San's eyebrows immediately tightly locked up. Brother Sheng, does it mean that you want to leave here? Zhu Sheng nodded that's right. In a moment, I will leave here with Su Yuntao to solve the problem of the defective martial soul. Then he reached out his right hand and patted Tang San's shoulder, smiling in addition, Zio San. Brother Sheng reminds you, don't give up cultivating just because your martial soul is blue silver grass. I believe that with your talent you will definitely be able to Zhu Sheng's body seem to have an infinite charm. Even the extremely restrained Tang San looked stunned. Yes, Brother Sheng, even martial soul defective, did not give up cultivation. Himself is innate full soul power. Even if the martial soul was blue silver grass, so what he, Tang San, was to create a miracle thinking of this. Tang San's expression became more and more resolute, slowly stretching out a fist towards Zhu Sheng. His tone firm, a promise is a promise. The next time we meet, Brother Sheng, don't let me leave you too far behind. Zhu Sheng smiled faintly and also stretched out a fist and touched it. Don't worry, your Brother Sheng is still your Brother Sheng. If you want to surpass me, then work hard in his heart. He secretly said, I don't know what to do but am not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. He said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. 
but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. On the other hand, Jack, who had been waiting for a long time, walked towards Su Yuntao and asked urgently, Master Su Yuntao, do you know if Zhu Sheng has any soul power? Su Yuntao swept a glance at Jack, calmly said, There is soul power, but it's just average. Can barely let him join the palace of martial souls. Then looked to Tang San, but shook his head regretfully. But the child called Tang San, although it is the innate full soul power. But it is a waste of the martial soul. Blue silver grass. Old Jack was first very excited after hearing this. Then his expression dimmed down innate full soul power. Blue silver grass. Su Yun Tao remembered Zhu Sheng's previous instructions. Incomparably calmly said since the awakening is complete. Zhu Sheng that child I will take away after all. His martial soul has great after all. His martial soul has a big flaw old Jack's pale cheeks slowly moved. Sighing I didn't expect ah, that child actually also possesses soul power. Zhao Sheng will ask for your help. My lord, Su Yunt, how gave a casual hum, and shouted towards Zhu Sheng, who was still talking to Tang San Zhu Sheng. We should set off. Zhu Sheng waved his hand towards Tang San, turned and walked to Su Yun Tao's side. Yes. Mr. Su Yun Tao, afterwards, the two figures got farther and farther away, until they left the sacred soul village. After Tang San returned home, he found Tang Hao sitting in a chair with his eyes closed in deep thought. The former walked in cautiously, fearing that he would wake Tang Hao up. But before he took a few steps, the meditating Tang Hao opened his eyes violently, violently opened his eyes and said in a cold tone, Where's that kid? Tang San's body paused, not hiding the situation, and honestly said, Brother Sheng left with Master Su Yuntao, who awakened our martial souls because of the problem of defective martial souls. Tang Hao narrowed his eyes. Defective martial souls. How can a cannon fodder with 20 or 30 levels of soul power be able to see the flaws in his martial soul? This kid is not simple, I'm afraid. He suddenly came back to his senses and looked at Tang San with a grave expression, Zio San. Release your martial soul, the unknown Tang San nodded, and a small blue grass slowly appeared in his right hand. A thoughtful look appeared on Tang Hao's face, blue silver grass, after all. I still inherited you, ah. Tang San once again spoke out, Dad. I actually still have a martial soul. When Tang Hao heard this, his face suddenly changed, exclaiming what? In Tang San's left hand, a small hammer slowly emerged from the palm of his hand. Tang Hao looked at the familiar hammer in Tang San's hand. The corners of his wrinkled eyes slowly shed a few drops of tears. His tone of voice excitedly said, Hao Tian Hammer... After leaving the sacred soul village, Su Yuntao stopped his pace and cupped his fists towards Zhu Sheng with a face full of respect. Coronet, I have already passed the information you said to the Marshal Soul Hall Pope's headquarters. Zhu Sheng is quite lazy waved his hand. Very casual said small Tausi. Don't coronation coronation called. Directly call my name, so that soul power awakening is too strong is also a kind of trouble, to be honest. He just want a salty fish, but this somehow became the seal of the Duluo is also troublesome to death. Su Yun Tao, who lowered his head, whispered in the bottom of his heart, if this kind of words were to be heard by the other sealed Duluo. It is estimated that they would join together to hunt him down and kill him. Zhu Sheng's eyes were open. And he said, I don't know what to do. Zhu Sheng's eyes glowed right. Zio Taozi, are we going to Tiandu City or somewhere else? Regardless of where he goes, he wants to savor the food of those places. These years stay in the Holy Soul's village. Eating almost all coarse grains, the texture can only be considered barely able to enter the mouth of the people to learn to enjoy anyway. We do not need to spend time to cultivate soul power. Su Yunt, I pondered for a while. Cautiously replied Coronation, Zhu Sheng, now that the letter is afraid that it has not yet arrived in Wu Soul City, may need to wait a few more days, and must be the Pope gave the order. We go to Washu Soul City before someone to receive. Su Yun Tao is only a small personnel of the Palace of Martial Souls, basically does not have much power. 
It can be said to go to the Washu Soul City is also subject to ostracism, the kind of. Zhu Sheng smiled faintly, straightened his chest, and leisurely said that means there are still a few days. Right, then go first to stroll closer to Tiandu City. It's Su Yuntao's face was a bit ugly. He reached out and touched his empty pockets. His tone stammered this, although serving in the palace of the martial souls. But the subordinate actually does not have a lot of gold and soul coin. This little bit of money to Tiandu City. Only to eat a few meals will be exhausted. Let alone take Zhu Sheng to go shopping elsewhere. Zhu Sheng is unconcerned, patted his shoulder. A face of goodwill blinking eyes and kindly said, Don't worry, little Towsy. I can't spend much on food. When Su Yuntao heard this, a wave of gratitude slowly rose in the bottom of his heart, just short of hot tears. Gazing at Zhu Sheng's soft gaze, he was secretly thrilled, as expected. He is the son of heaven's destiny with ninety innate soul power. He is so understanding, Tian Du City, in a certain restaurant filled with the flavor of the ancient style. The woman wearing a maid's outfit with white and delicate cheeks held a menu in her hand. Her face flushed as she stared at Zhu Sheng, who was sitting on a chair and was one or two heads shorter than herself. Her heart fluttered. How exactly did this little brother grow? Although you can tell that the clothes aren't worn by any nobles. It's really cute, obviously. He was supposed to have a high and cold demeanor. But at his young age, with this expression and temperament, it was simply an adorable and explosive contrast, ah. Eh. Su Yuntao took the menu and gave it directly to Zhu Sheng, her face softly saying, Coronation. Zhu Sheng, what do you want to eat? Zhu Sheng was so understanding. She shouldn't order any ridiculously expensive dishes. Well, he trusted his judgment. Zhu Sheng comfortably took it and thanked him. Then ill let you break the bank. Afterwards, his eyes surveyed the food on the menu and then slowly said, Well, ham sausage, apples. Corn, on the side of Su Yuntao, listening to these dishes, his heart was quite upset, so he thought to himself, Even if I only need these cheap foods, Zhu Sheng is afraid that ill break the bank. Right, the maid next to him quickly wrote down the order and asked with a smile this little friend, Do you want to order anything else? Her heart secretly sighed. Lamented really not a nobleman, ah, so lovely. Temperament of the child is not a nobleman, is still very chagrined at Zhu Sheng nodded. Calmly said well. Almost just those do not want to. The other all to a share of the, the maid was violently shocked what? What little friend you did not say wrong, other even all on a share. She wondered if she was hallucinating. The small child in front of her had become a nobleman's son. Angry next to the Su Yunt, out covered the chest of the heavily injured. Aggrieved crying said crap, this fucking, he decided to take back what he said before, this Zhu Sheng is completely a juicer ah. He decided to take back what he had said before, this Zhu Sheng is a total juicer, this sum of money will be his salary for a few months will be cleaned up. Zhu Sheng raised his eyebrows and asked, Miss, is there anything wrong with what I just said? The maid froze and instantly her heart blossomed with joy. What did this kid just call me, Miss Sister? This child who is more than ten years younger than myself actually called himself Miss. The maid playfully closed her left eye, then threw out a kiss full of love. Close to Zhu Sheng's ear whispered, No, no, for the sake of the little brother so cute. I give you a discount of ten percent oh, by the maid this bold molestation, Zhu Sheng's cheeks gradually a little crimson up, he no matter how to say that he is still a virgin, cannot afford to be so violently teased, however. The maid then took a deep look at Zhu Sheng and walked into the kitchen with a small book. Poor Su Yuntao was confused and spat out a sentence of jealousy. Zhu Sheng, you seem to be very popular with these young ladies. Am not going to be able to do that, but am going to be able to do it. He said, taking his own money to eat even if... I did not expect to rely on the face can attract the beautiful young lady. Thank you, Su Yunt. I was more than twenty years still a single dog. Zhu Sheng put on a hateful look and shook his head. No way, in fact, if possible, I think it's better to be ugly, Su Yuntao, after the meal. The maid waved her hand and smiled as she watched Zhu Sheng and Su Yunt 
I'll leave, little brother. Next time come off and oh. Tu walked out of the restaurant. Su Yuntao patted his empty pockets. His face was so ugly that he didn't know what to say. Zhu Sheng suavely said Zio Taozi, You would not be angry. Right. All of a sudden use this guy so much money. Must be how good temper is also some angry. Su Yun Tao heard, shook his head and sighed him not angry. Just money are spent. A moment we are afraid that even sleeping place are not he is not angry, after all. This point of gold soul coins. And make friends with a later enough to shock the continent of the genius. That's quite a value, ah. He didn't get angry, after all. This golden soul coin and making friends with a genius who would be able to shock the continent in the future would be quite worth it. Zhu Sheng was about to say something. His first martial soul nine heart blood tong seemed to sense a unique breath. And crazy resonance. He slowly closed his eyes to quietly feel, and when he opened his eyes again, he affirmed that is an incomparable holy breath. It is completely at two extremes from his own nine hearts blood tong. Zhu Sheng began to associate it with the fact that he was now in the territory of Tiandu City and was able to possess another holy martial soul that resonated with his own nine hearts blood tong. Could it be that a slightly blurred silo, wet slowly surfaced in Zhu Sheng's mind, around a slowly moving carriage? There were countless elite soldiers in armor surrounding it. One of the soldiers at the head of it suddenly approached the carriage and said with a puzzled frown, Your Highness, Zhu King. We have now arrived at the center of Heavenly Dipper City, so forgive me for taking the liberty of asking. Are you planning to go? That's right. The one sitting on the carriage at the moment was none other than the son of Tian Du City's Zhu Knight Emperor, the Crown Prince of Tian Du Empire. Zhu King He, when Zhu King heard this, he silently shook his head and blandly said, Nothing. I'm just a little tired and want to go to Tian Du City to take a stroll. Although he was only nine years old, he was already able to keep his emotions calm no matter what he encountered. The soldier froze for a moment, and realizing that he had lost his temper, he apologized and said yes. Your Highness Zhu King, damn it! How could he be so presumptuous as to ask his highness with those words? He returned to the army to vigilantly observe the surroundings. And only after he left did Zhu King bite her thin lips tightly in confusion. The extremely evil fluctuation that had just appeared in Heavenly Dipper City had caused her martial soul to resonate and constantly tremble. It didn't seem to be the enemy's spirit, but rather, it was the enemy's spirit that was resonating, trembling. It didn't seem to be hostility, it was more like a kind of excitement. His martial soul had never seen this kind of abnormality in the past. And even that person Thousand Road Stream hadn't said anything about this kind of situation. Zhu King took a deep breath and whispered in confusion. What the hell is going on here? Why does this evil fluctuation not even cause me to recoil? So Yun Tao looked at the dazed Zhu Sheng next to him and reached out his hand to shake it in front of his eyes a few times Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng, Zhu Sheng's mouth corners spread a smile, absent, mindedly said him fine, but it seems that this heavenly fighting city can't be stayed in. If he stayed in this heavenly fighting city, he always felt that there would be a bad premonition in his heart. As for the Kyan Rangsu that came to his mind, it can be seen that my nine-heartedness can be seen as a good example. It can be seen that my nine hearts blood tongue martial soul and her six winged angels quite a connection. Maybe this is the crossing also send fated wife, Lao Tzu, Lao Tzu, you want a wife do not, as long as you open the mouth of gold. He shook his head to put all these thoughts away. Su Yuntao's face was a little ugly. Puzzled cannot stay. Are you worried about not having gold and soul coins? Actually, I can go and overdraw next month's salary. Zhu Sheng waved his hand and said unconcernedly, it's not about that. Zio Taozi, let's go Su Yunt. I saw that there was no disappointment on his face so it seemed that he really didn't want to stay in Tiandu City. Uh-huh. However, a piece of good news was out of Zhu Sheng's and Su Yuntao's expectations, only to see that the Pope's palace had already sent a message authorizing Zhu Sheng to be brought into Marshall Seoul City. 
and after getting the message, Zhu Sheng's two people's location was quickly locked by the people of the Palace of Martial Souls. And not more than a few hours later, dozens of strong men in the costumes of the Palace of Martial Souls appeared in front of their eyes. Su Yuntao stared with wide eyes and trembling body, staring at these in front of him. The aura emitted by each and every one of the Martial Spirit Hall powerhouses was incomparably powerful especially the old man in the center who hid his aura, but was even more powerful. It was completely unexpected that Zhu Sheng would be so highly regarded that the Martial Soul Hall would send people to personally send each other. If Su Yunt, how knew that these people included a Soul Duluo powerhouse, as well as dozens of Soul sect members, he would have died of fear. The old man in the middle slowly walked into Zhu Sheng's body, a pair of cloudy eyes like an eagle's eye looked Zhu Sheng dead in the eye. And then his tone of voice was a bit shady and said, You're Zhu Sheng, you are Zhu Sheng, aren't you? We have been ordered by His Holiness the Pope to escort you to Marshal Soul City. Originally, when he heard the news, he still had some expectations. But now that he saw such a young child, the trust in his heart had long been eroded. His Highness the Pope had ordered, that if this child's claim of innate level 90 soul power was just a bluff, then he would be measured for talent, and if there was no talent, then he would be killed on the spot. The dignity of the martial soul palace would never be allowed to be violated. Zhu Sheng smiled bashfully. Thank you, Lord Soul Duluo. I wonder when we will depart. Su Yunt, I looked at the old man with a face full of confusion. Somewhat unsure, if Zhu Sheng was joking, it was such a simple sentence that directly caused the old man's eyes to flash with surprise. His heart shocked. He had never said that he was a soul duluo, but this child could actually see through his own soul power level. His own identity was carried out in secrecy. It was absolutely impossible to be exposed. The only possibility was that this child really possessed 90 levels of soul power. Only then could he see through his own strength so easily, suddenly. A string of icy cold sweat slowly trickled down from his forehead as the old man bent down with a face full of respect and said coronation Zhu Sheng. It's me who was abrupt. The other people standing behind the martial soul hall saw this scene and also bowed down and then lowered their heads. Only Su Yuntao on the side sucked in a mouthful of cool air. Hiss. Can it be said that this is really a soul Duluo level powerhouse? Sending a soul Duluo to come and escort him, this face of Zhu Sheng, it can't be said to be big. Zhu Sheng helped the old man up and smiled blandly, you don't have to be like this. We'd better hurry up and depart with this little show of skill. Didn't he get him into a state of submission? The old man nodded his head gratefully, and in his heart, he felt even more favorable towards Zhu Sheng. With such a terrifying talent, and the means to enlist people's hearts. I'm afraid that this child's future will be extraordinary. No, it should no longer be ordinary from the moment the martial soul awakens. It is a sealed duluo that is at the peak of the continent. The old man turned around, towards the people of the martial soul hall, coldly drank yes, people of the palace of martial souls. Listen to the order. Protect coronation Zhu Sheng with all your might. No mistakes, Su Yuntao, who was standing by the side and didn't know what to do, cautiously said, Then, my lord I, the old man's icy gaze swept a glance at Su Yuntao, frightening the latter into taking two steps backward with his legs and feet uncontrollably. Then, with a difficult face, he explained to Zhu Sheng coronation Zhu Sheng, The Pope only ordered to escort you to Marshal Seoul City. I'm afraid that, Zhu Sheng took a look at Su Yunt, outstanding on the side shivering, that incomparably stifled eyes. And for a while, he wanted to laugh. For a while, some want to laugh. But the original Bibai Dong has always been decisive. Saying one thing and not another. So, even if he wants to bring Su Yuntao is also unavailable, then. He cocked his mouth suavely, said small Tausi. In that case, you will not go with me. I will cover you, ah. Su Yuntao, this person is very self-aware. Know that he went to the martial soul city, cannot get what good face. So nodded, the whole person silent back away to the side. 
Zhu Sheng covered his forehead and secretly spat out a small Taozi, this look is really heartbreaking. Do not know that he thought he abandoned him strike that. Find a chance to make up for him later on. Thinking of this, Zhu Sheng slowly turned around and said with a relaxed expression, Let's go receiving the order. The old man gently nodded his head and returned yes. Coronation Zhu Sheng depart. With a command, all the people of the martial soul hall immediately surrounded Zhu Sheng and then began to march swiftly. Martial soul city, at this moment, standing in the high place of the Pope's temple, the decoration inside the temple are flooded with flickering light. However, this should have been such a light in the hall, at this moment full of deadly haze, so that the surrounding environment are a little cold, and the martial soul temple elders of the moon guan and ghost mistresses at this moment were left and right at the same side, with a kind of bowing down to the posture, cautiously staring at the woman sitting at the top of the stairs. That is full of elegance. The latter is the martial soul temple, Pope by Bidong, staring at the woman who sits at the highest point of the ladder. That every move is full of elegance. The latter is precisely Her Majesty, the Pope of the Palace of Martial Souls. By Bidong, this is such an elegant woman, but by virtue of her cold style and decisive judgment, she is in control of the Palace of Martial Souls, which has countless powerful people. Her ice, like cold and smooth skin, is as soft and charming as a peach. Even when she is sitting, her tall figure can be vaguely seen, and behind her, she is wearing a gorgeous robe with a black pattern and gold edging, which makes people's hearts tremble in her hand. She also lightly held a scepter that was about two meters long and inlaid with countless purple crystals, symbolizing her identity as the Pope. However, the next moment, her entire body exuded an imposing aura that was not angry, and instantly overshadowed Yu Guan and Ghost Phantom, the two ninety, five-ranked sealed duluos that were at the top of the continent. Yu Guan resisted the heavy oppressive force in his heart, carefully stared at Bai Bidong, whispered speculatively, Your Highness the Pope. We have already informed a sole duluo to go and fetch that child over Bai Bidong's eyes did not contain any fluctuations. And he blandly said, Well, Yu Guan, is there any problem? Yu Guan madly winked at the ghost. The latter instantly understood. Slightly coughed a few times. Doubtfully said, Your Holiness, this child may just be bluffing. We don't need to pay so much attention to it. Right, in case this kid just awakened, is the innate 90 level soul power is true. Then his two positions can be embarrassing. The thought of will be with a fart child peer theory. This is undoubtedly a hard pumping the face of the two of them. By Bidong's face suddenly cold, scolded Yu Guan, ghost. Now the martial soul palace is the need to absorb the young elite generation. The two of you small mind do not have to hide in front of me is just afraid of Zhu Sheng's age, is too small status, has already overtaken them just. If the martial spirit palace had really followed the stupid thinking of the two of them, then it wouldn't have developed to this point today. The sudden, harsh words frightened Yu Guan, and ghostly to fall to one knee, incomparably apprehensive. His Holiness the Pope, forgive me, by Bidong's eyes cut them off before leaning slightly towards the chair behind him, Slowly closing his eyes and muttering at the corner of his mouth, if he really has an innate soul power of ninety levels. Then, Zhu Sheng and the others followed the people of the Martial Soul Palace, eight or nine hours later. Finally arrived in the Martial Soul City, Zhu Sheng curiously surveyed the Martial Soul City, only to see the entire city pool was distributed in a ring shape. Raised his head to look, you can clearly see the surrounding flow of people as well as stores. Martial Soul City is nominally within the Heavenly Dipper Empire, but it is almost entirely under the command of the Palace of Martial Souls, because of the presence of the Pope's Palace here. Even the army of the Heavenly Dipper Empire is unable to intervene, Soul Dulio powerhouses suddenly stopping his pace. The Soul Dulio strongman amiably inquired towards Zhu Sheng Coronation Zhu Sheng, We have already arrived at the Martial Soul City. Do you see the need to prepare anything? If an ordinary person hears of an audience with the Pope, his heart will be very apprehensive. 
and he is also reminding Zhu Sheng to get ready. Zhu Sheng smiled elegantly and said calmly, it's not a problem. But we can't let His Highness the Pope wait for a long time because of me. The Sol Duluo Strongman secretly sighed. The Sol Duluo Powerhouse secretly sighed and said, This calmness of heart. Even the old man is not as good as myself. He then nodded his head and proposed, Since that is the case, then please follow me to the Pope's palace. It's tightly guarded and is absolutely safe. Zhu Sheng nodded slightly. Then ill trouble you to lead the way, it can only be said that Zhu Sheng hid it too well. And he was about to meet by Bidong, how could he not be excited? This is the existence of the red, faced scourge of the original, and also has extremely strong strength. If you want to choose a woman to be your wife in the Duluo continent, Zhu Sheng will definitely choose by Bidong. The first time I saw this, I was able to get a good look at it. And I was able to get a good look at it. Under the leadership of Sol Duluo Powerhouse, Zhu Sheng smoothly entered the Pope's palace. On the way to the top of the Pope's palace, the guards all over the place are extremely numerous, and each node is almost always handled by a heavy army. And this kind of defense is basically impossible if you want to sneak in quietly. The defense is basically impossible to sneak in quietly. When they were about to enter the highest level of the Pope's Hall, both Zhu Sheng were stopped. Two Seoul King levels stepped out and stopped them in front. Sternly saying stop without orders. You may not trespass into the Pope's Hall without authorization. Zhu Sheng then saw the Seoul Duluo next to him pull out a token from his pocket. When the two Seoul Kings saw that the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex Martial Soul was engraved on the token. They said in a respectful tone, my lord. Only then did Sol Du Luo give a cold humph in an unfavorable manner. Go inform His Holiness the Pope that Zhu Sheng has been brought here. Although he knew that this was their mission, that kind of tone still made his heart unhappy. How could he, a hallowed Sol Du Luo, be subjected to this bird's anger? One of the Sol Kings nodded and went towards the back to inform. The other Sol King said with a flattering face, Please wait, my lord. The Seoul King who came to inform carefully stepped into the Pope's hall, lowered his head and bowed down report. Reporting to His Holiness the Pope, there is a person named Zhu Sheng outside seeking an audience, Judulio Yuguan sniffed. Secretly biting his lips, a pair of demonic eyes flashed through a few threads of indignation. This kid was really delivered safely. For what Ghost Dulio Ghost Phantom's face was also extremely ugly, but he didn't dare to say it just silently venting in his heart. Bai Bidong suddenly opened his eyes and coldly said call them in. This soul king was as relieved as if he was relieved, and returned yes, your holiness, after saying that, he left the Pope's hall, only to see that under the gazes of Bai Bidong, Yu Guan and Ghost Mistress. The soul Duluo powerhouse slowly walked in with Zhu Sheng, stepping through the threshold. The former, the former bowed down, and respectfully said your majesty the Pope, Zhu Sheng has been brought here. A clear and pleasant voice spat out from Bai Bidong's mouth stand down. Only then did he see Zhu Sheng still standing dumbfounded. The corners of his mouth twitched a few times before he quickly turned around and left. Zhu Sheng raised his eyes. A pair of bright eyes instantly gazing at Bai Bidong on the throne, after seeing Bai Bidong's astonishingly heavenly appearance. His heart rejoiced and said crap, surprisingly, it's hundreds of times more beautiful than what he had imagined, and that high and cold aura is completely imperial. This wave is not a loss. Coming to the martial spirit hall, this wave is definitely a wise choice. When Chrysanthemum Guan saw this, his eyes fiercely lit up, finally letting him find a good opportunity to vent. In the next moment, the pressure of a sealed Duluo erupted from his body and blasted towards Zhu Sheng, twisting his finger and saying in a delicate voice, How dare you? How dare you not bow when you see His Holiness the Pope? When Zhu Sheng heard this unisex voice, his goosebumps rose. The pressure of the chrysanthemum pass didn't make a single wave when it touched Zhu Sheng. The same ninety levels, even though his first martial soul didn't have a soul ring. It wasn't something that Chrysanthemum Guan could suppress with his mighty pressure. 
This hand directly made Ju Hua Guan's eyes flash through a few points of scorn, narrowing his eyes this kid, even able to resist his own mighty pressure. After Zhu Xing and Chrysanthemum Guan's gaze is locked, the former's mouth slightly raised. The Chrysanthemum Guan on the side naturally saw this small action, and his heart was simply about to explode with anger. Gritting his teeth this fart kid even dared to taunt me, Zhu Sheng chose to ignore Chrysanthemum Guan, bowed slightly and redirected his gaze to Bai Bidong, respectfully saying Zhu Sheng meets His Holiness the Pope. When Bai Bidong on the throne saw that Zhu Sheng didn't avoid her gaze, but instead dared to stare straight into her eyes, she knew that this child was definitely not human. Her thin lips gently opened your name is Zhu Sheng. Right, Zhu Sheng was not subdued and said back to your highness, if there is no second, Zhu Sheng, who came to Marshall Soul City, it would be me. The ghostly eyes that had already looked at him unfavorably flashed with blood color. And he said coldly, kid, you are looking for death. Don't think that just because you have a bit of talent you can be unreasonable in front of His Holiness the Pope. Yellow, yellow, purple, purple, black, 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 black. Black nine soul rings rose from under his feet. A ghostly shadow emitting a cold black aura suddenly appeared behind the ghostly phantom, clinging to his back. And the pair of bright red pupils amidst the black aura sent shivers down one's spine afterwards. His first soul ring suddenly lit up, and the ghostly phantom coldly shouted first soul skill, ghost shadow. Behind him, the ghostly shadow red pupil shook, the whole person behind the shadow appeared, the next moment into a mass of black gas towards Zhu Sheng surging. This guy now dare to be so rude to the Pope, that after the treatment of him and Chrysanthemum, Guan, it is not inappropriate to look at the people, must give him some bitterness to eat, so that he understands that there is also a gap between the sealed duo. Zhu Sheng's pupils suddenly tightened as he looked at the evil black air mass that was rapidly coming. He couldn't help but take a step back towards his back, just one step away, that mass of black air was about to blast Zhu Sheng. Stop! Bai Bidong warmly and angrily the purple and gold scepter in his hand. His icy cold words directly made the hearts of those present tremble. The ghostly apparition immediately bent down, his brain instantly realizing that he had lost his temper. And in an instant, he withdrew his martial soul after stopping the ghostly shadow that was blasting towards Zhu Xing. Chrysanthemum Guan lowered the head of the face surfaced a trace of displeasure. The heart secretly scolded the ghost to this old ghost. If another step faster, to create an accident is not on the line. His Holiness the Pope will definitely not turn his back on us because of a wasted genius. This guy really is as timid and fearful as his martial soul. By Bidong's serious Dan Feng eyes swept a glance at the ghost mimic, and then at Chrysanthemum Pass. If you take any more unauthorized action, don't blame me for showing no mercy. Chrysanthemum Pass. Ghostly phantom bowed in unison. Yes, Lord Pope. Zhu Sheng suppressed the thrill that accelerated in his heart, scared to death. Next time it's better not to be so skinny. Without a soul ring, empty soul power is and much use, just that ordinary hundred-year-old soul ring. He felt the sensation of being on the verge of death. Bai Bidong saw Chrysanthemum, Guan, and Moon Phantom bowing their heads in silence, and only then did he use an unquestionable tone of voice to Zhu Sheng to command Zhu Sheng. Since you're an innate soul power of ninety levels, now release your martial soul. Zhu Sheng nodded slightly and slowly stretched out his right hand, his mind moving with his heart, a strain of begonias strewn with flowers like blood pouring out coalesced together. And then the illusory nine hearts blood begonia gradually solidified, spinning and appearing out of his hand with a shocking murderous intent. The entire martial soul hall was dyed scarlet by this intense soul power. This scene made by Bidong's three peoples breathing stagnate. Former took a deep breath. His gaze held a few nostalgic meanings murmured in a low voice this martial soul. It's so purely evil, rather, with his own spider martial soul, there are many similarities, 
and the deepest feelings then also is the plant martial soul of the chrysanthemum off. He secretly exclaimed this kid's martial soul, even let their own body chrysanthemum, martial soul, has the tendency to submit to it. On the other hand, Ghost Mistress had his mouth wide open and mumbled obviously, it's only a plant martial soul. But the murderous aura attached to it far exceeds his own martial soul. It's not even on the same level. He only felt two auras from this nine hearts blood tongue, extreme evil as well as infinite killing intent. The light in Baibidong's eyes flashed, and he faintly said, Take it back. Zhu Sheng sniffed, his palms slowly clenched, and withdrew the nine hearts blood tongue. Without the influence of the nine hearted blood begonia, the abnormality in the entire hall of martial souls also disappeared. The corner of Zhu Sheng's mouth slightly raised in an arc as he smiled and said, I wonder how His Holiness the Pope feels about it. Although this Nine Hearts Blood Tongue was only a plant, it was a top-level martial soul at the same level as Kyan Ren Zhu's angelic martial soul. He was still very confident about it. The coldness on Bai Bidong's face melted for a few moments, and he did not mince words of appreciation. Not bad, with this extreme evil martial soul and an innate soul power of ninety levels. Your future is unlimited. Chrysanthemum Guan sighed with a mournful expression on his face it's over, listening to His Holiness the Pope's words. I'm afraid that my own and Ghostly's position will really be shaken by this brat. Ghostly looked at Chrysanthemum Guan's expression. And the former's heart was bitter for a few moments. Is it coming? Zhu Sheng narrowed his eyes, sensing that Bai Bidong was about to have a high energy reaction. On the throne, by Bidong's cold, as Ice Face barely managed to evoke a smile, Zhu Sheng, I wonder if you're willing to become my Bai Bidong's disciple. The eyes of Chrysanthemum Pass and Ghost Mistress were also focused on Zhu Sheng. They naturally did not want the latter to agree. Zhu Sheng's heart secretly said sure enough the first thing Bai Bidong wanted to do after seeing his martial soul and talent was to recruit him. Superficially asking about himself, but he knew that if you don't agree, you won't be able to get out of the palace of martial souls without a soul ring. But what does this have to do with the inspirational salty fish he is? There was a beautiful woman who took the initiative to beg to be her master. So it would be a shame to his heart not to say yes. I am willing, but your highness the Pope, I have a condition. I wonder if I can oblige. Zhu Sheng gazed seriously at Bai Bidong as soon as these words came out. Ghost and Chrysanthemum Guan both laughed grimly. Chrysanthemum Guan's head snickered her highness. The Pope is most averse to people talking about conditions with her. And this kid is looking for death. Ghostly it seems that this kid has been planted today. He has been able to think of her highness the Pope's angry appearance. But they were disappointed. Bai Bidong did not get angry, only slightly wrinkled his good, looking eyebrows. What conditions? By Bidong's words were like a hammer blow to Chrysanthemum past head. The whole person dazedly said crap. His Holiness the Pope didn't even get angry. Ghost closed his eyes in despair. This kid's talent has reached a level that can make His Holiness the Pope tolerant. Finished, finished, Zhu Sheng straightened his waist, through his voice, Your Highness the Pope, I can become your disciple. Can also be loyal to the Palace of Martial Souls, but I hope that in the future, when I propose to temporarily leave the palace of martial souls. You will not stop me. Why did Zhu Sheng make this condition? Of course it was because he couldn't possibly stay in the martial soul palace for the rest of his life. Right, there were still a large number of young ladies outside, and countless delicacies. Being a salted fish also had aspirations. Bai Bidong pursed her soft thin lips, and her heart began to weigh the pros and cons, half a dozen times. She expressionlessly said, I can promise you, however, I likewise have conditions. The ghost only felt another arrow in his heart. And the corners of his mouth twitched up without listening to his command, Il go, your highness, the Pope. You're spoiling this guy too much, aren't you? It was completely unexpected that Bai Bidong would agree to such a ridiculous opinion proposed by this kid. Chrysanthemum Seki patted his infarcted little heart and looked incomparably aggrieved, not getting angry 
even after touching your bottom line three times. The old ghost and I have to be angrily reprimanded for merely saying the wrong thing. Owing, owing, tilde people's hearts are unbalanced. Zhu Sheng's gaze flickered for a few moments, and with a bland expression, he said, Your Highness the Pope. You may speak. He also thought that Bai Bidong would decisively refuse. Then he would retreat to the second. But look at this appearance seems to have a drama. Bai Bidong suddenly stood up from the throne, outlining a tall figure. Only the stern eyes seemed to want to see through the soul of Zhu Sheng's tender body. Coldly said my request is that no matter how long you intend to leave, you must come to participate in the National Continental Elite Competition a few years later. The following chrysanthemums and ghosts are all shocked. Completely unable to guess the idea of Bai Bidong, chrysanthemums looked to the ghosts' thoughtfully elite competition. Isn't that still a long time from now? Ghostly Phantom also shook his head with a look that implied he didn't know either. If it was only for the purpose of winning the elite competition afterward, then it was completely unnecessary as the geniuses that their martial spirit hall had cultivated were fully capable of winning. Zhu Sheng quietly breathed a sigh of relief, and after the corners of his mouth raised in an arc, he respectfully cupped his fists and said, Apprentice disciple, Zhu Sheng greets teacher. Bai Bidong saw no way to draw useful information from Zhu Sheng's cheeks, resitting on the royal chair. Randomly full of seriousness said very good. Zhu Sheng, in the future, you are my Bai Bidong's disciple. From now on, you are also the holy son of the Palace of Martial Souls. Has been patient chrysanthemum off, finally cannot resist loneliness. Before the Bibai Dong said he can still understand, but Zhu Sheng just joined the Martial Soul Palace. Then set him up as the holy son. This is simply too perfunctory, and who knew if this kid had any second thoughts. Thus, he stared at the enormous pressure and took a step forward, saying with an embarrassed expression, Your Highness, I'm afraid this isn't right, is it? The ghost was much smarter this time, shrinking towards the back. Praying for chrysanthemum pass, little chrysanthemum, it's not that my old ghost doesn't go along with you. Aren't you clear about the status of this kid in the eyes of his holiness to touch this mold now? You are afraid that you have lived long enough. Right, chrysanthemum tube disobeyed his own words three times. By Bidong's face gradually became unhappy. What's wrong with it? Chrysanthemum Seki trembled, but now that it was all said and done, he could only say it with a stiff upper lip. Hoping that Bai Bidong would change his mind, he bent down and explained this kid. No, Zhu Sheng has only just joined the martial soul hall and then established him as the holy son. The other younger generations of the martial soul hall who are not clear about it are only afraid to be unconvinced ah. Next to Zhu Sheng, cold eyes looked at his crazy call himself, lifted his chin, and pondered this small chrysanthemum, how do not understand at all ah. Should we find a chance to settle it, his first martial soul does not have a soul ring, even if he has acquired a soul ring. With chrysanthemum Guan's rich combat experience, he is afraid that he really just can't beat him, then he seemed to think of something. The corners of his mouth could not help but rise slightly, if I can't kill you, I'm still afraid that I want die of exhaustion. Let you be a free fighter today, when it rises. The entire martial soul hall is wildly windy. As if this is all under Bai Bidong S control, only then did she coldly and domineeringly say I, Bai Bidong, am the Pope of the Palace of Martial Souls, who dares to disobey this domineering side, the pressure of chrysanthemum pass and the ghosts didn't dare to look at them squarely. Except for Zhu Sheng, who had a glint in his eye and kept exclaiming handsome, at this moment, he only wanted to say, Go to TMD What Shrek, Starla, the Sky Bucket Empire all go to hell. This is the unique charm of Bai Bidong himself. Calm as a flat boat, when angry, dare to let the mountain avalanche water break flow, Chrysanthemum pass and ghostly phantom felt bad and bowed their heads in apology. Your Highness the Pope, we did not disobey you. Please forgive us just now. It was my subordinate who spoke too much. Please forgive Your Highness the Pope. By Bidong's icy face did not ease up in the slightest, spitting out a single word scram. 
Chrysanthemum Guan and Ghost Mistress waited for Bai Bidong's reply with a bumpy heart. When they heard it clearly, the two men's hanging hearts finally fell, the two men bowed slightly, and then quickly left the place. If Bai Bidong got angry, with that kind of decisive and ruthless character, no one would dare to say a word even if he slaughtered them. In the future, he and old Jew still have to be cautious, lest the city gates really go up in flames. Your martial soul belongs to extreme evil, and it should have certain flaws, right? Bai Bidong faintly said after seeing Chrysanthemum, Guan, and ghostly Phantom leave. With Zhu Sheng's figure at his back, Zhu Sheng's heart went cold. How could Bai Bidong know this, nodding his head? He responded, yes, teacher, my martial soul nine heart blood tongue needs to be constantly nourished with blood and soul. Otherwise, the martial soul will gradually wither away. What Zhu Sheng said was true. Although this martial soul was very powerful, it had to be nourished with blood and soul for a certain period of time, or else it would wither away until it disappeared. He felt that his martial soul was most likely the first one on the continent to have this kind of restriction. Right after awakening, the martial soul can still wither. Bai Bidong suddenly turned around and stared at Zhu Sheng muttering at the corner of his mouth blood. Soul nourishment, this condition is far harsher than she had imagined. She frowned, then stretched, and faintly said in a moment, You will have Elder Jew and Elder Ghost accompany you to go to the Star Dipper Great Forest to hunt and kill soul beasts. And by the way, you will use the soul beast's blood and souls to moisturize your martial soul. Zhu Sheng pretended to be grateful and said thank you. Teacher, in the bottom of his heart, he said, it seems that his plan has succeeded, little chrysanthemum. You wait and see if I don't tire you into a broken flower afterward. Is it for the two of them to fight the titan giant ape? Or is it the celestial green bull python? M. Bai Bidong looked at Zhu Sheng a little stunned, slowly shook his head and said softly, there is no need to do so. Since you are my disciple, then these three pieces of soul bone. As a gift to you by Bidong hand holding the amethyst scepter waved. From the place where she scratched appeared colorful light, the three pieces of soul bone out of thin air to pay in the air. They flew up in the air under the traction of Bai Bidong's soul power and hovered in front of Zhu Sheng. These three soul bones were all obtained by the former Pope Kaint, Sun Jai's hunting of soul beasts, after being killed by Bai Bidong. They naturally came into her possession. After it was killed by Bai Bidong, it naturally came into her hands. Zhu Sheng looked at the soul bones in front of her, and her entire mind was dumbfounded. Crap, the opening gift, beautiful teacher. Also comes with three pieces of soul bone. So why are those other travelers going against the martial soul palace? Doesn't it smell good? Bai Bidong saw Zhu Sheng's dumbfounded look. The corner of his mouth didn't know if he smiled for a moment. Then flickered. Bai Bidong slowly closed his eyes, his grip on the amethyst scepter getting a little bit tighter. Take it, you absorbed nine soul rings in one go. You need to use the soul bones as a support to alleviate the pressure that the powerful soul rings put on your tender body. Otherwise, you won't leave for more than two years. Zhu Sheng put away the soul bone, then frowned, his heart pulling at his chest. Can't live more than two years. He really didn't know about this. But he thought that if he hadn't joined the martial soul hall and didn't have the soul bone given by Bai Bidong, he would have been able to survive for two years. Bai Bidong nodded and once again gruffly instructed that's right. And after you absorb the soul ring, you must not easily use soul techniques above the sixth soul ring in these few years. Otherwise, even if you have a soul bone, you will be seriously injured if you don't die. She, by Bidong, had only taken in one female disciple in her life, which was the holy daughter of the palace of martial souls. Who Lena, now that she had seen Zhu Sheng's talent and heart far exceeded those of her age. That was why she had the idea of accepting him as a disciple. Therefore, as long as Zhu Sheng was able to become her future booster, she would train him to the best of her ability. Zhu Sheng's gaze flickered for a few moments. Originally, he just wanted to see what the overwhelmingly beautiful Bibai Dong looked like. 
But now, what he saw was more of a personal charisma that was above and beyond the looks, and perhaps this was one of the reasons why she was able to command the martial soul hall. Zhu Xing nodded slightly and stared at Bibai Dong with a face full of seriousness, many thanks. Teacher, am lucky to be your disciple, lucky for sure, not only did he save a life, he also obtained three soul bones. He even suspected that he and Tang San's identities had switched, and that he was the son of heaven's destiny in the Duluo continent. Bai Bidong's body suddenly trembled, then turned around and got up, his gaze rose slightly, the amethyst scepter shook, and cold words spat out from his thin lips, go out the corner of Zhu Sheng's mouth pursed slightly, Teacher, disciple will retire first, at the end of the sentence. Zhu Sheng turned around and decisively walked out of the hall. Bai Bidong turned back to look at Zhu Sheng's back as he walked out, and a few drops of crystals overflowed from the corners of his eyes on his still ice-cold cheeks, Zhu Gang. He really seems to be like you, no matter that one aspect. Zhu Sheng had only just walked out of the hall when he saw Ghost and Chrysanthemum Guan furiously walking towards himself. They all angrily rebuked, Kid, quickly tell us what this guy of yours actually talked to His Holiness the Pope about. Or don't blame us for being impolite. The ghost's body erupted with a cold aura and said in a chilling voice, speak quickly. Otherwise, kill you, facing this pressure. Zhu Sheng raised his head and smiled harmlessly. Teacher said, Let the two of you take me to hunt soul beasts and suck soul rings. As for the kind of soul beasts, it is up to me to decide. Chrysanthemum Guan revealed a skeptical look and said in astonishment, Is that all? On the side, Ghostly was coldly poking at him, Kid, if it's just about this, how could His Holiness let you stay in there for so long? Zhu Sheng cried and laughed, Are these two really sealed duyuo? They are so suspicious. It seems that their arrival has invariably affected the status of the two of them. He cried and laughed as he explained Ju Duluo, Ghost Duluo, really didn't chat about anything. Teacher just accepted me as a disciple. Can't I do anything else? Chrysanthemum Guan looked sideways at Ghost Mistress and inquired Old Ghost. What do you think? The ghost's gaze looked at the great hall in front of him and swept a few eyes at Zhu Sheng, seeing that there was nothing suspicious about him, before slowly saying Lord Pope is wise. Chrysanthemum Guan covered his forehead and exclaimed, What are you thinking? Old ghost, I'm not asking about this. I'm talking about the fact that the Pope told us to go with the kid to hunt soul beasts. What do you think about that? Think they haul two sealed duluo. Do not go to the honor to enjoy superiority. But also when this little kid's nanny, ghost rolled his eyes since his holiness commanded it. What else can I do? Go, he does not want to die young not just a company, a small doll hunting soul beasts, before so difficult years have survived. This is a thing, Ghost Mimic stared at Zhu Sheng's face, kid. The Star Dipper Forest is too dangerous for you. We are going to take you to the Sunset Forest to hunt soul beasts. Zhu Sheng frowned slightly to elders. Pope's palace should be closer to the Star Do Great Forest, right? Why don't we simply stay here? The soul beasts in the Star Dipper Great Forest were definitely much more numerous than those in the Sunset Forest. And it was also convenient for him to match his soul rings. When Chrysanthemum Pass heard this, he glared and cursed Kid. Do you want to die if you want to hunt soul rings above ten? Zero, zero, zero years old, you may enter the core of the Star Do Great Forest, which has soul beasts that even we are not sure of cleaning up. Ghost Mistress also frowned and reminded Kid. You have to think clearly, if you enter rashly. I'm afraid we have no way to guarantee that y'all be safe and sound. This was the person that His Holiness, the Pope, had instructed to take care of if he lost his life. The two of them wouldn't be able to deliver, seeing that the two weren't going to agree to their request. Zhu Sheng's face suddenly changed into an incomparable look of adoration. It was time to perform his true acting skills. He pleadingly grabbed the sleeves of Ghost Duluo and Chrysanthemum Guan and said with starry-eyed adoration in his eyes, Chrysanthemum Duluo. Ghost Duluo, 
The reason why I asked my teacher to let you guys accompany me to hunt soul beasts is because I naturally believe in your powerful abilities and that those soul beasts will definitely not be able to match up to you two, hey? This little kid's mouth is still quite sweet. Seeing Zhu Sheng's adoring gaze at this moment, Chrysanthemum Guan's heart's vanity was instantly greatly satisfied. He looked at the ghost, then slightly coughed a few times and advised old ghost, Why don't we do what this kid said? And hunt in the Star Dipper Forest. The Sunset Forest is still a bit far away, just now, his words made the ghost's heart soften a few points, and he held up his arms and arrogantly sidestepped his head whatever. Since this kid wants to go, then go. Don't blame us if he dies, Zhu Sheng pretended to be grateful, and said thank you to elders. See, what is this? This is impeccable acting. Even big villains like Ghost and Chrysanthemum Guan. He was able to get along with them. The Star Du Great Forest was one of the three major soul beast settlements in the Dulio continent. The area was so large that it was almost equal to the land area of the Barak Kingdom, spanning across the borders of the Heavenly Du Empire and the Star Luo Empire. Two-fifths of the area was in the Heavenly Dipper Empire, the other three-fifths of the area is in the Star Luo Empire. Is a huge piece of primitive forest, the terrain within the forest is complex, there are wetlands, swamps, and so on. The soul beasts there were also extremely terrifying, and the closer to the center of the forest, the stronger the soul beasts were. At this moment, Zhu Sheng, along with Ghost and Chrysanthemum, spent only a few hours to reach the outer entrance of the Star Dipper Forest. Zhu Sheng looked at the vastness of the vastness of the forest in front of him, and couldn't help but sigh. Is this the Star Dipper Forest? Surprisingly, it is so big. He only stepped into the Star Dipper Great Forest. He could feel an infinite vitality, of course. At the same time, there is also a trace of the fascinating smell of blood. For a moment, the whole person seems to have really returned to the, the primitive forest. Yu Guan glanced at Zhu Sheng's surprised appearance and spoke out, let's go, this is the periphery of the Star Dipper Great Forest, and the soul beasts that appear are mostly ten years old and a hundred years old. And with your ninety level of soul power, there's no need to look at this garbage, especially plant martial souls, which are even harder to find suitable plants. After all, plants are weak in nature, only a very small portion can survive in the forest where there are many soul beasts. Zhu Sheng nodded and the three of them gradually began to walk towards the depths from the outer entrance of the Star Dipper Great Forest. Along the way, Zhu Sheng saw many strange soul beasts, such as the gray, black, two-meter, long mandala snake that climbed on a thick branch, a pair of dark purple eyes with dark pupils glaring, spitting out a letter from time to time to declare its sovereignty. The mutant praying mantis that was hunting had evolved to a size of one meter, especially its sharp blades, which could easily cut through a piece of rock. At the moment, Zhu Sheng was looking around to find soul beasts that were suitable for him. However, these levels were all too low for him. Yu Guan suddenly stopped and curiously turned his head to look at Zhu Sheng. Narrowing his eyes and inquiring kid, before this, can you tell me what direction you plan to develop your martial soul in? The ghost on the side heard what Yu Guan said and also looked towards Zhu Sheng with a wait and see attitude. In his opinion, Zhu Sheng should be the mutated martial soul of the Nine Hearts Begonia and it should be even more terrifying than that. However, according to reason, the Nine Heart Begonia's simple recovery ability, even beyond the continent's first auxiliary martial soul, Seven Treasure Glazed Tower. But this kid's martial soul is extremely evil. Towards the control system, development may be better. Zhu Sheng froze for a moment, then came back to his senses and pondered, I haven't thought about it yet. But it should be towards the auxiliary department, right? A few days ago, he had just awakened his martial soul. And indeed, he had not thought about what to develop his martial soul towards, but from the bottom of his heart. Zhu Sheng still felt that the auxiliary department was more suitable for him, after all, he really just wanted to be an inconspicuous salted fish. 
After hearing this, Yu Guan bared his teeth and laughed, mocking in a conspiratorial manner, auxiliary system. Kid, are you sure you're not kidding? Your kind of evil and pure martial soul is completely different from the Nine Hearts Begonia. Don't cure your teammates to death. Zhu Sheng also raised the corner of his mouth slightly, smilingly disliked back. Elder Ju, your martial soul should be a chrysanthemum. Right, even this kind of weak martial soul has offensive power. Why can't I become a supporting soul master with this martial soul? A snarky comment. How much you're laughing now? How much of a mess y'all be hunting soul beasts for me in a while? When Yu Guan heard this, he was furious and scolded bullshit. Kid, you are ignorant. My martial soul is the Kai Antler Tongshin Chrysanthemum, which is also a top-level plant, martial soul. His martial soul is not an ordinary plant martial soul, or else he would not have successfully cultivated to the 95 level of sealed duo. This was not many in the entire continent, enough to prove the strength of his martial soul. Ghost's face flashed with displeasure. Frowned and stopped in a cold voice, Yu too shut up. Yu Guan, who had a stomach full of anger, glared fiercely at Zhu Sheng, and then secretly sneered, Damn kid, when you run into a ten. Zero. Zero zero year old soul beast in a while. Let's see if you're still screaming. This kid is just a small place out of the guy, may not even have seen the soul beast, a moment to put a soul beast to scare him. Hey, 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 black. The moon off face color in the eyes of the heart of Zhu Sheng a cold. Look at this look, moon off a moment to get things ah, but all of a sudden, the entire surrounding began to emit a violent buzzing sound. The first of the three to sense the eyes of Yu Guan suddenly widened stepped forward to block the front of the two. He was vigilant and took a deep breath, looking towards the ghost's old ghost. You protect that kid. There's a big guy coming in front, if it didn't surprise him. This guy that was about to appear had a cultivation level close to 30. Zero, zero, zero years. Seeing that Yu Guan didn't seem to be looking at a joke, the ghost cautiously protected Zhu Sheng's surroundings around the four directions. But his mouth spat out in displeasure. Got it. If this guy dies, we'll have a hard time. Zhu Sheng looked ahead curiously and said in a small suave voice, A fellow that can make both chrysanthemum pass and ghost mistress wary. It seems that this soul beast is unusual, as expected. A huge wasp suddenly emerged from the bushes in front of them and swooped down towards the three of them under the buzzing sound that resounded through the sky. The wasp was four to five meters in size. Its tail was full of poisonous stings. Yu Guan's face changed drastically and exclaimed, It's a bloodthirsty wasp. It is highly poisonous, and its cultivation is almost close to thirty. Zero, zero, zero years old. Kid, what kind of big guy did you invite? Behind him, Zhu Sheng rolled his eyes and secretly spat. How should I know? Rather, it's you who is a sealed duluo who is scared by a thirty. Zero, zero, zero year old soul beast like this. How do you feel a little unreliable? This chrysanthemum off are so goatish that their own next to the guy can think also not much reliable. The bloodthirsty wasps come, bat power wasn't actually strong, but it possessed an extremely tough defense, especially those poisonous needles of his, which were the most headache inducing it also had a characteristic that once it smelled blood it would be immortal this was the kind of guy that even a sealed dulio wouldn't want to mess with so easily when it wasn't necessary this if a fight is a few thousand hair poison needle flying towards it that feeling is simply wonderful facing this kind of guy yu guan had to go all out and nine terrifying soul rings emerged from beneath his feet. Yellow, yellow, purple, purple, black, 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 black. In an instant, the terrifying aura of a 95-level sealed duluo instantly surged out. The bloodthirsty wasp, flying in the air, seemed to feel the terror of Yu Guan. His body suddenly retreated a step. A row of dense small eyes on the dense teeth were all scornful looking at Yu Guan did not in swooping over. Yu Guan saw this scene suddenly relieved, 
turned his head towards the ghost, and Zhu Sheng raised eyebrows dejected fortunately. This guy scorned my powerful strength, dare not. The ghost looked at the bloodthirsty wasps behind Yu Guan, rushed to him while his back was turned, and alertly said be careful. Yu Guan subconsciously turned to look, only to see a huge figure rushing towards him. He quickly sighed, stepped and jumped, narrowly avoiding the impact of the bloodthirsty wasp. Yu Guan was instantly ignited by a violent temper, angrily saying, Grass, you dead thing, I won't let you die today. His hallowed sealed Duluo had almost fallen into the hands of this sneaky little grasshopper. Absolutely unforgivable, Zhu Sheng's eyes jumped when he watched such a ridiculous scene. The corners of his mouth twitched as he approached Ghost Phantom and lowered his voice to inquire. Elder Ghost, is it because of you that Elder Ju was able to survive with such difficulty with his careless character? Ju Guan was able to cultivate himself to the level of a sealed Duluo without being tenderized to death. Would you say that's not strange? He seriously suspected that it was because of the existence of the ghostly chimera that filled in the gap of that guy's nervousness. Being asked by this soul, the ghost choked, coughed, and said with a disbelieving face, nonsense otherwise. Although that guy is a sealed Duluo, but I do not know how many times he died. In his hand, an abnormally large Kai Yun Tong Tianju appeared, and he said, "The third soul skill, breath boundary." Kai Velvet Tong Xianju instantly split out countless hard as steel petals enveloped the bloodthirsty wild wasp's surroundings, and then erupted a strong ripples. A light white light cover gradually covered it, and the ensuing huge compressive force directly blasted towards the bloodthirsty yellow wasp. Buzz, a miserable voice roared out from its mouth. Only to see the bloodthirsty wasp flying in the air as if it had been hit by a heavy hammer, falling straight down to the ground, smashing out a large sunken pit. Yu Guan floated in the air, his feet stepping on the Kai Velvet Tongshan chrysanthemum. Looking at the bloodthirsty wasp that fell into the large pit, his heart instantly felt refreshed. Then intense killing intent appeared in his eyes. He rushed towards the bloodthirsty wasp, prepared to die. In the straight line that Yu Guan rushed towards the bloodthirsty yellow peak, the huge body of the bloodthirsty yellow peak that should have fallen to the ground stood to, violently turned around, and aimed its blood red eyes at Yu Guan. And in the next moment, countless poisonous needles popped out from its tail that hid the poisonous needles. And in an instant, the densely packed needles and eyes were massive. And this scene was enough to see that Bloodthirsty Yellow Peak's defense was extremely strong. Taking a hard hit from the sealed Duluo's ass, rushed over the moon off, narrowed his eyes, looked at this, let a person's scalp numb poisonous needle. Quite disdainful, said Sculpture Worm. Small skills, fifth soul skill, Hurricane catch the sky. This simple soul beast still thought that he would fall for it. Besides, just a few broken poison needles. Do you really think it can hurt me? As the words fell, the Kai Velvet Tong Tianju instantly released steel petals that roamed the sky and rotated rapidly, forming a violent whirlwind that directly blasted away in just a split second. Those densely packed poison needles were instantly blown away by this violent whirlwind. See, his own trick on this man did not work. The opposite side of the bloodthirsty Huang Feng also seems to feel very uneasy. Quickly stirred the wings, want to fly to the sky. Yu Guan immediately saw the intention of this beast. The first step coldly drank, said, "Still want to fly? Then I will cut your wings for you." Sixth soul skill, golden ruby flooding haze. Kai Velvet Tongshan Chrysanthemum instantly flew into the sky, and then very similar to the previous bloodthirsty yellow peaks means of attack. These petals appeared with intense golden light all over their bodies. And densely scattered towards the ground. This is Yu Guan's ranged attack soul skill. No matter the power and range, it's not as good as the outbursts of the previous soul skills, but it's better than the number of them. These huge petals mercilessly cut through bloodthirsty Yellow Peak's body, like streams of light cutting its torso. And in no time at all, the skin was cut with a trace of lavender blood. Its wings were also successfully cut off under this fierce attack. And a pair of huge but thin wings fell to the ground just like that. 
Zhu Sheng surveyed the desperately fighting Yu Guan and said with a smile, not bad, Elder Ju has suffered a loss. His intelligence has grown. This chrysanthemum guan ate just bloodthirsty Yellow Peak's loss, if he fell for it again. The level of the sealed Duluo was pulled down by him. The ghost looked at the bloodthirsty Yellow Peak that was beaten back by Yu Guan, and faintly said, Kid, if this bloodthirsty Yellow Peak is a plant martial soul is okay, it is just right that it can be given to you to make a soul ring. But unfortunately, Bloodthirsty Yellow Peak is indeed quite suitable for Zhu Sheng, absorbing its soul ring. Perhaps Zhu Sheng's Nine Hearts Blood Tongue Martial Soul will add toxin familiarity, and with a bit of luck, you can also get a Y, Drange Attack Soul Skill. Zhu Sheng's brain surfaced a big question mark. He was a bit confused. How was this soul beast a pity? He himself happened to have fallen for this bloodthirsty Yellow Peak. He immediately spoke out Elder Ghost. I've thought it over. My first soul ring is this bloodthirsty wasp. Ghost, on the other hand, stared at Zhu Sheng with an expression of your teasing me. The corners of his mouth twitching up, huh? Kid, your martial soul is a plant, based martial soul. How come if you absorb this animal, based martial soul? I'm afraid that y'all burst and die due to rejection. The entire continent who does not know. The plant system cannot absorb the animal system soul ring. And vice versa, the animal system cannot absorb the plant system soul ring. This kid said to absorb the bloodthirsty yellow peak of the soul ring. Fear is not crazy, and this TM is a 30. Zero, zero, zero year old soul beast. Even his and Yu Guan's ninth soul ring is only 80. Zero, zero, zero years old. If this guy absorbed it, hell knows if he would burp on the spot. Zhu Sheng suddenly had a flash of light and secretly said the current soul masters don't agree with master's ten core theory. No wonder he was so surprised. He took a look at the ghost's incomparably wary cheeks and knew that without some trickery. This martial soul was definitely going to fizzle out, so Zhu Sheng calmly covered the corners of his mouth and coughed a few times. Smilingly looking at Ghost Phantom, his words full of confidence elder ghost, am not joking, because my martial soul is a bit special. Able to absorb the soul rings of all soul beasts, when Ghost Phantom heard this, his eyebrows wrinkled slightly. Zhu Sheng's martial soul he had seen before. It could be said that it was even more powerful than Chrysanthemum, past top plant martial soul. The confidence on this kid's face didn't seem to be faked. Could it be that he could really absorb animal soul rings? Learning this conclusion, he trembled and surveyed Zhu Sheng with the look of a monster, good fellow, the plant department absorbing the animal department. I'm afraid it's going to set another precedent. The ghost pondered for a while and answered yes, but this is what you want to absorb. It has nothing to do with me and him. Yao'd better write a letter. If something goes wrong and hangs up, I too also have an explanation. Ghost is not a reckless person. Zhu Sheng wants to absorb this soul ring, can, he does not care, but must leave something to prove that there is no connection with himself and Chrysanthemum Pass. Otherwise waiting for him too is the wrath of Pope by Bidong. The moment he thought of the last time, His Holiness, the Pope, was angry. His heart was terrified. Zhu Sheng smiled faintly and thanked. Thank you, Elder Ghost. He then took the parchment handed to him by the ghost. And after writing it down, he returned it back to the ghost, the ghost took it, looked at it, and put it away. With this, his heart was much more solid. Yu Guan, who used the Kai Antler Tongshin Ju to repel the bloodthirsty Yellow Peak with a single blow, looked at the two people talking happily on one side, and himself here bitterly fighting monsters. He turned his head towards the ghost and cursed. I say, old ghost, don't just watch the show, this soul beast is thirty. Zero, zero, zero years old and has thick skin. I can't get him dead in a while. The ghost glanced at the bloodthirsty wasp that was bruised and battered, but still full of life, and then looked at Yu Guan, spreading his hands, and said indifferently, wasn't it, you yourself, who asked me to protect this guy? Don't tell me that you can't even handle this soul beast. Yu Guan glared at him angrily. Cut the crap. Hurry up and finish this soul beast with me. Ghostly's feet rose nine soul rings, very breathless, rushed over. After that, 
with Ghostlies joining in, facing the attack of the two-sealed Duluo, the bloodthirsty Wasp, whose defense was no longer as strong as it was at the moment, also collapsed to the ground, its entire body twitching constantly. Yu Guan wiped the sweat on his forehead, clapped his hands and took a deep breath finally solved, this ghost thing really can't be beaten. Let's hurry up and leave now, the ghost pointed to Zhu Sheng next to him, and rolled his eyes, what's the point of leaving? Don't see that this guy hasn't absorbed his soul ring yet, he pulled out a sharp blade from his pocket and threw it to Zhu Sheng. The latter took it and gripped it tightly, walking over to the bloodthirsty wasp and disliking it directly towards his head. A deep black soul ring slowly emerged from the soul beast's body. Zhu Sheng sat down on the ground and closed his eyes to meditate. Looking at this scene, Yu Guan said gruffly old ghost, This kid is a plant system. Ghost first waved his hand to stop the latter half of his sentence, and then the corner of his mouth slightly curved. Faintly said this kid said that his martial soul can absorb all the soul rings. And even if he died, there is this thing, but also not implicated in our two bodies, he gently patted the parchment in his pants pocket. Wait now is not this a bit too high? Profile. Zhu Sheng frowned. He didn't want to attract the attention of the entire audience every time he revealed his martial soul. The dignity of being a salted fish didn't allow him to do so. Well, to put it bluntly, he just purely wanted to do something different. Thinking about it, he suddenly had a flash of light, and his mind seemed to have found a new path. He secretly murmured since the soul ring can be given to the body of the owner of the martial soul. Then, can we try to use the martial soul to attract the soul ring and absorb it within the martial soul? This will not only retain the power of the soul ring, but also make the soul skill more powerful, but Yu Guan, who didn't know what Zhu Sheng was doing, tipped his chin and patted the shoulder of the ghost next to him. Old ghost, do you think this kid is scared? After thinking about it, he felt that Zhu Sheng was absorbing soul rings for the first time and probably didn't know the method of absorbing soul rings, thinking of this, he was about to walk over to tell Zhu Sheng. But just halfway there, Zhu Sheng's body finally moved. The ghost only then stopped the movement of his feet. Only to see Zhu Sheng slowly stood up, took a step back towards the rear, and looked squarely in front of the deep soul ring. This look of the moon, the moon, is dry and anxious, cannot wait to slap him to death. Absorb, a soul ring, is also so ink. Impatient, loudly reprimanded, I said the boy. You, in the end, to absorb or not. Do not waste our time. A moment but also for you to hunt eight ten thousand years of soul beasts, ah, before he finished speaking. The ghost stopped his words, wait, don't talk first, this guy, only to see Zhu Sheng's mind move, the nine hearts' blood tong slowly blossomed with a blood, colored light from the heart of his hand. He tried to control the nine heart blood begonia to seduce the blood inside the bloodthirsty imperial peak. Who knows? The dead bloodthirsty wasp's full body instantly dried and flattened, and a drop of pure essence blood coalesced out from its flesh and blood. One drop the two drops of blood quietly fused into one, forming a stream of hot air like a clear spring and then straight towards the petals of the nine hearts blood, begonia to irrigate, absorbing this blood. The already scarlet nine hearts blood begonia is more demonic and more divine, before, scaring Yu Guan a cold body. Quietly shrinking body I rely on, old ghost, this kid's martial soul is not bad ah, even able to control the flow of blood. What he was afraid of was not the current Zhu Sheng. But whether this martial soul would be able to directly control the blood gushing out of other soul masters when it grew. That scene, just thinking about it, would make one sweat. The ghost seemed to have also seen the weirdness of this martial soul, but was silent as he stared at Zhu Sheng's next move. Zhu Sheng smiled gently towards the nine hearts' blood tang in his hand that was filled with the smell of blood, and inquired in a soft voice, If you're full, are you ready to start? Who knows? The nine hearts begonia in his hand trembled, emitting a buzzing sound as if responding to Zhu Sheng's words just now. Zhu Sheng, who had gotten the response, looked happy. It seems that giving a soul ring to a martial soul 
can really be realized. He took a deep breath, then raised his head and put the soul ring on his head. He took a deep breath, then raised his head and placed his gaze on the 10,000-year-old soul ring. With the nine hearts blood begonia floating in the palm of his hand, he casually stroked towards it. The nine hearts begonia immediately understood Zhu Sheng's meaning and utilized its unique ability to pull the soul ring in front of him bit by bit. Subsequently, after this 10,000 years soul ring touched the nine hearts blood begonia, it unexpectedly began to be swallowed up by a thread. After only a few seconds, the entire 10,000 years soul ring was completely absorbed by the nine hearts blood begonia. Afterwards, he felt the soul skill message coming from his mind and knew that he had succeeded. First soul ring. 30,000 years of cultivation, soul technique, begonia blossom, open countless blood begonia petals in the sky to cut the enemy. With a weak toxicity, successfully cut the enemy and touch the blood to feed itself, Zhu Sheng was inwardly surprised. This soul skill seems to have inherited the toxicity and attack method of the bloodthirsty wasp. But he had to admit that this cutting the enemy and feeding himself was something he hadn't thought of. Yu Guan and Ghost Misty, who had watched the scene just now, exchanged glances and came over to Zhu Sheng's side. Yu Guan grabbed Zhu Sheng's two arms and asked with an impatient expression, kid, where is the bloodthirsty wasp's soul ring? Was it devoured by your martial soul? Ghostly Phantom also curiously said, Kid, quickly tell us, where is the soul ring from just now? Zhu Sheng smiled mysteriously at them. Didn't you see it? I devoured it. Seeing Zhu Sheng's beaten look. Even Yu Guan, who wanted to get to the bottom of the matter, also disdained the sidewalk and said, Chi, don't say it, who cares to know, however... The pair of eyes staring at Zhu Sheng's nine hearts blood tongue martial soul exposed his thoughts. Ghost also will face the curiosity convergence up. Coughed a look at your appearance also does not seem to have something ah. Do not want to say even if. Then continue to hunt the next soul beasts at Zhu Sheng still light laugh a few times. Then the trouble to elders, if possible. I will be in the front of the teacher to give you a few words of good. S. Yu Guan's eyes flashed with a trace of appreciation. This kid was quite sensible. They were mercifully not targeting him after this kid had said so. Don't talk nonsense. Speed hunt the next soul beast. Finally, when night came, Zhu Sheng finally finished hunting the last eighty. Zeros. Ero zero year old soul beast. This soul beast was also so difficult that it barely managed to kill it when Yu Guan and Ghost Mistress executed their martial soul fusion techniques. Even Zhu Sheng almost thought that these two goods were going to be killed by this soul beast. Yu Guan covered his injured chest, a few threads of blood spilling out from the corner of his mouth, and gasped for air with some sadness and indignation. Kid, this time, you have to remember the kindness of me and the old ghost, and I've almost been killed by this soul beast. The ghost also covered his mouth and squatted on the wooden pier next to him, constantly gasping for air without saying anything. In order to hunt this soul beast, both of their soul power had been overconsumed. These two people have spared their lives for themselves before. Now he does not do something always feel overwhelmed. He took out two bottles of water and handed it over. Hehe <laughs> smiled and said, Jew, Moon Elder, Ghost Elder have a drink of water and rest a little bit. Today does thank you both of you. Yu Guan and Ghost Phantom took a hand and drank a large mouthful of pain, which only relaxed a lot. Yu Guan felt that his heart was still a little itchy because of the things in the morning, blinking his eyes and tried to say, The two of us accompanied you today can almost even take a ride on the life. Can you tell us about your martial soul absorbing the soul ring? Zhu Sheng heard, smiled and said, Naturally, the two elders, this is my answer, then waved his hand and quietly released the soul rings contained in the nine hearts blood tongue to his feet. Nine profound and incomparable black soul rings slowly rose from under his feet, and an even more terrifying aura than that of Yu Guan and Ghost Phantom thumped into existence. For a while, the trees around the entire area bristled, the wind was more than just gusty, 
and even the soul beasts in the vicinity fled after sensing this terrifying power. This pressure made both Ghost Mistress and Yu Guan have to cast out their soul rings to resist. Yu Guan and Ghost Mistress both looked at Zhu Sheng in astonishment, and the thoughts in their hearts were coincidental. If this kid wasn't unable to use his soul ring right now, I'm afraid that his strength would only be stronger than both Ghost Mimic, Yu Guan, and I. Ghost Phantom saw the dense black soul rings under Zhu Sheng's feet and said helplessly, Kid, hurry up and put away the outburst of soul power. A moment to attract other powerful soul beasts, we all have to be planted here today. Outbursts of horrifying soul power in the Stardable Great Forest. Although it will deter the lower class soul beasts, although bursting out with terrifying soul power in the Stardable Great Forest would deter the lower soul beasts. It was also likely to absorb those terrifying soul beasts that were glad to fight and good at fighting. Which was not a good thing for Yu Guan and Ghostly Mistress, who were already drained of their strength right now. Yu Guan did not have the good sense to make a neck-wiping action, then coldly scared kid, I tell you. In the future, don't revenge Ah, or I and the old ghost must first kill you. He was really afraid that after giving this kid a soul ring hunt, he would turn his face away. Zhu Sheng laughed a little bitterly. Did he look like this kind of person? Reincorporating the nine pitch, black soul rings back into the nine hearts blood tongue. After he was done, Zhu Sheng was about to sit down and rest when he suddenly realized that Ghost Phantom and Yu Guan's faces had drastically changed. Yu Guan stood up and looked towards Ghost Phantom gruffly. Narrowing his eyes, old ghost, do you feel it? This breath, Ghost Phantom also stood up, raised his eyes and glanced in the direction of that breath. Affirming that's right, it's that one, hundred. Zeros, ero zero year old rabbit soul beast that escaped. This aura was exactly the same as the aura of the little girl who had taken human form when they had hunted that one, hundred. Zero, zero zero year old soul beast with Bibai Dong in the Stardew Great Forest back then. Even though the two of them were speaking very quietly, Zhu Sheng could hear them clearly and probably understood what they were saying. He secretly pondered one, hundred, zero, zero, zero year old rabbit soul beast, little dance, it seems that now Tang San should not have entered the Nodden Academy to worship the master as a teacher. Only to see Yu Guan side, tone with a few hints of regret, said boy. I knew that your last soul ring is not in a hurry to absorb. Maybe you can also get you a one, hundred, zero, zero, zero year soul ring, if not for the fact that his soul ring had already been absorbed to its fullest. This precious one hundred, zero, zero, zero year soul ring he would fight tooth and nail to get his hands on as far as he knew. In the entire Duluo continent, there were only two people who possessed a one, hundred, zeros, ero, zero year soul ring, Hao Tian Duluo. Tang Hao and their Pope Highness, by Bidong, Zhu Sheng, who was in the middle of his thoughts, immediately came back to his senses when he was told this, and pretended to be elated. Ah, Elder Ju, Elder Yu, what did you guys just mean? You can get me a one, hundred, zeros, ero, zero year old soul ring. This is Junior's wife, if he hunts down the soul ring for himself. Eh, it seems like it's not impossible, ah. Maybe the plot would change as a result, thinking so, but it was already too late. All of his own soul rings were absorbed. The ghost mercilessly interrupted Zhu Sheng's fantasies and rolled his eyes at the latter. Don't think about it. There's an even more terrifying guy following around that soul beast with the current state of Chrysanthemum, Guan, and I. I'm only afraid that we'll be giving away our heads. E. Ghost Mistress also sat on the ground. It seems like we have to settle down a bit. Kid, y'all be the one to help me and the old ghost guard the law today. He casually commanded a sentence after closing his eyes and concentrating on recovering his soul power up. Zhu Sheng helplessly shrugged his shoulders and summoned out the nine hearts blood tongue from his right hand heart. Staring at the knight emitting a weird red aura, the nine hearts blood tongue, his eyes were quite interested and said since I'm already a sealed duluo. Shouldn't I get a name? All of a sudden, the heart surfaced a few seals. Blood Tong Duluo, too earthy. Ice Tong Duluo, afraid of it. 
Why Tong Duluo, I go. How come this title just can't afford to go through with the sugar ah? The night was over. Zhu Sheng and the others also quickly rushed back inside the martial soul hall from the Star Do Great Forest. Yu Guan, who bowed with a clasped fist, cautiously looked at the beautiful woman sitting on the imperial throne. Who is every bit as mesmerizing, lowering his voice respectfully, he said, Your Holiness, the old ghost and I have already accompanied this little. Holy son, to finish hunting soul beasts, on the throne, by Bidong, who had his eyes slightly closed, opened his glowing eyes, and his thin lips slightly opened, not bad, afterwards, that pair of stirring eyes turned, and his curious gaze flowed on Zhu Sheng, and then elegantly said, Zhu Sheng, now release your soul ring, you'll see to what extent. Zhu Sheng took a step forward. Yes, teacher. Then his mind moved, and the nine hearts blood tongue slowly appeared in the palm of his right hand, and after the increase of the soul ring, both the killing intent it contained and its form were far from what they were before. Nine soul rings glowing with black ons levitated from under Zhu Sheng's feet under her precise control. Extremely terrifying pressure came towards Bai Bidong, only to see her fingertips gently pointing. These surging pressures instantly turned invisible. Only then did Bai Bidong look at the soul rings under Zhu Sheng's feet, and according to the fluctuations revealed by the soul rings. Bai Bidong's face gradually revealed surprise there are even three soul rings that are close to forty, zero, zero, zero years old. She originally thought that with Zhu Sheng's body, the highest it could withstand was a twenty, zero's, zero, zero year old soul ring. And this unexpected gain did make her a bit sudden. Zhu Sheng smiled blandly and looked towards Ghost and Yu Guan. It's thanks to Elder Yu and Elder Ghost that Disciple was able to so easily absorb the. Bai Bidong looked at Zhu Sheng even when he was facing himself, but also always remained unassuming and unassuming, inwardly sighed this heart. Really beyond his age, ah, she got up from the throne, walked to the front of Zhu Sheng, looked at his slightly youthful face, and looked at his face. She got up from the throne and walked in front of Zhu Sheng. Looking at his handsome face that was slightly green, for a while, she was in a trance, and her palms somehow touched Zhu Sheng's cheeks. Being so white and smooth, her fingers touched her cheeks, and she was so happy to see him, by such white and silky fingers touching his cheeks. Zhu Sheng's heart was in turmoil, and his cheeks couldn't help but blush, softly reminding him, Teacher, you are a good teacher, by Bidong's pupils were stunned. His fingers shrank back from Zhu Sheng's cheeks like an electric shock. Face remained the same, Zhu Sheng, although your soul power has reached the sealed Duluo, but you still need to know more about the knowledge of the martial soul. And in the future in the palace of the martial souls, learn it the ghosts under the stage, and Yu Guan looked stunned. Yu Guan, did his holiness the Pope touch Zhu Sheng's cheek just now? Ghostly it seems like it, SHH. Don't make a sound. Pretend you didn't see it. Yu Guan understood. Over. Bai Bidong then looked at Yu Guan and Ghostly, who were silent with their heads bowed down at the back, and said in a cold tone, Yu Guan, and Ghostly, the tone of his voice was cold and grinning. Yu Guan, Ghost Mimic, you first go out. The unknown Ghost Mimic and Yu Guan got up. Yes, your majesty, the Pope at that moment. They left the temple in a very familiar walking posture. Half a minute later, a clear and pleasant voice came from outside the hall teacher. Are you looking for me? The girl stepped in, dressed in a long strapless dress like glass, like a feather, like soft. Blue pupils, such as the night sea waves. Golden hair, like a waterfall, like strands of wisps, sliding across the face of the land. Filled with a faintly charming atmosphere, a smile between the knitted brows more moving, just saw the first impression of this girl. Zhu Sheng's heart first thought of Kyan Rangsu, only because this elegant, high and cold little girl in front of her was not at all as flirtatious as it was afterward. Next to Bai Bidong, when he saw Hu Lina, the coldness in his eyes weakened by a few points, and he softly said come over first when you're here. Right, yes. Teacher, I don't know what teacher is looking for me today. Jelena elegantly moved next to Bai Bidong and respectfully said, although she was talking to Bai Bidong, 
Her curious gaze still inadvertently looked towards Zhu Sheng. When she saw Zhu Sheng's charmingly handsome cheeks, her face blushed slightly, and she secretly whispered, Who is this child? Surprisingly so handsome, who Lena dare to say, in all the boys he has seen, cannot find a temperament and appearance can be compared with Zhu Sheng, especially his body invisible sense of lethargy, actually let their heartbeat slightly accelerated. She usually always think highly of herself, did not expect that there would be someone who would make her heart beat faster just by seeing him. Bai Bidong nodded slightly and looked towards Zhu Sheng, explaining softly to Hu Lina, Lina, his name is Zhu Sheng, and he's the disciple I just accepted. Hu Lina nodded slightly at the words. Her heart was a little surprised. This is the saint's son that was rumored yesterday, worthy of being the teacher's favorite person, certainly not simple. My name is Hulina, this year eleven years old, and you, Hulina stretched out her hand, face smiled, and said, Eleven years old, surprisingly, it's even older than his own age, it's also right, Tang San is nine years old. And his own age is only one year older than Tang San, so it seems that age, wise, it's really a little bit younger than the younger generation of the Palace of Martial Souls. Zhu Sheng is very gentlemanly after reaching out and shaking his hand for a moment. He quickly let go, and also reported a smile. Hello, my name is Zhu Sheng. I'm ten years old this year. Hu Lina's eyes flashed through the color of astonishment. What, what, he's only ten years old. After Hu Lina saw Zhu Sheng's unique temperament for the first time, she naturally thought of his age as a bit more mature. She didn't realize that he was even a year younger than herself. Next to Bai Bidong's, beautiful eyes watched the two get along well, and the worries in her heart dissipated a lot. She gently touched the amethyst scepter and said in a light tone, Lina, today I called you over, in addition to letting you and Zhu Sheng get to know each other. But I also want to tell you that in the future, Zhu Sheng will be studying with your team as well. Although Hulina's face didn't show any unhappy expression, she was worried but teacher, my brother and them. She didn't really, she doesn't mind, but they have to sharpen their team for so long and suddenly add a person. The corner of Bai Bidong's mouth slightly curved, staring at Zhu Sheng's gaze with a brilliant light, no problem. Zhu Sheng's ability can be far stronger than the other auxiliary system soul masters. No, instead of saying Zhu Sheng is an auxiliary system soul master, it's better to say Zhu Sheng is an auxiliary system soul master. No, instead of saying that Zhu Sheng is an auxiliary soul master, it would be better to say that he is an auxiliary dual system soul master. Zhu Sheng, who didn't make a sound, held his chin and pondered, A, he is going to join the golden generation of the Palace of Martial Souls. Interesting, in this way, it seems to be a bit conflicting with the plan that he thought of after. Bai Bidong had said this, Hu Lina naturally did not dare to say anything more, and nodded her head obediently in response. I understand, teacher, only then did Bai Bidong turn his gaze to Zhu Sheng who froze there, frowning slightly. Patiently inquiring Zhu Sheng, you don't have any opinions, do you, Zhu Sheng, who had returned to his senses? Shook his head blandly, I don't have an opinion. I don't have an opinion on how the teacher arranges things in the face of what the beautiful teacher had said. He couldn't bear to refute it at all, of course, that wasn't the main factor, Bai Bidong's brows then relaxed. And then commanded, if you don't have any opinions, it's decided, Lina, y'all take Zhu Sheng to the place where y'all be studying. Don't look down on the Pope's palace, although it sounds small. But if there's no one to lead the way, it's very likely that Yao'll get lost. Don't underestimate the Pope's palace. Jelena glanced at Zhu Sheng and bowed slightly. Yes, teacher, then we will leave first. Zhu Sheng and Jelena walked in unison. The road was still far away. But the atmosphere was already awkward to the extreme. Zhu Sheng looked at Hu Lina, then coughed gently. Deciding to take the lead in opening his mouth, can't let Hu Lina open her mouth first. Girls are usually shy. Of course, including Hulina at this time, his eyes slowly looked over, and his tone slowly said that. Hulina, 
hearing Zhu Sheng's query. Jelena paused in her steps and said with a puzzled look on her face, A hey, Zhu Sheng, is there something wrong? In fact, her heart was also very nervous just now, but with Zhu Sheng opening his mouth to break the deadlock. The atmosphere also eased a lot of, after all, with this boy, her heartbeat would always inexplicably accelerate. This made her feel a little flustered, but in the bottom of her heart, she seemed to secretly expect something. This kind of feeling, she felt a little flustered, looking forward to something, this feeling, she can feel it. But she cannot say it. Zhu Sheng smiled elegantly and asked softly that, Can you tell me what line of soul master you are? Hu Lina, seeing Zhu Sheng's obviously embarrassed and feigned calm expression, couldn't help but reach out and cover her mouth with a smile. This slight smile seemed to make everything around her dim in the face of Zhu Sheng's gaze. She realized that she seemed to be a bit out of line, and immediately apologized and said Zhu Sheng, just now I just. Zhu Sheng did not mind blinking her eyes and complimented it's okay. Just now when you smile, it's really beautiful ah, smile more. It's good being attacked by Zhu Sheng's so gentle words. Even if she had a smile, she would not have been able to see it. She would have been able to see it. Being attacked by Zhu Sheng's gentle words, even Hu Lina, who is usually very cold, involuntarily turned red in the face. She gently touched the roots of her own hot ears and said to herself in warm anger, What am I thinking of? Obviously, and Zhu Sheng has only known but one hour. Hu Lina's change was naturally seen by Zhu Sheng in the eyes. He is not good at stimulating the former. Zhu Sheng came close to her side, stretching out the palm of his hand in front of Hulina's eyes slightly waving. Hulina, 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 who had returned to her senses, saw Zhu Sheng who was so close to her and subconsciously moved a few steps to the side, then quietly took a deep breath, revealing a slightly stiff smile, yes, is it, that, continue just said it, I am a control system soul master. The martial soul is a heavenly fox at that moment, Hulina's mind moved, and countless particles emanated from in front of her, and then condensed a foot arm size, a layer of furry snow white skin, which was an extremely haughty looking fox. Just the red vertical pupil is full of endless power of charm. Two soul rings with yellow light float under the feet. Zhu Sheng looked at this fox that looks very spiritual. Holding his chin to measure this heavenly fox looks so beautiful, just like you, said Zhu Sheng, and you are the same. The words fell, Hulina's mind like a heavy blow. She shyly lowered her head, silently pursed her thin lips, do not know what to say. His words inadvertently completely broke his own thoughts. Then, what about your martial soul? So shy, Hulina did not even dare to raise her eyes to look straight into Zhu Sheng's eyes. Zhu Sheng looked at her, this shy appearance helplessly shook his head. It seems that Hulina wants to achieve the appearance of a scourge in the future. There is still a long way to go. He was full of calm and said, I am an auxiliary system soul master, martial soul, nine heart blood tongue. The next moment, under the mixture of fishy red and evil breath, the nine heart blood tongue full of fatal temptation slowly blossomed from the heart of his hand. Immediately, a raging powerful aura suddenly flowed out from Zhu Sheng's body, caught off guard suddenly. Nine dark despairing soul ring let Zhu Sheng simply cannot inhibit, instantly directly burst out. The entire surrounding immediately set off a horrible gale. Directly let Zhu Sheng and Hulina's side of the outbreak of a strong soul power pressure. Hulina stretched out the white arm, blocked the violent wind. Forced to squint her left eye and looked at Zhu Sheng beside her in shock. Zhu Sheng, who came back to his senses, broke out in a cold sweat and secretly cursed crap. Play big, I thought of this. Quickly nine soul rings back to the martial soul in the, in an instant. Around the previous abnormalities such as the waves, quietly calmed down, Hulina shocked eyes staring at Zhu Sheng. Thin lips are about to open the mouth, Zhu, Zhu Sheng stretched out his fingers between his lips and smiled gently and said, Wait a minute, he'll tell you later. His expression seems to have magic. Hulina blushed, subconsciously nodded. And then, the huge guards stationed in the palace of martial souls, sensed the difference, quickly rushed over. 
the head of the guards walked to Zhu Sheng in front of the two men, bowed down to put his arms on the chest. His tone was incredibly serious. Holy son, holy maiden highness, I'm sorry to let you be frightened. I wonder if you can tell me what just happened, nothing major. It's just that Elder Jew and Elder Ghost had a fight just now. So they leaked their soul power. It's already fine, seeing this answer from Zhu Sheng. The personal guards frowned with doubt and turned their gaze to Hulina. That brat was only made a holy son by His Holiness the Pope yesterday, so I don't know if what he said can be believed. But a holy maiden is a different story. Hulina just wanted to tell the truth, choked after looking at Zhu Sheng and chose to silently nod. The pro guard saw it clearly and then stood up again. Since this is the case, then I want bother the holy maiden. The holy son withdraw after saying that. He led a group of personal guards to leave the place, who Lena's innocent cheeks flushed with great doubt, her curious gaze sweeping towards Zhu Sheng, Zhu Sheng. Can you tell me now, could the nine that just appeared be? Zhu Sheng didn't answer immediately. Instead, he approached Hu Lina with a relaxed face, smelling the fresh scent that only belongs to young girls emanating from her body. He couldn't help but rub her hair, even he himself didn't know that his eyes were full of doting color. Seeing that Hu Lina froze at his own action, the corner of Zhu Sheng's mouth silently curved up in an arc. And he attached his ear and spit out a hot breath and said, Well, it's the nine ten thousand year soul rings. But Lina, you have to keep it a secret for me. After the hot air flowed into the ear root, which was already hot. Hu Lina was suddenly struck by lightning and a strong sense of numbness spread all over her body. She gently pushed Zhu Sheng away in a slight haste. And her words were choked with a few points and said, I know. I promise not to say anything. I promise I won't say anything. The mood was dark. Zhu Sheng is actually a sealed duo. Is it possible that the teacher is aware of this and has specially asked him to join us? But why is Zhu Sheng, who is obviously the same age as himself, already a sealed duluo. You have to know that there aren't many sealed duluos in the entire continent. The rarity can be imagined. Zhu Sheng was pushed away without any annoyance, whispered just a joke, let's go cannot stimulate her again. Mainly Zhu Sheng did not expect Hu Lina's reaction is so fierce, if it causes resentment can be more than worth the loss. Although he first met Hu Lina a little heartbroken, although he was a little moved when he first met Zhu Lina, he knew that he was just greedy for Jelena's body. Hulina shook her head, throwing away all the thoughts that had just gone through her head, and returned to her normal state with a very coy smile. Ah, good. In her mind, Helena decided to take what had just happened as a joke. After the two walked a short distance again, an extremely extravagant-looking academy finally appeared in front of them. The entire academy covers a very large area, and its appearance carries a faint ancient style. Especially the orientation of the arrangement is all deliberate by specialists many times. Of course, the most people are of course. The most marvelous thing is not these, but this academy is specially built for the golden generation of the Marshall Spirit Hall. Just to concentrate the best resources and teachers, to put it more simply, this academy was only opened for three people. No, it should be four people now, who Lina pointed at the academy and excitedly said Zhu Sheng, this is where my brothers and I will study. It's also the only academy in the Marshall Spirit Hall that was specially built for us. Speaking of this, who Lina's face revealed a faint color of pride. Zhu Sheng raised his eyes and looked at the academy. It's indeed very good, but isn't it too cold if there are only a few people in this academy? When Hu Lina heard this, the essence of her eyes dimmed by a few points, and she smiled bitterly with some helplessness, teachers are very strict with us. So except for special circumstances, all of us have to do our best to cultivate and study, of course. In the future, maybe because you make an exception to it, Zhu Sheng is already a sealed duluo, so do not need to practice more but still have to learn some about the soul beasts, the team match, and so on. Zhu Sheng meaningfully, Yao looked at this college again. 
It seems that another college that is not mentioned in the original book. It seems to be another place that is not mentioned in the original. The corner of his mouth muttered maybe. Hu Lina and Zhu Sheng walked into the only class in the academy. Into the eyes of the middle-aged slightly fat man, Kai Yuo, don't look at his appearance. This person's cultivation has reached a horrifying seventy, three battle soul saint. And there were only two students who were listening intently under the stage. Amazing, Martial Soul, Flame Lord. Soul Power Level 25, Evil Moon, Jelena's older brother, Martial Soul, Evil Moon Blade, Soul Power Level 26. Hu Lina smiled and said, Mr. Kai Yuo, I didn't disturb your class, did I? Kai Yuo shook his head. This was the holy maiden of the palace of martial souls. Who would dare to say anything about her that wasn't? However, despite this, his gaze glanced to Zhu Sheng on the side and inquired towards who Lina this child is. Hu Lina smiled towards the evil moon below, amazing, and explained his name is Zhu Sheng, and he is also the holy son of the martial soul hall. We'll also be practicing here. Kai Yuo took a closer look and commented pertinently worthy of being the holy son of the Martial Soul Hall. It was rumored within the Martial Soul Hall yesterday. This unique temperament is really different Yan under the stage saw this scene. His heart was incomparably furious. What? This guy just joined. How dare he stand so close to Hulina? He has been secretly in love with Jelena for a long time, if it wasn't for the fact that his brother... Evil Moon was also here. He would have confessed his love for her long ago. No, we must fix him up in a while. Looking at this little white face, his soul power must not be strong. Evil Moon, on the other hand, narrowed his eyes this guy. Can't see his soul power fluctuations at all. But this guy seems to be more handsome than me, ah no. Can't allow a guy who is more handsome than me to come in. He looked at Amazing, who was sitting next to him and secretly said, this guy definitely can't help himself, right as Jelena's brother, he knew exactly what Amazing was thinking about his sister. Although, Hulina doesn't have any feelings for Yan, let this Dao down Monkler pass share go to explore a bit. Kai Yuo stroked his beard, then slowly said in that case, let's leave today's lesson to yourselves. Familiarize yourselves with your teammates' martial souls. As well as their respective strengths and weaknesses, Originally, Helena, Evil Moon, and Amazing had been honing their skills for a long time and were familiar with each other. But now there is a new child. Then there is a need to re-understand. Otherwise, in the future, the team tasks it understanding and cooperation will create a big problem. After the words, also did not wait for a few people to reply. They left the room on their own. Helena then breathed a sigh of relief subconsciously pulled Zhu Sheng towards Evil Moon and the two of them. Evil Moon and Yan slowly stood up from their seats, both staring expressionlessly at Zhu Sheng who had come over, seeing that her brother and Yan were so unfriendly. Hulina smiled awkwardly. Zhu Sheng, let me introduce them to you. Zhu Sheng sniffed and smiled sideways as he replied back, then ill trouble you. But his gaze was always gazing at Evil Moon and Yan. He always felt as if these two were hostile to him. It was as if he was eating his family's rice, which was very uncomfortable, of course, when he was sizing up Evil Moon and Yan. They were also sizing up Zhu Sheng. Helena pointed at Evil Moon and said, This is my brother, Evil Moon. And his martial soul is the blade of the Evil Moon, Moon's blade, and his soul power has reached level 20, 6. Only to see Evil Moon wearing a head of gray hair, a handsome cheek without any expression, but above the right eyebrow is covered with a blood-red line like a wound. Quite a few hints of unruly demeanor. Zhu Sheng, with a look of harmlessness, stretched out his hand and smiled blandly hello. Just now, I have already said that Zhu Sheng, evil moon cold hump, a sound, did not extend his hand. Zhu Sheng's arm just floated in midair. The incomparably cold words spat out from Evil Moon as mouth. Evil Moon, as if to say one more word, was an insult to himself, who Lena, who was on the side, frowned and softly chided brother. This is our new teammate. Can you stop with the cold face if they were ostracized like this? 
then am afraid that in the future. A team like this definitely wouldn't be any better. The reprimanded evil moon just wanted to retort. Looking at the undisguised anger in Hulina's eyes, he coughed violently and hastily stretched out his hand to shake with Zhu Sheng, and said in a hasty tone that Zhu Sheng welcome to join our team as a sister. Controller, he really didn't want to see his own sister get angry. If you are angry, you have to find ways to coax her to be happy. The exchange between Helena and Evil Moon looked at Zhu Sheng. Who called a puzzled? He looked at Evil Moon, who was gripping the palm of his hand and was a bit speechless. What is this young man doing just a moment ago? He was still looking like he's not interested in anything. But when Hulina said that, he was so obedient, crap, this guy is not a sister control, right, long time no see. Long time no see. In one's lifetime, one can actually meet a living sister controller. Zhu Sheng only felt some diarrhea in the bottom of his heart and quietly let go of Evil Moon's palm. Seeing Evil Moon defeated, the anger on his face immediately changed. Forcing the corners of his mouth to curl up hard and force a smile, he couldn't make Hu Lina angry. The latter was the person she liked. If his impression of himself is reduced, then it will not be cool. Right, however, all of this is in vain. Hulina pointed at Yan with a displeased face and said in a rather unpleasant manner, This is Yan. Martial soul, flame lord, soul power level 25, a bit stupid, but not bad, don't think she didn't see. This Yan was obviously trying to give Zhu Sheng a hard time just now. He's a good guy, naturally. She didn't bother to give him a good face. The smile on Yan S. face was petrified in an instant. A little bit silly, a little bit silly, silly, the three words echoed continuously in his mind. Lena hates me, definitely hates me, this little white boy, blame this little white boy. Yan once again raised his eyes, his resentful gaze staring straight at Zhu Sheng, as if he had done something indescribable to himself. Zhu Sheng happened to meet Yan's gaze, and a great doubt surfaced within his heart. What is this Yan's expression again? This two people why one is more than one strange. Does it mean that slightly talented children are not very normal in the brain? Hiss, it shouldn't be contagious, right? Or, now hurry to find Bai Bidong to talk about letting himself go to other Marshall Soul Hall branch halls to study. Evil Moon ruffled the cold gray hair that covered his right eye and took the lead in asking Zhu Sheng. You should know all about our martial souls. Can you tell us what yours is? Yan was also looking at Zhu Sheng with curiosity, thinking that Zio Meng, with this look of a white boy, shouldn't be a strong attacker. It was mostly likely to be a control or auxiliary system. Hu Lina, on the other hand, was completely different. She knew that Zhu Sheng was an auxiliary system and was a true and genuine sealed Duluo level auxiliary system soul master the addition to their team could be imagined. Knowing that the seven treasure glazed sex patriarch, Ning Fengjai, possessed the continent's number one auxiliary lineage martial soul, and his cultivation was only that of a soul saint, enough to see that the cultivation of auxiliary system soul masters is much more difficult than other systems. There was even a situation where there wasn't a single auxiliary duluo on the continent, if there were. It would only be enshrined as a VIP by those great clans, or become a top-tier offering of any empire. I'm an auxiliary lineage soul master, and my martial soul is the Nine Hearts Blood Tong. At that moment, Zhu Sheng's hand casually waved, and the Nine Hearts Blood Tong, which emanated a rich blood light, appeared in the center of his hand. Evil Moon narrowed his eyes and looked at Zhu Sheng's hand, which emitted a terrifying might of the Nine Hearts Blood Tong. His tone of voice gradually condensed and said, Nine Hearts Blood Tong, the continent should not have a martial soul with this name. Right, if my guess is good, it should be a mutation of the Nine Heart Begonia. I'm afraid that this mutation is moving in a good direction. And has even surpassed the Nine Hearts Begonia. Zhu Sheng's appreciative gaze glanced at him for a moment. This evil moon is quite resourceful, and in a moment discovered the origin of his martial soul, then shrugged his shoulders. 
Unconcerned, explained that's right. My martial soul is the nine-hearted begonia mutation. It's just that I was lucky and mutated in a good direction. Yan, on the other hand, shook his head and in his mind. He did not believe that Zhu Sheng was an auxiliary soul master at all. Your auxiliary soul, master's martial soul, has such a powerful killing intent. Is this just as funny as an auxiliary system, soul master yelling to single? Handedly kill the enemy's strong attack system, Soul Master. Hulina saw Yan's face of complete disbelief and reminded in a low voice Yan, Zhu Sheng is indeed an auxiliary system, Soul Master. This is what the teacher personally told me, Yan was confident in his own thoughts, and retorted impossible. Such a powerful killing intent. How could it be an auxiliary system, Soul Master, unless this kid fights with me? Through the fight, that will be able to figure out in a minute what kind of lineage soul master Zhu Sheng is. And he can also pretend to miss and properly rub this little white boy in front of Helena's eyes. Simply two birds with one stone. Helena saw that amazing was not relenting and frowned her pretty eyebrows amazing. Don't go too far. Of course, it wasn't Zhu Sheng that she was worried about, but rather, she was worried that after Yan... As a strong attacking lineage, lost to an assisting lineage, it would dampen his cultivation confidence. Zhu Sheng was far from being able to resist amazing, with just the physical attributes added by the nine terrifying 10,000-year soul rings on his body. Good, I accept your challenge. Evil Moon glanced at Zhu Sheng with some surprise. He had thought that the latter would decisively refuse. After all, an auxiliary system soul master basically had no chance of winning against a strong attack system soul master. What's more, Yan was a soul master with 200 year soul rings, purely in terms of attack power. He had even surpassed himself, seeing that the scene was no longer under her control. Hulina sighed helplessly, holding a few hints of pleading, Zhu Sheng, you're going to have to go easy on him. Amazing is also a teammate of ours. Zhu Sheng looked at the worried Hu Lina and smiled warmly, don't worry, we are all on the same team. I will give him some face the current Hu Lina really loves to think of others, if it is not for the reason of the martial soul. I believe that her temperament will not lose by much to Kai and Ren Zhu. Right, well, then please Hu Lina's pure gaze looked deeply at Amazing. Slightly nodded and backed away to Evil Moon's side. Unbeknownst to her, this scene was clearly seen by Evil Moon in her eyes. Her eyes surfaced with a few tinges of confusion. Glancing at her sister, who Lena before holding her chin in thought, what's going on here? Lena couldn't possibly not know the outcome of a strong attack system, soul master and auxiliary system, soul master fighting one-on-one. -on -one. But why did she tell Zhu Sheng to let go of the water? Her sister couldn't possibly be joking about this situation. Which means that even she feels that Amazing isn't Zhu Sheng's opponent. This guy called Zhu Sheng is really full of a mysterious aura. Ah. However, since Jelena didn't lower her voice, every word rang in Amazing's ears. These words were like knives thrusting into his heart. Could it be that in Jelena's eyes, in Hulina's eyes, is her own combat power not even as good as that of an auxiliary soul master? He glared at Zhu Sheng with his angry eyes, as if his eyes were going to tear Zhu Sheng apart the next moment. He angrily rebuked, cut the crap, kid, I'm not going to let you go just because you're an auxiliary. Zhu Sheng's calm face didn't have a single ripple. Harmlessly stretching out a hand, blandly saying, let's start then, seeing that Zhu Sheng hadn't even released his martial spirit, making it clear that he was looking down on himself. Amazing coldly shouted HMPH, How dare you not even release your martial soul? Arrogant, I'll teach you a little lesson today. Flame Lord, words fell. Yan's back appeared a terrifying soul beast filled with blazing flames. Head with two reddish horns, domineering head howling up. Two yellowish soul rings appeared from under the feet. This aura let Zhu Sheng also staunchly, this aura made Zhu Sheng also concentrate. Is this the Flame Lord? It looks very similar to Gilad, oh, before he crossed over. 
compared to Zhu Sheng's careful observation. Amazing didn't care about that at all. All he wanted in his heart was to defeat Zhu Sheng with a single strike, only to see the first yellow soul ring under his feet light up. First soul skill, Giant Beast Howl. Giant Beast Howl, able to give a certain degree of pressure to the opponent, effectively restricting their ability to move. At the end of the sentence, the flame behemoth behind Yan slapped his chest violently, and under the sparks splashing a shockwave-like thing at a very fast speed through Zhu Sheng. After being touched by this shockwave, Zhu Sheng looked down at his legs and barely felt a force belonging to the earth was quietly binding his legs. But unfortunately, with 90 levels of soul power, this soul skill was a complete joke. The binding effect of this soul skill on him was minimal. And when Evil Moon, who was watching from the sidelines, saw this, he silently shook his head and was a little disappointed in Zhu Sheng's arrogant performance, he he. The battle seems to be settled. Even if I get hit by this move, my movement speed will drop by at least three levels. If Amazing is performing his second soul skill, Zhu Sheng's situation will be untenable. Hu Lina beside him laughed and smiled sideways at Evil Moon mysteriously. Brother, that's not necessarily true. Zhu Sheng isn't as simple as you guys think. Evil Moon's eyes flashed with a refined light. This sister of his might know something. Curious, he couldn't help but ask rhetorically, Oh, Lena, do you know something? Quickly tell brother, who Lena proudly raised her eyebrows and spat out her cute tongue, slightly just want tell you tilde evil moon. How is this sister of his sometimes mature, sometimes cute like a child? Pity yourself as a brother. Don't mention how disturbing it is. Yan naturally saw Zhu Sheng's gaze downward small action. Know that the latter has discovered the role of this move. With a face full of dejection, he provoked Zhu Sheng. Do you feel like you can't move an inch now? He thought that this guy had something different. But he didn't think that he would be stupid enough to take his first soul skill hard. Then he wouldn't have to be polite. Zhu Sheng on the opposite side was somewhat speechless at Yan's beaten appearance, gently scratching his hair. Not knowing how to answer this question, this horrible binding effect, if you told Zhu Sheng that it was a leather strap strangling his ankle, he would even believe it. However, on second thought, Hulina just said not to blow this kid's self, confidence. So let's agree with this kid against his will. Well, then, for the sake of team camaraderie, reluctantly agree to it. Zhu Sheng silently replied back indeed. It feels like the legs have aggravated a lot. Yan clenched his fists tightly and glanced expectantly at Hulina who was at the back. However, the latter returned him only a pitiful gaze. Who knows that amazing thought clear, sweeping away the sad color just now. Radiantly said, kid, see, Lena is pitying you, ha 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 ha, the dry energy of his expression gradually de. Who, Lena, brother, do you know what amazing is doing? Evil Moon shook his head in denial. I don't know. Maybe he forgot to take his medicine today. Julina united her hands and closed her eyes before mentally praying, I hope he doesn't give up on his treatment. Amazing when you are bound by this soul skill of mine. You have already lost, now. Accept the price of your arrogance. Second soul skill, mountain fire avalanche. High temperatures erupted from Amazing's body. Strands and strands of massive flames ignited on his skin. And all the muscles on the entire person's body were strewn with densely, packed lines that looked very hard. The next second, the whole person's body shape rioted, with high speed rushed towards Zhu Sheng. Suddenly, Evil Moon fiercely exclaimed, Damn, I forgot that Zhu Sheng is an auxiliary soul master. I'm afraid that even his bones will be broken with this move. Hearing this from Evil Moon, who Lena, who was originally in a calm state of mind, couldn't help but worry. In a hurry, she hurriedly shouted out, Zhu Sheng, dodge, however, it was already too late, in an instant. Yan Yan had already appeared in front of Zhu Sheng, and in the next moment, it was about to hit Zhu Sheng. Caught off guard, Zhu Sheng's pupils tightened, subconsciously stretching out the palm of his hand, directly forcefully pumped away. Boom, with a sound, 
The room erupted with a heaven-shattering and earth-shattering sound, in the haze of dust. Amazing's cheek had an additional fiery slap mark on it, uncontrollably spitting out a mouthful of blood, only to see its vision getting narrower and narrower as it flew straight backward and out. Amazing's body slammed straight on the wall, leaving a concave down man pit on it. In the following seconds, the shrouded dust and smoke slowly dissipated. Zhu Sheng looked at his slightly tingling right hand with a complex face. It's not going to accidentally shoot to death. Is it? You don't say. Just now the pumping seems to be quite refreshing. No wonder Tang Hao likes not to use his martial spirit to beat people up. It feels so good. Who Lena and Evil Moon took down the hand that was blocking the side of their eyes. And when the latter saw that Zhu Sheng, who was standing there, and had been bombarded by Amazing's second soul skill, was actually unharmed. The entire person was directly dumbfounded. Amazing's attack had not even touched the corner of this guy's clothes. This is not the most exaggerated. You a damn auxiliary soul master. With brute force a slap to the release of the second soul skill of the strong attack system, soul master jerked flying out. He only felt that his own three views are going to collapse. This world in the end what happened. The strong attack is even one-on-one -on -one cannot beat the auxiliary system. This kid is too weird. Can T be messed with? Can T be messed with? For her part. Helena immediately came to her senses and worriedly looked up towards the surroundings. Where a huge loud noise had just occurred, Zhu Sheng looked like he was fine. So that meant that something was wrong with amazing. A few seconds later, Hulina finally found the Amazing, who had been slapped into the wall by Zhu Sheng and couldn't even snap out of it, only to see the latter with a blue nose and a swollen face, topped with a fiery slap mark falling into a coma. Hulina's jade hand gently shook the latter's shoulder and her arms lifting up the upper half of his body. She said urgently, Yan, Yan, are you all right? Yan gradually woke up, slowly opened his weak eyes, when he saw that it was who Lena. His tone was naturally gentle cough, cough, cough. Lena, I am fine. Then Zhu Sheng's and Evil Moon also walked over, squatted down and frowned. He frowned and said, Amazing, is there any part of your body that is uncomfortable? Yan looked at him and didn't answer. Instead, he pretended to lie comfortably in Hu Lina's arms and passed a provocative gaze towards Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng, ah Zhu Sheng, in terms of strength I, Yan, would like to call you the strongest among the four of us. However, you have lost your life. This gaze looked very uncomfortable for Zhu Sheng, somewhat not understanding why he had just stopped slapping this kid a little harder. Simply bitchy to the extreme ah, squatting on the ground, Evil Moon naturally also saw the provocative expression of Yan just now. But he was also too lazy to pay attention to, this guy just suffered nothing more than superficial injuries. There is no need to send to the auxiliary system, soul masters in the palace of the martial souls, for treatment. It is estimated that letting Zhu Sheng casually heal, it is almost the same. Thinking of this, Evil Moon turned his head to look at Zhu Sheng and said Zhu Sheng, You're an auxiliary system soul master. You should have a recovery soul skill, right? Yes, it's just that the healing method of my martial soul is a bit peculiar. I don't know if Yan can accept it, Zhu Sheng said back, his eyes staring straight at Yan, good guy, just now is not very jumping. A moment hope you can hold up, this gaze to see the Yan body a cold, towards the Hu Lina's arms shrinking. Hu Lina felt the embrace of the strange movement, just as the Yan has not recovered, she to the latter only belongs to a teammate's concern. Not mixed with a trace of private feelings, so she didn't think much about it. Hulina put Amazing back onto the cold floor. Zhu Sheng, help Amazing heal first. It would be bad if it leaves any after he effects looking at Zhu Sheng's eyes that were getting more and more uninterested. Amazing, who was lying on the floor, seemed to have discovered that things were not right as well, the way this guy was looking at himself was obviously with a vengeance. He can't let him treat himself even if he dies. Never. MMM, tilde tilde tilde, ah, tilde tilde tilde, MMM, seeing that the amazing lying on the ground 
was covered with countless pieces of Nine Hearts Blood Tongs petals sticking into his body. A tingling and extremely comfortable sensation made him humming, coupled with that incomparably enjoyable expression. This look instantly made Evil Moon's heart rise with a strong sense of vomiting, and see the ear-red heartbeat who Lena obviously shameful do not know what to do. Evil Moon decisively extended two palms to cover who Lena's beautiful eyes, simply because this scene is two spicy eyes. Simply can be called the East Asian Demon King possession ah. Zhu Sheng hugged up his arms, the corner of his mouth smiling as he looked at the constantly whispering and panting amazing. Little like this time, this time directly let you lose the right to choose a spouse for three years. Originally, the faint toxicity that the petals of the nine-hearted blood begonia had, but Zhu Sheng skillfully controlled the toxicity to the extent that it did not injure the body. This resulted in the nine-hearted blood begonia petals not having the toxicity anymore, but having an extremely powerful tingling sensation. Coupled with the restorative power of the nine-hearted blood begonia, hiss, that tingling sensation only called for one to drift away. After a few more minutes, Zhu Sheng saw that the treatment was almost done, and with a wave of his hand, those petals of the Nine Hearts Blood Begonia gradually became transparent, and finally disappeared as particles. Without the tingling sensation, a relaxed amazing shook his head, and his mind was finally able to think. When he looked up, he saw Zhu Sheng's smile that seemed to be laughing and not laughing, then the things that had happened to himself before floated to his mind. In an instant, his face was so gloomy that it was chilling, and he looked at Zhu Sheng angrily, he roared Zhu Sheng. What did you just do to me? Why would I do that kind of thing, having done something so shameful that he wanted to skin himself just now? He knew with his feet that his perfect impression in Hu Lina's mind would definitely hit rock bottom. Zhu Sheng innocently blinked his eyes and shrugged his shoulders, I didn't do anything to you, ah. Just now didn't you have a face of enjoyment? This guy just started denying it after enjoying it. Proper scum, Yan Dead clenched his fists, wanting to rush over and punch Zhu Sheng's to death. But the next moment, his heart sucked in a mouthful of cool air, suddenly thinking that just now, this guy was able to beat his own self who was using a soul skill, half to death with a single slap, so he was only afraid that he would not be a match at all if he came at him the hard way. He held back the anger in his heart, revealing a stiff smile towards Evil Moon and Hulina, Hulina's face was still as blushing as an apple. Evil Moon pulled her behind herself, vigilantly saying towards Yan, stay away from Lina, you pervert. I, I meow. I meow amazing gritted his teeth and clenched his fists. His fingernail caps left deep nail marks on his skin. The next moment, as if he could no longer hold on, his eyes went black and his body thumped to the ground, under the gaze of Zhu Sheng, who had been next to Amazing's grudging gaze throughout the day, finally understanding today's lesson. A soft female voice suddenly appeared in Zhu Sheng's ears. Zhu Sheng. Come out for a moment, this incomparably familiar voice made Zhu Sheng immediately know its owner. Who was clearly Bibai Dong, Zhu Sheng did not move and stood up from his seat, walking towards the outside of the academy. Yan saw this and deliberately sneered, What is this guy going to do now? Doesn't he know that we have to study at night as well? Evil Moon looked at him, revealing a contemptuous color, and said almost on the line, It's not that you want to fight with others one, on one. And as a result, you were slapped and almost scrapped. This instantly mentioned amazing sadness and retorted defiantly evil moon. Why are you being so cocky with me here? If you're capable, go fight that monster Zhu Sheng. See if he can whip you to death with a slap. Leisurely words came out from evil moon's mouth. Why? As long as I don't fight. Who knows him inferior to him? IQ is a good thing. Too bad you don't have it amazing eyes widened, completely not expecting Evil Moon to be so shameless. Angrily rebuking Evil Moon, you're shameless. Evil Moon closed his eyes and didn't pay attention to him. The truth is, as long as the two don't fight one-on-one, -on -one, 
Zhu Sheng is just a support system, sole master on the outside. Who would know that he can't beat him? After Zhu Sheng walked to the entrance of the academy, he saw the woman wearing the Pope's uniform with a delicate figure and a demeanor that was full of desires rising from the bottom of one's heart. And beside her stood Kai Yuo, whose face was filled with respect, the latter nodding his head ceaselessly as he talked with Bai Bidong. But the next moment, only to see Bai Bidong's thin lips slightly spitting out a few words, and in an instant, it was as if Kai Fan had heard something unbelievable, the pupils of the whole person suddenly tightening, and then being filled with a look of awe and astonishment with, Kai Yuo fiercely took a deep breath and said in a dignified tone, Don't worry. Your Holiness the Pope, I definitely won't say anything about this matter holding the purple and gold scepter in his hand. Bai Bidong, who was so cold, eased up a few points and nodded his head slightly. The matter that Zhu Sheng had already reached sealed Duluo could not be exposed too much. Except for a few people who had to know, she definitely would not allow anyone to pass it out without authorization, because it was very likely that he would step on the ultimate Duluo before the age of 30, and even then obtain the divine Dion. And this would become the bottom card for the Martial Spirit Hall to completely dominate the entire continent. Zhu Sheng walked towards the two men with a bland face and respectfully said when he reached Bai Bidong's side teacher, What is it that you are looking for me for? Bai Bidong responded softly, uh -huh. Afterwards, his eyes that did not contain a trace of emotion looked at Kai Yuo and coldly said, Kai Yuo, you go back first. Kai Yuo took a deep look at Zhu Sheng and then turned to leave. If His Holiness the Pope did not say anything, he probably would not have known that the cultivation level of this child, Zhu Sheng, had far surpassed his own. Surprisingly, he had already far surpassed himself, reaching the terrifying sealed Duluo level, he himself, apart from his theoretical knowledge, simply did not have any point that could be worthy of being Zhu Sheng's mentor. Zhu Sheng narrowed his eyes and said suspiciously, Teacher, what were you guys just talking about? Why does it feel like there's something wrong with the way tutor Kai Yuo is looking at me. Bai Bidong didn't answer this question. Instead, she silently pursed her thin lips, stiffly revealing a smile as she looked towards Zhu Sheng. Her pupils flickering with a hopeful starlight. Zhao Sheng, can I call you this? She was always able to see Yu Zhao Gang's silo, wet from Zhu Sheng's body. They were both the same genius, just in different fields. The entire continent knew that Yu Zhao Gang, also known as the Grandmaster, had proposed the core ten competitiveness of the martial soul that was already known throughout the world. It was just that no one had ever dared to try it with their own martial soul, and after the mutation, the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex martial soul, which could be called a waste, was the stain of his life. On the contrary, Zhu Sheng possessed a unique and terrifying talent in his martial soul, but his theory was not outstanding. That is why Bai Bidong would link the two inexplicable people together. Zhu Sheng face first flashed a few moments of surprise. The always high and cold Bai Bidong would actually say such intimate words to himself, who had not known him for a few days. I'm afraid that with the young loved ones of the Yu Zaiwa gang cannot be separated from the relationship. Zhu Sheng smiled and said naturally, It is possible, just. Teacher, is there something in the bottom of your heart that is not easy to say out? Bai Bidong body shook, as if by a great stimulus in general. Suddenly cold drink said this thing you will know later, Zhu Sheng immediately mute no longer speak. He knew just words. Obviously hurt by Bidong in the old days when the painful memories of the incident. Need to let her calm herself down a bit, otherwise it will only pull down their own impression. Bai Bidong quickly closed his eyes and opened them again. His tone vaguely with a few apologies, sorry, Zayo Sheng, some words are not ready to say. Let's walk and talk about it. This is a rare time to draw the relationship between the two master and disciple closer. How could he be foolish enough to refuse? Bai Bidong and Zhu Sheng, who were walking in unison on the road of the Martial Soul Hall, could clearly see from a distance that the former was at least three heads taller than the latter. Bai Bidong's purple, gold scepter slowly lowered. His tone leisurely saying Zhu Sheng, 
What I just told Kaiyua was about you, was it because of my soul power level? The witty Zhusheng immediately thought of this, Bai Bidong nodded, his gaze fixed firmly on Zhusheng as he seriously said that's right. You've already reached the sealed Duluo level nowadays, and Lina's and their training will be harmful and unhelpful to you, that's why I've come in person to formulate a training plan for you. Zhu Sheng froze for a moment, a slight smile. Teacher, I understand Bai Bidong is worthy of being a decisive woman. Will be accepted as a disciple, although on the surface is only to give yourself three soul bone, secretly also under the painstaking special for their plans. Having this kind of dedicated and not hypocritical teacher, Zhu Sheng only felt that he was right to become her disciple. However, he had a few more doubts in his heart, although he hadn't deliberately cultivated during this period. His soul power was rising strangely and steadily, only that it had been hovering around the bottleneck, and never able to feel the opportunity to break through. He curiously spoke out the doubts in his heart teacher. Recently, this period of time, I probably touched the threshold of the 91st level, but there has never been an opportunity to break through. I wonder if you know what's going on. Bai Bidong had already reached the level of a 99-level ultimate duluo, and had definitely experienced all of this. Therefore, she might know something. Bai Bidong sniffed and frowned, realizing that Zhu Sheng's situation was very different from what she had thought in her heart, according to her experience. After Zhu Sheng absorbed the soul bone, his body was able to withstand the oppressive force brought about by the rise in soul power. And if he had already touched a bit of the threshold, he shouldn't be unable to break through immediately. Bai Bidong's tone gradually rushed up, and he gruffly said, Still at level 90, Zhao Sheng, have you absorbed the soul bone I gave you earlier? Zhu Sheng froze for a moment, shook his head, and denied not yet. After obtaining the soul ring, there has been no suitable opportunity to absorb it. As the words fell, his eyes suddenly lit up. Could it be that is it because of the reason of his body that he has never been able to break through? This is very likely. Bai Bidong came close to Zhu Sheng, quickly extended his silky and white jade hand to grab Zhu Sheng's tender wrist, closed his eyes and sensed the situation inside his body, unconsciously, a fragrance that belonged uniquely to Bai Bidong's mature woman, who had slowly flowed into Zhu Sheng's nose. Letting Zhu Sheng he couldn't help but sink into a state of mind, feeling a sense of pleasure that he had never felt before. And his entire brain instantly became dozens of times more awake. Zhu Sheng, in this atmosphere, didn't even dare to move around a bit for fear that he would be seen by the woman. After half a dozen moments, Bai Bidong's beautiful eyes gradually opened, and he slowly let go of Zhu Sheng's hand and reopened it. After letting go of Zhu Sheng's hand, he regripped the purple and gold scepter. The beauty of that unbridled face floated up with a cold grin. Zhu Sheng, today, y'all go to my room to absorb the soul bone, where a specialized shielding type soul guide is laid out a uh, Zhu Sheng. Who responded subconsciously, stared in disbelief as he reacted. Teacher, did you just say that you want me to go to your room to absorb soul bones? He didn't hear it wrong, did he? Bi Bai Dong even asked him, a man, to go to her boudoir to absorb the soul bone. Bi Bai Dong's face became even colder. What are you unwilling? Zhu Sheng's body turned cold and waved his hand to explain. Teacher, I don't mean this. I'm worried about whether this will disturb you. Damn, going to Bi Bai Dong's boudoir alone. I really don't know if I should say it's a torture or a benefit. Bai Bai Dong, who gripped the purple and gold scepter swept his bland eyes across Zhu Sheng's face, trying to see something from that handsome but faintly raw face. There are some things that talking to Zhu Sheng is like talking to an adult, even if the latter is only a nine-year-old child. Half a time, only expressionless said don't worry, there is very quiet, usually only I live alone, and how would it disturb a word although in the martial spirit hall? Her room in addition to Hu Lina, is absolutely not allowed anyone to enter, but inexplicably Hart Zhu Sheng is not very exclusionary. 
It was likely that this child carried a few hints of his aura with him, and that was why he made himself feel affinity. Seeing that his dear mister, Bai Bidong, had said so, Zhu Sheng was afraid that if he refused, he would only anger the former. But this thing was still quite exciting to think about. Not many people in the entire continent could enter Bai Bidong's room. It was enough for him to blow it for a year amongst the other travelers. Zhu Sheng's head lowered a little then ill-trouble teacher to protect me tonight. Zhu Sheng followed Bibai Dong for a distance that wasn't too long nor too short, before his eyes finally appeared a large hall that was built very shabbily. No, it should be plain, from the appearance, you can vaguely feel that this hall has not been moisturized by the sun for a long time. And the entire surrounding area exudes a very depressing and dull atmosphere. After stopping her footsteps, Bai Bidong's eyes flashed with nostalgia, looking up at this simple, but in her heart it was second only to the martial spirit hall. If she was able to follow the initial agreement like that, she should have been living with that man in such a leisurely time. However, things went against her wishes. He left, and all that was left here was an empty hall. Next, Zhu Sheng raised his head and surveyed it. And after a while of scanning, he found that there was nothing unique about it, and it simply presented an extreme contrast to that expensive Pope's Hall. At one end, even the walls are made of crystal and even diamonds, and at the other end, they are built with ordinary bricks and tiles. Such a big contrast. If you say that there is no story Zhu Sheng does not believe, but he didn't dare to ask Ah. Only a few days after getting acquainted with Bai Bidong, he wasn't stupid enough to think that Bai Bidong already trusted him completely. Bai Bidong naturally looked at Zhu Sheng's face flashed curiosity. Eyebrows gradually stretch open. A heartfelt smile let the corner of her mouth slightly raised. Murmured Zhao Sheng, is not very strange why this place is so shabby. Even the door has become rusty seeing Bai Bidong saw through his own thoughts. Full of embarrassment, Zhu Sheng chose to mute, at times like this. Not saying anything was the best way. Bai Bai Dong's character was changeable, who knew that one second he was smiling with you at each other. And the next second, his face would be so cold that he wanted to kill people. However, after waiting for half a minute, Bai Bidong did not say another word. Zhu Sheng quietly looked sideways at Bai Bidong, only to see that the latter had already discovered his small action, and was staring at himself with a slightly condensed gaze, seemingly waiting for Zhu Sheng's answer. Zhu Sheng gently patted and coughed to cover up the embarrassment he had just felt, but he thought that Bai Bai Dong was talking to himself about her past events. I didn't expect to freeze for half a day because I wanted to listen to my own answer ah. I don't understand, don't understand ah, whether it is you Zaiwa Gang or Bibai Dong's things. These secret things how would he know? The only thing he knows is that Bai Bidong has become like this nowadays. And the ruthlessness and decisiveness that appears to the outside world is only used to cover up her other side only had to ask carefully with the funds of the palace of the spirit of the marshal. Arts, it's impossible that even this small place is not able to solve the problem. I'm afraid it's only because this hall is a very important thing for you. Teacher, and even not to be tarnished, Bai Bidong gazed at Zhu Sheng for a moment with deep meaning, and said noncommittally, you guessed it right. Just as you said, this place holds one of the happiest periods of the teacher, just... Let's go in first. She didn't want to bring up those things that had stirred up painful memories of her again. Especially the Chihiro sickness, that scum who wore his teacher's skin. Bai Bidong slowly pushed open the door. And the two of them walked into the middle of this room, just stepping into it. Zhu Sheng felt a sensation similar to that of shielding sound waves, and thought that it should be a soul guide. On the table in the center of the room, there was only a small... Weak candle burning, barely letting the dim room bring a trace of light, Bai Bidong put down the purple gold scepter, approached a chair, the body slowly sat down, looking at Zhu Sheng softly instructed, Zhu Sheng, you are now on the ground to absorb the soul bone. The surrounding soul guide will be in the room when you break through the cultivation level of the movement of all shielded. 
do not have to worry about the movement is too big to cause others to pay attention to the reason for bringing Zhu Sheng to the room is that it is a very important thing. The reason why Zhu Sheng was brought here to absorb the soul bones was that the production of soul guides was very difficult. And even the martial soul hall didn't have many of them. The second is that the soul guide installed in this place is precisely the highest level of the current research and development. Even if it is the breath of a sealed duluo in this shielding, otherwise unauthorized breakthroughs within the martial soul hall. The huge commotion caused would even affect the attention of the Elder Hall and other hostile forces. She didn't want to prematurely reveal Zhu Sheng, the undercard that could upend the continent in the future. Zhu Sheng stared at the tension of being alone in a room with Bibai Dong and moved gently to sit on the ground with his knees crossed. Then he took out the three soul bones that Bibai Dong had bestowed on him earlier only to see three soul bones glowing with different lights quietly suspended in front of him. The three soul bones were spirit cohesion of wisdom skull, bursting and burning flame right arm, and rushing forward wind chasing left leg. Zhu Sheng mouth twitching looking at the three suspended soul bone, a time actually do not know how to choose. Sitting in the chair, Bai Bidong lifted up the cheeks. Charming pupils seemed to see through everything. Out loud, he said Zio Sheng, just start absorbing from the skull, that's also the most dangerous, Zhu Sheng threw over a grateful gaze, yes. Teacher others were struggling to find a soul bone, while they were worried about having three soul bones, but didn't know which one to absorb first. This person is more angry than others, if they were to be placed in front of today's sealed duluo, im afraid that they would be whacked to death alive. Zhu Sheng shook his head and quieted his agitated heart, then grabbed the spirit cohesion of Wisdom Skull and placed it in front of his chest. Turning his soul power into silk threads and pulling it on top of the soul bone, and then closed his eyes. Bai Bidong saw that Zhu Sheng had already begun to absorb it, and reminded him from the sidelines Zhao Sheng. Feel the presence of the soul bone with your heart. Don't try to resist him. After a soul bone is absorbed by a soul master. It is just like a bone that grows out of itself so when absorbing it, one must relax both physically and mentally so that the body and the soul bone can be perfectly fused. Zhu Sheng, who closed his eyes and absorbed the soul bone, even without using his eyes to look around, could feel out that he was in a sky-blue ocean. He surveyed this incomparably tranquil ocean, as if he himself was the master of this place and was able to master everything here. Zhu Sheng couldn't help but purse his lips and praised, Is this the scene of absorbing soul bone? It's so beautiful. However, the next moment, the entire light blue ocean began to turbulence, the entire surrounding heaven and earth. Countless from the soul bone within the spiritual power of the sea of knowledge attack directly bombarded Zhu Sheng. This kind of want to tear his brain attack, so that Zhu Sheng's face face rose a few silk pain, biting the thin lips of the silence to withstand this kind of pain. After that, this pain is getting more and more violent. When this pain reached the extreme, he could not help but cold hiss Tilda. Afterwards, this pain became more and more violent. When Zhu Sheng's pain reached the extreme, he could not help but cold hiss Tilda sound. Although he already has the cultivation of a sealed duyuo, but the spiritual power is still very thin. So much so, that absorbing this piece of skull would still bring unnecessary pain, as the surrounding ocean gradually turned transparent and merged into Zhu Sheng's body. The pain also gradually disappeared, and in the real world, the piece of soul bone that was held in his hands also quietly had to merge into Zhu Sheng's skull. Sitting cross-legged on the ground, Zhu Sheng's eyes opened slightly, and he was already able to feel that after absorbing the skull, his spiritual power had gained a great breakthrough. Even without using his eyes to see at the moment, he was able to perceive all the things within the nearby five meters by Bidong, who had been keeping a close eye on Zhu Sheng at the side, narrowed his eyes when he saw him waking up and asked, Zio Sheng, how is it, after absorbing it, was there any rejection there? Although the possibility of rejection between the soul bone and the soul master is very small, 
but it must be taken seriously. Especially the skull, this kind of soul bone, is absolutely cannot make the slightest mistake. A small mistake could result in IQ damage. Or a serious mistake could result in going off the deep end. Zhu Sheng turned around and smiled. Teacher, don't worry. After absorbing this piece of skull, my spiritual power has been greatly improved. Only my cultivation still doesn't seem to have made a break through by Bidong's face remained unchanged as he rested his cheeks and faintly said, This is reasonable. Relying on a single piece of soul bone alone cannot withstand the oppressive force of your Duluo level soul power. And it is not possible to withstand the pressure of your soul power, which is the same as that of your Duluo level. This is reasonable. Just relying on one soul bone will not be able to withstand the oppressive force of your sealed Duluo level soul power. At least wait until you have absorbed three pieces before you can break the bottleneck. Zhu Sheng thoughtfully looked towards the other two soul bones. Then teacher, he'll start absorbing the other soul bones now. What he wanted was to finish absorbing sooner and be relieved sooner. After all, he had heard what Bibai Dong had said earlier, without absorbing the soul bone, with his own body can only survive for two years at most, which is the same as his own body is like a time bomb. Who knows that Bibai Dong shook his head and denied Zhu Sheng's idea, and coldly said no, stop for a while, and then continue absorbing, although the danger of the other soul bones is not that great. But it's not that Zhu Sheng nodded and did not ask too many questions, continuing to sit on his knees and began to cultivate. After that, Zhu Sheng successively absorbed the right arm of the explosive burning flame and the left leg of the rapidly moving wind chaser. Since it wasn't much related to spiritual power, the entire process went very smoothly, and his cultivation level successfully crossed that bottleneck, breaking through from level 90 to level 91. Zhu Sheng stood up from the ground and patted his pants. Looking at looking at himself slightly stunned by Bidong, couldn't help but interrupt her thoughts with a voice. Teacher, do you have anything else? If not, I will go back first. He and Bai Bidong are alone in this small dark room. Always feel that he wants to do something to be careful. The most important thing is, next to a big beautiful woman. Can only see cannot eat. How can that man stand it? What's more, his current body is just a little kid. That thing hasn't developed at all. Okay, back to gods by Bidong's beautiful eyes flashed a glint. From the window Yao looked outside, only to see the huge martial spirit hall has been shrouded by the night. By Bidong very calmly thought for a while. The corners of his mouth involuntarily slightly up, turning his gaze towards Zhu Sheng. A few hints of blush appeared on his beautiful cheeks, which then flickered away standing up and slowly approaching Zhu Sheng's side. He stretched out his palm and gently patted the latter's shoulder. Not to pretend to be bashful and said Zio Sheng, it's getting late, so let's sleep here today. Just think of it as accompanying teacher to talk. Okay, the standing Zhu Sheng's legs and feet stiffened, and his entire being was like being struck by a thunderbolt. What's going on here? He and Bai Bidong are now master and disciple. First he was alone in a room with a man and a woman. And then by Bidong let him sleep with him, my god. Why is this plot development always so bloody? Could it be that a teacher-student relationship is going to develop with Bai Bidong? Zhu Sheng silently shrank forward, forcing Bibai Dong to release his palm from his shoulder, then taking a deep breath. He rebuffed in a euphemistic tone, teacher. I think it's better to forget about it. This place is and that far away from the academy. And if other people see it, I'm afraid it'll be bad for you. Teacher, she wouldn't agree so easily just because Bai Bidong was a beautiful woman. He, Zhu Sheng, although lazy, was also an upright male. Zhu Sheng's reply, Bai Bidong face undisguised through the color of disappointment, slightly turned his back and sighed quietly so aside of the beginning of Zhu Sheng because of the absorption of the skull's sake. So you can clearly perceive by Bidong undisguised disappointment to see a beautiful woman or their own teacher revealed seeing a beautiful woman or his own teacher show this kind of expression. His heart is still a little heartless. Should I just take it from by Bidong? He was quite hesitant to suggest. Teacher, how about this? 
You sleep on the bed, I cultivate on the ground. I do not know if this is possible, I don't know if this is okay, secretly said him still so small, by Bidong should not be able to do anything to my young and ignorant self. Right, I don't think so, right, by Bidong, who had turned his back as if he had received some precious gift, looked back with a fierce smile. His clear and unadulterated smile made everything seem as if it wasn't so important. Bai Bidong walked to Zhu Sheng's side once again and embraced him in his arms, murmuring, of course, it's okay. Zayo Sheng, thank you. It's been a long time since anyone has been able to talk to a teacher. The night gradually faded, and a ray of light shone through the window into the house and right onto Zhu Sheng's face, Zhu Sheng's face. He reached out and rubbed his eyes, then wanted to stand up, but found that his waist was actually gripped by a pair of hands and held tightly, the incomparable even breathing sound from his own ears faintly ringing. Zhu Sheng reached out and grabbed the soft bed. He couldn't help but inhale a breath of air. Zhu Sheng reached out and grabbed the soft bed, and couldn't help but suck in a breath of cold air im going. Yesterday I have been on the ground to cultivate it, how to run to the bed, that just breathing sound, is not going to be. Zhu Sheng, with a bitter face, quietly looked toward the side, only to see clearly already asleep. Posture is still very elegant by Bidong. Her charming cheeks soft without a trace of wrinkles, is quietly lying beside himself. If it is so, it's not a big deal, but what is the situation now? Bai Bidong's body was completely pressed against his own back. Zhu Sheng's mind slowly floated back to this sentence. Are you moved? His heart shivered as he said, Don't dare move. I don't dare to move, as long as he moved even slightly. He would touch Bai Bidong's perfectly curved body. At that time, there would be no explanation. The lovely Bai Bidong just hugged Zhu Sheng tightly, although the latter very much wanted to break free, but can't use brute force to break her arms apart, right? Moreover, that would definitely wake her up. Zhu Sheng slowly raised his eyes, looked at Bai Bidong's exquisite face, and his arm trembled as he reached towards Bai Bidong. He thought it would be better to wake Bai Bidong up himself, lest she think he had done something to her. But whoever thought that the trembling arm simply do not give strength, nervousness over the arm suddenly dropped. Just perfect to touch the Bai Bidong soft as a baby smooth skin, which let Zhu Sheng heart ripples. Reacted Zhu Sheng's heart suddenly accelerated up. What did he just do? Touch Bai Bidong, it's over. Bai Bidong must be waking up soon, and when he sees these reckless actions of his, He's afraid that he's really going to roll over, however, after a long time, the elegant by Bidong's eyelashes only fluttered slightly, and then returned to normal. Zhu Sheng's heart suspended a big stone before falling, and secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Luckily, I didn't wake up. He carefully reduced the arm that was stroking by Bidong's cheeks back, and then extended his right hand. To the side, he carefully retracted his arm from touching by Bidong's cheek and then stretched out his right hand. There was no other way for Zhu Sheng to stretch out his right hand and the Nine Hearts' bloody begonia, which had a strange red color, slowly drilled out of his hand at the next moment. These Nine Hearts' bloody begonia's petals were linked together, and they covered Zhu Sheng's back and by Bidong's arm, arm covered and went. These petals very gently wrapped the latter's arm, and then closed to the skin to emit a weak toxicity, temporarily making this arm lose its sense of touch. Zhu Sheng raised his palm, and these nine hearts bloody begonia petals slightly raised by Bidong's arm, and then moved it away from Zhu Sheng's back. The petals of the nine hearted blood begonias lifted by Bidong's arm slightly, and then moved away from Zhu Sheng's back. Zhu Sheng, who had done all this, quickly got up from the bed and stood up, and after stretching his waist comfortably, he turned around and looked towards Bai Bidong, who was still sleeping behind him. The Bai Bidong, who is a little less harsh and vicious, and a little bit more adorable and amiable, simply makes people move away from the bed and move away. Bai Bidong simply let people cannot move their eyes, after a slight smile to it, Zhu Sheng walked out. 
gently pushed the door closed and left here, unbeknownst to me, after perceiving the door closed lying on the bed of Baibidong. Eyes slowly opened, face full of complexity staring at being close the door. She actually woke up early. Just in the way of fear, Zhu Sheng embarrassed so has been pretending not to move. As for last night on the ground asleep, Zhu Sheng is how to the bed. Hurley is she will be carried up. After leaving, by Bidong, Zhu Sheng has also reached the college. Pushed open the door and walked in. The first thing that caught his eye was wearing a small white robe. Full of pure young girl sense of who Lena, just under the corners of her eyes, Two dark circles under her eyes with a sleepy face. Black eye circles with a sleepy expression is very cute. Zhu Sheng walked towards her and said with a smile, Lina. Good morning. Did you not sleep well? Hu Lina gave Zhu Sheng a grudging look. It's Zhu Sheng. We didn't sleep last night. We were learning about soul beasts. Oh. Zhu Sheng was slightly surprised and looked towards Evil Moon and Yan at the back. Both of them were also filled with tiredness. It seemed that after he left yesterday, the three of them had received another round of intense learning. Yan slammed the table, rolled his eyes and slumped down and said, I can't. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. This day after day, there is not even time to sleep. Is it something that people do? Evil Moon shook his head helplessly better get up. Don't be seen by Mr. Kai Yuo, or y'all be chastised again. Try cultivating soul power can also relieve fatigue, you say it lightly. Yan disliked a sentence, and then directly closed his eyes and huffed and puffed, seeing Zhu Sheng. The three of them didn't know whether to call him or not. Evil Moon spread his hands and said that he couldn't do anything about it. The intensity of their studies was not at all on the same level as the other academies. First, in the morning, they learned about soul beasts and various aspects of theoretical knowledge. Then in the afternoon, they carried out soul power cultivation. And at night, they had to study until dawn, this horrifying level of cultivation, although it allowed them to improve their cultivation very quickly. It also led to sleep deprivation from time to time. Evil Moon shook her head and redirected her gaze to Zhu Sheng, inquiring curiously, Zhu Sheng, where did you go last night? How come even the extremely strict teacher, Kai Yuo, didn't stop you? Before Zhu Sheng came, Kai Yuo treated the three of them extremely strictly, if it wasn't something very important. Basically, they had to be in study and cultivation at all times. As for resting, it was something they didn't even dare to think about. Unexpectedly, Zhu Sheng's first day here was like this. Kai Yuo could even tolerate it. Zhu Sheng thought for a while and casually lied. Me, I went to discuss some things with the teacher, so I didn't come and Bibai Dong slept this kind of Bahahiha, and Bibai Dong rested together for a night of this kind of words what could possibly be said. Evil Moon sniffed and couldn't help but sigh, so that's why. No wonder Tutor Kai Yuo would even agree. Tesk 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 tesk, who Lina beside Zhu Sheng's face struggled for a few moments before reaching out and poking Zhu Sheng's corner of his coat. Her face slightly shy Zhu Sheng, that, you can sit next to me, Right, Zhu Sheng looked back and froze for a moment. Smiling faintly, he said, Sure, Evil Moon took this scene into his eyes, looked sympathetically at Yan, who was sleeping on his back, and said contemptuously, Yan, it seems that this sister of mine already has someone in her heart. And I pity that you're still stupidly sleeping, the next moment. He suddenly realized a very serious problem, and looked at Zhu Sheng's gaze, gradually cold damn. This guy even wants to rob my sister, hiss, if it wasn't for the fact that I couldn't beat him, before his words were finished. Kai Yuo walked in from the door with a cold face, Evil Moon hurriedly shut up, Hu Lina also sat down with Zhu Sheng one after another. While lying on the table, sleeping soundly, amazing, suddenly woke up when he heard the sound of pushing the door. Straightened up his back and stared at Kai Yuo tightly. Kai Yuo first scanned the Evil Moon trio, and when he saw Zhu Sheng, his heart sweated at the thought that this kid was a sealed dual level powerhouse. Kai Yuo covered his mouth and coughed, cough, cough. Yelena, Evil Moon, amazing. The three of you have been studying very hard during this period of time. 
so it'll let you take a day off today. But don't forget to cultivate your soul power. Amazing's eyes widened as he pulled out his ears in disbelief, did I hear it right. This old thing is letting us rest, has his head been gnawed by a dog. Evil Moon buried his head and said with a contemplative face, It's not scientific. Could it be that this Kai Yuo has changed his nature and intends to let us resume normal cultivation and study? Impossible. There is definitely a conspiracy. Hulina, on the other hand, directly asked suspiciously, Teacher Kai Yuo, did you just say something wrong, or are you saying that we should practice all night today? Zhu Sheng was silent, very curiously sizing up Kai Yuo, waiting for his next words. Kai Yuo saw Evil Moon's three people's reaction. His face was violently dark, thanks to the fact that he had taught them. Is he such an unsympathetic mentor in these three people's eyes now? You guys heard it right. Today you will be given a day off that... Zhu Sheng, follow me out. Kai Yuo looked at Zhu Sheng with a bit of awe in his eyes. After Zhu Sheng and Kai Yuo walked out, the former queried instructor Kai Yuo, do you want something from me? Kai Yuo nodded and said gruffly, Zhu Sheng, His Highness the Pope has already told me that you have reached the level of a sealed duluo. Zhu Sheng pursed his lips thoughtfully and raised his eyebrows, so he'll just skip the cultivation. Kai Yuo denied Zhu Sheng's statement. Cough, cough, no. It's because the training program that His Holiness the Pope has laid out for you is quite the same as Evil Moon and the rest of them when he first heard that His Holiness the Pope had asked this child who was only a few years old to participate in the great soul fighting arena. He almost thought that he had hallucinated. After all, it was very easy for casualties to occur in the great soul fighting arena especially in the great soul-fighting city within the martial soul city, and the number of people that had been killed or injured was horrifyingly high. It wasn't until later that she told herself that the child in front of him had awakened to be an innate 90-level soul force and was a veritable sealed duluo. It was only after that that he was able to understand what His Holiness the Pope meant. Zhu Sheng Silently glanced at him, Tudor, Kai, Yuo, continue. What is the difference with Evil Moon and the others? He was looking forward to what Bai Bidong's task for him was, since Bai Bidong knew that his soul power had reached ninety, one or so. He definitely wouldn't lay out something that would be useless to him. So what kind of training would be effective for him? Kai Yuo said in a serious tone, Zhu Sheng, according to His Holiness the Pope's command, you will study theory with Evil Moon and the others in the morning. And in the afternoon, you will go to the Great Soul Fighting Arena in the Martial Soul City alone to have a 1v1 duel. And you need to reach the Diamond Medallion level. And at night, you will hunt and kill a soul beast of a cultivation level of 20. Zero, zero, zero years or more alone. Soul beast with a cultivation of 20. Zeros, zero, zero years or more. After saying that... Kai Yudu felt that all these training tasks were very tricky for him. Moreover, Zhu Sheng was still an auxiliary soul master, so he was afraid that if he wasn't careful, he would lose his life in the mouth of a soul beast. After Zhu Sheng, who had a calm face, listened, his face didn't show any fluctuation because these tasks weren't very difficult. Especially going to the great soul arena to face off with his own sealed Duluo's soul power, he could basically achieve a total victory if there was no limit to the number of matches. The last diamond medal, he would even be able to do it in just one day. Zhu Sheng felt a bit bored and said, Is that all? The corner of Kai Yuo's mouth couldn't help but twitch up, huh? Is that all? This Zhu Sheng can't possibly not understand the difficulty of this mission, even if he was a sealed duel Yuo. He was only in the auxiliary system, it's almost impossible to fight a 10,000-year-old soul beast. Otherwise, he would definitely lament the fact that he's nearly 50 years old, yet he's not even as good as a child of a few years old. Kai Yuo pondered for a moment, thinking that His Holiness the Pope had only told him so much, there's nothing after that. Zhu Sheng, you should still not know where the great soul fighting arena is, right? Zhu Sheng nodded noncommittally. He had only been here for a few days. So naturally, he wasn't familiar with Marshall Soul City. Well, 
He just came a few days ago and is still not familiar with it. Kai Yuo stroked his white beard and proposed, That's just right. Right now, Evil Moon and the others are resting. Let me take you there, after taking Zhu Sheng there once again. What Zhu Sheng should do in the future was none of his business. Kai Yuo led Zhu Sheng towards the great soul fighting arena of Martial Soul City, and because Zhu Sheng's appearance was too handsome, he was very conspicuous on the entire street, constantly resounding with the exclamations of men and women. Wow, that boy is so handsome. I wonder which clan family's disciple he is. So handsome. If I can get this boy engaged to my Zio king. Then I, the mother-in-law, will have no regrets in my life. Don't dream about it. Take a good look at the white, bearded, middle-aged man next to him. That's a tutor from the Martial Soul Academy. He is a Soul Emperor-level powerhouse, Kai Yuo, who was walking in step with Zhu Sheng, had his ears twitching slightly and hearing these unstinting appreciations. His eyes looked towards Zhu Sheng, and he said in a sour tone, Zhu Sheng, it seems that you're very popular, thinking about him as a tutor of the Martial Soul Academy. Soul Emperor-level powerhouse that cannot have this kind of attention treatment, as expected, the difference in face value between people is still very important. Zhu Sheng said with a cheeky smile, Likewise, isn't Tutor Kai Yuo's name known to everyone? This is a gift from the heavens. And there is no way we can refuse it. Kai Yuo smiled bitterly and shook his head, stretching out his finger and pointing to the ring, shaped building in front of him. He explained, A am getting old, I can't do it anymore. Zhu Sheng, look, that ring. Shaped venue in front of us is the Great Soul Fighting Arena. Zhu Sheng raised his eyes, barely able to see an outline, and faintly said well. It's not too far from the description in the original. At the entrance of the Great Fighting Soul Arena, there were two columns of women who weren't very beautiful, but were extremely durable to look at. Seeing Zhu Sheng and Kai Yuo approaching, they bowed and said welcome to the Great Soul Fighting Arena. Guests inside, please. Kai Yuo nodded and led Zhu Sheng into the inside. The two slowly stopped. Zhu Sheng looked up and surveyed, only to see that they were now in the position of the bottom level of the passageway, on top of which there were three other levels of the exact same. Kai Yuo saw him return to his senses, and only then began to patiently Zhu Sheng. The Great Soul Fighting Arena is divided into two places. One is the place where the contestants sign up which is where we are now, and the upper floors are the resting area, and the other part is the soul fighting battle viewing seats. You have to walk in from the main road and look for your own seat, Zhu Sheng secretly noted it down, then saw a storefront in front of him that was open, with computers and other items inside, and inside there was a light pink-haired, flamboyant-looking female attendant busily entering information for other soul masters. After Zhu Sheng returned a sentence, he slowly walked towards the storefront. I see, that's where the registration is, right? Kai Yuoji and Zhu Sheng was so sexually anxious. She also followed. The attendant in the storefront wiped the fragrant sweat on her forehead. Her eyes flashed with surprise after looking sideways at Zhu Sheng's. This little brother is so handsome, ah. If grow up a little bit more, maybe they want to go to teas. Next to a team of people saw the waitress staring at Zhu Sheng, unhappy to say hey. You so staring at people small children to see what? Hurry to enter our information, ah. The waitress rushed back to her senses and took their cards, apologizing. Ah, sorry, I'll enter it right away. She tapped a few times on the computer and asked, Please tell me the name of your team. The man who had angrily rebuked Zhu Sheng earlier said, I'm sorry. The man who had rebuked him earlier lifted his chin and thought, There are seven of us. Why don't we just call our team seven people carrying coffins? Let's go with this. The waitress heard this bizarre name and asked with an odd expression on her face, sir. Are you sure? The man sensed the air of being questioned from the words and angrily said, Hey, do you woman not understand the words? If I tell you to fill this in, fill this in, the waitress got a reply and didn't bother with them. Call this one if you like. Better yet, good luck getting the seven of them carried away together after the waitress finished recording. She coldly re-passed the card over recorded successfully, 
Please go to the soul fighting area and wait. The man gave a cold HMPH of displeasure and left the place with the other six people. The waitress let out a deep breath and redirected her gaze towards Zhu Sheng. Seeing that kind of Ying drama's small face in a flash, her irritated mood instantly became much more beautiful. This child has magic power, ah. After looking at him, one feels like one has renewed vigor again. She then smiled faintly and gently said towards Zhu Sheng, little brother, Are you here to watch the battle? The viewing gallery is over there. Zhu Sheng revealed her bright eyes and teeth and said in a light tone, Miss, I'm here to participate in the soul fight. Not to watch the battle. Do all the ladies in Duluo look this good at times like this? Pretending to be aloof is the most appealing thing to do. Zhu Sheng used his virgin complex to reason out the first rule of flirting with girls. The waitress sniffed, elegantly covered her mouth with a smile, then her face turned grave, threatening to say little brother. You're not teasing my sister, are you? How old are you? Participating in soul fighting can kill you. Zhu Sheng stretched out his palm and directly conjured up the nine hearts blood tong that glowed with scarlet blood kai and four black soul rings slowly emerged from beneath his feet. Miss, I'm serious I'm not joking with you, O4 oh, pitch. Black soul rings flickered around Zhu Sheng's guard. The waitress' face dramatically changed, and she took a step backwards in fear. A shocked expression appeared on her face, and her mouth stammered, What? What? This little brother is actually already a fourth ring soul sect. And and said the waitress, the tone of her voice mixed up a few points of fear, moreover. The first four soul rings are actually ten thousand year soul rings. How terrifying is this child? All soul masters on the continent know a taboo. A soul master's first soul ring is generally absorbed for no more than six hundred years. Once the age limit is exceeded, the soul master's body will not be able to withstand the pressure to self destruct. But this child, the first soul ring is a ten. Zero, 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 year soul ring, which has never been seen in the entire continent. The person who was able to raise such a terrifying child had a very powerful background. Zhu Sheng was not surprised to see the woman's surprised look, and the corner of his mouth rose slightly as he said, Miss, can you enter the information for me now? I told you, I'm not here to watch the battle. The woman calmed down her inner surprise and said as gently as possible of course you can. But to process the information you need to pay ten golden soul coins, even with their harshly trained professionalism. For a moment they felt that everything that had just happened was too fantastic. After Zhu Sheng heard the three words golden soul coins, his face was violently embarrassed. That said, did Bai Bidong not give him some golden soul coins as well? How can this still be enjoyable? The waitress, who had a discerning eye, saw Zhu Sheng's awkwardness and politely suggested, Little brother, you don't have any golden soul coins with you, do you? If that's the case, I can, if you can advance money for such a handsome little brother. Then the money is worth it even if it's folded. Zhu Sheng looked at the woman and scratched his hair awkwardly, and when he was about to thank her, Kai Yuo, who was walking over to him, tugged on his shoulder, Zhu Sheng turned back, only to see Kai Yuo pulling out a black card from his pocket and handing it to him, Zhu Sheng. This is what His Holiness the Pope specially instructed to give you, and it contains 100,000 golden soul coins. It should be enough for you to spend. It should be enough for your expenses. Zhu Sheng took the black card by Bidong, is really meticulous. I thought she hadn't prepared anything just now. I guess I was wrong to blame him. He looked at the black card. He only felt that apart from the very unique patterns. There was nothing special about it. Only the waitress in front of the counter who saw this black card couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. Today really hit the big time. Just saw a shocking scene. And now there's an even more powerful one. A few more words. Her little heart can't take it any more. Her eyes flashed a few moments of suspicion, this card. This card is only available to the Pope of the Palace of Martial Souls. His Royal Highness, this child and this middle-aged man could be. Not the Pope's close confidant, but also someone with a very strong connection. 
No wonder this child's soul ring ratio is so horrible. So it makes sense. Zhu Sheng handed the black card to the waitress miss. Is this okay? The woman shook her head and refused. And when she saw that Zhu Sheng's face was filled with doubt, she hurriedly explained little brother, This is exclusive to His Holiness the Pope, so all handling fees can be waived, since he said so. Zhu Sheng took back the black card, shrugged his shoulders, and said lazily, so that's how it is. High power is really convenient, the woman's fingers tapped a few times in front of the computer, before asking warmly little brother, Please tell me your name, title, soul level, and the type of soul fight you want to participate in Zhu Sheng thought for a moment and muttered the title will be Nine Hearts Blood Tang. Zhu Sheng thought for a moment and muttered, Zhu Sheng, the title will be called Nine Hearts Blood Tong. The soul power of forty nine levels of, he would not foolishly say that he was a sealed duo. Then I am afraid that the entire soul fighting arena would not be able to find a single person who is good enough to fight him. He would not be stupid enough to say that he is a sealed duo and also cannot experience the exhilarating feeling of not using the martial soul to whip people. Tang San, who is Tang Hao as son, did not learn these fancy things, but let him learn it in the middle of the morning. The woman had already successfully entered Zhu Sheng's information into the computer, and she reminded, Okay, it's been entered successfully. You're participating in the 1v1 soul fighting so you can go to the rest area and wait for the notification. Thank you. Miss Zhu Sheng nodded and returned a sentence before turning around and walking towards Kai Yuo. The waitress, beautiful eyes, flowed over Zhu Sheng's back, and then she sighed helplessly, after sitting with Zhu Sheng in the rest area for a while. Kai Yuo looked at the sky and realized that it was going to be afternoon. So she apologized to Zhu Sheng, who was sitting next to her, and said, Zhu Sheng, since you've already signed up for the program, I should go back. Zhu Sheng's eyes narrowed slightly instructor Kai Yuo. Didn't you let Evil Moon and the others rest? He now sort of knew why Evil Moon was bitter towards this guy. The words he said were simply like farts ah. It can be imagined that Evil Moon and the three of them must have gone through this process of hope to despair. Kai Yuo swallowed hard at these words and was a bit embarrassed as he didn't know how to explain it to him. That's true, but I'm afraid that their cultivation will fall behind. I am afraid that their cultivation will fall behind. I believe that they can understand my painstaking efforts. Zhu Sheng waved his hand and said without changing his color then. Tutor Kai Yuo, you should go first. The poor evil moon trio will have to start their learning journey again. Kai Yuo nodded, stood up and straightened his back and quickly left. It didn't take long for a soaring male voice to resound throughout the lounge area. The following is an insertion of a 1v1 solo soul fight between Nine Hearts and Blood Tongs vs. the Coffin Bearer. Please hurry to the third soul fighting arena. After hearing this, Zhu Sheng, who had been sitting paralyzed in his chair, Slowly stretched and muttered, Is it finally my turn? But the title of Coffin Bearer. Could it be one of the seven soul fighters who signed up before? Before he signed up, he happened to meet a team of seven, as if that oddball battle team was named something like seven coffin lifters. Shaking his head to put these aside, Zhu Sheng quickly moved towards the third soul fighting arena. Inside the third soul fighting arena, the people in the audience looked at the man who was currently wearing a black robe, filled with the aura of a king, and walking slowly up to the soul fighting stage, and they were all hotly debating it. A man exclaimed, Coffin Bearer, is that the guy who can summon monsters from coffins? A woman next to him nodded, showing an expression of awe, and whispered, That's right, that's right. It's said that the monsters summoned by his coffin are very hard to kill and none of the opponents in the several matches before this one survived, another person said with a frivolous face, That Nine Hearts Blood Tong has never even heard of. I'm afraid he's a novice. Encountering such a horrible guy like the Coffin Lifter can only be counted as his bad luck. Watch, this guy is designated to be torn to pieces by the monster of the Coffin Lifter. The man who is constantly stepping on the hoverboard 
in the soul-fighting arena, saw that the emotions in the viewing gallery had reached a high. He knew it was time for him to come out, elegantly rested his face on the two halves of the sunglasses of the chrysanthemum. Deep and loud friends of the audience, everyone is good. I am responsible for this fight, sole commentary handsome boy. Gile, in an instant, the audience below have been ignited by the fury of the this guy is the this guy is the famous soul stadium's poisonous nipple. Anyone who has been enlightened by this guy, it is almost impossible for them to win. Even the party that already had a huge advantage would lose all the same. Therefore, this person's reputation was very bad in the great soul fighting arena, but because the commentary was very good, it caused no one in the great soul fighting arena to fire him. Cut the crap and hurry up and start. That's right, where's the guy called Nine Hearts Blood Tong? How come he hasn't come on stage until now? Could it be that he's run away from the battle? You guys shut up. The last time we came was because of your guy's poisoned milk. Causing us to lose a large amount of golden soul coins. Looking at the audience, who were all swearing at him. Gile just laughed loudly and shamelessly said, seeing that all of you are welcoming me so fiercely. It seems that commentating on this match should be very interesting. Do you still need to show some face? Who the hell welcomed you? Get off the field. Im calling for a change. Damn, I've never seen such a shameless person. Gala simply did not care about these people and looked at the opposite side of the coffin bearer with a suspicious gaze. And when he saw that it was a slightly shorter child, he was surprised and said, Wow, the coffin bearer's opponent has already appeared. Just age is not a little small, ah. Could it be a disciple of that sect? Zhu Sheng's face sank violently when he heard Jia Le's explanation. Then he raised his eyes and glanced at the latter, saying irritably, This guy, can he talk? Isn't he just a bit younger? The people watching the battle under the stage looked at Zhu Sheng, who was not even half as tall as them and angrily denounced, what the hell, this nine hearts blood tong is just a little kid who is a little bit handsome. Isn't this a joke? A man with a lewd face had greed in his eyes and rubbed his palms in delight. Looks like we're in business today. We're definitely going to make a killing. The woman next to him had endless disappointment on her face. Shaking her head and saying the great soul arena is really getting more and more lax, even this kind of brat can get on stage. And this should be a soul sect level battle. The coffin bearer clad in black robes. A pair of reddish eyes stared at Zhu Sheng. His tone was hoarse and incomparable. I dare not be interested in the little brat. And there is no sense of fulfillment in taking your life. So hurry up and get off. Zhu Sheng squinted his eyes. And then revealed a harmless smile. And faintly said coincidentally. I am not interested in you either. After all, never met a Soul Zong level fighter. Am not interested in you either. After all, I've never encountered such a poor opponent before the coffin bearer was shaken, and his tone was gradually mixed with a few hints of harsh killing intent kid. You are looking for death. I wanted to let you off the hook. Now, get ready to meet death. I wanted to let this kid live on the basis that he was a child. Looks like there's no need for that. He was going to use his own coffin to shroud the body of this guy who didn't know the sky and the earth. Zhu Sheng yawned before lazily replying, if you can do it. Gala applauded, it seems that both sides are full of fighting intent. So please get ready for the fight. It will begin in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 2, 1, start. The coffin bearer's left leg violently stepped. Coldly said Humph, kid, ill let you see what is called strength. He opened his hands, and his hands directly and slowly solidified a huge coffin, then placed the coffin in front of himself. Four brilliantly bright soul rings slowly emerged from under his feet. They are white, yellow, yellow, and purple, not even up to the standard soul ring ratios. When Gali looked at the white soul rings, his eyes flashed with contempt, then flashed away, pretending to be excited. Our coffin bearer revealed his four soul rings. Surprisingly, he is a level 40 soul sect. This seems interesting. The first soul ring is only 10 years. 
which is enough to prove that this person's talent is not strong or even the very poor kind of, it is estimated that the person under the eerie black robe is already 50 or 60 years old. However, although the coffin bearer's first soul ring is a laughing point, but the people under the stage still discussions are still one-sided. After all, a 40, level soul in O you want, even if there are 10 years of soul ring, but killed with its same level of people, and the other is a milky brat. This game is who wins even do not have to see it. Sure enough, I pressed the right one. Although the first soul ring of the coffin lifter is 10 years, but it is absolutely not to be underestimated, that's right. If he doesn't have a certain amount of strength, how can he defeat or even kill someone who is at the same level of the 40th level soul sect as him? Zhu Sheng saw the lone 10 year soul ring that was glowing with a white aura, held back a smile on his face, clapped his hands, and sighed, Whoa, I didn't expect there to be someone whose first soul ring was 10 years. You are indeed awesome, the coffin bearer couldn't help but get a little annoyed as he listened to Zhu Sheng's scolding tone. This 10 year soul ring was the pain of his life as his talent was indeed very poor. His forcefully resisted the urge to tear Zhu Sheng. Coldly said kid, you dare to humiliate me so, hurry up and reveal your soul ring, I can't wait to tear you apart. Want to see my soul ring? Fine, satisfy you. The corners of Zhu Sheng's mouth on the stage curled up slightly. So much as to want to see his own soul ring. Of course it is necessary to satisfy him, after all, after all. By the way, a slight blow to his weak heart is also quite interesting. The next moment, gently stretch out the palm of the hand. Trembling, and with infinite bloody gas of the nine hearts, blood tong in the heart of the hand blossomed out. Scarlet red aura radiating range is so large that it has already brought a cold and depressing atmosphere for the entire big soul arena. The opposite side of the coffin bearer, but he was staring at Zhu Sheng with a disdainful face. This kid was still so young, and his soul power level was at most that of a great soul master, so no matter what, he couldn't possibly be a one-on-one -on -one enemy of his own. But then, his face gradually solidified, his gaze gradually changed from disdain to thick fear, he was so scared that he took a few steps backward. His fearful face was enough to reveal his emotions. What did he just see? 10,000 year soul ring. That's right, it was the 10,000 year soul ring. Not only was this child, who was less than 10 years old, a soul sovereign, and every single soul ring was a terrifying 10,000 year soul ring. Zhu Sheng levitated four soul rings underneath his feet and asked him with a smile on his face, How is it? Don't you want to see my soul rings? since those who participated in soul fights would cover their faces with special eye jewelry. Zhu Sheng wasn't worried about exposing himself. The coffin bearer wanted to speak, but realized that the words were stuck dead in his throat tube, and he couldn't make a sound. On the contrary, it was Jia Le Hu, as if his emotions had been ignited. Roared enthusiastically friends of the audience, this child is actually a soul sect, moreover, the soul ring ration has far exceeded the limit of what a soul master can achieve. Four ten thousand year old soul rings. A strong man with stubble on his face violently stood up from his seat, rubbed his eyes, and stared at the four pitch black soul rings under Zhu Sheng's feet, fearfully saying, Are you kidding? Four million year old soul rings. The man next to him kept repeating, How is this possible? Impossible, even a sealed Dulio couldn't achieve such a soul ring ratio. Right, at only level 40, he already has 410. Zeros, zero, zero year soul rings. If he grows up in the future, he will be unable to resist. It seems that the coffin bearer has been planted this time. This kind of opponent has already crushed him to the point of being unable to resist. Unable to resist. In an instant, Zhu Sheng became the center of attention of the entire soul fighting arena. The coffin bearer took a deep breath and frantically reassured himself this kid is just an empty talent. I won't necessarily lose to him. In a real fight, his eyes suddenly lit up, and he said grimly, that's right. I won't lose. Second soul skill. White bone. 
The second yellow hundred years soul ring lit up. The tightly closed coffin began to tremble crazily, as if something horrible was about to break out of the coffin. Zhu Sheng was not in a hurry to make a move, and looked curiously at the coffin that was constantly trembling its a bit interesting. Ah, this martial soul should be similar to the summoning of otherworldly creatures. The Jiala, who was stepping on the hoverboard in the air, saw that the coffin bearer had already started to move, and exclaimed, Wow, the coffin bearer has taken the lead in launching his second soul skill. What exactly will appear in the coffin? The audience below were all hooked up. The audience below were all piqued with curiosity, and they all stared why, died wanting to get a glimpse. Did it come out, the coffin bearer's special ability to summon otherworldly creatures? It's said that the creatures summoned by this soul skill of his are all flesh and blood, and can quickly regenerate even if their heads are cut off. This kid is in deep trouble. This kind of thing can't be killed. Click sound, the entire coffin board directly burst open. The coffin lid was a huge impact blasted flying into the sky. Then, from the coffin slowly walked out of a body is quite magnificent. At a glance, all white bones of the creatures. The most bizarre is that its individual body, the most bizarre thing, is that there is a trace of blood flowing between its various bodies. The white bones stared at Zhu Sheng, revealing a horrifying smile. His mouth repeatedly muttered, Kill. Kill Zhu Sheng was surprised, even if you can still spit out human words. This martial spirit is quite unique. Although the surface is still lazy, the bottom of the heart is still a trace of vigilance. The coffin bearer sneered this kid must have been stunned. Good chance, the white bone that got the order suddenly shook, pulled off one of his ribs, gripped it tightly, and rushed towards Zhu Sheng. The white bone's eyes were filled with endless killing intent kill, kill, after arriving in front of Zhu Sheng. He ruthlessly stabbed the ribs in his hand. Zhu Sheng looked at the white bone man who was about to stab himself, and at the next moment, sidestepped nimbly to avoid its attack, and his hand itched for him to back, and is a slap with all his might to pump it. Bang Zhu Sheng's enormous power, easily and mercilessly, white bone will fly out. The whole person's bones like fragments scattered to the ground, issued a clattering sound, the coffin bearer was shocked. What, surprisingly, my white bones were shattered with a single slap. His white bone body was even able to withstand a fierce strike from a strong attacking battle, soul sect. But it was as fragile as paper in front of Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng handsomely shook off his throbbing arm. After all, the one that was throttled was a bonny hard bone, plus it was blasted out with full force. Although he didn't know if there was anything wrong with the white bone, he was definitely subjected to the recoil. After the numbness disappeared, Zhu Sheng opened his mouth and mocked no way. Your white bone is so unbreakable. The embarrassed coffin bearer clenched his fists and disliked kid. Don't be complacent. My white bones can't be beaten at all. As long as he had soul power, the creatures he summoned were all immortal. Hearing this, Zhu Sheng frowned, refocused his gaze on the white bone body that had just been reduced to pieces and queried undead. At the end of the sentence, only to see by Zhu Sheng's slap into pieces of white bone began to automatically reorganize. Not more than a few seconds, the white bone again stood up again, once again pulling out their own ribs sprinted towards Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng's eyes flashed through surprise, secretly set him in the fight Gouda, but even with the reorganization. However, the lifeless white bone will not give him time to catch his breath. Close to Zhu Sheng is a sudden stab. Zhu Sheng's mouth quietly spat out a sentence the third soul skill, the blood of the Tong's royal, the third black soul ring under Zhu Sheng's feet lit up. Blood Tong's defense, extremely strong single defense technique. Shield will not disappear on its own until it is broken, that is to say. If this light shield is not broken all at once, then it will always exist in an instant a few millimeters away from Zhu Sheng's skin. A layer of extremely dense light shield wrapped his entire body at an extremely fast speed. The rib bone stabbed out by white bone heavily blasted onto the light shield. 
The latter didn't even have the slightest crack appearing. On the contrary, it was the one it was holding in its hand, the ribs broke in half like a branch and fell to the ground. A few moments of doubt appeared in the black eyes of the confused white bone, which looked blankly at the ribs on the ground, and then at the light shield around Zhu Sheng, just like that, an extremely dramatic scene appeared on the field. The, the unconscious white bone kept drawing out a rib and stabbing it, broke, and then drew and stabbed again, and then broke again, and kept repeating, the audience under the stage was still full of confidence in the coffin lifter. But now a part of them had already started to sneer. Pia 50, ha ha ha, laughed me to death. What the hell is this coffin lifter's sole skill? This white bone is so dull, ah. Uh. After stabbing for so long, it can't even poke through the light shield on the other person's body. The coffin bearer narrowed his eyes and said with a grave expression, damn. Is this the power of the ten? Zero. Zero, zero year old soul ring. White Bone's attack is simply not enough to leave traces on the light shield relying on White Bone alone. It is impossible to break the light shield. The coffin bearer took a deep breath. The current situation can only let go of the fight. Coldly shouted third soul skill, blood eating, the fourth soul skill, troll, the third and fourth yellow and purple soul rings lit up. The coffin lying on the ground directly copied three coffins in a phantom position. The next moment, only to hear the familiar click sound, the two coffin boards once again flew to the midair. Jia Le, who had not spoken, pretended to be excited and said, Wow, oh, oh, it seems that our coffin bearers have already planned to really show their strength. Let, let's guess what kind of creatures are inside the two coffins. Zhu Sheng looked at the other two coffins that appeared. The corner of his mouth slightly curled up its no use. The gap between a hundred year soul ring and a thousand year soul ring and ten thousand years is so big. And he is a sealed Duluo level soul power. The gap is irreparable. He saw that in the two coffins. First, there appeared a huge beast that was as big as four or five white skeleton bodies combined. The monster face hissed. And the monster face hissed. Monster face hissing up. The sharp serrated teeth in that mouth seemed to carry endless danger. The other was a tall, voluptuous woman with miserable white skin, her face covered in a smile, especially her two slender fangs. Like a vampire, like vestigial sense of vision, the two summoned creatures let out a blazing howl before they tore towards the light shield on Zhu Sheng's body. The three creatures were thus under the control of the coffin bearer, the white bones poked with their ribs. The woman in white bit with her fangs, the giant beast smashed with its thick arms, after a long time. The coffin. Bearer incredulously rubbed his eyes and stared at the light cover without a trace of dimming. He stared at the light shield without a trace of dimming. He said in shock, This is impossible. Why is it that after smashing for so long? That light shield still hasn't disappeared. That's right. Those three creatures had smashed the light shield for dozens of minutes. But there wasn't even a hint of damage. This guy's defensive soul skill, what the hell is it? Such a monotonous fight made the audience who were still somewhat passionate were splashed with cool water. To the point that some of the audience had already slumped in their chairs and huffed and puffed. Gia frowned slightly, secretly feeling that the current situation was a little bad. If this fight did not have any highlights, then, as a commentator, he would also have to be chastised by the great fighting soul arena. He relifted the two halves of the chrysanthemum sunglasses and roared with excitement in a seductive tone of voice. It seems that the coffin bearer can't even break the other party's soul skill shield. Ah, can it be said that this is the difference between a 10,000 year soul ring and a thousand year soul ring? But what method will this genius child use to defeat the coffin lifter? Let's wait and see. However, the audience under the stage were not buying it, feeling that they had paid money to come here to watch just to see these three otherworldly creatures fight against the shield. What a joke, as the largest soul fighting arena within Marshall Soul City. This kind of fight was simply a huge disappointment. The rather handsome man lifted his chin and said breathlessly, Chi, it's no fun. 
This coffin lifter can't even break the shield. This is still a fight. The woman the man was holding nodded her head slightly and sighed that's right. And even though this kid has four terrifying ten, zero, zero, zero year old soul rings, he is still stupidly staying in the shield. We demand that the great soul fighting arena return the gold coins. That's right, return the gold coins. I might as well go watch the other first and second soul fighting arenas if I'm wasting my time. Giela heard so many protests for refunding the fees. He immediately became anxious and said softly to calm down, Everyone, calm down, calm down. Often the most exciting duel is the most simple way of fighting. Maybe in a while there will be a wonderful staging. Zhu Sheng looked at the opposite side of the soul power. Consumption is too large. Is constantly gasping for air, his eyes with a smile. It seems that the audience has already waited for the return of gold. So I'm going to go to the other first, second soul fighting arena. It seems that the audience can't wait any longer. Or else Yao'd better surrender. The coffin lifter looked at the three creatures he had summoned, buried his head, and secretly said I can still maintain for ten minutes. This kid's ten, zero, zero, zero year soul ring must have consumed a huge amount of soul power. Hang on and ill win. Thinking of this, the corners of his mouth unconsciously rose, once again looking up at Zhu Sheng, thinking that he had seen through Zhu Sheng. Impossible. I see that you've also spent most of your soul power maintaining this shield. Right. The way you look now is nothing more than an act of strength. Besides, do you think you still have a chance to attack me now? He was the one who had the initiative on the field right now. How could he easily admit defeat? Zhu Sheng spread his hands and spoke to the coffin bearer in a gradually grim tone, eh? That means there's no way to talk about it. My hands need to see blood. This guy does not admit defeat. Then he does not need to show mercy anymore. The coffin bearer bared a smile, mocked kid. You really think you can still beat me? If you can defeat me, ill cut myself on the spot. White bone, bloodthirsty, troll, continue to blast me. I don't believe this kid can still free his hands. What? Just halfway through his words. He was filled with shock as he looked at the pitch black soul ring that lit up again under Zhu Sheng's feet. How is this possible? This shield should require constant injection of soul power. How is it possible to attack others while protecting yourself at the same time? Zhu Sheng didn't bother to talk nonsense with him and coldly said, the first soul skill, begonia blossom. The nine hearts blood begonia that blossomed in his hand instantly split apart and drifted towards the coffin, carrier like the petals of a brightly colored rose with thorns. The pupil of the coffin bearer standing in place shook. His heart actually perceived a strong uneasiness from these petals. Even to the point of having a trembling illusion, if these petals hit his body, he would die. He sprinted towards his three creatures and shouted angrily, not good. Come back, the petals of the nine hearts blood begonia slowly drifted with the wind, bringing a bloody red drifting tail with every trace they moved in the air, the three giant xenobiotic creatures. Receiving the coffin bearer's command immediately stopped their attack on Zhu Sheng blocking the latter's face at a very fast speed. Looking at the three giant tall creatures blocking in front of himself, the coffin bearer's heartbeat accelerated up. And he huffed who, luckily it was too late. This kid's soul skill is too weird, but his own creatures are immortal. Zhu Sheng's bland gaze was filled with disdain for the three giant creatures relying on these unbeatable guys to resist. Can they withstand it? If it was any other martial soul, it might really be stopped. But his own martial soul was incomparably bloodthirsty. These creatures, it just so happened that they should be enough for a full meal. Right, Zhu Sheng's eyes lit up with a flash of red light, which was then hidden within his pupils. The three giant creatures subconsciously and frantically slapped the petals of the nine hearts blood begonia that floated down. But wherever the petals touched, they were all tightly absorbed seeing the petals were easily blocked. The coffin bearer's heart began to be complacent. A little broken petals, how can deal with their own powerful creatures? The vigilance in his heart gradually loosened. Zhu Sheng saw this scene. The corner of his mouth flicked slightly. 
silently spitting out a few words from his mouth, the next moment, his fourth ten-thousand-year-old soul ring lit up fiercely. It was precisely his fourth soul skill, crazy growth, fourth soul skill, blood tongue flower can utilize the target stained by its petals to instantly cover them. And it can draw on the target's soul power to restore its own soul power. The Shar, Pied Coffin Bearer, saw the fourth ten. Zero's, Ero zero-year-old soul ring under Zhu Sheng's feet light up. Frowned, and vigilantly observed the surrounding area, and secretly pondered. This kid's fourth soul ring is lit up. Launching a soul skill, in the air, Gile also discovered this situation, and was surprised to say he he. Does not make sense, ah. Nine heart blood tongs fourth soul ring bright bright. How nothing happened. A man wondered this child's fourth soul skill shouldn't be nothing. Right. The young man next to him denied that he had just said that. I don't think so. Even the most trashy ten-year soul ring has a soul skill. Ten-thousand-year soul ring is even more unlikely to appear this situation. However, a man who was closest to watching the battle seemed to have discovered something, and stretched out his finger to point at the feet of the three giant creatures, and said in shock weight, You guys, look! The body of that tri-giant creature is actually starting to grow red stuff with this person's reminder. The others also quickly realized something was wrong. A, really A. The red petals seem to be the petals of that nine-hearted blood begonia. I see. That soul skill just now must be similar to parasitism. Hearing the voices coming from outside the field, the startled coffin bearers quickly turned back towards their three giant creatures. Suddenly, the inconspicuous petals of the Nine Hearts Blood Begonia, which had only been clinging to the creature's torsos before, began to grow savagely, and in a matter of a few seconds. They had already covered their legs are all wrapped up. Not a moment later, the three giant creatures are easily by the Nine Heart Blood Begonia to firmly entangled. The three giant creatures that are restricted began to struggle. However, the effect is little, as if these nine heart blood begonia is like steel casting, cannot be torn off at all. The coffin bearer who reacted to the situation was shocked, and the already small amount of soul power in his body began to rapidly drain away. Then he turned his gaze, filled with anger, towards Zhu Sheng. Damn it, stinking brat, what have you done to me? Why is my soul power constantly draining away, puffing sound, Three lost soul power to support the creatures are powerless, fell to the ground, burst into crystal light, disappeared. Along with the paralyzed on the ground, there is also the coffin bearer, his eyes stagnant, constantly repeating the words in his mouth can be. Damn, what method did you use? I don't obey. I don't obey. Why? Why did his soul power disappear out of nowhere? Why did that nine-hearted blood begonia petal touch the creature he had summoned, while it was his own soul power that was absorbed? He absolutely would not admit that he had lost. It must have been this fellow who used a despicable means. After Zhu Sheng swept him with a bemused gaze, he looked at Jia Le in the air and softly said, Can we declare the winner now? The Jia Le who stepped on the hoverboard first froze for a moment, and after he reacted wisely, he quickly clapped his hands and announced loudly and passionately towards the microphone. It is now announced that the winner of this match is Nine Heart and Blood Tong. Let us give a warm applause to congratulate this powerful newcomer for winning his first match in this great soul fighting arena. The words fell, only to see the big screen on the fighting soul arena instantly appearing Zhu Sheng with eye jewelry and a bit of coldness in his body. It was as if he had instantly become the most beautiful boy in the third soul fighting arena, and with Gala's encouragement. The people in the audience of the entire third fighting souls arena stood up and clapped their hands with loud applause. Handsome ah! I didn't think that this nine hearts blood tongs strength would be so strong despite his age. That's right, next time I will buy him. Maybe I can take the opportunity to make a big profit. Ha 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 I got rich, Harry. I pressed this nine-hearted blood tongue for five hundred gold soul coins at ten to one. I've made a profit of four, five, hundred gold soul coins. Im rich, im rich. Some people are happy. Some people are worried. 
Those who pressed the coffin bearer lost a lot of money. The man with a gloomy face spat this coffin bearer is really a waste. He can't even solve a child. The woman next to him clenched her fists and pouted HMPH, causing me to lose a full thousand gold soul coins. I really want to kill this waste. It's over. All my belongings, that's all I have. Zhu Sheng stretched his back, glanced at Jile, and faintly said, Can I get off the stage then? Jiela in the air nodded his head hurriedly, Of course you can. You are always welcome to come back to the Great Soul Arena. I'm afraid that after today, this kid is going to become the favorite of the Great Soul Stadium. There will be a chance, Zhu Sheng muttered, turning his body and preparing to leave the stage. Who knows? Zhu Sheng's back suddenly rang out a shadowy voice. It was the coffin bearer who had just collapsed on the ground. Now he stood up again, took out his dagger and stabbed towards Zhu Sheng's head, who had his back turned towards him. Full of killing intent kid, go to hell for me, there is no way I will lose. The airborne Gala's heart skipped a beat. Noticing the coffin bearer's small movements, he hurriedly shouted into the microphone, watch your back. Zhu Sheng, who was facing his back, stopped walking shook his head silently, and then, with a pop sound, snapped his fingers lightly and left without looking back, only to see that behind him, the coffin bearer, who was just a hair's breadth away from piercing Zhu Sheng's head, was instantly drowned by countless rattan canes of the nine hearts of Blood Tong. When the nine-hearted blood begonia disappeared again, only a dried-up body with blood sucked out of it was left on the spot. The field immediately resounded with the size of the audience. Hiss. Surprisingly, he was able to instantly destroy the coffin lifter. Had he been holding back before, this means of instantly sucking someone dry is too terrifying. Fortunately, the opponent wasn't me. I didn't expect the powerful coffin lifter to die like this. A. Eh? I reckon that the seven-person coffin lifting battle team can also be disbanded who would have thought that people have been hiding their clumsiness all along, and that this coffin lifter has been reduced to the present like this is a self-inflicted sin, still the same familiar waitress. She handed the card to Zhu Sheng and smiled little brother. This is the thousand gold soul coins after you win. It has been deposited into the card. This handsome little brother's opponent was that coffin lifter who abused his opponents from time to time and his combat experience was also extremely rich. Unexpectedly, she was able to win the fight, which she did not expect. Zhu Sheng took it and smiled faintly at her thank you. Miss Sister, this handsome little face that one can't help but want to sink into. Her hormones are about to get out of control. She suppressed her surging emotions and secretly said inhaling, Breathe out, breathe in. Is this what it feels like to have an infarcted mind? Then her face showed the color of unwillingness to give up. Her face reddened and said that, Little brother, will you come again later? Zhu Sheng blinked his eyes broadly and lovingly well. I'll come every afternoon during this period of time. But I'll trouble my sister to book a 1v1 soul fight for me in advance. Getting Zhu Sheng's affirmation, the waitress gladly stretched out her finger and made an okay gesture. Don't worry. I'll leave it to my sister to make sure that the opponents she finds for you are all normal. In this way, Zhu Sheng successfully ate soft rice with his outstanding appearance. No, he successfully bribed the waitress. Zhu Sheng, who walked out of the Great Soul Stadium, yawned lazily, raised his eyes to look at the dark sky, and sighed, Is it nighttime already? It's still a long way from the Star Duel Great Forest. If he were to go to the Star Dipper Great Forest now, he was afraid that just rushing would be almost dawn. His character is already lazy. He can come to the big soul-fighting arena to participate in a soul-fighting. Is considered to be worthy of Baibidong. How can he spend time to run to the Star Dipper Great Forest again? Besides the butterfly effect, this kind of thing is very metaphysical. It is possible to run into the Titan Giant Ape, the Tianking Ox Mang, or whatever, in the next moment. Zhu Sheng's mind floated an idea. Why don't we go to Sunset Forest and try our luck? The Sunset Forest was definitely much closer than the Star Do Great Forest. And it was also a better place to find. After weighing that one to save more effort, 
he decided to immediately move to the Sunset Forest. Seven Treasures glazed sect inside the Grand Hall, in the main seat of the main hall, there was a man sitting, wearing a crystal laurel crown that shimmered with silver light, and his dusty and elegant cheeks made people feel close to him at first sight. He was the Seven Treasures Leal Isek's patriarch, Ning Feng Zhai, and the ones who retreated to his left and right were Sword Duluo, Dusty Heart, and Bone Duluo, Ancient Banyan, respectively. Both of them were Super Duluo above the 95th level. Which was the guarantee that the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect was able to stand on the continent? Ning Feng, I gazed slightly condensed staring at the little girl in front of him, only to see that the latter's appearance was pure, her figure was slender, and she was only filled with a rich noble aura that refused to let others in. Ning Feng tone was soft and said wrong wrong, why haven't you absorbed the first soul ring up until now? Ning Rongrong heard that her father had no intention of getting angry, then lightly bit her thin lips and retorted in a very unhappy tone dad. The soul beasts that Grandpa Bone and Grandpa Sword hunted for me before were too ugly. I don't want it. Ning Feng Shai furrowed his brows and gently droned Rongrong. You, Dustheart quietly raised her eyes and glanced at Ning Rongrong covered her mouth and coughed, faintly saying Feng Jiai, This is all because Old Bone and I didn't consider Rongrong's feelings. Let's just leave it at that. Tomorrow it'll take Rongrong back to hunt other soul beasts again. Ancient Banyan also stroked his mustache and smiled as he said yes. This is all a small matter, a small matter, as long as Rongrong is happy, hearing Dusty Heart and Ancient Banyan speak up for themselves. Ning Rongrong had the courage to stand up for herself. Ning Feng, I looked at Dusty Heart and Ancient Banyan. Who doted on his daughter so much and sighed, Rongrong, apologize to your Grandpa Sword and Grandpa Bone. And this matter will be left aside by Dad. Ning Rongrong picked up her arms and said disdainfully, Im not. It's clearly their fault. Hearing this reply, Ning Feng Jai, who finally couldn't help himself, slammed the table with a bang and shouted angrily. Rong Rong, you're too arrogant, when Ning Rong Rong heard this angry roar out of Ning Feng Jai's words. She couldn't help but feel her petite body shaken, and the corners of her aggravated eyes couldn't help but shed a few drops of tears. Papa has never said anything like this about me before, but this is clearly Grandpa Bone and Grandpa Sword's fault. So who am I to apologize? Am not going to apologize. The big deal is that I'm going to hunt soul beasts by myself. I don't want you guys to care. Ning Rongrong angrily flung her sleeves and angrily shouted, and then directly left angrily. Gu Rong got up and hurriedly said, Rongrong, however, she was pulled back by Ning Feng Jai, making the already angry Ning Rongrong hear Gu Rong's voice. Ning Rongrong heard the voice of Gu Rong, accelerated the pace to leave, he sat down somewhat helplessly sighed and murmured a Feng Jai. Why is this necessary? The sulky dusty heart, on the other hand, slumped her face and questioned with a face full of displeasure, Feng Jai. What are you doing? What does it matter if you apologize or not? As long as Rongrong is happy, that's fine. To make his family Rongrong unhappy over such a trivial matter was completely unnecessary. Hearing Dusty's words, Ning Feng Jai slowly closed his eyes, how could his heart not feel bad? Ning Rongrong was his own daughter, practically the baby of his heart, never able to be angry with her, but this time he couldn't indulge any more. If he allowed her to be so capricious, would she be able to have friends that she could trust her back to in the future? Sitting in his chair, Ning Feng, I silently exhaled, a bitter smile surfacing at the corner of his mouth, Uncle Sword. Uncle Bone, it's all because you've indulged her too much. This is and good for Rong Rong's future dusty heart stood up and hugged his arms. Turning his head sideways, HMPH, I don't care. If Rong Rong gets mad at me this time, I won't be able to spare you. Ning Feng, I could only reply to dusty heart's little temper with an awkward smile. Ancient Rong frowned, thinking that Ning Rong Rong would be afraid that something would happen if she was alone. Feng Jiai, something will happen to Rongrong. 
Want something happen to Rongrong? I de better go and take a look. I de better go and take a look. Im more at ease. Ning Feng, I shook his head and vetoed the suggestion, faintly saying, No need. Let Rongrong think about it herself. And as long as he stays within the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect, no one can harm him, can they? Dusty Heart and Ancient Banyan glanced at each other, and only had to give up. Zhu Sheng, who was walking in the sunset forest, looked up and looked at the dark surroundings, all of which were covered by densely packed acacia trees, and in particular, the sound of soul beasts wailing resounded from time to time, which made even he quite a bit wary of it. Zhu Sheng sat down on his butt, spat out this sunset forest at first glance is quite scary ah. Gray peace, compared to the Star Dipper Forest, a lot of horror ah. I should have known not to come, he thought, that the quality of the soul beasts in the Sunset Forest is lower than the Star Dipper Forest. Who knows that the feeling of the lack of the night is very different. Zhu Sheng's back branches suddenly rang hiss tilde hiss sound. It is a body length of about one, five meters, covered with poisonous mandala snake. Its cold eyes stared at Zhu Sheng's neck. Waiting for the time to strike a fatal blow, Zhu Sheng is not lazy to pay attention to, leisurely stretched out. At this moment, the mandala snake's venomous pupils enlarged and gradually rose up the purple meaning. With a swift and swift momentum, tearing away, Zhu Sheng rolled his eyes and back handed a slap to tear the jaw of the mandala snake that came, so that it could not go any further then easily pulled it down from the branch. Grab the head to the ground is a burst of friction. In the original place only came the mandala snake soft wail, and then not long, stopped the life fluctuations. A flooding yellow soul ring in the body surfaces out. Zhu Sheng saw that he accidentally died, embarrassed and scratched his head and threw it aside. Shaking his head helplessly, he said it really can't be beaten before the words fell. The woman's piercing screams rang out from the front of the room. Ah, you stay away from me, stay away from me, Zhu Sheng, who originally did not intend to mind his own business, narrowed his eyes when he heard the female voice, always feeling as if he had heard this voice somewhere before. Ning Rongrong, who was paralyzed on the ground, only felt as if her legs and feet had lost their strength, and her face was pale as she looked at the soul beast in front of her. It was a giant spider with a pattern not far removed from a human face. And the dozens of small, chilling eyes under those tentacles stared at Ning Rongrong as if they had already viewed it as tasty food. Ning Rongrong, who was completely frightened by the human-faced demon spider. Her body trembled continuously. Her tone of voice carrying endless fear, you ugly monster. Stay away from me. Get away. Ning Rongrong's heart was now filled with regret. Had she known that she shouldn't have vomited and come to this dangerous hellhole alone, and it also allowed her to encounter such an ugly soul beast. Ning Rongrong, who doesn't understand the human language, flicked its thighs and slowly approached Ning Rongrong with silk in its mouth. Ning Rongrong shrank into a ball, her desperate eyes looking at the human, faced demon tarantula that came closer and closer, but she didn't have any resistance, and she had to keep repeating, Save me, with a weak sobbing voice. Who will save me? Ning Rongrong has been less than a meter away from the human face, Magic Spider, seems to have been unable to resist the killing heart. Directly jumped up with a huge body to pounce on the inability to move Ning Rongrong, Ning Rongrong hastily stretched out his arm to cover his head. The fear of the closed his eyes exclaimed, Ah, only heard a bang sound. The capsule of the demon spider sunken down dozens of centimeters. The huge body flew backward more than ten meters, ruthlessly smashed into the tree, slid down to stand again. It stared at the rather unwillingly Ning Rongrong, who has not reacted. Curled up on the ground, Ning Rongrong quietly stretched out her hands. Her fearful eyes slightly scanned the surrounding, seeing the demon tarantula with a human face that disappeared from her eyes. She couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief, and held her right hand that had been cut by the sharp stones before. The right hand that had been cut by a sharp stone slowly stood up. She scanned the dark surroundings and tried to inquire, Is it Grandpa Bone and Grandpa Sword? 
receiving no response, the light on Ning Rongrong's face dimmed, Grandpa Bone and Grandpa Sword would have definitely rushed out at the first opportunity if they had heard her voice. But right now, they were clearly not here with just her, a tenth level soul power. Auxiliary soul master who hadn't yet absorbed a soul ring, she simply couldn't escape the Christ, he's ridden Sunset Forest. Anxiously, Ning Rongrong began to stomp her feet and ramble, what to do, what to do. What should she do if that sphinx demon spider came again? If she encountered other soul beasts, would she be able to escape? The corners of Zhu Sheng's mouth began to twitch as he stood behind Ning Rongrong, who had stood behind her since he had repelled the sphinx spider, the hell knows, this girl didn't even find him. Zhu Sheng stretched out a finger and gently poked Ning Rongrong's delicate and charming shoulder. The latter felt that someone was poking herself behind her and subconsciously frowned and angrily reprimanded, don't bother me, the next second, she seemed to realize something horrible, and her face froze up again, covering her breasts tightly. Her body trembled as she slowly turned away. When Ning Rongrong saw a figure behind her that was a little taller than herself, she subconsciously took a few steps backward, and her feet did not react well enough to touch each other and her whole body tilted backward, Zhu Sheng, who was quick on the trigger, quickly rushed out to grab Ning Rongrong's enviable waist when she was about to fall down. Zhu Sheng's fingertips flowed with this comfortable touch, secretly sucked in a breath of cool air hiss. Such a slender waist, it will not also be a scourge of the beauty of the embryo, right? Immediately smelled a fragrant warmth attacked. That is shampoo residual flavor, burying her head. Ning Rongrong only felt her sensitive waist being tightly embraced, her face instantly blushing, but it was nicely shrouded by the color of the night after she reacted. Like a scared rabbit, she escaped from Zhu Sheng's warm embrace, clasped her hands together, and said nervously, Who are you? Is Dad sent to save me? Zhu Sheng gently shook his head no. I just happened to be hunting soul beasts in the sunset forest, Ning Rongrong's face revealed a few moments of disbelief, covering her mouth and laughing softly hunting soul beasts. You're about the same age as me. How could you possibly be hunting soul beasts alone in the sunset forest? This sunset forest had no shortage of ten, zero, zero, zero year old soul beasts, and she didn't think that someone of the same age would be able to hunt soul beasts on their own. Perhaps even Ning Rongrong herself didn't know that there were a few points of condescension missing from her tone when she was talking to Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng was about to open his mouth when his spiritual power suddenly sensed dozens of soul beasts around him rapidly approaching the place, and frowned at Ning Rongrong as she reminded her quickly stand beside me. In addition to the Sphinx Demon Spider, dozens more soul beasts have gathered around. The target should be us logically speaking. They hadn't done anything to attract the soul beasts. So how could they suddenly be surrounded by a large number of them? Hearing Zhu Sheng say this, Ning Rongrong's face, who had just relieved some of her fear, changed dramatically once again, and in her heart, she was convinced of this sentence. Thinking about the human-faced demon spider just now, if it wasn't because she was lucky, I was afraid that she had already lost her life under its claws. Ning Rongrong hurriedly covering her right arm, which was still dripping blood, she came close to Zhu Sheng and said with a worried look, Can you? You do it. Zhu Sheng nodded his head gravely. N. Just be careful not to leave my side. Then seeing Ning Rongrong covering her right arm, he squinted his eyes and looked, barely able to see the blood dripping from her right arm. These soul beasts appeared to have been attracted by the flavor of the blood. As expected, in the period of time that followed, the soul beasts that were hidden around them had surrounded Zhu Sheng and the two of them from all sides. Even amongst these soul beasts, there were two soul beasts whose cultivation level was around 30,000 years old. Under the huge oppressive force, Ning Rongrong's palm could not help but clench Zhu Sheng tightly, which barely allowed her to have a sense of security. Standing behind Zhu Sheng, she could only feel that she was being stared at by countless pairs of eyes, 
and she didn't even dare to breathe a single breath. Her delicate body once again tightly pressed against Zhu Sheng, and she whispered in an apprehensive tone, Hey, there are so many soul beasts, what are you going to do? Feeling the slightly elastic warmth on his back, Zhu Sheng coughed, just kill them, in his eyes. These soul beasts were nothing more than guys that could be slaughtered casually, but for the sake of the girl's safety behind him, he had to be a little more cautious. Zhu Sheng slightly stepped, releasing the Nine Hearts blood tong, which gradually opened up in a ring shape on the ground, enveloping the two of them underneath their feet. The next moment, his feet suddenly appeared under the four pitch black incomparable soul rings. Ning Rongrong behind him violently covered his mouth. Shocked to look at Zhu Sheng's feet, the four ten thousand year old soul rings. The mood was shocked to say he is actually a soul sect. He's a soul scholar, moreover. The first to fourth soul rings are all ten. Zero, zero, zero year old soul rings. This is simply impossible. Even she, the proud daughter of the seven treasures glazed sect, can only withstand a hundred years of soul rings. What exactly is this person? Zhu Sheng looked at the surrounding soul beasts that were jumping up and down and said, in a cold tone, third soul skill. Blood Tong's royalty in Zhu Sheng and Ning Rongrong's surroundings. A trace of Nine Hearts Blood Tong slowly condensed them together, and then turned into a seemingly weak light shield. Oh, PFFD, dozens of soul beasts stretched out their sharp claws and giant teeth, directly impatient to pounce from all around. But when they collided with the light cover, they were mercilessly flicked out by the huge recoil. Ning Rongrong, who was already used to it, pursed her lips and couldn't help but reach out and gently touch the extremely weak light cover. The light cover that was touched by her fingers stretched outwards for a moment, just like a thin film. The light cover touched by her fingers stretched outwards for a moment, just like a film. It was unbelievable that this light cover had blocked the simultaneous attacks of dozens of soul beasts. The bottom of her heart gradually began to be curious about Zhu Sheng's identity. The cunning human face Magic Spider's eyes suddenly turned. His mouth threw out a silk web, accurately covering the range where the two people were. Other soul beasts that had been flicked off stood up again, and did not care about the web around Zhu Sheng's two people. Once again, Zhu Sheng's two people were attacked in a new round. Carried out a new round of attacks, Ning Rongrong held back the feeling of her stomach churning with vomiting, and tremblingly reached out to point at the human, faced demon spider in front of her, which was nibbling on the soul beasts that were firmly glued to the silk webs after exhausting their kai. She did not hide the disgusting color in her eyes. This human-faced demon spider is so cunning. It even counts on its own kind, Zhu Sheng's faint eyes swept a glance at the human-faced demon spider that was ignoring them and continuously nibbling on the other soul beasts. It is probably because it knows that it is not a match for me, so it is sitting back and enjoying the ride. He turned his eyes to Ning Rongrong and looked at her blood-stained arm, does your arm still hurt? Ning Rongrong looked down, clenched her teeth and endured the pain and shook her head. It's already fine, Zhu Sheng felt a bit amused. And the first soul ring suddenly lit up the first soul skill, Begonia Blossom, a smear of nine heart Begonia petals close to Ning Rongrong's injured arm. Numbness gradually came, the injured place immediately began to scar, and then slowly fall off. Ning Rongrong's eyes flooded with light, gently rubbed the wound, and knew that the injured place has been completely recovered. Then, Zhu Sheng felt a little funny. Completely recovered well. Afterwards, Ning Rongrong's gaze was covered with doubt again. This is a recovery soul skill. Aren't you a control system soul master? Zhu Sheng smiled and rubbed her head, intimately saying, I'll tell you later. Let's get out of here first, so that we don't attract other soul beasts in a while. Ning Rongrong's heartbeat trembled and she only felt a wave of strange feelings emerge from the bottom of her heart. Obviously, she is very sick of other men touching her. But she is very sick of other men touching her, other men touching themselves, but why did this man touch himself? Not only did he not have a feeling of disgust, but his heartbeat was so fast, she silently answered, uh. 
Zhu Sheng and Ning Ronggrong sat down on their knees. The former quickly built a pile of bonfires. The hot flames gradually raged. The intense firelight slowly illuminated Ning Ronggrong's cheeks. Zhu Sheng lifted his eyes and stared at this slightly delicate and high and cold face. His pupils quickly shrunk, and he immediately recognized that this girl was the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect Sect Patriarch. Ning Feng Zhai's daughter, the Ning Ronggrong, Previously, due to the darkness of the night, he did not carefully observe her face. And only now did he realize that it was Ning Ronggrong, Zhu Sheng secretly said, a narrow road between enemies. He was prepared to meet the Shrek seven monsters when he went to Shrek in the future, but he didn't expect to meet Ning Ronggrong in advance today. Zhu Sheng was sizing up Ning Ronggrong, and the latter was sizing him up as well, especially after seeing Zhu Sheng's handsome appearance. Ning Ronggrong's eyes had a few ripples in them from time to time. It's the first time she's seen a man who makes her eyes light up, especially with that hidden sense of laziness, even more than his father, Ning Fengjai, makes people want to get closer to him. After all, the saying that face value can increase the favorability of other people's hearts is not an empty saying. Ning Ronggrong took the lead in stretching out her white arm and said with a smile, My name is Ning Ronggrong. Thank you for saving me this time. Zhu Sheng froze for a moment and also stretched out his hand to shake it and returned a smile. My name is Zhu Sheng and am sure a man will be able to meet such a good-looking girl. I am Zhu Sheng when I met such a beautiful girl. I think all men would save her, right? Ning Ronggrong's fingers are very soft and silky. Like jade grease that one can't bear to let go of, however, he remembered that in the Ning Ronggrong who hadn't entered the Shrek Academy. Her temper was extremely arrogant and capricious, and at that time, she even went out of her way to spend a lot of money to let Tang San Kill Dai Mubai. And now Ning Ronggrong, give him the feeling is not so, but has a few points of gentle and intellectual feelings. Ning Ronggrong, see Zhu Sheng grip their palms froze. She was a little embarrassed slowly shrink back to the hand. Doubtful to the road Zhu Sheng, can you tell me what kind of soul master you are? She can't figure it out. Zhu Sheng's martial soul is obviously more like an auxiliary soul master. But why can he also be able to soul beasts? Zhu Sheng threw a bunch of wood into the bonfire, nodded and said, Of course you can. Im an auxiliary and control dual system soul master. His soul skills can be interpreted as a control system and can also be interpreted as an auxiliary system. What direction the martial soul wants to go in is not really a matter of fixed thinking. For example, Helena's martial soul, Sky Fox, can also acquire an offensive soul ring, Oscar's sausage. If he absorbs a soul beast such as the Mandalorian snake, he may be able to work as a poisonous soul master. Hearing Zhu Sheng's answer, Ning Ronggrong frowned control and assist dual lineage soul master. How come I've never heard of this type of soul master? If a soul master develops in two areas, it is just a matter of being able to do so without being proficient, which will seriously affect the soul master's future development. Zhu Sheng scratched the hair on his head and explained ah. This is actually my own thought, if I am specific, I should be an auxiliary soul master. Ning Ronggrong nodded her head thoughtfully, and said with a grave expression on her face, then your soul power and soul ring. Zhu Sheng shrugged his shoulders and faintly said him sorry. Ronggrong, it's not very convenient to tell you these things, but I think there will be a chance in the future. The two of them sat in this silent atmosphere for an unknown period of time which was suddenly broken by a coo 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 tilde. Ning Ronggrong hurriedly covered her own stomach, her eyes showing embarrassment. Ning Ronggrong hastily covered her stomach. Her eyes revealed a look of embarrassment and quietly looked at Zhu Sheng. Her mouth was unable to speak. Zhu Sheng revealed an odd expression and quietly asked, Ronggrong, you wouldn't have not eaten in the evening. Would you, being cared for by Zhu Sheng so bluntly, Ning Ronggrong's cheeks simply reddened, and under the light of the flames, more than a few points silently nodded, when she vomited and left the seven treasure glazed sect, 
She simply didn't have enough time to eat. It would be strange if her stomach didn't growl. Zhu Sheng stood up and instructed, Then you wait here. I will go find something that can be eaten. One couldn't let the little treasure of the hallowed seven treasures glazed sect starve. Could one, if this is known by Ning Fengjiai and that ancient banyan dust heart, I am afraid that they will fight to kill themselves. Afterwards, he secretly said, Well, although they may not necessarily be able to beat himself, seeing Zhu Sheng is about to leave. Ning Rongrong subconsciously reached out and grabbed Zhu Sheng's wrist. His tone of voice stammered, Zhu, Sheng, I'll go with you too, right? Seeing this worried look on her face, Zhu Sheng suddenly realized that she must have been scared out of her shadow by the previous sphinx demon spider and was afraid that after Zhu Sheng left, there would be another soul beast to come. She was also an auxiliary soul master and did not have a bit of self-protection power at all. Zhu Sheng cast nine hearts blood tong and the third soul ring instantly lit up, directly condensing a light shield around Ning Rongrong. He gently patted the back of Ning Rongrong's hand and said soothingly, Rongrong, you'd better wait for me. As long as it's not a soul beast with a cultivation level of 30, zeros, zero, zero years or more, basically, it can't break through this shroud. Ning Rongrong thought for a while, sat down again, and said rather hesitantly, This, well, then you be careful, but thought of the dozens of soul beasts before the full force of the combined attack did not break through the shroud, is also not so nervous. Click. A crisp sound suddenly rang out beside the campfire. Ning Rongrong, who had been leaning against the back of a tree and was almost falling asleep, instantly woke up and alertly said, Who is it? The person who came was Zhu Sheng, who had come back from hunting and at the moment he was holding two fat rabbits in his hands. Seeing Ning Rongrong woke up, Zhu Sheng slowly sat next to her, smiled gently, lifted the two rabbits in his hand, and said Rongrong, Are you awake? When I take care of these two rabbits, they will be ready to eat. Ning Rongrong suspected that she was hallucinating, and that there were people who ate rabbits. Ning Rongrong suspected that she was hallucinating Zhu Sheng. You don't want to use the rabbits as food, do you? Zhu Sheng glanced at her in surprise. Yes, the taste of rabbit meat is quite delicious. He had forgotten that Ning Rongrong was born in a big sect like the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect, and would definitely not eat food like rabbits. Ning Rongrong's face is not this. Isn't too good, right? The rabbit is so cute. How can you eat it? Zhu Sheng didn't answer decisively took out his dagger and directly skinned and bled the two rabbits before inserting two tree branches into them. Finally, he took out the oil juice from the storage type soul guide given by Bai Bidong and put it on the campfire and started smoking it. It didn't take long for the smoked rabbit meat to become reddish in color and full. Just looking at it made people's appetites open up. And not only that, but it also continuously emitted a rich fragrance belonging to the smell of meat to the surrounding area. Ning Rongrong, who had been very disgusted with the rabbit meat, smelled the fragrance after the aroma. Staring at the rabbit meat quietly swallowed, secretly said good. Good fragrance, ah, the seven treasures glazed sect those expensive food, and this plain food compared to the latter looks much stronger. Zhu Sheng naturally saw her small movements, so he took down a rabbit meat and handed it to Ning Rongrong hungry. Right, quickly taste, Ning Rongrong hands elegantly received the rabbit meat, gently smelled the fragrance, and then quietly approached the thin lip edge. Wait, Rongrong. Add some cumin and coriander powder may taste better. Zhu Sheng stopped Ning Rongrong's action, and then hurriedly took out two boxes of seasonings and sprinkled some on the rabbit meat in Ning Rongrong's hand. Zhu Sheng, then quite satisfied, can quickly try how Ning Rongrong bite a rabbit meat, only to feel that the outside of the charcoal inside the tender fresh taste instantly wrapped around the tongue. Cumin's slightly spicy taste for its more added a few points of satisfaction. Ning Rongrong's eyes flashed with a refined light, and only three words surfaced in her mind, so delicious. 
Ning Rong Rong's hunger has made her unable to maintain the elegant appearance of the Seven Treasures glazed sex young lady. Eat to the back, almost do not care about the rules. Began to bite bite after bite in the rabbit meat, tearing it down and swallowing it violently by the campfire. She is more more a few points of authenticity. Zhu Sheng handed over a tissue, smiled and said Rong Rong, don't be anxious. Eat slowly seeing Ning Rong Rong eat so fragrant. Zhu Sheng heart also more than a few points of sense of accomplishment. Secretly said it seems that their cooking skills are really full of points. Although it is said that the although it is said to be a crossover, but these basic knowledge is still rely on the muscle memory of the Bai Zhu Sheng stared straight at Ning Rong Rong face suddenly a red. Just their own eating face should not be Zhu Sheng see clearly right. Her thin lips moved a few times, like a mosquito voice, said lightly, Thank you. Zhu Sheng, Zhu Sheng waved his hand. No need to thank you. Just now I was afraid that this rabbit meat is not to your liking. Now it seems that my handiwork is not bad. When Ning Rong Rong heard Zhu Sheng directly say her identity, she froze for a moment, and then was surprised to see her face. Ning Rong Rong froze when she heard Zhu Sheng directly say her identity, and then said with a surprised face, Zhu Sheng, how do you know my identity? I don't remember saying it. Right. She didn't remember revealing her identity. <laughs> Zhu Sheng asked with a smile in her eyes, who doesn't know that the seven treasure glazed sex little princess is called Ning Rong Rong? Ning Rong Rong said angrily disgusting, Tilda Zhu Sheng, you've changed. You first hurry to eat, eat and then come to talk about business. In fact, it is not a big deal, but Zhu Sheng is very curious has always been on Ning Rong Rong as a treasure of the Sword Duluo and Bone Duluo. Even tolerate to let her come to the Sunset Forest alone. O Ning Rong Rong answered, somewhat dumbfounded, once again looked at the rabbit meat in her hand and began to chew slowly. Zhu Sheng saw her finish wiping her mouth and only then asked curiously Rong Rong, then ill asked directly, You don't stay in the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect. How do you come to this sunset forest alone? This place is not friendly to auxiliary soul masters. Not only is it unfriendly, if there is no powerful strong attacking soul masters that can protect the latter, I'm afraid that they will be killed in a minute. The soul beasts will only need to recognize that you are weaker than them. As long as a soul beast decides that you are weaker than it, it basically won't care about anything. Ning Rong Rong thought of Ning Feng Jiai's angry roar before, and she felt a bit aggrieved in the bottom of her heart. Out Zhu Sheng understood the situation, holding his chin and pondered, I see, but this is really Rong Rong, you are wrong. No matter how to say, cannot be so unreasonable with the elders Ning Rong Rong heard Zhu Sheng's words. Her eyes gradually red, staring at the latter's eyes, Zhu Sheng, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ning Rong Rong heard Zhu Sheng's words, and her eyes gradually turned red, staring tightly into the latter's eyes. Zhu Sheng, even you think him wrong. Even Zhu Sheng thinks she is wrong. Is it possible that this whole thing is my fault? Zhu Sheng coughed, thinking that it was time to play the mouth hiding that worked wonders in all realms, in order not to irritate Ning Rong Rong. He decided to patiently explain from another aspect Rong Rong, you came from the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect, which is one of the upper three sects, and your heart is naturally higher than normal people. I can understand that, however. You have to understand one thing. All types of soul masters have to emphasize on cooperation between each other. And if because of your willfulness, you lose your teammates who can put your back up, you will have to be more careful in the future. Back to rely on teammates. This makes the already weak auxiliary system soul master even more difficult. And the most important point in establishing friendship between teammates is to be equal to each other. I'm sure Uncle Ning probably thinks the same way, fearing that your little temper will delay your future. After giving such a lecture, Zhu Sheng calmed down and fiercely took a deep breath, but to be honest, he couldn't understand it himself. The opposite Ning Rong Rong eyes flooded with the color of thinking. Half a ring also do not know whether to listen to understand towards Zhu Sheng light spirit a smile. 
Thank you, Zhu Sheng. Perhaps it is really my mistake, Zhu Sheng. Use sole power to let the bonfire bonfire extinguished. Stood up blandly, this is just my understanding. You don't have to care too much, wrong wrong, while it's light soon. Ill accompany you to hunt soul beasts, Ning wrong wrong looked at the sky that had gradually brightened up. And secretly said it's been so long since we've been out. Dad won't be very worried about it, Zhu Sheng looked at her. And said I don't want to worry about it. Zhu Sheng looked at her staring at the sky, reached out and shook his hand in front of his eyes. And reminded him, Rong Grong, don't be silly, let's go, uh huh, subconsciously answered. Ning Rong Grong elegantly wrapped up her light blue dress and stood up to follow Zhu Sheng. She stood up and followed Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng gave a glance and kicked the stone armor beast in front of her, which was quite pleasing to the eye and possessed a cultivation of 300 years to Ning Rong Grong's side. Rong Grong just absorbed the soul ring of this soul beast. 300 years of cultivation is very close to the number of years a soul master's first soul ring can endure. Moreover, without any surprises, it will allow Ning Rongrong's first soul ring to possess a defense enhancing soul skill. Ning Rongrong, who stretched out her jade hand to the side and gripped the dagger tightly, looked down at the stone armored beast that had collapsed on the ground with only one breath left, and slowly crouched down and sidestepped her head to finish off the former with a single slash, a yellowish soul ring floated up from the stone armored beast. Ning Rongrong sat down on her knees, glanced at Zhu Sheng, blinked her eyes and playfully said Zhu Sheng. Then ill trouble you to protect the law for me. Zhu Sheng hugged his arms and slowly nodded his head. Well, don't worry about absorbing the soul rings. Dusty Heart, who was white and still had an air of dignity, frowned and looked at Gu Rong next to him old bones. Have you felt Rong Rong's soul force fluctuations? Ancient Banyan shook his head with an ugly expression. There are too many soul beasts. Perhaps Rong Rong's aura has been masked. The two of them went all the way at night, based on Ning Rong Rong's soul force fluctuations, before finally narrowing down the scope to the Sunset Forest. But the Sunset Forest was so large that trying to find someone was like finding a needle in a haystack. Damn it, if this continues, something will definitely happen to Rong Rong, Dusty Heart clenched his palms tightly. But before the words were finished, his nose sniffed, and he smelled a meat fragrance that very much made him want to swallow. Ancient Banyan saw this, and also tried to smell it, and his eyes were suddenly stunned, and he was incomparably certain that he said this is the smoked meat flavor who in the sunset forest dared to build a bonfire. It was likely to be attacked by light, loving, powerful soul beasts those who could do so were mostly powerful. Dusty Heart pointed to the direction where the smell of meat drifted from and immediately said, This smell of meat is drifting from over there. Let's go and take a look first after saying this. The two of them immediately moved off to the direction they pointed to, and when they arrived, they only saw a pile of extinguished bonfires, as well as a piece of leftover. Gu Rong swept the surrounding area, and when he saw the handkerchief that had fallen on the ground in front of him, he violently rushed over to pick it up. Dust Heart saw his strange appearance and also walked over. Looking at the squatting Gu Rong, who was crouching down, said suspiciously, Old Bones, what's wrong with you? Gu Rong, who was holding a handkerchief in his hand, stood up and looked at Dusty Heart with a grave expression on his face. There's no mistaking it. This is the handkerchief I gave to Rong Rong some time ago. She should be not far from here. Zhu Sheng, who had his eyes closed, suddenly sensed two cents and slowly opened his eyes, grinning coldly. Huh, there are two people with powerful auras approaching this place. Is it Chrysanthemum, Pass, and Ghost? The next moment, he narrowed his eyes and shook no. Not right. These two are even stronger than them. To be able to be even stronger than Chrysanthemum, Pass, and Ghostly Phantom, and to be in the Tiandu Empire. Unsurprisingly, Zhu Sheng's eyes looked towards, with a cold sweat on his forehead absorbing soul rings, Ning Rongrong. If that's the case, he himself had better leave first, so as not to cause. Zhu Sheng slowly lowered his head and picked up the dagger. And before he had time to put it away, he heard a voice, 
Rongrong's breath disappeared right here, from the back of the woods. Two figures quickly rushed out, and then stopped in their tracks. The two were Dusty Heart and Ancient Banyan, who had already arrived. They began to scan the surrounding area, and with one glance they saw Ning Rongrong, who was lying on her knees on the ground absorbing soul rings. Ancient Banyan was somewhat elated, and said it really is Rongrong. Dust Heart hanging up the big stone finally fell. Quite happy, said Huo. Fortunately, Rongrong is fine. Otherwise, I will never let go of the wind that guy. They walked over to Ning Rongrong's side, checking the ladder very carefully for fear of finding traces of injuries. And at the same time as they were checking, Zhu Sheng, who was standing next to them, gradually solidified his face. He looked at the dagger in his hand that he hadn't had the time to put away and he always feeling that something is going to go wrong. It seems like it would be easy to attract attention to go now, ah. Uh, not to go sooner or later, he will be noticed. Before he could think too much, the icy gazes of Gu Rong and Dusty Heart shifted to his body. Dusty Heart's eyes flashed with endless coldness as he angrily questioned that kid across the street. Who are you? Why are you here? Zhu Sheng took a step back an awkward but polite smile on his face as he quickly dropped the dagger to the ground and hurriedly explained that. I was just protecting the Dharma for her Gu Rong, stared at the dagger in Zhu Sheng's hand that fell to the ground and laughed coldly protecting the Dharma. Kid, then what's with the dagger in your hand? This kid is when they two battle. Hardened sealed Duluo are all fools, whose recognizance would be holding a dagger to protect the law. This brat definitely had bad intentions towards their wrong wrong. The side of the dust heart ha laughed. Then faintly said now, the whole continent feel, my seven treasures glazed clan, good bully is it. Even an unknown junior, want to our wrong wrong hands, since they got wrong wrong to produce killing heart. Then don't blame him for ignoring the face to lay hands on the juniors. Dusty heart, like an immortal, like a dashing wave of the sleeve. A sword that exudes endless killing intent, in the palm of his hand gradually solidified, this sword is precisely his martial soul. The seven killing sword, then slowly under the feet, slowly appeared yellow, yellow, purple, purple, black, 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 black nine soul ring. Her is exactly the horror of the sealed duo. Dusty heart slowly stretched up his sword, the sharp blade pointed straight at Zhu Sheng's head kid. Are you ready to die? Seeing Dusty Heart's appearance seems to be the next second to do something to himself. His heart suddenly alerted, seeing Dusty Heart can't wait to swing his sword. Gu Rong quickly reached out to stop him. His eyes coldly swept a glance at Zhu Sheng. Before Dusty Heart said Rong Rong needs to be quiet right now. Pull this kid to other places and then deal with it so as not to affect Rong Rong's absorption of soul rings. Dusty Heart narrowed his eyes and nodded before staring at Zhu Sheng, nakedly threatening, Kid, are you going to follow me up yourself? Or am I going to catch you myself? Zhu Sheng face rose a few points of displeasure. This Dust Heart and Ancient Banyan, two sealed Duluo. Acting simply reckless to the extreme, even Zhu Sheng, now also very upset two people, but Zhu Sheng he looked at Ning Rong Rong and saw that she was about to finish absorbing her soul ring, which is the most important stage, silently shook his head and secretly said, It's just, Dusty Heart looked at Zhu Sheng, who appeared very calm on the opposite side, and a trace of surprise flashed through his heart. This kid saw himself as a sealed duluo. His face actually did not even show a trace of fear or even shock. This kid... Dusty Heart inserted the seven killing sword into the land and said in a domineering manner, Kid, what are the last words? I can give you ten seconds if you wanted to kill Zhu Xing. It was just a casual thing. And now giving him ten seconds to say his last words was already the last bit of mercy to his juniors. Although it didn't stop himself from killing him, Zhu Sheng's eyes also went cold last words. I have little interest in that. Seeing this situation, he didn't need to explain, and even if he did, it would be nothing more than being taken as sophistry by Dusty Heart. Since sooner or later he would have to fight, 
Then, let's give it a try, after awakening his martial soul. He had never fought a strong person, who was also a sealed duluo. This kind of battle, at the same level, might be able to allow him to take advantage of the opportunity to find a breakthrough to the 92nd level under pressure. Although it is very dangerous, after figuring it out, Zhu Sheng is not ready to hide his clumsiness, slowly stretched out his arm in the palm of his hand, full of the bloody atmosphere of the Nine Hearts' blood tongue quietly bloomed. We'll be around the woods or died a few points of the shuddering red mango, when Dusty Heart saw that Zhu Sheng didn't speak, but released his own martial soul, he slightly raised his white eyebrows, oh, surprisingly, he still released his martial soul. Intending to make a final struggle, Zhu Sheng, who looked at Dusty Heart, curled his mouth slightly, and when the Nine Hearts' blood tongue in his hand was released in its entirety, one after another of the pitch, black soul rings gradually appeared underneath his feet. One ring, three rings, six rings, nine rings, nine ten thousand year old soul rings, Dusty Heart could no longer remain calm. His eyes staring at Zhu Sheng's soul rings in shock, shocked, he said, What, this kid actually has nine soul rings? He is as strong as himself at the sealed Duluo level, and the nine soul rings he possessed were all ten thousand year old soul rings. This kind of terrifying soul ring ratio had far surpassed himself. It was expected that not a single person in the entire continent would be able to reach it. Dusty Heart reached out to cover the dull chest, actually feel a little clogged. His decades of stable state of mind today began to shake. Hart secretly said how is this possible? He is obviously just a child not even fifteen years old. But he has even reached the rank of sealed Duluo. Zhu Sheng looked at Dusty Hart who was burying his head in a daze, knowing that he should have been stimulated by himself. Just now, this guy's performance had made him very upset, so he definitely wouldn't make him comfortable himself. Naturally, he had to take this opportunity to strike Dust Hart, after all. Someone who had cultivated for sixty to seventy years before breaking through to a sealed Duluo had come across a child who had already reached a sealed Duluo at the age of just nine. This was no longer something that could be changed by effort. Rather, it was true talent, thus. Zhu Sheng stepped out and said in a cold tone, late generation, Zhu Sheng. Ninety-one sealed Duluo, please teach me. Dust Heart gradually calmed down, slowly raised his head. His eyes, in addition to the killing of Zhu Sheng, also mixed with a few other feelings. He silently pulled up the seven killing sword, gripped it tightly, and then said to himself, Kid, your name is Zhu Sheng, right? I admit that your talent is already the first person I've ever seen. At only a teenager, you have reached the level of a sealed duluo if there are no accidents when you are not ten years. No one in the entire continent will be your opponent. Zhu Sheng's mouth twitched up, what is this dusty heart yelling about? In the end fight or not, in the bottom of his heart, he treated this guy as a boss that brushes monsters and adds experience. If he doesn't fight, if he wants to break through to the 92nd level, I'm afraid it will take a few more months. Dusty Hart's words suddenly intensified, and his eyes snapped to life. But since you want to harm Rong Rong, then old me will never let you off because I cherish my talent. Zhu Sheng secretly gazed and silently said in his heart, then let me see how big a gap there is between a peak Duluo of level 90, 7, some say level 90, 6, and me, since he had already finished speaking. Dusty Heartleaf did not intend to hold back. The fourth soul ring under his feet lit up, and he coldly he drank. Fourth soul skill, killing spirit, the seven killing sword in Dusty Heart's hand was filled with a white fluorescent light and the edge of the sword was gradually outlined by several meters in length. It was as if the sword Kai that could tear everything apart. Zhu Sheng's first soul ring lit up, the first soul skill, blood tong blossom, the petals of the nine hearts blood tong coalesced together like a spinning ring, shaped wheel, cutting towards Dusty Heart. Dusty Heart saw this, and suddenly spat out a word from his mouth kill. Immediately, he violently lifted up his seven killing sword and slashed diagonally towards Zhu Sheng's location. A few meters long sword gas and Zhu Sheng's nine hearts of blood tongue petals, cohesion wheel, 
collided together, bursting out amazing sparks, click sound, nine hearts of blood tong, petals instantly, by the sharp sword gas, cut into two halves. Through the straight after the kill to Zhu Sheng, Zhu Sheng quickly jumped to the side, perfectly avoiding the straight line of the sword Kai. Zhu Sheng's breath gradually shortened, secretly said Huo tilde worthy of the strong attack power of the sword Du Luo. Easy to nine heart blood tongue this kind of attack absolutely cannot be hit. Once one was hit, it was very likely that one would directly lose their mobility. At that time, one would become a lamb to the slaughter. But Dusty Heart clearly didn't want to give him a chance to catch his breath. And the fifth soul ring lit up once again, fifth soul skill, mighty shock, Dust Heart controlled to throw the sword out. Using the seven killing sword body as a prototype, then one after another sharp seven killing sword phantoms materialized around him. The seven killing swords that covered the sky directly hung in the air, surrounding Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng squinted his eyes. Ranged attack, fourth soul skill, Blood Tong's royalty at that moment. His fourth soul ring lit up. Since it was a ranged attack, the single damage would definitely not be as good as the sword Kai from before. He wasn't sure if he could block the seven killing swords that were bombarding the sky. In the next moment, a layer of shields integrated by the nine hearts Blood Tong wrapped Zhu Sheng in them. Dusty Heart looked at this scene in his eyes and said indifferently my attack is, ain't that easy to resist. With a wave of his arm, the countless seven killing swords that had long been stored up and waiting to be launched blasted towards Zhu Sheng with a stern killing intent. Sword after sword blasted against the shield, only causing it to dim slightly by a few points, but it was into a single seven killing sword that had bombarded the shield. Rather, it was almost hundreds of them, countless seven kill sword bombardment. The shield constantly ringing steel collision like magnetic ringing sound. Seeing that has dimmed no luster shield, Zhu Sheng frowned, will look to the front of the dust heart, about to block it must stop her when Zhu Sheng's fifth soul ring lit up. A faint tearing sensation immediately came from his body. He pursed his thin lips and stretched out his palm to aim at Dusty Heart's figure fifth soul skill, Blood Poison's Tong. Dusty Heart suddenly felt a sense of uneasiness, and when he found Zhu Sheng's palm aimed at himself, as well as the fifth soul ring on his body lit up, his face gradually became grave and he maneuvered his body to swiftly start moving. Secretly said, as long as I move fast enough, this kid will not be able to capture his position, who knows. Zhu Sheng, who had already seen through this, raised the corners of his mouth imperceptibly, relying on fast movement to make himself unable to lock his position is indeed a good method. However, it is a pity that Zhu Sheng's fifth soul technique is a locking technique. Blood poisons begonia, Locking technique. It could make the begonia flower grow out of someone else's blood, and it was highly poisonous. Plop sound. Dusty Heart's arm slowly drilled out a bunch of light green blood begonias. Dusty Heart, who was moving, only felt that his brain suddenly felt a sense of dizziness. His face was ugly and said, Not good. This kid's fifth soul skill is actually able to parasitize out of thin air. Moreover, in addition to being able to lock, it also contains a terrifying poison with 90, one levels of soul power. He was able to instantly poison himself. It was enough to see how old this soul skill was, Dusty Heart, whose right arm was already swollen, endured the pain of his meridians being burned, and quickly called towards the seven killing sword's body, which flew back to his hand with a swoosh, of course. The countless seven killing swords phantoms in the air also shattered like glass and disappeared. Disappeared, the shield around Zhu Sheng also reached its limit and exploded into a grain of crystal particles dispersed. Dusty Heart, after getting the seven killing swords, the first time to send a huge amount of soul power to disintegrate the toxicity. However, but let the toxicity spread even more quickly knowing that the toxicity could not be dispersed within a short period of time. Dusty Heart's face was unsightly, it can only be sealed temporarily. Sixth Soul Technique. Seal off. The seven-kill sword erupted a holy light. 
Dusty Hart gripped it tightly and gently cut his right arm, which was already black. The holy light was injected into his right arm from the torn wound. Sealing the spreading toxicity, originally, he thought that dealing with a newly promoted sealed dulio would make the toxicity spread even more rapidly. A just promoted sealed dulio kid is easy, but now it seems that he has still too underestimated him. If so, then even himself will probably be planted in this bizarre martial soul after solving the arm's poison. Dusty Heart re-established his gaze towards Zhu Sheng, this time his eyes more serious, less contempt. He recognized Zhu Sheng's strength, then, naturally, also have to take out his real strength to treat. Dust Heart Heart silently recited the seventh soul skill, seven killing true body, the seventh black soul ring slowly lit up, only to see, in his hands of the seven killing sword, the aura suddenly changed drastically. Zhu Sheng looked at the front of the use of the martial soul true body of the dusty heart, the whole heart of an unprecedented sense of nervousness. Mouth murmured martial soul true body. Dusty heart is planning to use his full strength. The pale yellow soul ring gradually merged into Ning Rongrong's body, and her forbidden eyes gradually opened. Then she lowered her head, and at the first opportunity, she stretched out the palm of her hand, releasing her own martial soul. The seven treasure glazed pagoda, the seven treasure glazed pagoda is distributed in layers, glittering with variegated light. And there are seven layers of such an exquisite space, with each layer adding a few points of the aura that uniquely belongs to the continent's no. One auxiliary martial soul, at the next moment, a soul ring glowing with a yellowish color, surfaced from beneath her feet. Ning Rongrong turned her head towards the back with a happy face and said Zhu Sheng, I made it, but when her eyes gathered on Gu Rong's body, her face instantly turned cold. Gu Rong's face was a little embarrassed. He could see that Ning Rongrong hadn't yet lost her temper. Eyeballs turned, and she complimented in an extremely kind manner worthy of being our Rongrong. Surprisingly, a person who can't be trusted. We can't be trusted, our wrong wrong, even going to the sunset forest alone and obtaining a soul ring, much stronger than Feng Zhai. Ning Rong Rong let out a humph and pouted, whispering I don't care about you. It's all because of Grandpa Bone and Grandpa Sword that I was scolded by my father. Gu Rong's eyes were full of doting colors, and he repeatedly said yes, yes, wrong wrong, this time it's all the fault of your grandpa sword and I. Since you've absorbed the soul ring, then hurry up and follow us back to the clan. It's not safe out here. Is not safe back to the clan? Wait, grandpa bone, did you just come to my place and see Zhu Sheng? Gu Rong frowned, confused. Zhu Sheng, I've never heard of this name before. To say that the only person I saw when I came here was the kid who intended to misbehave with wrong wrong. But that should have been taken care of by Dusty Heart by now, right? I don't know if he is old. Even to solve, a kid have to be so on. Ning Rongrong saw this scene. A wave of unknown premonition surged to the heart. Speaking as he looked at the ancient banyan, worried said oops. Bone grandfather, Zhu Sheng is one of the boys who guarded the law for me. Gu Rong's eyes flashed through a few moments of thought. And suddenly he seemed to recall a scene that had happened earlier. The boy who intended to misbehave with Rong Rong before said that she was protecting the latter. Could it be that? His face became complicated, and he couldn't help but say offhandedly hiss. Could it be that the boy before was Zhu Sheng? And that taking the dagger was just a mere protect Rong Rong? These words suddenly rang in Ning Rong Rong's ears. And she anxiously grabbed Gu Rong's sleeve. Grandpa Bone, you said that kid from before. You guys couldn't have done something to him. Right, ancient Banyan, who was being pulled by Ning Rong Rong, turned ugly and said with some shame, Rong Rong, I'm afraid it's only bad. Your grandpa sword has probably already killed that kid. Mistakenly killing a kid was nothing. But he was afraid that this matter would make their relationship with Rongrong worse again, and that was what worried him the most. Ning Rongrong's entire body was like being hit by a heavy hammer, 
and his body couldn't help but sway. Zhu Sheng was killed by Grandpa Jian. Ning Ronggrong's eyes lost their concentration, and while spitting out these words, his eyes were already reddened. How could? How could this happen? Obviously, he, he was just trying to protect himself. But he was killed by himself, and the one who killed him was his own sword grandfather. Gu Rong walked over and was about to comfort him in a small voice. Suddenly, the suddenly, there was a loud bang. The forest in front of them suddenly erupted in a sky-shattering explosion. Ning Rong Rong and Gu Rong subconsciously looked over. The latter's eyes suddenly flashed with a ray of light. Urgently looking towards Ning Rong Rong, quickly staring at her seriously, said Rong Rong, Don't cry first. That Zhu Sheng may be fine, because the direction where the explosion had just come from was exactly the direction where Dust Heart's soul force fluctuations had stopped. <coughs> It was highly likely that that kid wasn't dead. Ning Rong Rong's disoriented face gradually glowed with a hint of joy. Then, let's hurry over there, after speaking. She directly turned her head and jogged towards the direction of the explosion. Hey, Rong Rong, wait for me. The front is dangerous. Gu Rong voiced a reminder, seeing that Ning Rong Rong didn't care about him in the slightest. He sighed helplessly and hurriedly followed. Zhu Sheng, who was strongly supporting himself on one knee. Had his stomach suddenly rolled over and violently spat out a mouthful of blood from his mouth, puff, he, who had used the seventh soul skill, the blood-tong true body, only felt that his body was being torn apart by the even so. Zhu Sheng's cold pupils stared at the dusty heart in front of him, stepping on the seven-killing sword. Floating in the air, Dusty Heart stepping on top of the Seven Killing Sword swept Zhu Sheng's gaze indifferently and coldly said, Kid, to be able to fight with me this far is already enough to make it to the end. And I have fought to this point is already enough to be proud of the group, but to here should also end. However, his story should also end here. Every level of sealed Duluo is like a vast ocean, not to mention the difference between the two is a full six levels of soul power. After all, there was still an insurmountable gap as the words fell. The eighth soul ring under Dusty Heart's feet lit up fiercely. Eighth soul technique, twelve flat stream chop countless selves suddenly appeared around him, which was extremely similar to a certain soul technique from before. However, each of the doppelgangers that were now around him possessed nearly 80% of the attack power of the main body. Dusty Heart silently closed his eyes and muttered goodbye. Kid his mind moved. And dozens of doppelgangers rushed straight at Zhu Sheng with a terrifying momentum that was enough to tear apart heaven and earth. The tearing pain, yelled Zhu Sheng, squinted his left eye. His eyeballs were covered with countless blood filaments. He bit his thin lips. If I don't use the sword of ice roses, with the defense of the nine hearts, blood begonia. It's simply impossible for my current self to resist this move, relying solely on his own self using the Nine Hearts Blood Tongs 90, one level of soul power. Under this attack from Dusty Heart, he was only afraid that he would be instantly annihilated, just as Zhu Sheng's heart mobilized his second martial soul. A figure rushed out from behind him at an extremely fast speed, only to see the person who rushed out. The eighth soul ring under his feet lit up, this person was clearly the ancient Banyan who had quickly rushed to him. He knew that this old friend of his had an attack that was how terrifying, so he had to use his full strength to block. Zhu Sheng, who was holding on strongly, had lost all feeling in his entire body in pain. His eyes squinted very heavily. Ning Rongrong, who had then rushed in, saw the pain of Zhu Sheng when Ning Rongrong saw Zhu Sheng's painful appearance. She hurriedly squatted down and hugged him tightly, violently shaking his body and urgently said, Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng, are you all right? However, in Zhu Sheng's field of vision, finally appeared Ning Rongrong's cheeks. Knowing that it was Ning Rongrong's he, the corner of his mouth faintly tugged, the whole body drooped and lost consciousness. And holding Zhu Sheng, Ho did not know Ning Rongrong, was subconsciously thought that Zhu Sheng did the first time I saw Zhu Sheng. I thought he was dead, and I cried, Zhu Sheng, Zhu Sheng. Don't scare me, Zhu Sheng, 
blocked down the attack of the ancient wrong, and Duengxin walked over, to see Zhu Sheng body still exist soul power fluctuations. Ancient Rong coughed and interrupted Rong Rong, this kid is not dead. Just fainted Ning Rong Rong a moment confused, eh? Ning Rong Rong was instantly confused, eh? Dust Heart approached Gu Rong and whispered old bones. Why did you save this kid? He was a little confused about his own, immediately will be killed this kid. This ancient Banyan out of what mess? Ancient Banyan, just meaningfully unclear, gave him a wink. Holding a heart full of doubt, Dusty Heart again looked at the time. All of a sudden, in light in the top, Ning Rongrong glared fiercely at Dusty, and then worried, Grandpa Bone. What should we do now? Zhu Sheng, he seems to have suffered a very serious injury. It was impossible to leave the injured Zhu Sheng alone in this sunset forest. Right, Gu Rong looked at the unconscious Zhu Sheng, helplessly shrugged his shoulders, and proposed we can only temporarily bring this kid to the sect first. Hiss, lying on the bed, Zhu Sheng inhaled a breath of cool air before waking up leisurely. The feeling of getting up and being hurt in the spirit is not very wonderful, ah. He slowly got up from the bed, covered his chest after his upper body was wrapped in white fabric, and looked around with curiosity. The place where he is is a very quaint room, surrounded by green plants and potted plants, after he slowly got up from the bed. He covered his chest after his upper body was wrapped in white fabric, and his curious eyes surveyed the surrounding arrangement. The place where he is is a very elegant room, surrounded by green plants and potted plants, only that the space inside is too large. Zhu Sheng reached out and touched the wooden utensils, which were made of wood. He touched the wooden utensils, which were not made of ordinary wood, sighing. It would take a lot of golden soul coins to buy such a large room. Right, tart, 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 there was a knock at the door. Zhu Sheng turned around, his very vigilant gaze instantly gazing away. He doesn't know what kind of place this is yet, so he must be cautious. The female voice outside the door rang out Zhu Sheng. Im coming in, Ning Rongrong then pushed open the door and walked in, when she saw Zhu Sheng, who was staring at her. Her face suddenly blushed for a few minutes, and she walked over to him briskly, her eyes revealing a few touches of worry Zhu Sheng. Your body is fine, isn't it? She was afraid that Dusty Heart would bring indelible harm to Zhu Sheng's body. Don't worry wrong wrong, I'm fine, my body is not that fragile, hissed Tilda before Zhu Sheng could finish. The extreme pain made him unable to help but suck in a mouthful of cool air once again. But thinking that since Ning Rongrong was here, this place was more than likely the Seven Treasures glazed sect. Ning Rongrong looked at Zhu Sheng heart flushed with a burst of sourness, slowly lowered his head. His tone weakly said that, Zhu Sheng, this time it is me who is sorry for you, letting Grandpa Bone and Grandpa Sword misunderstand you. And also nearly, if it wasn't for her, Zhu Sheng wouldn't have received such a serious injury. Zhu Sheng saw herself blaming appearance, gently reached out and rubbed her hair, and softly said it's not your fault, and im not well now, right? Don't think too much. Ning Rongrong was able to apologize to herself, which means that her own mouth was working that day. Otherwise, with her original nature, how could she personally bow her head and apologize, feeling the warmth of her head? Ning Rongrong only raised her head again. Lift up your head again. Half a minute later, the thins. Gind Ning Rongrong apologized and said, Zhu Sheng, since your body is fine now, can you come with me? Dad said that if you woke up, he asked me to take you to see him. She couldn't figure out what her dad wanted to do, and it was clear that he could have used the seven treasure glazed pagoda to recover Zhu Sheng before this. With Ning Fengjai's means, it would have been easy to recover Zhu Sheng's injuries. Zhu Sheng did not refuse. Smilingly agreed to good ah, then trouble wrong wrong you lead the way, I actually quite want to meet your father, the seven treasure glazed sect of the patriarch Ning Fengj. I, in the view of all people, are treating people gently and generously. But in the opinion of Zhu Sheng Ning Fengj, I as a gentle and generous person in everyone's eyes, but in Zhu Sheng's, he just always look at the interests of the maximization, of course, can also be said that, his vision of people is very far. Otherwise, 
why the original Wai Tang San was intercepted and killed when he will save it. The reason is to look at two points. One, because Tang San's father Tang Hao, the continent's youngest sealed duo, to be able to draw Tang San in, would mean that the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect would hook up with Tang Hao, and it was believed that with Tang San's friendship with Ning Rongrong, when the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect was in crisis, Tang Hao, as the former's father, would never stand idly by. Two, then, was the terrifying potential of Tang Three and his somewhat indifferent friendship with him. What does Zhu Sheng mean by this? Could it be that he is interested in me? Ning Rongrong's thinking was, however, skewed. Rolling her cheeks as if she had thought of something exciting, thus, she naturally took Zhu Sheng's arm. A very satisfied smile appeared on her face, and she softly said in a very gentle tone, Zhu Sheng, Let's go then. Grandpa Sword and Grandpa Bone are there too. Zhu Sheng looked down at Ning Rongrong's arm and said quietly, Rongrong, if you do this, once Sword Duluo and Bone Duluo get angry and do something, the baby that he had spoiled to his heart. Only a few days later, he was intimate with someone else. Tisk, tisk, tisk. I'm afraid that Dusty Heart's face will be as ugly as it can be. However, the heart is comfortable. Ning Rongrong very consciously will hold Zhu Sheng's arm loose, stretching out his finger pointing to the front of the hall. Towards Zhu Sheng whispered this is the place. Let's go in Zhu Sheng nodded, and the two of them walked straight towards the hall in. Zhu Sheng had just stepped into the hall when he realized that the eyes of Gu Rong and Duan Xin, who were sitting at the back, were fixed on him, while Ning Fengjai, who was sitting between them, unexpectedly smiled calmly at himself. There was also a chair placed directly in front of them, and one didn't need to think to know that it was for Zhu Sheng. However, Zhu Sheng's gaze was the first to sweep the ancient banyan and dusty heart. This ancient banyan and dusty heart are giving themselves the slip. With the nine hearts, blood tongue with the current soul power cannot be beaten. But the other martial soul is another story after all. He tried to switch into the sword of the ice roses, last time to give him the feeling that there is only one. So powerful that it is intimidating, especially the eight one hundred. Zero, zero, zero year old and one million year old soul rings brought him a full twenty soul skills. Only with their own body, if they are forced to use, I'm afraid that after killing the enemy, their own body will not be able to withstand the power of the sword exploded into flowers. Ning Rongrong elegantly walked to the front of the Ning Fengjai, pouted and said, Dad, I brought Zhu Sheng over. What do you have things to say in a hurry, Ning Fengj? I elegantly sipped a mouthful of tea, winked at Ning Rongrong, and intimately asked, Rongrong, can you go outside to play for a while? Dad and Grandpa Bone, Grandpa Sword. Some things want to chat with Zhu Sheng. Ning Rongrong glanced at the bland Zhu Sheng, and then clenched her small fists towards Gu Rong and Duengxin and raised them. Then you're not going to do it to Zhu Sheng again at this moment. Gu Rong's heart felt very uncomfortable. Don't worry, Rong Rong. We want to make a move against him, and Dusty Heart, not to mention, the surface is not shocked. But the bottom of his heart is just about to explode. His mouth murmured if I had known earlier. I would have chopped up this Zhu Sheng earlier. Of course, it was only his angry words. Dusty Heart knew afterward that it was because of Zhu Sheng's outpouring of protection that Ning Rongrong was able to return to the Seven Treasures glazed sect in one piece. So there was no hostility towards him. After receiving the assurance of the two men, Ning Rongrong lifted his high and clean chin and was in a very happy mood as he leaving. I just don't know what Zhu Sheng will talk to Dad about. It won't really be. After Ning Rongrong left. Ning Fengjai's eyes that were soft and measured only then looked towards Zhu Sheng, slightly reaching out his hand and inviting Zhu Sheng to say little friend Zhu Sheng. You are the benefactor who saved Rongrong's life. You don't need to be so formal. You are the benefactor who saved Rongrong. There is no need to be so formal. Please sit down, Ning Feng, I had said so. Zhu Sheng did not sit, that was a question of his etiquette. Then the late generation will respectfully follow the order. Zhu Sheng returned a sentence, slowly sat down on the chair. 
waiting for Ning Fengjie's following. He believed that Ning Fengjie, I this person certainly will not call himself over for no reason. This is certainly not simple, on Ning Fengjie's handsome cheeks. His gaze stared at Zhu Sheng for half a second before a hint of a smile surfaced at the corner of his mouth. Zhu Sheng, I wonder if I can call you that. Zhu Sheng frowned slightly. Ning Master jokes, of course you can Ning Fengj. I nodded slightly. Then I'll call you Zhu Sheng. This time, Rongrong in the sunset forest in danger. Thanks to you to save the daughter. Ning Mu grateful. Zhu Sheng faintly said, Ning Sect Master, don't have to be polite. Wrong, wrong, so good girl. I naturally can't possibly watch her perish. This Ning Fengj. I so test himself. Exactly what is brewing, he had a feeling that this answer was about to be revealed. Ning Fengjie's tone gradually increased. A convincing aura overflowing from the inside out, of course, if you encounter any difficulties afterward. As long as it's something that can be done, our seven treasures glazed sect will never push back. Zhu Sheng's displeasure at the bottom of his heart once again raised a few points. He really didn't want to have such a cloudy conversation, and directly spoke out, Sect Master Ning, I appreciate your kindness, and I believe you should also know that I didn't mean to save Rongrong Ning Feng. I stood up, and then bowed slowly, and lowered his head and said, I naturally know that, but if you encounter any difficulties after that, as long as it is possible, we in the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect will never refuse, naturally no. But Zhu Sheng, this time the Sword Uncle Shot accidentally hurt you. Today, I am here for him to apologize to you, Zhu Sheng, secretly said this Ning Feng. I a man can bend. But not in vain, the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect can develop to the status of the Upper Three Sects, the hallowed Seven Treasures Glazed Sect leader. Even personally to himself, bowed and apologized, bowed down and apologized, what this also shows is his ambition. Seeing this scene, the old face of Dusty Heart, who was sitting behind Ning Fengjai, sank, and he couldn't help but chortle Fengjai. What are you doing? Does the old man still need you to apologize for me? However, he was stopped by Ning Fengj, I reaching out his hand. He stood back up and smiled towards Dusty Heart. It's impossible for you to apologize personally, Uncle Sword. Isn't it next to him? Gu Rong patted his shoulder and said with a calm face, Feng Jai must have his own ideas. Don't be so melodramatic. Dusty Heart coldly swept a glance at him and said in a bad mood, HMPH, of course. It's not on your behalf, naturally. There's no need to be melodramatic. If he let this guy Gu Rong experience his own situation, he would be even angrier than he was. Zhu Sheng is not prepared to make things difficult for Dueng Xin. But it's still necessary to make him uncomfortable. He beat himself so hard before, and now he can't even bear this difficult. So what is it? Zhu Sheng's face was a colorful expression. What is this doing to Sect Master Ning, if it wasn't for Sword Duluo's hand? Maybe I wouldn't have been able to come to your clan to visit for a while Dusty Heart wanted to stand up and retort. Kid, you're Wu, but just as his words were in mid, sentence, he was pressed down hard by ancient Rong's shoulder. His other hand covered his forehead. Only feel today and Dust Heart sitting together really disgrace, disgrace big. Are experienced how much life and death of the sealed Duluo level of strong easy to be provoked by the anger. With a junior have to be so to compare. Moreover, this matter is indeed they are not right in order to ease the relationship with Rongrong. What is this bit of sarcasm, Ning Feng? I looked at Zhu Sheng's naked sarcasm, and the corners of his mouth twitched a few times, then flickered away, calmly resuming his seat in the chair. He once again cordially inquired, Zhu Sheng, according to what Uncle Jian said, your soul power has already reached the ninety, first level today. Zhu Sheng smiled darkly and said, Well, I barely have a bit of talent. It seems that when I awakened, I was born with ninety levels of soul power. Ning Fengjie's fingers clenched slightly, enduring the unbearable pain in his heart. No, 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 he is wrong, wrong as savior. He can T-turn his face. He can T-turn his face because of the limitations of the seven-treasure glazed pagoda. 
He was unable to step into the 80th level of Sol Duyuo for the rest of his life and had to get stuck at the 79th level. Zhu Sheng's words mercilessly destroyed the self. Confidence in his heart that belonged to the seven treasure glazed sect patriarch. Ning Feng Shai, this kid speaks with thorns in his side. He can no longer can't be right even Ning Feng. Shai. I almost couldn't help but turn his face away. Not to mention Dusty Heart and Ancient Banyan behind him. The two heard only a PFFD, as if their hearts had been daggered into a thousand holes. Gu Rong and Dusty Heart glanced at each other before nodding silently. This guy said this kind of thing can still say without changing his face that he barely has a bit of talent. Isn't that the same as saying that both of them are trash again, can't stay any longer, afraid to resist killing this kid on the spot? After the two tacitly stood up, Dusty Heart coughed that's what, Feng Zhai, here first to you, the old bone's recently itchy skin. I'll go over to clean up this guy ancient wrong, raised an eyebrow, said who itchy skin. Do you want to fight? Dusty Heart got angry and sneered just fight, who's afraid of you. Don't forget him always one move ahead of you. Bullshit, it's obvious that him slightly better every time. The two feigned anger and dislike, while on the other hand, they quickly walked towards the outside of the hall, just like that. They left, so then. The entire hall was left with Zhu Sheng and Ning Feng Zhai. Ning Feng Zhai. After Gu Rong and Dusty Heart left. Zhu Sheng's previous belly aching only collected itself. Smiling faintly and saying I'm sorry to make you laugh, but I was just upset after being seriously injured by Sword Duluo. So I wanted to let off some steam, and I didn't mean to make fun of you. This short sentence has increased Ning Feng Zhai's impression of Zhu Sheng by several times. He thought that Zhu Sheng's performance was his true nature, and he didn't expect to see that Zhu Sheng had only shown his true nature. He had thought that what Zhu Sheng had shown earlier was his nature, but he hadn't realized that he just wanted to vent towards Uncle Sword and Uncle Bone. Moreover, the intensity of the venting was appropriate and there was no excessive verbal conflict. Secretly gave Zhu Sheng an appraisal, not bad, this dexterity of mind, and possessing such a horrifying talent. Im only afraid that in the future it will also be a strong party, seeing Rong Rong's attitude towards Zhu Sheng before. If Rong Rong can, Ning Feng, I slightly narrowed his eyes, Zhu Sheng saw the opposite Ning Feng, I inexplicably fell into deep thought, thinking that he should be thinking about something important, so he didn't make a sound to interrupt his thinking. Returning to his senses, Ning Feng Jai, staring at Zhu Sheng's eyes flared up, seemingly smiling but not smiling. Inquired Zhu Sheng, What do you think of Rong Rong? What do you think of Rong Rong? Rong Rong, quite well, behaved in understanding. What does sect master Ning mean by asking this? Surprise appeared on Zhu Sheng's face and he asked in a serious manner. Could it be that this Ning Feng, I was planning to betroth Ning Rongrong to himself, don't play like that. You are still young, Ning Feng, I slightly raised the corner of his mouth in an arc, sighing softly. Zhu Sheng, Rongrong in the Seven Treasures glazed sect for so many years, has never been so close to anyone. And there are a few points of capricious temper Ning Feng, I looked directly at Zhu Sheng's pupils in an incredibly serious manner, and proposed, however, since I met you, all aspects have started to develop in a good direction. Ning Feng, I looked directly at Zhu Sheng's pupils with unparalleled seriousness and proposed. However, after meeting you, all aspects of your life have begun to develop in a good direction. So if I pledge Rongrong to you, are you willing Ning Rongrong as his own daughter also inherited his own martial soul, the seven treasure glazed pagoda. Future need a strong soul master guard, and Zhu Sheng undoubtedly is a very good choice. Zhu Sheng's face sank. Sure enough, Ning Feng, I said so much just for these words right now, however. There was no way that he would easily agree. Ning Feng, I was a person who was very resourceful, and by pledging Ning Rongrong to himself, he was just pulling some strings. Overall, it was still the future of the seven treasure glazed sect that mattered, even though Zhu Sheng's heart did not reject Ning Rongrong, and was even quite fond of her, 
She was not the one Ning Feng I used to trade with. Zhu Sheng politely rejected Ning Feng Jai's suggestion. Ning Sect Master, you think too much. Although I have a good feeling about Rong Rong, but not to the point of this kind of talk about marriage, Ning Feng Jai, who got Zhu Sheng's reply, didn't have an unexpected expression on his face, and if he said that Zhu Sheng really agreed to it just like that, he was still full of suspicion about Zhu Sheng as a person, but he was still full of doubts about Zhu Sheng is not a colorful man, so it seems that Zhu Sheng has a rough impression in the bottom of Ning Feng Jai's heart. Ning Feng Jai smiled elegantly. His tone was not salty, and Light said, You're right. This is something I'm not thinking about properly. But if it's possible, I hope we can become a family. Zhu Sheng slowly stood up and said with a smile, I appreciate the intention of the master of the Ning clan. But whether or not Rongrong Rong and I can come together, we still have to look at destiny. After all, there is nothing that's not possible, Ning Feng. I nodded slightly. But before that, ill treat you first, he stood up and stood the scepter in the center, and then the seven treasure glazed pagoda, which was even more full of immortal aura than Ning Rongrong's, slowly appeared in his palm. If there is aura in the seven treasures glazed tower on the non's stop run, from time to time reflected dazzling silver aura. Then, the foot slowly rose seven colorful soul rings. Yellow, yellow, purple, purple, black, 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 two best soul ring ratio. However, the most peculiar thing was that Ning Feng Jai's seventh soul ring was very different from the other two ten. Zeros, zero, zero year old soul rings, and was already as deep as ink as if it already possessed a level close to at least a one hundred. Zero, zero, zero year old soul ring. It is almost the same as the ninth soul ring of Zhu Sheng's nine hearts and blood tongue. His mouth spat out seven words without any emotion. Seven treasure glaze. Sixth day of increase as the words fell. His sixth soul ring suddenly lit up. And the seven treasures Li'ali emitted a blinding white light that was even more powerful than before. And a warm light, like a gushing spring, enveloped Zhu Sheng's entire body from top to bottom. Zhu Sheng stared at his injured skin, only to see that under the warm light, those ruptured flesh and blood began to sprout back up in just a dozen seconds. All the wounds received all over his body healed themselves. This is Ning. Is this the terrifying recovery ability of Ning Feng? I using the seven treasure glazed pagoda. Worthy of being the continent's number one auxiliary martial soul. Even though Ning Feng, I would probably not be able to break through to Soul Duluo in his entire life. It was believed that no one would look to underestimate him. Zhu Sheng glanced at Ning Feng Jiai and politely said, Thank you, Sect Master Ning. The Seven Treasure Glazed Pagoda's auxiliary ability really lives up to its name. If Ning Feng, I was able to reach the rank of Sol Duluo, how terrifying would that be, Ning Feng? I nodded slightly and joked humorously. Go, Rongrong Rong should still be waiting for you outside. If you're a little late, you might think that I've done something to you. Master Ning, you'll be leaving first, he said, gesturing casually towards Ning Feng Jai, and then turned towards the hall. Outside, looking at Zhu Sheng's back, Ning Feng, I rested his chin and silently said Zhu Sheng, I wonder what changes you will make on this continent. It's really something to look forward to ah. Ning Rong Rong so Zhu Sheng walked out, hurriedly came over, carefully surveyed Zhu Sheng whole body. See nothing after the bottom of the heart relieved, after all. Her bottom of the heart is still a little afraid of the ancient banyan. Dust heart, the first thing you need to do is to get rid of all the stuff that you've done. She blinked her watery eyes, Zhu Sheng. Dad and the others didn't do anything to you, right, Rong Rong? How should I answer you with this question? We just talked about something unimportant. Zhu Sheng's mouth twitched as he said intimately. Did she look so easily bullied when Ning Rong Rong heard this? A few hints of disappointment appeared on her face. And she buried her head and whispered irrelevant things. That means Zhu Sheng did not give Dad. It seems that before it was all his own overthinking. Zhu Sheng naturally saw the disappointment on Ning Rongrong's face, 
he rubbed her head again familiarly, and came close to Ning Rongrong's ear, and slowly spit out hot words Rongrong. This time to come to the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect is a very good harvest. But I have to leave as soon as possible. Sensitive Ning Rongrong immediately broke away, and hot cheeks, as if to tell her just now to get the mood. Ning Rongrong's eyes dimmed, buried her head in loss, bit her thin lips, and fixed her gaze on Zhu Sheng. Wanting him to give her a reply, Zhu, Zhu Sheng, do we still have a chance to see each other again? She was afraid, afraid that after Zhu Sheng left the Seven Treasures, Leolai sect today, she would never be able to meet again in the future. Of course I will, but you have to believe in such a marvelous thing as fate, oh. Then ill leave first, Zhu Sheng turned his back and waved his hand in a dashing manner. But after turning around, he had some regrets. Once again, his face stiffened and he turned back, under Ning Rongrong's perplexed gaze. He awkwardly touched his nose, Rongrong, from where can I leave the seven treasure glazed secta? I seem to be lost. This is the seven treasures glazed clan. He has not even come here himself, relying on himself alone. I am afraid that he will not be able to find the correct way out, even if he wanders around the Seven Treasures Glazed Clan for a day. PFFD Ning Rongrong suddenly cover mouth a smile, before the loss of all swept away. Playful and suave said Zhu Sheng, Did not think you still have such a humorous side, ah, go. I take you out, Zhu Sheng. It seems that in the future, we have to solve the problem of getting lost, or else, hiss. Returning to the Martial Soul Palace Academy, Zhu Sheng pushed open the door and walked into the classroom, glancing casually at Kai Yuo, who was writing with his back to himself, and said, Instructor Kai Yuo, Zhu Sheng's voice broke the quiet of the classroom, and Evil Moon's eyes turned to Zhu Sheng. The eyes of the three of them turned to Zhu Sheng. Yan did not have the good sense to snicker. This Zhu Sheng even late a few hours to arrive. Afraid not to be Kai, Yuo Tutor scolded to death next to the evil moon, eyes a pick. Mercilessly out of the voice of the blow, do not think. Zhu Sheng he with you and me, not the same and Hulina the other side. Evil moon's eyes picked up, mercilessly spoke out. Don't think about it, he and you and I. Not the same Hulina's eyes just stared at Zhu Sheng with curiosity. After hearing the voice, Kai Yuo silently stopped the action in his hands, turned around and looked at the doorway of Zhu Sheng. Habitually ready to be angry, he, the word spit in half and swallowed down hard. It doesn't matter if the other three are harsh. Only Zhu Sheng this unique existence. We can't afford to mess with, can't afford to mess with. This is a real sealed duluo. Pinch their own little soul saint is not a matter of hand. So, pretending to calmly cough a bit, is Zhu Sheng ah. First go sit down after Zhu Sheng sat down. Kai Yuo once again to continue the previous topic. Said loudly just now, we talked about martial soul fusion techniques. Martial soul palace, the holy sun's room, in the soft and friendly cotton bed, is lying quietly in a man. Not long, his pair of cold as a tan Guquin's eyes slightly trembled, and then slowly stretched out. His eyes moved to the window, with a few points full of magnetic voice, faintly said Don, afterwards. His body filled with cold breath, very lazy stretched a lazy waist, and then slowly got up from the bed without hurrying. This person is precisely Zhu Sheng, who has already spent three years in the palace of the martial souls. Now he has long faded away the breath of youth, has already arrived at the time of splendor, Zhu Sheng's gaze slightly condensed. Looked at the mirror in front of himself, lightly pursed the corners of his lips, murmured three years. Nine heart blood tong finally still affect me. Just see Zhu Sheng in the mirror about one meter seven tall. Wearing a white robe, wrist loosely pulled up, simple and very beautiful, slightly down the long hair such as waterfalls scattered behind. The whole person invisible between the flow of the coldness is even more, as if it can make all things frozen. If someone with Zhu Sheng in the mirror, he will not be able to see his own face. If someone is with Zhu Sheng to look at, that is a pair of deep black-like amber without any feelings of pupils, appear more cold, eyes constantly glittering with cold light. 
high nose, beautiful lip shape, all are not in the release of its unique charisma, between an eye and a smile. Enough to pull a woman into the intoxicated the abyss, is really a stranger like Jade, and the prince is unmatched in the world. Suddenly, a female voice that caused waves to rise in the mind, rang out from outside the door and broke the tranquility. Zhu Sheng, im coming in, the words fell, and from outside the door walked in a woman with a slender figure and a head of golden hair. She was filled with a sense of flirtation, and with a slight smile on her single thin lips. She was able to stir up the bathing fires of the opposite sex, which undoubtedly added a few points of hazy fascination. Hurricane Hulina, but because of the martial spirit Skyfox, her original simplicity is also gone. Hulina smiled charmingly at Zhu Sheng and intimately took his arm and said, Zhu Sheng, are you ready? It seems like we're leaving the academy today to receive the teacher's instruction in person. Well, let's go. Zhu Sheng's amber, like eyes slightly condensed as he loosened his arm held by Hu Lina and faintly said, Hu Lina rolled her eyes in dismay. Zhu Sheng, you've changed so much in these few years, Zhu Sheng was a bit speechless and coldly said, errant you too, who Lena's words weren't also talking about herself, not only him and who Lena, but also Evil Moon, who is also a member of the Golden Generation, are both very different from what they were three years ago. He has become like this is no way, three years, the nine heart blood tongue every day need to absorb more and more blood, to the end of the even began to affect his state of mind, think before killing a person, Zhu Sheng will be slightly sorry. If it is now, and even as a crushed ants, cannot feel any emotion. Zhu Sheng shook his head to put aside these thoughts, and indifferently walked out let's go. Don't let the teacher wait for a long time. Hu Lina, who was left out in the cold, puckered her lips, and her beautiful eyes flashed through a few lines of unknown light. A few hints of uncertainty flashed in her beautiful eyes, Im not the one who came to call you. Really, then she sighed and followed Zhu Sheng's steps, inside the Pope's palace, sitting on the Pope's chair. Holding the purple and gold scepter of Bai Bidong is still full of submissive oppressive force. Beside them stood Ju Duluo and Ghost Duluo. Bai Bidong's eyes flowed between Evil Moon and Yan. Between, only after half a minute did she faintly voice out Evil Moon. Where are Zhu Sheng and Hu Lina? Evil Moon's demonic eyes were stunned, and his body only felt cold sweat. No matter how many times he has met Bai Bidong, Bai Bidong's powerful and terrifying intimidation has not been reduced by the slightest bit. He respectfully replied, Your Highness, the Pope, no surprises, words, is Zhu Sheng overslept, may have forgotten today's arrangement. As for the sister, should be going to call Zhu Sheng, perhaps soon to arrive, Evil Moon beside the Amazing is careful to look at Bibai Dong a glance, and then buried his head, cannot talk to try not to talk. There are times to do a mute much better, but the more you do not want to do things the more likely to happen, only to see the Bibai Dong's gaze turn to Amazing Body the thin lips slightly opened Yan. Your martial soul flame lord has a lot of potential. If you can cultivate it properly, the title Duluo is not impossible for you. The heart is trembling in the bottom of the amazing shivering replied, Thank you. Your Holiness the Pope, cultivation, Yan will definitely cultivate. With all his heart, it was too terrifying. The pressure of his Holiness the Pope was simply not something that ordinary people could withstand. He couldn't figure out at all how Hu Lina and Zhu Sheng managed to remain calm under this powerful pressure. On Bai Bidong's left side, Ju Hua cared to secretly spit out this Zhu kid is really not afraid of death ah. Even dared to let His Holiness the Pope wait for him, this was already the NTH time that he had seen it. Ever since Zhu Sheng and Bai Bidong became acquainted, the former's attitude toward Bai Bidong seemed to be the former's attitude towards Bai Bidong seems to be too loose. We don't dare to ask, on the other hand, Ghost Duluo is thinking about another thing, about last year. He had sparred with Zhu Sheng, and it ended in a draw, and now Zhu Sheng, 
am afraid that his strength has far exceeded that of Chrysanthemum, Secchi, and himself. At the moment when they were silent, teacher, were here, a cold voice came from outside the hall, and Zhu Sheng, who had a face as frosty as ice, and who Lina, who was full of flirtatious aura, walked in side by side. Who Lina walked in side by side, the arrival of the two instantly attracted the attention of everyone present, especially by Bidong, who had already seen Zhu Sheng's ice cold demeanor and knew that it wasn't in his nature. The purple and gold scepter held in by Bidong's hand shook towards the ground, her tone gradually becoming serious since everyone has arrived. Then I will now talk about the four of you's future cultivation plan from today onwards. The four of you need to collaborate daily to go to the Star Dipper Great Forest to hunt soul beasts with a cultivation level of at least ten, zeros, zero, zero years or more. The tone in which Bai Bidong uttered these words was undeniable, since the four of them had already been cultivated as the golden generation of the Martial Spirit Hall. The cultivation content given must be far beyond the limit. Amazing couldn't help but be shocked. What? Ten thousand year old soul beasts, with just the four of us, am not sure how many levels of Zhu Sheng's soul power. But he, Helena, and Evil Moon's soul power levels are all at about thirty, four to thirty five levels. With this amount of strength to go hunting ten, zeros, zero zero year old soul beasts, am afraid that the whole army will be wiped out in an instant. The corners of Evil Moon's mouth twitched a little glancing at Julina, who had no objections. She stiffly replied yes. Your Holiness, the Pope, seeing the doubts flashing across Evil Moon and Amazing's faces, by Bidong's eyes turned cold. This task is impossible for others. But you are the golden generation that symbolizes the dignity of the Palace of Martial Souls. If you can't even do this difficult task, do you still deserve this title? Evil Moon, Juliana, and Yan immediately replied, Yes, your highness the Pope teacher, this was his highness the Pope himself speaking. So even if they couldn't do it, they still had to do it. Teacher, I have something I want to discuss with you. Zhu Sheng's ice-cold voice rang out at an inopportune time. Bai Bidong frowned and gazed at Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng, do you have any questions? Yan subconsciously thought that Zhu Sheng was dissatisfied with the cultivation of killing the ten-thousand-year-old soul beast. In the bottom of his heart, he anxiously said, What is Zhu Sheng doing contradicting His Holiness, the Pope, right now? Isn't it just a ten? Zeros, zero, zero-year-old soul beast. Four people are still afraid that it can't be overthrown. Besides, aren't there still Evil Moon and Lena's martial soul fusion techniques? On the other hand, Evil Moon and Hu Lina were staring at Zhu Sheng. Waiting for the latter's next words, the latter, however, knew that with Zhu Sheng's strength as a sealed duluo, even if he was in the auxiliary lineage, fighting against ten thousand years, soul beasts would be a breeze. Moreover, she had learned from her own teacher's mouth that the reason why he once didn't practice with them at noon and in the afternoon was surprisingly to take part in the soul fighting as well as the hunting of ten thousand years, soul beasts, in Hu Lina's opinion, Zhu Sheng should have something important to say before he interrupted Bibai Dong's words at an inopportune time. Zhu Sheng's eyes looked straight at Bibai Dong's pupils and softly said, Teacher, I want to temporarily leave the Martial Soul Palace for a period of time. Maybe it will take a year, maybe it will take a couple of years, with these words. The entire Pope's Hall was surprisingly quiet. In the next moment, Evil Moon and Helena's eyes flashed with astonishment, and the former said in confusion, Zhu Sheng, what are you doing if it's because of the ten? Zero, zero, zero year old soul beast task, with the four of us can definitely kill it who Lina stared at Zhu Sheng. Then pursed her thin lips and murmured Zhu Sheng. Yan quietly glanced at Bai Bidong's gloomy face, knowing that Zhu Sheng was sure that he was not going to kill the soul beast but that he was going to kill it, face, knowing that Zhu Sheng's words must have made His Holiness the Pope angry. He hurriedly walked over and slapped his hand on Zhu Sheng's shoulder, reminding him, Zhu Sheng, don't say anything stupid. You're still away for a year or many years. 
Zhu Sheng just looked at Yan with an expressionless look and didn't say a word. There are actually a lot of reasons why he temporarily left wanting to go and see this Shrek Academy that only accepts monsters, and then go and stroll around the bloody killing capital. Your Highness the Pope, rest your anger. Zhu Sheng, he is probably also confused for a moment. That's right, that's right. Zhu Sheng. Why don't you quickly explain it to His Highness? The Pope Chrysanthemum Guan and Ghostly Mistress explained a few sentences for Zhu Sheng before continuously winking at the latter. Sitting on the Pope's chair full of a sitting on the Pope's chair with a gloomy face, Bai Bidong's mood was incredibly complicated. And he looked at Zhu Sheng at a bit of a loss for words. Zhu Sheng said in a calm tone, Teacher, when you accepted me as your disciple, I said that if one day I had to leave temporarily, you wouldn't stop me. He believed that Bai Bidong's character would definitely not go back on his word, and he only needed to return to the Palace of Souls before the Soul Master's elite competition after Bai Bidong heard Zhu Sheng's words. He was silent for a full half a second before he sighed slightly helplessly and swept his gaze tightly across his cheeks. As if he wanted to discern something, Zhu Sheng, can you tell me why you want to leave if this apprentice, brother of his, had left in order to raise his soul power? That was clearly impossible. Zhu Sheng's soul power level had already reached a terrifying ninety, three levels. A speed that was already demonic, which was why Bibai Dong was curious as to what exactly Zhu Sheng wanted to go do. Zhu Sheng's eyes flashed with a thoughtful look, and he replied, Teacher, I'm leaving this time in order to look for an opportunity to suppress the side effects of my martial soul. Nine hearts, blood tongue, in fact. He didn't have much interest in staying in the palace of martial souls all the time. And even if he had to be a salted fish, he would have to be the saltedest of the salted ones. Bai Bidong heard Zhu Sheng's answer after thinking for a while. He promised I see, since it is so, Zhu Sheng, I allow you to leave the Martial Soul Hall, but in a few years before the elite competition. You must come back. Zhu Sheng was the hand of the Martial Spirit Hall that would be enough to subvert the continent in the future. It was extremely important, and seeing Bai Bidong agreeing to such a ridiculous request from Zhu Sheng. Chrysanthemum Pass and Ghost Mistress exchanged glances, with only these words in their hearts, My Lord, times have changed. The corners of Zhu Sheng's mouth curled bashfully as he respectfully said many thanks. Teacher, after leaving the Pope's Hall, Zhu Sheng was surrounded by evil moon, Helena, and Amazing. Amazing said in disbelief, Zhu Sheng, you're not really leaving for a few years, are you? He seriously doubted that this guy was taking advantage of the fact that he had a good skin to go and look for other good-looking beautiful ladies alone. The paralyzed Zhu Sheng forced a smile well. For the next few years, Marshall Soul Palace's platoon will be relying on you guys to hold it up evil moon. On the other hand, frowned in displeasure were a team. What's the point of leaving alone for a few years? The four of them had managed to reach a tacit understanding as a team, yet they had to leave one before they had even encountered an opponent that they could compete with. It was very uncomfortable to think about it in their hearts. The corner of Zhu Sheng's mouth slightly twitched a few times and he silently rolled his eyes in his heart, he was still not afraid of striking their self-esteem. The light in Hu Lina's eyes dimmed a lot, and she looked at Zhu Sheng with a somewhat lost look and said, Zhu Sheng, you're really going to leave. Zhu Sheng gently reached out and stroked her cheek, saying as gently as possible, Well, it's not like him not coming back. Don't show such a disappointed expression. The corners of her eyes turned red, and the moment she thought of being separated from Zhu Sheng for several years. A few touches of sadness floated up in her heart. The thought of being separated from Zhu Sheng for a few years was a bittersweet. Zhu Sheng glanced at the three of them and said, Evil Moon, Lina, and whoever else, if there's nothing else. I'll be leaving now, Yan decisively retorted. Hey, Zhu Sheng, who are you calling that person? Calling who that who? My name is Amazing, Amazing, this Zhu Sheng really, before he left, he still had to be angry with himself a little bit. At the expense of the fact that he was still a little bit sad just now, 
when I thought about it. All those feelings were for nothing. Just as Zhu Sheng turned around, Hulina wiped her eyes and called out to Zhu Sheng, Zhu Sheng, wait for me. I'm going to get something. At that moment, Hulina jogged away, Zhu Sheng, the three of them were all confused. A few minutes, Hulina panted and jogged over, and in her hands, she was holding a dark hat and a cloak. Hulina walked in front of Zhu Sheng, her face blushing as she handed over the two things in her hand. Zhu Sheng, this is for you, without something to cover it up. It's easy to attract other people. Hulina was actually prepared to say attracting the opposite sex. But she didn't know if Evil Moon and Amazing were present, and Hard changed a word. Amazing saw these two things. Straight let out a loud laugh. Ahahaha, laugh me to death, Lina. This thing you sent fits Zhu Sheng's temperament, and the Evil Moon beside him looked at it, and also forced to hold back his laughter, and turned his head pretending to be unconcerned. Zhu Sheng looked at the thing that Hu Lina handed over, and took it with trembling hands. These two things, if it is normal, okay to say. But this is clearly the thread messy old yarn hat, and such as rags like bad taste cloak. She this is want to let himself to become a beggar. Although Zhu Sheng's heart was constantly twitching, his face had to pretend to be grateful, thank you, ah. Lena, this thing, I, I like it very much, who Lena, whose eyes were red, did not speak again, and violently hugged Zhu Sheng into her arms, and wept slightly. Zhu Sheng was stunned by her wild behavior, and when she wanted to speak, she closed her mouth, and silently stretched out a hand, and gently patted Hu Lina's back. Hu Lina wiped her tears, slowly released Zhu Sheng who was hugging her tightly, and said with a forced smile, Zhu Sheng, No matter how long you are gone, we are the golden generation of the Palace of Martial Souls. Zhu Sheng's eyes were flooded with a few hints of favor, and he slowly rubbed her hair well. Wait for me to come back, and I hope that when we meet again in a few years, you will be able to take a step closer in terms of your soul power. I hope to see you again in a few years. Your soul power will be able to take a step closer, although his face did not show it. His three years in the Palace of Martial Souls were also very fulfilling. Zhu Sheng was very clear about Hulina's feelings for himself, but his inner feelings for Hulina had not yet arrived at that point. Now, it was just more like close teammates. Yan crossed his waist and said sourly from the side, Hey, hey, Zhu Sheng, during these three years of training together, we don't even know how many levels of soul power you have, and we're about to leave so you're not still going to hide it, right? Three years ago, he still regarded Zhu Sheng as a love rival. But since he felt that Hu Lina didn't have that kind of meaning towards him, he gradually put down this feeling. Evil Moon, who was watching coldly from the side, saw this attitude of Hu Lina towards Zhu Sheng that had not been revealed even to him. Her own brother, some silently sighed, Zhu Sheng has unconsciously snatched his sister away, really don't know whether he should be happy that his sister has found someone she really likes, or should be sad that his sister, who has been together for so many years, has been snatched away like this. Yan, want to know my soul power level? Then you should try to improve it. Now you, is not worthy of Zhu Sheng's mouth faintly spat out a sentence. Yan immediately turned his face. Very, he said. Chi, what's the point of tugging? Don't tell me. I don't care about it. Even if Zhu Sheng's soul power is higher than the three of them, how high can it be? This arrogant tone of voice really think they are sealed duluo that level of strong. Zhu Sheng left the martial soul city, then quickly went north, spending almost a day's time before he reached the Barak Kingdom. Zhu Sheng stopped his movement on the street. At the moment, he was wearing a black cloak gifted by Helena, and his head was covered with a hat, that completely hid his cheeks. He was wearing a black cloak given to him by Hu Lina. With a hat on top of his head that completely covered his cheeks, Zhu Sheng slowly reached out and lifted the hat upwards, his icy gaze scanning the slightly busy streets. His tone was faint as he said, Is this the city of Soto? It looks pretty good, in fact, in his heart. He was still a little grateful to Hu Lina. Luckily, Hu Lina gave him these two things. 
Although shabby is a little shabby, but it really is to avoid a lot of unnecessary trouble, just because. Zhu Sheng, in the long road to the Barak Kingdom, it is because he did not cover his face, because he didn't cover up his appearance. And then, with that dusty temperament on his body, he was very conspicuous when walking among the people, leading to a lot of young women and beautiful women to come and talk to him, learning to be smart. He brought along the two treasures that Helena had given him, and succeeded in bringing them to the kingdom. Treasure successfully arrived here, but the next moment, Zhu Sheng, who was looking around, gradually stared at a store similar to a collection of antiques, and squinted his eyes him, this store. He then put his hat down, walked to the store, looked up at the font that had been written in a dragon and phoenix style, pushed open the door and walked inside, before Zhu Sheng, who walked in, had a chance to observe the surrounding situation. He felt an ancient and elegant atmosphere from the entire store. His gaze slightly looked ahead, only to see a wooden rocking chair placed in front of him. And a middle-aged man, who appeared to be full of whiskers and wore silver, orbital glasses, was leisurely and leisurely, he was staring at the magazine in his hand. From the time Zhu Sheng entered the store, he didn't even give him a single glance. He secretly said inwardly, sure enough, no wonder this store is very similar to the description in his memories. The owner of this store is the president of Shrek Academy. Flanders, Flanders' glasses suddenly reflected a burst of white light, and then said in a faint tone, If you want something, just look at it yourself, and if you don't want it, just go out, and don't make me noisy. Zhu Sheng pursed his lips, did not talk, and began to move to carefully watch the objects placed in the room. He reached out and touched the ancient copper, colored utensils squatting on the ground. The cool feel made him a bit in love. Then went straight ahead, when walked to a shelf in front of him, his eyes curiously above placed a pristine ring. Zhu Sheng silently will be its taking it into his hands and playing with it. He took a closer look at it, only to see that its appearance was silver, flickering with a faint essence of light while in the center of the ring was cast a prismatic blood ruby, which looked extremely magnificent, but perhaps it was because of the dust that it appeared to be inconspicuous. Zhu Sheng shook his head, and most of his interest in his heart dissipated. This ring doesn't look anything special. It might look better when it's cleaned when Zhu Sheng, who had the ring under his belt, turned around. He was about to look at the other small objects when his mind suddenly heard a fierce, the buzzing sound. Seemed to be something that was urgently calling him. Zhu Sheng coldly swept the surrounding area, and did not find anything wrong. When he stepped out again, the intense trembling sound resounded in his mind again, and this time, it was much more intense than before. He suspiciously looked towards Flanders, who was sitting on the rocking chair, and faintly spoke, Boss, did you hear anything just now? Trembling sound, who knows lying in the rocking chair. Crossed his legs, Flanders stretched out his middle finger to the top of the glass's frame, impatiently glanced at Zhu Sheng. Unhappy, here is very quiet, there is no sound, said, and then re-looked at the hands of the magazine. It seems that he was so close, but he didn't hear the trembling sound that Zhu Sheng said at all. Zhu Sheng silently swung his head, Secretly saying, could it be that im hallucinating, but just now that strong trembling sound, wait. Zhu Sheng took a step backward and returned to his previous position, staring at the ring with the prismatic blood ruby. The trembling sound just now sounded after touching the ring, could it be that, in order to verify his own conjecture. Zhu Sheng took a deep breath and he took a deep breath and fixed his eyes on the ring, then took a step towards the front. Before he even landed on the ground, the ring in Zhu Sheng's eyes began to tremble wildly, and his mind began to emit a buzzing sound. Zhu Sheng took a hand and picked up the ring, and the ring began to tremble wildly, and Zhu Sheng took a hand and picked up the ring. And Zhu Sheng took a hand and picked up the ring. Zhu Sheng picked up the ring and looked at the plain ring, muttering, Is this the ring? It doesn't look simple, ah first by down to receive it, but he thought as if the original. Tang San in this Flanders store took a large yellow crystal, 
seems to be used by him to make what the dragon needle concealed weapon, strong penetration, seems to be able to penetrate the Zhao Wuji's defense. After a few minutes of searching, in front of Zhu Sheng lay a very valuable yellow crystal stone. Zhu Sheng patted the unusually hard crystal stone and was surprised to say, is this the thing? Then he picked up the hair crystal and the blood red ring and put them on the counter used for displaying. Zhu Sheng's eyes, which did not contain a trace of emotion, looked at Flanders and faintly said, Boss, how many gold soul coins are there in total for all of these? He'll take all of them. Flanders was just surprised to look at Zhu Sheng, and when he saw that he was wearing an odd outfit, he didn't even show his cheeks, and after buying two more things that he felt were worthless, he gradually narrowed his eyes in the bottom of his heart he couldn't help but ponder Zhu Sheng's identity. That crystal stone is 500 gold soul coins, and the ring is 300 gold soul coins. In that case, let yourself to see if this guy is really in need of this thing. The prices of the two items that Flanders casually stated were five times higher than the original hard. Zhu Sheng's eyes flashed a few moments of dismay, the corners of his mouth twitching up this hair crystal actually wants five hundred gold soul coins. Are you kidding me? This Flanders is simply a treacherous businessman. A lion's mouth, ah. In the original Tang San bought it when the initial price was one hundred. And how it went up five times to himself. How rich he is can't be the wrongdoer, Zhu Sheng, whose eyes were covered by the hat. Asked calmly boss, can't it be cheaper, sitting in a rocking chair? Flanders stretched out his legs and lay down. Not by more than rolled his eyes, relentlessly disliked back. You love to buy or not, in short, this is the price. No negotiation. Want to buy his Flanders things. Do not cut more than one counted as his loss. Moreover, it's also good to see if this guy really needs these two things, so that he can see the way. Zhu Sheng gritted his teeth, then forced himself to endure his heart's displeasure took out two bags of golden soul coins from his soul conduit, and indifferently threw them on the table. Okay, he'll buy it. This is 800 golden soul coins. Zhu Sheng picked up the ring and was about to deposit the hair crystals into the soul guide when Flanders took a look at Zhu Sheng and spoke once again, wait. That hair crystal and the ring combined is 1,000 gold soul coins. You don't have enough money. Are you deliberately provoking me? Zhu Sheng's already cold cheeks immediately sank, and as he spoke, a terrifying chill filled his body. He tolerated the mention of 500 gold soul coins, after all. He wasn't someone who was short of that amount of money. However, now that he suddenly raised the price once again, it was clearly provoking his own bottom line. Feeling that Zhu Sheng's face had been raised, he said, Wait. The hair crystal and the ring combined are 1,000 gold soul coins. The bottom line. After feeling Zhu Sheng's terrifying aura, Flanders put down the magazine in his hand, picked the frame of his glasses again, slowly stood up and faintly said, I said it's 800. It's worth 800. Zhu Sheng hidden in the hat under the cold eyes seemed to want to penetrate Flanders. A few seconds later, he turned his body expressionless ready to leave. Flanders raised his eyebrows, looked at Zhu Sheng's move, knowing that he obviously intends not to buy, but his purpose is also considered to be achieved. It seemed that he also knew nothing about these two things. Perhaps he just happened to value them. These two trinkets can be sold to you for five hundred hundred gold soul coins, but the premise is that you will take the hat and cloak down. Zhu Sheng returned around and slowly took the hat down, revealing a handsome cheek that was cold to the core, and said in a chilling voice, Scram, two things only, he don't want it. After Flanders saw Zhu Sheng's cheeks, his eyes flashed with astonishment, secretly sighing surprisingly so young, looks like it should be about the same age as Mu Bai. But what's the matter with that horrible soul power fluctuation that is constantly increasing? So he lifted his chin and began to think. Why don't we try to find out about this kid, if his talent is good? He can be recruited into Shrek Academy one day earlier. After figuring it out, 
Flanders' eyes stared at Zhu Sheng, slowly spitting out a sentence in an extremely unpleasant tone kid. You can't sell anything, but if you dare to speak out of turn, then don't blame me for teaching you a lesson. And angry, Zhu Sheng's icy pupils glowed with a few threads of red light as he laughed coldly, teach me a lesson. Interesting, Flanders. What a face for you, Flanders was shocked. He actually knew his name, but so what? He didn't believe that he would lose to a teenage young man as a seventy, eight-level soul saint. That would be an insult to his personality. Flanders' contemptuous gaze swept Zhu Sheng a glance, handsome stretching out a palm to permit Sheng. Wantonly said kid, since I am older than you, then let you first out of it. A moment of their own out of the words, or a little lighter it. If not accidentally, the kid into, uh, if you accidentally beat this child into a cripple, that would be a sin. Zhu Sheng did not say anything, slowly stepped out a step. Seeing Zhu Sheng's reckless step out, Flanders frowned. What's wrong with this kid not even summoning a martial spirit? Wouldn't he be preparing to touch me? Flanders Tusk, this world is able to pit him Flanders such as has not yet been born. Bang Zhu Sheng buried his head. Once again, towards Flanders walked out a step. From the foot slowly rose a black ten thousand years soul ring. When the latter looked at the deep black soul ring, could not help but shocked the first soul ring is actually ten thousand years. This child's talent is so terrifying. He must be recruited to my Shrek Academy, although his soul power is a bit low. He is still a real monster. This kid was simply the monster of monsters, compared to the monster level. Mu Bai and the others could only be considered rookies in front of this kid, Little Kong. It seems that your ten core competencies are not correct. There is a kid who broke your authority in the field of Soul Master Academics today. Zhu Sheng laughed coldly and once again took two steps. Two pitch-black soul rings once again rose from under his feet. Flanders' face was incomparably excited. His heart thrilled, and he secretly said surprisingly, It's a soul zun with three ten. Zero. Zero zero year old soul rings. It's a genius among geniuses. I, Flanders, swear that I will use all means to bring him into Shrek Academy. If this kid is included in Shrek, why would he, Flanders, worry about the excellent source of students? And Shrek's future will simply be radiant, a thirty-level soul exalt. This was enough to crush all geniuses of the same age on the continent. At the time of his reverie, Zhu Sheng once again stepped out, another three terrifying ten. Zero. Zero zero year old soul rings levitated up from under his feet. Flanders could not help but take a step backwards, looking at the six soul rings under Zhu Sheng's feet, incredibly said six. Ten zero 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 year old soul rings, soul rings of soul, soul emperor with him Flanders is only seventy, six level soul saint ah. This guy is not going to use the real thing, right, but in the bottom of his heart, he consoled it's fine. It's fine, I'm a soul saint. The talent is a little bit scary, but it's only a soul emperor. There's still a gap of ten levels between him and me. Not a big problem. Small scene. Small scene. He flanders steady. Zhu Sheng slowly raised his head, his eyes full of killing intent locked onto Flanders. Coldly saying, Flanders, are you ready? The confused Flanders was a bit confused by the question and said, what do you mean by what you just said? But the next second, he knew what Zhu Sheng's words meant. Three ten-thousand-year-old soul rings appeared under Zhu Sheng's feet again. And the last two ten-thousand-year-old soul rings were so deep that they were close to one hundred. Zero's zero, zero years old. Sealed, sealed Duyuo, playing, playing with me, right that coronation. Can you listen to my explanation? Shake is not intentional, Flanders, hurriedly waved his hand to explain up. At this moment, where there is still recruiting Zhu Sheng into Shrek's mind. The latter does not put him out. He will be touching the heavens and the earth. This is a sealed duel you owe. This is a sealed duel you owe, not a soul emperor. It's not even on the same level. God, you're planning to play with me, Flanders. Zhu Sheng's pale eyes glanced at him without stopping his slow walking pace. Flanders, weren't you cocky just now? Scared, looking ahead closer and closer to Zhu Sheng. 
a wave of fear in the bottom of Flander's heart diffused. And forced under the pressure of the sealed duluo, Flanders was forced to release his martial soul. The four-eyed cat eagle, a huge eagle with four eyes emerged in his back. The large cat eagle looked down at Zhu Sheng. Straight eyes staring at his every move, and feet also emerged seven soul rings, yellow, yellow, purple. Purple, black, 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 the standard soul ring configuration, seeing Zhu Sheng still does not intend to stop, Flanders once again took a step back, stretched out his finger and pointed at Zhu Sheng. His tone was incomparably trembling and said coronet. If you come over again, I'm going to make a move, seventh soul skill, cat eagle true body, Flanders spat out a sentence from his mouth. The seventh soul ring under his feet suddenly lit up. Instantly, the cat eagle behind Flanders began to merge into his body. His arms and his entire back slowly grew thick feathers. A yellowish strange eye ornaments appeared in his eyes. In the middle of the two small holes, the cat eagle under the true body of Flanders is full of confidence, of course. Not in terms of combat, they. He whispered in his heart on the strength of their own, certainly cannot beat, but they still cannot run. I think that years ago, with this unique flying martial spirit, he dodged how many bloodshed, Flanders revealed a smile towards Zhu Sheng. The wings behind him slowly stirred and flew into the air. Coronet, this time it's my Flanders fault. Take both of those things if you want them. I'll excuse myself for now, then flew towards the window. Zhu Sheng, who was standing in place, pursed his lips slightly and faintly said, want to go. Is it that easy? A soul saint, relying on the flying martial soul to escape himself as a sealed duluo, how is this possible? But the mid-air Flanders does not think so. Looking at the window near at hand, the heart of the dejected said sealed duluo, and so on. Is not only can only look at their own leave strike, the whole person is about to rush out of the window outside. Give me back, Zhu Sheng coldly shouted, palm wave, countless nine heart blood tong vines with extremely fast speed wrapped around the legs of the Flanders. Then violently pulled, directly immediately rushed out of the Flanders hard pull back, flew backward to the house over the Flanders stable body shape, looked at the dead pulling his legs of the vine, angrily rebuked Dam, subsequently, his legs were filled with a sense of paralysis. Directly let Flanders' heart startled what? This vine even has toxicity. It's over if we don't escape. We really want be able to escape. Flanders' second soul ring lit up. He coldly shouted second soul skill. Tearing claws, only to see Flanders' animalized legs, like a horrible general, above slowly condensed a layer of light blue blade gas. Then, towards the roots of the nine heartblood begonia vines swung, Zhu Sheng, who looked at this little trick, how could he let him easily succeed? Faintly said third soul skill, blood tongs royalty, the third soul ring under his feet lit up, only to see a shield appear at the root of the vine. Firmly protecting it in the Flanders' second soul skill attacked, the sharp, pedged blade gas was instantly annihilated by the latter after touching the light shield. What? This is like a thin film of shield. The defense is surprisingly so strong as Flanders spoke. His back was in a cold sweat. Zhu Sheng stretched out his palm and aimed it at Flanders and coldly said, Fifth soul skill, blood poison's tongue. He didn't he want to play cat and mouse with this guy anymore and only wanted to ruthlessly beat him up. As the words fell, the fifth soul ring lit up and a few greenish blood begonias suddenly appeared on the neck of Flanders who was flying in the air. A violent burning and dizziness filled Flanders' body, and his face instantly turned pale, and the frequency of his wings instantly dropped a lot. Zhu Sheng's fourth soul ring lit up again fourth soul skill, crazy growth. Several plants of the nine hearts blood begonias on Flanders' body instantly grew crazily, spreading all over his body in the next moment. The nine hearts' blood begonias suddenly glowed, devouring Flanders' soul power in an instant. He was forced to withdraw from his true body form and helplessly fell from the air to the ground. Bong sound, the entire room erupted with a huge crash, like thunder shaking the ears, fell to the ground Flanders rubbed his dizzy head. The whole person curled up in a ball. 
His eyes fearfully looked at Zhu Sheng, who came, Coronation, I really do not intend to offend you. Don't do it, let's say it properly. Zhu Sheng just laughed coldly, explain, heh, walking out from Flanders store. Zhu Sheng swept a glance at the unconscious Flanders in the room, replacing his hat on. He just the index finger of his right hand had an additional ring with a reddish aura. Zhu Sheng's expression, although still cold, had a few more points of comfort, and he looked at the endless. Still clear sky, after beating up Flanders. It's really after beating up Flanders. It's really much more comfortable. Without using a soul ring, purely based on the strength of the body to beat people, this is Zhu Sheng from Tang Hao that learned the best way to vent. After strolling around for a while, Zhu Sheng stopped in front of a hotel, and he slowly lifted his eyes to look at the luxury hotel in front of him, and clearly saw that the fluorescent four big words Rose Hotel Zhu Sheng contemplated for a few seconds, and then stepped towards the Rose Hotel and walked into it. After walking in, what came to his face was the fragrance of roses, as if it could bring up a strong interest in people. He surveyed the surroundings, and then walked to the counter in front of. The woman who was counting the money saw someone come slowly back to God, but raised his eyes to see Zhu Sheng so oddly dressed. The bottom of his heart was really shocked. She forced her heart to hold back the contempt that rose up. Forcing a very qualified inquiry, she forced her heart to hold back the contempt that rose, forcing her to be very qualified to inquire. Mr. Student, you want to stay. The Rose Hotel is a place where couples often come because of its elegant and romantic layout. But Zhu Sheng's outfit has just lowered the Rose Hotel by countless notches. It would even seriously affect the next batch of guests. <coughs> Zhu Sheng, who covered her cheeks, nodded silently and handed over the black card, saying faintly, Well, open a room for me. The waitress didn't care if she didn't look, but she sucked in a mouthful of cool air. Her eyes filled with shock. This. This is the exclusive card of Lord Pope of the Palace of Martial Souls. But before Zhu Sheng said anything, the woman realized her own demeanor, and smiled softly in embarrassment and said, That, sir, can I ask you about your identity? This was the exclusive card of His Royal Highness, the Pope of the Palace of Martial Spirit, and it was necessary to confirm the identity of the user, if it was used fraudulently, what would greet the user would be hunted down by the palace of martial souls. Zhu Sheng just coldly glanced at her, and the latter was instantly dumbfounded, burying her head and starting to handle the housing formalities for Zhu Sheng. Your card and the waitress, after processing, was about to hand Zhu Sheng the key in her hand when, Wait, excuse me, are there any rooms left? A pavilion? Like Silhouette trotted up to the counter, panting as she inquired. The two of them looked sideways, only to see the woman wearing a long light blue dress, will be full of the body outlined. Slender waist cannot help but think of, especially the body's unique aristocratic atmosphere, so that people can see at a glance that its background is definitely not simple. After seeing the woman, Zhu Sheng's eyes slightly narrowed, secretly said, it won't be such a coincidence. Right, he didn't expect to meet Ning Rongrong at the Rose Hotel. The current Ning Rongrong has also grown up. Fell into exquisite, casual speech are full of elegance and calm, almost invisible any trace of capriciousness. The waitress smiled apologetically. I'm sorry, this lady. The last remaining couple's room in our hotel has already been booked by this gentleman. Ning Rongrong glanced at Zhu Sheng, whose appearance could not be seen, and only then did her cheeks reveal a few moments of helplessness, and she sighed in a small voice, Ah, but the surrounding hotels are all out of rooms. The waitress' face showed a few difficulties. The couple's room for Zhu Sheng is already the last one. Her eyes suddenly lit up and she glanced towards Zhu Sheng. Then she said to Ning Rongrong in a soft tone, why don't you and this gentleman talk about sharing a room? Mom, each of you will pay half of the room fee, when Ning Rongrong, who was holding her hands tightly, heard this, her tender cheeks flushed a little, and she said in a sticky tone, Ah, she has never lived in the same room with another man since she was a child. 
And most importantly, this Rose Hotel is a famous couple's hotel. If she stayed with this man, it wouldn't mean that she... Thinking of this, Ning Rongrong timidly surveyed Zhu Sheng next to her, especially when she saw that scruffy outfit. Just like the beggars, and her heart floated with a sense of rejection from the inside out, nonetheless. Ning Rongrong shook her head very politely, then blinked her eyes and winked madly at the waitress. I think it's better to forget about it. I don't really like to share a room with other people. The waitress, who was observing her words and colors, saw Ning Rongrong's little action, and instantly came to a sudden realization. This lady didn't like sharing a room with others. She clearly disliked this man who looked very unkempt all over. In that case, there was nothing she could do. The woman handed the key back to Zhu Sheng, a smile on her face as she said, since this lady is unwilling. Sir, this is your room key. Have a nice stay, hearing her say this. Ning Rongrong's heart suddenly sighed in relief. Few, although she had already collected her heart's disdain for others as much as she could, the thought of having to work with such a scruffy. Body even gave her goosebumps, and under the cover of the hat, Zhu Sheng's mouth twitched a few times. Secretly saying him actually disliked by Ning Rongrong, just how scruffy is this thing given by Helena, he shrugged off his cloak and silently took the key, then raised his eyes and carefully scraped Ning Rongrong with a gaze full of deep meaning. Ning Rongrong glanced at him, turned around, and slowly left. The woman's gaze returned to Ning Rongrong, who was frozen in place, and affectionately inquired Mom, then what should you do now? Now there are no more rooms, and most couples basically want check out at night, so she may only have to leave here as well. Ning Rongrong came back to her senses from her stagnation. Biting her thin lips to think, She's already searched for a couple of hotels around the area. Her legs are all she has been looking for several hotels around the area. Her legs are tired and sore. If she goes to look for more, I am afraid that her soul will be gone. The woman pointed to a bench on the side. Mom, if you don't mind, you can sit over there and think. But our hotel will be closed at 11, 00, 00 p. M. It was such a sudden sentence that made Ning Rongrong's eyes light up. Close, the hotel is closed. Then where do these waitresses sleep? I can rent a room for a while. And no one said it was impossible to stay in a staff room. Ning Rongrong asked with some excitement that, Sister, do you all have your own room to sleep in at night? The woman froze for a moment, then showed a bit of doubt. Yes, we have a specially equipped lounge. But what are you asking for? Shouldn't she first be concerned about where she would go to rest in a while? Why was she still asking about her sleeping place? Ning Rongrong's eyes, covered in hope, locked onto the woman. That, can I stay in the lounge where you guys live for a night? I can privately pay you the same price as a hotel room. The woman's eyes widened in an instant, and she whispered, privately, you mean, this was the first time she had encountered this kind of guest, who actually wanted to rent her own lounge. Ning Rongrong saw that the woman did not reject the first time. The bottom of his heart was violently happy. Look at this situation. There is a chance. It's not just a room to sleep in. So it's not just a matter of getting it. Who called her Ning Rongrong? Can use money to solve things that are not a matter. The seven treasure glazed sect was rich and powerful, and money was the last thing it lacked. She pointedly put her fingers on her lips. Her right hand will be a bag of gold soul coins silently pushed over, full of playful eyes said hush. Sister accommodation. Double is not impossible, oh, the woman looked at the front of a bag of heavy gold soul coins. Eyes gradually hot. The woman looked at the heavy bag of gold soul coins in front of her, and her eyes gradually became hot. The money could be enough for almost half a year of her salary, and it was impossible not to be moved. She secretly explained for herself. The boss did not say, can not privately rent to don't let it. No. Right, well, that's a tacit agreement then. She didn't move to pocket a bag of golden soul coins, then coughed a few times as if to diffuse the embarrassment. Pushing the key to her own exclusive lounge under a hidden cover under her hand, and looked to Ning Rongrong to explain mom. 
Although my lounge has all the infrastructure, it's just a bit narrow. The room equipped for their staff is naturally not much better. But the infrastructure and other things are also complete. Ning Rongrong reached out and took the key with one hand. Smilingly saying it's fine, I'm just staying for one night, thanks after saying this. She hummed a little song and walked towards the exclusive lounge in a comfortable mood. After Ning Rongrong left, the woman's eyes looked towards the bag of mesmerizing after Ning Rongrong left. The woman's eyes looked towards the mesmerizing bag of golden soul coins, and her mouth muttered looks like, We can do this in the future too. One time let her earn a pot full of money. If she did it again, there would be no problem not going to work for a year. Good, she managed to get a new skill. Maybe she can even take a few other peoples together in this way. Hiss, Zhu Sheng stopped and looked at the room number, 30-2, seeing that it was the same as the door number on the key. She inserted that the key was twisted, and after hearing a click, Zhu Sheng slowly walked into the room. Then his eyes lightly scanned the surroundings. It was a room in the shape of a circle, with fragrant and tender flowers sprinkled all over the floor. It was a room in the shape of a circle, with fresh rose petals emitting fragrance all over the floor, and countless decorations that mirrored each other added a bit of desire to the hormones of the guests. In addition to the roses, there were also a few romantic love balloons placed on top of the big bed in the center, which further enhanced the instinctive mood of the human body. On the left side, there is a pool of steaming water, large enough to accommodate two people, Zhu Sheng slowly took off his hat and cape, revealing the cold face that would make people's hearts flutter with just a glance, and sighed silently, worthy of a room worth 180 gold soul coins a night. The room worth 180 gold soul coins a night. But it's a pity that he doesn't have a girl, friend Zhu Sheng walked to the edge of the pool, slowly took off his clothes, and slowly swam into it, until the gentle and slightly hot pool water wrapped his body below the neck. Zhu Sheng closed his eyes silently, enjoying the body of water that opened up his pores with a sense of comfort. And glory, comfort, and Ning Rongrong's side was another very different scene. She inserted the key and pushed open the door to room number 30, X. And Ning Rongrong was full of expectations as she walked in. But when she looked at the scene inside, her face instantly sank, can this room be called fully equipped? Ning Rongrong sighed helplessly, although this room is narrow again. But there's no way, who told her to say it already, all kinds of facilities compared to the Seven Treasures glazed sect is simply too far. Or even poor to the extreme, even the lights are very weak, seems to be going out in the next second. However, when she swept her eyes to the side of a very narrow, bubbling water pool, the mood also eased a little patted her chest to reassure herself fortunately. There is still a pool here. Otherwise, there is really no way to stay in this kind of room. Then she silently closed the door behind her and carefully walked towards the bedside, unhurriedly and unhurriedly took off every piece of clothing on her body and meticulously folded it up. Then she closed the door behind her and meticulously folded before her naked smooth body elegantly walked into the sparkling pool. Every inch of her tender skin touched the water and was frozen by an extreme coldness that made her tremble. The vapor she just saw was not hot water at all, but cold and emitting mist, but rather ice water that was so cold that it was emitting a mist. Ning Rongrong suddenly felt like she had fallen into an ice cellar, and her limbs were frozen and couldn't help but curl up. Finally, she couldn't help but curse angrily, darn, even the water for bathing is slightly cold. What kind of a shitty place is this lounge? What kind of place is this lounge? Ning Rongrong subconsciously wanted to come out of the pool, but when the eyes saw the dark gray color of the bed and pillows, simply do not need to personally lie down, can feel the bedding with the stench of. The bottom of the heart just surfaced the idea of the suppression. At least the pool is seemingly very clean, there is no smell of compared to that bed. It wasn't long before Zhu Sheng, who is sleeping soundly on a couple's bed covered in rose petals with his eyes closed, 
was suddenly awakened by a hasty knock on the door. Somewhat confused, he rubbed his eyes, then slowly stood up. The first time he stood up, his eyes first looked at himself in the mirror across the room, only to see that he had just woken up from sleep, and his head of long hair appeared incomparably messy. He silently walked over to the mirror and picked at his hair. Bang, bang, bang. Just a few seconds after organizing, the sound of a sharp knock on the door resounded again outside the door. Zhu Sheng immediately narrowed his eyes. It was so late now, who else would be knocking on his door, could it be that? It was someone tracking himself. His eyes became cold and stern in an instant, and a few threads of the vines of the nine-hearted begonia were hidden in the middle of his hand. If the comer is not good, then he will kill it, Ning Rongrong in the cold outside the door, just a white cloth wrapped in that jealous ketone body. The hand is still embracing her soaked clothes, but let her less a few points of nobility, more than a few points of charm. Unconsciously diffuse a unique exotic style, Ning Rongrong gently coughed, then shook her head wet hair, then looked at the door doubtfully, pouted and whispered, Is there no one? Then why didn't the waitress from before let herself check in? If there was no one, then what should she do with the extremely different situation? The only clothes she could wear all over her body were soaked in the leaking room next door. Otherwise, as the seven treasures, Leah, Lysek's eldest lady, how could she be so unreservedly relying on a white cloth to cover up her shame? Just as she was pondering, the door was slowly opened, only to see faces Zhu Sheng, who was filled with cold color, slowly walked out from the door. He stared at it tightly and saw that the person coming was Ning Rongrong, and the nine heart blood tongs that were on guard between his palms were also shrunk back into his body. When Ning Rongrong saw a head of long hair scattered behind her shoulders, her face value exploded, and her whole body was filled with a high and cold atmosphere. She was very happy to see Zhu Sheng's face. When Ning Rongrong saw Zhu Sheng, who had long hair spread out behind her shoulders and a face that was full of high coolness. Her eyes gradually surfaced with a touch of surprise. Did it mean that all the men who stayed at the couple's hotel were handsome? One could randomly come next door and knock on the door and still come across this kind of man with a demonic face value. But looking at his complexion, he should not be a good person to get along with but then thinking about his own situation. Ning Rongrong hardened her head and apologized out this, this, sorry, am sorry for disturbing your rest. Am the tenant who lives next to you, I am the tenant living next door to you wrong. Zhu Sheng subconsciously opened his mouth to call Ning Rongrong's name. But after looking at her hard posture towards himself, he silently swallowed back. But Zhu Sheng does not blame her. After all, the two people know each other only one day, no, should even say only one night, then three years of long time. Will not be important to forget their own is not an impossible thing. Zhu Sheng suppressed the emotions at the bottom of his heart and said in a slightly thin tone, Is there something wrong, since Ning Rongrong already doesn't know herself? Then forget it. There's no need to bring it up. Ning Rongrong shivered once again that, the room next door is leaking, and all of my clothes are wet. So I want to ask you if you can let me stay temporarily for one night, as she said it. Ning Rongrong's face blushed a shade of red. Her head almost completely buried, and even felt that the situation she was talking about was too doggone. After all, this hotel is also considered a five-star hotel within Soto City, so it's basically impossible for there to be any leakage accidents and to make a request to stay in someone else's room for one night, am afraid that anyone would mind. Right, even she herself is like this. Zhu Sheng's gaze swept a glance at her constantly trembling legs, turned her body, and walked towards the inside of the room. Ning Rongrong saw Zhu Sheng's move, and a few moments of loss flooded her face. Secretly saying sure enough, the next second, a cool voice came out from the room, come in, Ning Rongrong, who thought she was rejected, heard this voice, and her eyes flashed with joy. She gratefully spat out two words. She gratefully spat out two words, thank you, 
Then she held the clothes and walked in, and slammed the door shut. Ning Rongrong walked in, only to feel that the entire room was full of ambiguous atmosphere, especially those fragrant rose petals. Simply let the woman's blood in her body is a little excited up. Her gaze was slightly raised, and when she saw Zhu Sheng, who was sitting silently on the large bed sprinkled with roses, she could vaguely feel the latter's gaze always gazing at her. Ning Rongrong couldn't help but tighten the white cloth wrapped around her body at the bottom of her heart. When she thought of the lonely man and woman in the room, she only felt her heart tense, like a heavy boulder hanging. And by the looks of it, if this man who looked like he was on thin ice was going to do something to her, her own self, as an auxiliary soul master, didn't have the slightest power to refute it ah. After she put the clothes on a chair, she forced a smile on Zhu Sheng and said, That. Zhu Sheng's chilly gaze glanced at her cheeks and silently closed his eyes. His tone of voice with a few cold grin, Don't worry, I'm not interested in you, Ning said, You're not interested in. Ning Rongrong heard this sentence, always feel a bit harsh. She looked down and measured her own figure, clenched her teeth and was furious. This man, how do you say? What do you mean you are not interested in yourself? The development of oneself is not bad, right? The convex convex, the warped warped, I'm not interested in you any more. After Ning Rongrong hung up her own clothes, she slowly sat down on a chair, her face showing a bit of gratitude and said that. Thank you this time. Otherwise, I really don't know what to do. After saying that, Ning Rongrong's heart was not happy and said, Wait a minute. Why do I have to be grateful to him? Is, and he just a bit more handsome, just now. He even said he's not interested in me. Is this girl interested in this ice cube face of his? Besides, in the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect, the people who pursue me can be lined up from the inside to the outside of the temple. Zhu Sheng took a look at her and said lightly, No need. He naturally saw the latter's little expression in his eyes, and said with some amusement, It seems that you haven't changed completely, and your heart is still a bit arrogant. Seeing Zhu Sheng's indifferent attitude towards his own words, Ning Rongrong gritted her teeth in anger. Seeing Zhu Sheng's indifferent attitude towards his own words, Ning Rongrong gasped and gnashed her teeth. Viciously said Dam, speak so coldly, let this girl how to answer, lost she also thought of soaking a steaming hot bath. Did not think this guy directly let the conversation end, so, Ning Rongrong so silent sitting, while her eyes from time to time looked at the side sprinkled with flower petals. In the shimmering water, Flo looks rosy and incomparable. Zhu Sheng, the cold eyes followed her line of sight and finally rested on the pool of water that was flooded with hot air, even if the room is leaking. Doesn't the next door have a pool? Ning Rongrong looked as if she hadn't taken a bath in a long time. The pitiful look in her eyes made herself almost go over to comfort her, but thinking of something. He still felt that he should let it go so. Zhu Sheng's expressionless cheeks slowly spat out a sentence. The water in the pool over there is not as hot as the water in the pool. The water in the pool over there is still scalding hot. You can go if you want to, of course, provided you don't mind that it's me soaking words like Ning Rongrong, this kind of seven treasures glazed sex golden girl. Should be more or less a bit of cleanliness fetish. However, whether or not she is willing to do so depends on her own. He can do just that. Ning Rongrong's mind was poked and prodded. Her flushed cheeks were as delicious as red apples, she whispered thank. You, it seems that this man is not so annoying. It is really a man with a cold appearance and a gentle heart. Speaking of men, men, Ning Rongrong's mind suddenly recalled the three years ago that figure. The man who stood firmly in front of her even in the face of dozens of soul beasts. The man who saw that she was starving and personally baked delicious rabbit meat for her to eat. Thinking about it, the corners of Ning Rongrong's eyes became red and swollen for a few moments, causing a feeling of pity to rise. Back to God, she shook her head. The liquid that flowed out of the corners of her eyes passed away, and bitterly laughed in the bottom of her heart. It's been three years already. 
his mind should have already forgotten about me too. Right, Zhu Sheng frowned when he saw this look on her face, what's wrong? You don't want to, then forget it. Just now, she was still elated, but after losing her concentration for a while, she turned into this appearance. Could it be that she had thought of some bad memories from the Seven Treasures glazed sect? Ning Rongrong smiled from the bottom of her heart and explained, It's not like that. You've got it wrong. I just remembered some good memories, but it's likely that I won't be able to experience them in my entire life. Wrapped in a white cloth, Ning Rongrong stood up, revealing her delicate figure, and playfully winked at Zhu Sheng. Then I'm going to go soak in a bath, then I'm going to take a bath. You can't peek, oh hum, Zhu Sheng casually answered, his eyes staring straight at her as she walked into the pool. However, the next moment, his pupils shook, and he suddenly thought of something exciting. Violently reached out to Ning Rongrong, want to call back. But it was already too late. Ning Rongrong has gone to the pool next to her. She first swept the surroundings. To see, there is a blocking the line of sight of the curtain, and slowly pull it stretched. Then she looked back and saw Zhu Sheng, who was not here at all, and silently sighed in relief, and then gently pulled the white cloth to one side, exposing her exquisite body once again. Zhu Sheng only then looked to the pool side, that even if the face is cold like him. See the scene in front of the fragrant, also cannot help but rise a few points of the most primitive desire of mankind. Ning Rongrong thought that you can block the line of sight of the curtain, in fact, from the outside to see is completely transparent. To be able to clearly, he now understands why the Rose Hotel is a couple's hotel, according to this. Zhu Sheng's gaze shifted slightly downward looking at the countless rose petals that were sprinkled around himself. Secretly said, if even the curtains are done, then these roses are only. Afraid, he gently pinched up a rose petal, and then he gently pinched a rose petal and brought it close to his nose. Gently sniffing it, a feeling that made his mind hot surged to his heart, and Zhu Sheng glanced at the wonderful figure next to the pool. The next moment, the hot feeling became more and more violent, as if it had been spurred on by something. Zhu Sheng's hurriedly put down the rose petals around his nose, the corner of his mouth coldly, sure enough. These rose petals actually have an aphrodisiac effect. Zhu Sheng, who closed his eyes, forced himself not to look at the person in the pool. After about half an hour of patience, Ning Rongrong, who had rewrapped her bathrobe, her delicate body was even more polished than before and pushed open the curtain like a lotus flower and walked out. Ning Rongrong saw Zhu Sheng, who still had his eyes closed and his head turned sideways, and gently sat down slowly next to him. I don't know why, but there is a desire to flirt with Zhu Sheng's emotions in the bottom of my heart. Ning Rongrong covered her mouth with a smile and gently poked Zhu Sheng's shoulder. That, you've just been like this all along. Zhu Sheng's cold pupils gradually opened. He coldly swept a glance at Ning Rongrong next to him and faintly said finished washing. Then prepare to turn off the lights and go to sleep Ning Rongrong's petite body was shaken. Her tone stammered sleep. Sleep, then I will. Sleep on the sofa next to it. When Zhu Sheng just finished that sentence, she thought that Zhu Sheng was asking himself to sleep with him. Zhu Sheng's eyes looked at the sofa then lay down on the bed and moved towards the left side of the bed. The first thing you need to do is to look at the sofa, lying on the bed. Zhu Sheng's face didn't have any change. This bed is big enough. One person sleeps on one side of the... Remember to pay me the room fee afterward. But thinking of the lone man and woman, he added another sentence. Ning Rongrong smiled and frowned. Somewhat hesitant, this isn't very good, is it? She and Zhu Sheng don't even know each other's names. And now, they even want to sleep in the same bed. But since she entered this man's room, she could always feel a sense of familiarity from his words and actions. The feeling was very wonderful, as if the two of them had already known each other a long time ago. But on second thought, she said, This is not good, right? I've known him for a long time, but when I think about it, I don't have any memories at all. Then I looked at the narrow sofa. 
and then I looked down at the soft bed. I sighed, and then I finally succumbed to the comfort of the big bed. Ning Rongrong lightly climbed to the right side of the big bed, and softly said okay, then I will sleep on the right side, and I will pay you the expenses afterward. At the end of the sentence, Zhu Sheng will reach out and turn off the switch. The whole bright light suddenly extinguished. Gradually plunged into the darkness, not long after, lying on the bed, heartbeat accelerated Ning Rongrong. After hearing the man next to the even breathing, put down all the things carried, only to feel incomparable peace of mind. She said, ill sleep on the right side of the bed. She only felt incomparable peace of mind. She turned her head sideways and looked deeply at Zhu Sheng, who had fallen into a deep sleep next to her, thank you, after saying that. She also gradually closed her eyes. In the early hours of the morning, woke up Ning Rongrong rubbed his eyes, carefully got up, looked at the man next to him, is still asleep. Ning Rongrong mouth corner of the charm of her rise, the curious gaze unbridled survey of the bed Zhu Sheng's handsome face. Index finger playfully touch her the red charming thin lips. Smiling said, although said some cold ice. But did not expect you fell asleep, is quite lovely well, to not quietly try to feel how. Who told this man to say that he is not interested in himself. Ning Rongrong stretched out a jade, like white palm, carefully touched Zhu Sheng's cheeks. This comfortable feel makes her a bit of love. Pouting and angry, Obviously a man. The skin is even more tender than me. Then she shrugged helplessly. Am not sure if I can do it, he said. Then she helplessly shrugged her shoulders, wrapped in a bathrobe that made people think about it. Forget about it, seeing as you've done this girl a big favor. I'll forgive you. Ning Rongrong quickly walked over to the pool, ripped off her bathrobe, and changed into the clothes that had already been dried. Then she took out a bag of golden soul coins from her storage soul guide and put it on a bag of gold soul coins. A bag of golden soul coins. And then took the paper money in the room and wrote a note. Placing the two things gently by the window, Ning Rongrong then slowly pushed open the door, turned towards Zhu Sheng, and smiled heartily before leaving straight away. A touch of sunlight shines into the couple's big bed filled with ambiguous atmosphere feeling the piercing eyes of Zhu Sheng's gaze slightly turned awake. Zhu Sheng's consciousness gradually woke up. His eyes subconsciously looked towards the side, and then there was no one in sight for a long time. And he was the only one in the empty room. He fixed his eyes again, only to see that next to the bed, although there is no more Ning Rongrong's figure, but a heavy bag of gold soul coins lying there peacefully. Not only that, there is also a note. Zhu Sheng took it over to slowly unveil it, and when after seeing the content inside, his face was violently gloomy, his palms clenched this note. The words that came out of his mouth became more and more icy Ning Rongrong. The content of the note, thank you for yesterday, sleeping comfortably in this bed, these gold soul coins are paid to you in accordance with the agreement of last night. If there is a next time, we will see each other again if we have the fate to meet again, and also... My name is Ning Rongrong. Originally, simply leaving the gold soul coins, Zhu Sheng would not have thought much about it. But what were the words of the wolf and tiger in her letter? She slept comfortably, as promised last night, leaving a bag of gold soul coins. This is not nakedly treat yourself as a asterisk asterisk. Zhu Sheng took a deep breath to calm his heart. Not bad for the seven treasures, Leo, Lysek's little witch ah. Their own is where the confidence to feel that she can listen to his words and become him not sure if you're a good person or a good person. Putting these things behind him, his eyes flashed through a few moments of thought. However, Shrek Academy should have started enrolling students according to his observations yesterday. Within the entire Soto City, there was only one place like Shrek Academy that was as miserable as the one bordering the other villages. After speaking, Zhu Sheng quickly got up and put on the two treasures sent by Hulina. Afterwards, Zhu Sheng, who was standing in front of the mirror, looked at the mirror and saw an extremely bad image of himself, and secretly made up his mind, I, Zhu Sheng, swear that after I find Shrek, 
I will definitely give these two pieces of ashes to Yong. I am not going to be able to do that. In an extremely narrow, full of idyllic style corner, there is a broken hut, which stays a hair scattered, full of unruly atmosphere of the old man, lying in a chair. The old man leisurely picked up the fan fan. Towards the side of the, the tall, white, clothed figure standing said indifferently Mu Bai, how many students do you think we can successfully recruit this year? That's right, the man in white standing next to the old man is the captain of the original Shrek Seven Monsters. The evil-eyed white tiger, Dai Mu Bai, people like their number. Dai Mu Bai figure is very robust. The body of the white suit is to let him more clean and sharp. Handsome cheeks full of positive sense. Only that pair of full of evil mauve eyes make him seem a little contradictory. Dai Mu, by bitter smile, shook his head. Shaking his head, I think it's hard to recruit one this year, after all. The environment of our academy is too poor, and this alone will dissuade a lot of people, not to mention that the admission criteria proposed by Dean Flanders can be met by those who can meet it are all first-class monster. The old man silently sighed. Yes, Dean Flanders has always been unwilling to lower his standards, and also said that he would rather have more than less, if this really goes on. This could be the last batch of Shrek trainees Dai Mubai's face looked grave as he said, He'll go and talk to the dean again in the next couple of days, as long as he accepts my sponsorship. Shrek Academy can still continue to develop. Shrek Academy can still continue to develop. Although he left the star Luo Empire. The huge assets on his body are enough to make people's eyes red. The old man smiled bitterly. Besides, Flanders' temperament is not what you expect. Well, it's not like you don't know about Flanders' temperament. He would be willing to accept sponsorship, although he's a bit greedy for money. He's also a man with a strong backbone. Dai Mu Bai silently nodded well. It seems that Shrek Academy really won't go far. It wasn't long before a succession of silhouettes began to walk in in front of the small hut. They surveyed their surroundings, and the first thing they thought was that they were going the wrong way. How could an academy be built in such a remote and backward place? Until they saw the words Shrek Academy Admission Office posted on the hut. This is Shrek Academy. Are you kidding? I think it is a pheasant school, even broken into this way. Let's go, son. We do not go to school in this academy. The enrollment fee is even five gold soul coins. You are robbing, Mom. I don't want to go to school at this academy. I'm sure it'll be looked down upon by others. A child of about fourteen years old, with a reddened face, voiced out towards the woman next to him. The woman next to him said in a soothing voice, Son, we're here now. Let's just take a look. Maybe this is just a test for the academy, if we really can't do it. Then well leave immediately. The teenager hesitated again and again, but still compromised all right. At this time, the old man in the hut coldly swept a glance at the people who came, stood up and faintly said want to sign up first line up. Wait for a while to pay five gold soul coins. Here in my test whether qualified to join, the words fell. The people who came have formed a long line. The old man swept the boy at the very front and coldly said, just you come first. First pay five gold soul coins, then come to my front and stretch out your arm, the boy froze, panicked and paid five gold soul coins inside the black box before walking to the side of the old man. Stretching out his arm, the old man closed his eyes and gently placed two fingers on the boy's arm. Half a dozen times, he opened his eyes full of disdain and said, the bone age exceeds the enrollment standard. And the soul power is not up to standard. Next this kind of fourteen-year-old, only a dozen levels of soul power of the waste also want to come to enrollment. Shrek recruits monsters, not trash. When the boy's father saw this scene, he angrily rebuked. My son is an excellent soul master at the Primary Soul Master Academy. How can he not reach it? Must refund the money. Refund. The old man's eyes were cold. It seems that you all came to enroll without understanding the situation. That would just be a waste of golden soul coins. If you want to refund your money, 
you can, Mu Bai, suddenly, Dai Mu Bai, who had been lying on the tree, jumped down handsomely, and after patting his sleeves, he hooked his finger towards all the people who had come to enroll, if you want to refund your money. You can beat me, he fiercely stepped out. Three gorgeous soul rings floated up from under his feet. The standard soul ring configuration, yellow, yellow, and purple, the next moment, immediately caused everyone's cries. Soul Elder, how is this possible? How old is he? How can he be a soul elder? Let's go, let's go. I don't want to go to school at this rookie academy. The girl with braided hair and icy skin patted the slightly ordinary boy in blue tights next to her and said third brother. Are we really not wrong? The boy nodded slowly. His eyes flashed a few points of determination. Should not be wrong. This Shrek Academy is what the teacher said only recruit Monsters College. The two people are from the Norden, Junior Seoul, Master College, graduated Tang San and Zayudao. However, unbeknownst to them, behind them, was standing a man wearing a veiled hat to cover his cheeks and a cloak to take all these words into his ears. The corners of Zhu Sheng's covered mouth curled up slightly, and his icy gaze slowly moved downward, staring tightly at Tang San's twenty, four bridges to a bright moon night. Happened to side head of the small dance will see this scene, she moved towards Tang San, attached ear whispered three. Third brother, you do not feel behind the eerie. This weird guy's gaze has just been looking at your storage device. It doesn't look like a good person. Should we catch him and teach him a hard lesson? After Tang San heard this, his eyes with his back to Zhu Sheng slightly condensed. Gripping Zio Deus' palm gently squeezed, secretly shaking his head to signal the latter not to act rashly. Before being sure of the purpose of that man behind him, one mustn't frighten the snakes if this caused Little Dance to be injured. It would be serious, along with the old man who was judging the bones in front of him. He shook his head and spat out the words next the entire line moved towards the front. Tang San and Zayo Dai saw this and also walked towards the front. Behind them, Zhu Sheng suddenly moved. In Tang San and Zayoad, I caught off guard. Easily twenty, four bridges bright moon night grabbed down. Tang San felt the waste of the things were taken away. Face ugly look at the wildly running Zhu Sheng what? The speed is surprisingly so fast, this man's striking movement, even beyond the speed of his own purple pole, magic pupil. Little Dance saw Zhu Sheng, who had almost disappeared in his eyes, anxiously said third brother, what to do? Tang San gave a comforting smile, patted her shoulder, and replied back Little Dance, you wait for me here. I'll go and snatch the thing back. Afterwards, he quickly turned around, his eyes lit up with a lavender light and locked onto Zhu Sheng's figure. Coldly saying ghost shadow misty trail, the entire person transformed into a phantom, chasing after Zhu Sheng in the direction he left at an extremely fast speed. Zhu Sheng looked back, only to see Tang San approaching himself with a ghostly stance, although he had already slowed down most of his speed. But he still felt a little surprised, after all, really leaving at the speed of a sealed duluo. Tang San couldn't even see his back. Behind him in hot pursuit Tang San, coldly shouted blue silver grass, in front of Zhu Sheng. Dozens of deep purple blue silver grass suddenly compiled into a dense net. Zhu Sheng looked at the big net rising in front of him, faintly commented not bad, of course. The current blue silver grass Zhu Sheng could even tear it apart with a wave of his hand. But in his heart he thought that if he ran again, he would be a bit far from the Shrek enrollment office. So then, Zhu Sheng, who was sprinting, suddenly stopped. Tang San saw the silhouette in front of him stop, and he also stopped his own pace. He stared at Zhu Sheng, who had his back turned to him, with his gaze icy cold. Return the soul guide to me, or else. That was what the Grand Master had given to himself, and it absolutely could not be taken by anyone else. Zhu Sheng slowly turned around, under the hat he faintly said if you want it, Come and get it yourself at that. The original Tang San's eyes narrowed. The whole person's figure suddenly stormed, instantly rushed towards Zhu Sheng. He mentally drank Chu Yu hands. Chu Yu hand. 
only to see Tang San's arm below the skin suddenly condensed into a cold jade. Zhu Sheng blandly looked at Tang San's incoming attack, muttered Chu and Jade Hand at the end of the sentence. He also stretched out a palm to blast away, on the other side. Seeing the man in black attempting to palm against himself, Tang San's mouth gradually revealed a few points of self-confidence. One, his own Tang Sex secret technique Chu and Yu Hand is indestructible. Water and fire invulnerable, if he blasted it head on, his palm would at least be fractured, bang sound. The two palms touched together erupted into a strong fire, the next second, only to see just now still confident Tang San face suddenly change dramatically. The whole person flew out in an instant, fell to the ground, Tang San covered his chest, a few threads of blood spilled out of his mouth. I somewhat unbelievable looked at Zhu Sheng, who slowly approached. This, how is this possible? Zhu Sheng approached Tang San step by step. His body erupted with intense pressure, his tone filled with endless killing intent. Kid, do you still have any ability? If not, then prepare to die. This has injured Tang Three again by the pressure of the bombardment. Again, spit out puff, spit out blood. Tang Three looked at Zhu Sheng's gaze, even hold up a few points of fear. This rich killing intent, this guy actually killed how many people? To be able to condense such a terrifying killing intent. Tang San clenched his teeth. His heart roared, no, I can't die yet. I still haven't realized Master's wish. Little Dance is also still waiting for me. His left hand. A small hammer gradually become bigger and bigger open. Who only to see the woods a gust of wind blowing. Zhu Sheng silently withdrew his own pressure. The condescending Zhu Sheng, looking down on Tang, sang no action. Mouth spit out a sentence full of endless cold words, small three. These years you really grow a lot, Tang, three hands, how Tian Hammer fell violently. His eyes stunned look at Zhu Sheng. Incomparable stunned said you. You, you are. Zhu Sheng threw the twenty-four bridges and bright moon night over to Tang San. Stretching out his hand, faintly said, Well, it's me, Tang San, who was holding the twenty-four bridges and bright moon knight in his left hand. He looked at Zhu Sheng's palm hanging in the air and grabbed it with his right hand, then stood up, getting up. Tang San wiped the blood stains from the corner of his mouth and looked at Zhu Sheng with a hopeful gaze, Brother Sheng. Is it really you? Ever since he left the Holy Soul's village, he had never seen Zhu Sheng silent slowly reach out. Countless. Nine heart blood begonia petals from the ground out. Will Tang San's body wrapped around, so that the petals into his skin within the... Tang San was startled, but when felt the body's injuries began to heal up. Shocked this is the... The injuries that had been heavily traumatized unexpectedly began to recover horribly. Not a moment later, Tang San's injuries were healed, and the few plants of nine hearts blood tongue shattered into a single crystal particle. After recovering, Tang San was about to open his mouth, Brother Sheng. Yu Tang San's heart had countless questions he wanted to ask Zhu Sheng at the moment, wanting to ask him carefully where he had actually been and what he had done in the past three years. Of course, there was also the question of why Zhu Sheng hadn't even released his martial soul, and was able to, he was able to fight the Chu Yu hand with his physical body. Zhu Sheng did not give Tang San the opportunity to ask, silently turned his back, let's go, first go back to Shrek enrollment point. A moment misenrollment will not be good Tang, San Hama sound, will be his own twenty, four bridges bright moon night tie up. Then quickly followed Zhu Sheng, due to the previous situation, at least half of the people left. So soon it was Zio Dea's turn, however, her worried eyes kept looking towards the back in the bottom of her heart. She anxiously said, Why hasn't little three come back yet? Wouldn't something happen? Already past ten minutes. Tang San have not returned, but the more she thought, her heart is more anxious. A time some do not know what to do. The old man in the hut gently coughed. She saw a girl. The tone is also softened by a few points. Reminded to you. Pay the fee to stretch out your hand to let me see. The little dance is quite a bit difficult to bite the thin lips. Reluctantly smiled and said that, can wait a moment, my third brother hasn't come back yet, as soon as these words came out. 
The people in the queue behind her immediately showed a fierce look and angrily rebuked, Little girl, if you don't sign up, hurry up and leave, don't delay us, that's right. Do you know how long we've been waiting in line? Just because you're alone, you've made us all wait so long, get out of the way, get out of the way. Little Dance also knows that she is not in charge of this matter. Silently backed to the side, with a little bit of pleading color, small eyes toward that it should be disgusted, Dai Mu. I look. Dai Mu by at the side of the action of Little Dance will see clearly Dai Mu. I hold its chin thinking. Is she asking for my help? With that guy named Tang Sen guessing he can join. So helping him out won't hurt. So, Dai Mu. I close to the old man's ear, muttered a few words only to see the latter's face flashed a few points of surprise, and then kindly towards the small dance smiled little girl is okay. You first step aside, a moment later, when your third brother to come, I will give you another chance surprisingly. Can let Mubai, for the child called Tang San to speak, am afraid that the talent is not low ah. Ning Rongrong took a step forward, put five gold soul coins into the black box, stretched out his arm and smiled. My name is Ning Rongrong, Marshall Soul, Seven Treasure Glazed Pagoda. The old man coughed violently. The old man coughed violently and stared why, died as he once again inquired cough cough. You said that your Marshall Soul is the Seven Treasure Glazed Pagoda. So you're the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect Patriarch's daughter. Again inquired you came out without authorization. Does your father know? This is the daughter of the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect Patriarch, if she joined Shrek Academy. What would her father think, however, when he thought that today there was a person known as the continent's first auxiliary weapon, Martial Soul, is willing to join Shrek Academy? His heart was inevitably a little excited. Ning Rongrong silently stretched out his arm. Smilingly asked back, it seems that no one has stipulated that the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect cannot be joined Shrek Academy. Right, the old man was frozen, then thoughtfully said this, is indeed also they Shrek only welcome monsters. As for what martial soul, what clan, does not matter, at the end of the sentence, he stretched out his fingers and slowly placed them on Ning Rongrong's delicate wrist. Half a minute later, he rejoiced and said, the roots and bones and soul power are suitable. Ning Rongrong playfully blinked her eyes, then I can enter Shrek. Right, the old man laughed loudly, of course you can. Shrek welcomes you little monsters to join suddenly. Only little Dance, who is standing next to him, could be heard pointing in the direction behind the long queue. She pointed at a familiar silhouette and said third brother is here. But why is that person there too? With little Dance's exclamation, Zhu Zhuking, as well as Ning Rongrong and Dai Mu, by all looked towards the back, only to see a man dressed in scruffy clothes and Tang San walking side by side. Little Dance was the first to walk over, angrily pointing at Zhu Sheng towards Tang San and said little, three, how do you? Zhu Sheng incomparably cold eyes swept Zio Dai a glance. His level reached the sealed duo, so in front of him Zio Dai completely a pink, pink, big rabbit. Tang San's quick eyes and hands grabbed Zayo Dance's finger and explained with a bitter smile, Zayo Dance. You're mistaken. His name is Zhu Shang. I used to call him Brother Shang. We've already been going three years without seeing each other. And we just happened to run into each other today, Zayo Dance, who is still very angry just now, heard this. And her face reddened all of a sudden, Feelings on her, a person, did not understand, the situation made a big red face. Extremely grudging little eyes, unhappy staring at Zhu Sheng, all blame him. Otherwise, how would he be so guilty of this embarrassing thing? Behind the four, Dai Mubai was staring at the scruffily dressed Zhu Sheng with a grave gaze. And his martial spirit evil eyes white tiger had just emitted a faint chirp, that seemed to be warning him not to mess with this guy named Zhu Sheng. So he quickly retreated to the side of Zhu Zhuking and grabbed the latter's palm. Zhu Zhuking first frowned and subconsciously tried to break free. But Dai Mubai's palm was like steel, 
and even though she struggled no matter how much she struggled, there was not the slightest bit of looseness. Sensing that somewhat abnormal Zhu Zhuking's eyes looked towards Dai Mu Bai, and when she saw the latter's extremely gloomy and grave expression, she realized that something was wrong. There was no intention to break free among the people. Only Ning Ronggrong's red eyes stared at Zhu Sheng, and the tears in the corners of her eyes made her vision a little blurry. Ning Ronggrong walked up to Zhu Sheng's face, and with a sobbing voice asked he just said, You are called Zhu Sheng. Why didn't you tell me when we met before? It was absolutely impossible for her to have heard wrongly. This name she had missed for three years. At the end of the sentence, she trotted and embraced into Zhu Sheng's chest. Zhu Sheng did not know what to say, reached out and rubbed her slightly light brown soft hair. Im not thinking that you have forgotten about me. Yesterday the two were intimate in a room for a night. He did not carefully observe Ning Ronggrong. Of course, not including Ning Ronggrong in the pool. Ning Ronggrong clenched her small fists and knocked Zhu Sheng's solid chest. Then buried her head and choked. Then she buried her head and choked. How could I have forgotten you? But you, you haven't come to me since you left, I thought you. The corners of Zhu Sheng's mouth twitched up. This Ning Ronggrong's words taste how more and more wrong it. They were clearly only in for one night. Oh no, to be precise, it should be the second night. How did this come out as if she had abandoned her for decades as a scumbag? Tang San sighed from the side worthy of being Brother Sheng. It seems like he's had quite a few affairs over the years. Little Dance violently pinched Tang San's arm. Zio San, you can't learn from this person called Zhu Sheng in the future. Or ill ignore you. Tang San sucked in a mouthful of cold air. Hurriedly responded you let go first, Azium Hai. Even if I want to, I don't have Brother Sheng's kind of heaven defying face value, however. The bottom of his heart was so strange again. Why Zhu Sheng didn't take off his hat and cape even when he saw himself, and had to make such a scruffy appearance? Is it possible that there is some kind of unknown secret? Seeing around the Shrek seven monsters personnel are staring at themselves. Even if Zhu Sheng has covered his face, still feel a little embarrassed. He gently patted Ning Ronggrong buried in his chest. His tone of voice faintly said, Well, well, well. He gently patted the buried his chest and said in a light tone, Well, 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 so many people are watching. Ning Ronggrong back to God's face blushed, pretended to be reserved back a sentence. Whispered to remind, Zhu Sheng, you hurry to take off the body of the hat and cape, which looks like a beggar. However, this sentence instantly made the other four people have a strong curiosity. This man had covered himself up tightly. Could it be that this Zhu Sheng was that long? Zhu Sheng couldn't help but sigh. Secretly saying it seems that there are times when wanting to keep a low profile is also a difficulty. So, stretching out his right hand, grabbed the hat and slowly took it down. The hat slowly fell to the ground. The surrounding cacophonous voices all of a sudden fell silent for half a minute, only to constantly come from the cold sound of sucking in cool air. Those who thought that Zhu Sheng covered up those who thought that Zhu Sheng had covered himself too tightly because he was too ugly only felt that his face had been viciously smacked a few times. And the pain was incomparable. If the face value of a demon like Zhu Sheng was ugly, then what were they? A moving piece of shit, Dai Mubai and others in front of them, in addition to Ning Ronggrong, are all dumbfounded staring at Zhu Sheng. The other people in the long queue for a moment even forgot their purpose here on the registration. Zhu Sheng in front of them, a smooth white face, Shar, pedged features like carefully carved works of art, a pair of cold and full of coldness eyes as if to make the surrounding temperature low. And inexplicable, a little more than a few times, a pair of cold and full of cold eyes seems to make the surrounding temperature lowered a little. An unspeakable unique temperament easily over the whole scene. Frozen Dai Mu. I swallowed his saliva. This guy is still a person, Dai Mu Bai, who has always considered himself very handsome. Only felt that he had been crushed by Zhu Sheng's aller, round pressure at the moment. 
Someone else looks more handsome than himself, and his strength is also stronger than himself. Zhu Zhuking's sexy figure moved, and her measuring gaze looked at Zhu Sheng, then at Dai Mu, by next to himself. Dai Mu, by looked at Zhu Zhuking's questioning gaze at himself, and hurriedly explained. Zhu Zhuking, he's just a bit more handsome and stronger. It's nothing great. Zhu Zhuking pursed her lips, then let go of Dai Mu Bai's palm, and silently moved to the side. Her eyes dimmed a few, a few points, if at first. Dai Mu Bai could have this Zhu Sheng's vigor and strength. Little dances slightly ost. Ruck gaze moved from Zhu Sheng to Tang San. Curiously saying Zayo San, you this Sheng brother looks so good, why you, Tang San, and this Zhu Sheng are a village. How long the gap is so big na? Tang San's face jerked when he heard little dance praising Zhu Sheng and belittling himself. Can his face val, you be compared to brother Sheng, people that are born with it, and they blame themselves for not looking ideal. He looked at Zhu Sheng with a grudging gaze and said viciously, Damn brother Sheng, I still miss you so much in these years. If he had known that Zhu Sheng's face value was so unbelievable, he would not have allowed brother Sheng to take off his hat. Dai Mu by violently coughed, out of the voice to interrupt the thinking of the crowd well, after these things to say it. That Tang San, Ziyuad I, and Zhu Sheng, you first come to the teacher to test the qualification of it, cannot let the wind head all by that Zhu Sheng out. Or he this Shrek cadet boss, still a little bit of majesty. Tang San and Little Dance exchanged glances. Then walked towards the old man, the old man's measuring gaze looked at Tang San, faintly inquiring you are Tang San. Right, this child looked very calm, but also very ordinary. At first glance, screaming that he couldn't see any characteristics. Yes, my name is Tang San, Martial Soul, Blue Silver Grass. Level 20, 9 Control System Soul Master. Tang San put 10 gold soul coins into the black box, then released his Blue Silver Grass Martial Soul in his heart. Soul Ring 2 Yellows. The old man was surprised surprisingly. Someone can cultivate blue silver grass to such a realm. I'm afraid it's also the first person on the continent, oddly strange. Originally thought that today came a soul power 26 level. The seven treasures glazed clan's child is already very good. Did not expect that there is also cultivated to 29 level of blue silver grass. Tang San face laughed. Self suavely said I, this should also be considered a monster, right? The old man placed his finger on Tang San's wrist. Surprisingly only twelve years old, root bones are good. You meet the requirements for admission. Then his eyes looked towards Zayo Dance. Affectionately saying what about you, little girl, little Dance's two furry ears twitched and smiled. My name is Little Dance, Martial Soul Soft Bone Rabbit. Level 29, Strong Attack System, Battle, Soul, Master, Soul, Ring, Two Yellows. The old man sniffed and placed his finger on Little Dance's wrist once again. Then he said in surprise, The roots and bones are suitable, qualified for admission, according to this. There were four more little monsters this year. This was beyond the number of people per year in the past. The old man's eyes looked towards Dai Mubai and cheerfully said Mubai, it seems that this time, Dean Flanders will be waking up from his dreams, with three more little monsters. Dai Mu, I also nodded in joy with four new members. Dean Flanders should be able to accept my sponsorship at this time. Tang San suddenly looked at Zhu Sheng, wondering Brother Sheng, are you also here to enroll in Shrek? Zhu Sheng denied no. Before he finished speaking, Dai Mu Bai came over and wrapped his arm around Zhu Sheng's shoulders and laughed hard, Zhu Sheng, right, there's no need to be modest. I know that your soul power should be higher than all the people present. Ning Rongrong's eyes glowed, Zhu Sheng, let's show everyone your soul power. Three years ago, Zhu Sheng's soul power level had reached level 40, and it was all 10,000 year soul rings nowadays. He was only afraid that his soul power level had already reached soul king. Zhu Sheng looked at Dai Mu Bai with a speechless expression. Did he know the latter, not even recognizing him, and then wrapping his arms around himself made Zhu Sheng more or less annoyed? Brother Sheng, 
Come and test yourself here with this teacher just now. Dai Mubai said that Brother Sheng's soul power level was higher than everyone present. Could it be that Dai Mubai's 30, 7 levels of soul power was not as good as the, the former? Zhu Sheng looked at the eyes of the other Shrek members who seemed to want to see through him. And then, with an extremely terrifying icy aura emanating from him, slowly walked up to the old man's body. The latter looked at Zhu Sheng who had walked up to him, only to feel his body pulling out of the cold. And he could not help but hit a jolt. How is this child's aura so terrifying? Even he himself feels like a tiny mole cricket in front of him. The old man wiped the cold sweat on his forehead that, Child, stretch out your arm, ill test your root bone. Zhu Sheng slowly stretched out his arm, allowing the former to place his fingers on his wrist. Half a second later, the old man was stunned the root bone is suitable. Hearing the old man's reply, Tang San and Ning Rongrong beside him secretly sighed in relief. The old man then narrowed his eyes tightly and inquired carefully, then, what is your name? Martial soul and soul power, respectively. However, after he asked this sentence, a very unknown premonition surged to his heart. The gazes of the other Shrek members were also tightly fixed on this scene for fear of missing something. Zhu Sheng coldly said Zhu Sheng. Ninety, three levels of auxiliary Zhu Sheng. Ninety, three level auxiliary, control dual system, seal duluo. Martial soul, nine hearts blood tang, seal, demon tang, at the end of his speech, he took a step towards the front. Only to see that under Zhu Sheng's feet, nine profound ten, thousand-year-old soul rings emerged when the soul rings came out. The entire sunny sky instantly became cloudy, and the raging winds whistled madly. A powerful might that made everyone present despair was so strong that they could not stand it. A might so powerful that it caused everyone present to despair. At this moment, Zhu Sheng is like a heavenly god descending to the earth, sweeping over everyone present. The grizzled and weak Shrek Academy was not worthy of letting the current self join, because just with him alone, he dared to say that he would single, handedly challenge all the tutors of the entire Shrek. The old man rubbed his eyes and hurriedly stood up, looking at Zhu Sheng shocked sealed, sealed Duluo. This child, just how horrible is his talent, just a teenager is already a sealed Duluo, that is a sealed Duluo ah. The entire continent are not a few, it's not a big cabbage, Tang San's pupils shrunk, staring at the nine pitch-black soul rings under Zhu Sheng's feet. His fists clenched up Brother Sheng. It's actually a sealed Duluo. He had once asked the Grand Master if someone's newly. Awakened soul power was far higher than the innate full soul power. What would happen to that person, at that time? The Master answered himself with only one sentence that person may not live for five years at most. Now, he dared to conclude that Zhu Sheng's soul power had probably already reached the rank of sealed Duluo when he awakened. Otherwise, it was absolutely impossible for someone to have just awakened their martial soul and be able to properly cultivate to the sealed Duluo level in just three years. Next to him, Ziod, I clenched the former's palm, his face gradually whitened, staring at Tang San with a pleading gaze. Third brother, or wed better get out of here, if it was before, he still had nothing to worry about. But if there was a sealed Duluo present around him, one's own identity would be recognized in an instant. Her true body was a one, hundred, zero, zero, zero year old soul beast, and there was simply no need to say how great the temptation was for a sealed Duluo level powerhouse. And it was for this reason that her own mother was brutally murdered. Back to God, Tang San looked at the pale Zio dance. A hold her into his arms, anxiously said Zio dance, What happened to you? Difficult to speak, Zio Mai do not know how to answer Tang San. If said his identity, am afraid that even Tang San, who is closest to himself, will be disgusted with himself. Right? Zio dance didn't say anything, just buried her head into Tang San's chest. Strike that. If Zhu Sheng really wanted to make a move. Then she would never resist, letting Zio sand down. Zhu Zhuking's eyes then flickered with a few moments of realization. And it was then that she understood that Dai Mubai would appear to be different before, 
defying all odds and grabbing his palms by the balls. The impression of Dai Mu by inner heart gradually rose by a few points. On the side, Dai Mu Bai didn't notice these small details. The corners of his mouth twitching as he looked at Zhu Sheng. He knew that Zhu Sheng was stronger than himself, but Tiam Ghosts knew that he was a sealed Duluo, and he wasn't a star and a half stronger than himself. That is in the star Luo Empire are on one hand cannot count to the strong Ah for a while, the previously struck mentality and recovered. They do not need to compare with a guy who is not a human being. Yes, that's it. The corner of the eyes of Ning Rongrong. Who is staring at Zhu Sheng is reddish and incomparable, she said, the sealed Duluo. That means that Zhu Sheng has far reached the requirements of the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect. As the next leader of the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect, her partner must have the strength to be able to protect her. And she must be able to protect her. Have to possess the strength to be able to protect her, otherwise. No matter how sincere the love was, it would still be in vain, but obviously, Zhu Sheng had done that. The old man bowed down, slowly placed his hand on his chest, and said respectfully, Coronation Zhu Sheng. Forgive me for being rude just now. I wonder what you came here for this time. Zhu Sheng retrieved the nine heart blood tong and the soul ring under his feet, and everything around him returned to its original state. Then he cast a cold look at him, and the old man only felt that his entire body was like entering an ice cellar. And his whole body trembled, and he could not even have the courage to meet Zhu Sheng's eyes. Zhu Sheng then faintly said, I am just here to see how this academy that only absorbs monsters is doing the corners of the old man's mouth twitched as he secretly said see. You don't have to be so high, bro, file if you're just taking a look, right? Not to mention the sealed duluo. If this spreads out, other academies will still think that their Shrek Academy has a sealed duluo sitting in their midst. Hum, the old man stole a glance at Zhu Sheng. Suddenly felt that this seems not impossible, ah. The old man sneaked a glance at Zhu Sheng and suddenly felt that it didn't seem to be possible. He thought to himself, we have to notify the dean about this if we are too late. Shrek may lose the chance to make a sealed duluo. Just as he wanted to invite Zhu Sheng to enter Shrek, the sky suddenly resounded with the sound of an eagle's cry and then swooped down like a ghost a huge figure covered in light blue feathers, stretching its wings. At a closer look, a slightly stout cat eagle was clearly Flanders, who had used his true form as a cat eagle. After he landed on the ground from the air, his sharp claws left extremely thick traces on the ground. In the next moment, he hurriedly lifted his cat eagle true body towards that Shrek Academy teacher. And the Shrek several people revealed incomparably puzzled gazes at the rapidly arriving Flanders. There was a question in their minds. Who is this nasty guy with a swollen nose and a swollen face? Dai Mu Bai smiled and explained to them. That's the dean of our Shrek Academy. Flanders is a 76th level battle soul, saint with a four-eyed owl as his martial spirit. I didn't expect him to come in, person should have felt the violent soul power fluctuations here. Little Dance pointed at Flanders' bruised and swollen face. Letting out a laugh, PFFT, how is that Dean Flanders bruised and swollen? Wouldn't it be that he's been beaten up? Tang San also discovered this scene, and said in shock seems like it's really true ah. Did Dean Flanders just go to a duel? Ning Rongrong shook her head and voiced her opinion. I feel that he should have been beaten up by someone else. Hearing the words of a few people, Dai Mubai's mouth twitched a few times and explained unhappily. Perhaps the dean accidentally fell off the bed. Dean Ah, Dean Ah, Dean, I've tried my best to restore your image. You now this appearance is completely in the new schoolmates opened a cold joke Ah. Flanders, who walked over, topped his eyes and said to the tutor, What just happened? How can there be such a powerful soul power fluctuation just call him enrollment only? But even made such a big commotion, he is also therefore quickly rushed here. The tutor with disheveled hair pointed to Zhu Sheng next to him, whispered to remind Dean Flanders, this is coronation Zhu Sheng. Flanders frowned, and only then did he realize that there was also a figure standing next to him. 
After seeing Zhu Sheng's appearance, the look on Flanders' face immediately became stifled. How come it's this great god again? Previously, in his own store, it was this guy who beat himself alive round and round until his nose was blue and swollen. But being beaten, he had to hold it in. This is a sealed duluo. Where does he have the guts to reason with others? Flanders stretched out his hand floating in the chest, had to respectfully said Zhu. Zhu Sheng coronation, Zhu Sheng eyes flashed through the color of surprise. He thought Flanders will be pointing to the Samuel. I did not expect that this guy is also a bit of brain. I didn't expect this guy to be a bit of a brain, and he was able to keep his composure. So he looked at the swollen part of Flanders' face coldly. Traitor, I didn't expect it to be you. Does your face still hurt? Flanders saw Zhu Sheng still mention this shameful thing, gritted his teeth and hardened his head, and said, I'm sorry to trouble coronation, Zhu Sheng. My face has been almost good. Zhu Sheng held up his arms and sneered, and faintly said, has been almost good, then how about a few more? The words fell, scared Flanders back a few steps, face ugly cupped fists, said coronation don't make fun of me, this guy is a devil. Obviously can be a blow to knock yourself out, but hard to give up soul power, unarmed dislike of their own face pumping. This feeling can just be tasted once in a lifetime, he doesn't want to die young yet. When Dai Mubai saw him groveling to Zhu Sheng, he covered his forehead and said, Is this still the Dean Flanders I know? What exactly did this Zhu Sheng do to Dean Flanders? Surprisingly, it made him so scared, luckily. He hadn't messed with Zhu Sheng just now, or else Dean Flanders would be a role model. Flanders raised his head, forced a smile, and said, Coronation Zhu Sheng, this morning I offended you. I hope you are generous, don't take it personally. Zhu Sheng saw that he had already retreated so much, and also did not bother to pursue Flanders. After all, in the morning, that hand of the Tang's disfigurement fist is afraid that he had already hit the shadows. And until now, his face is a piece of blue and a piece of purple, but he was also very scared, so he was not scared. He glanced faintly at Flanders, he lightly glanced at Flanders, am not interested in how you are. I came here just to take a look at your Shrek Academy that only recruits monsters, by the way, he believed that Flanders shouldn't be unable to understand what he meant. Right, however, he was really disappointed, only to see Flanders silently retreating, extending his hand respectfully. In that case, then coronation, take your time the words came out, causing Zhu Sheng's eyebrows to rise wildly. He should not have let this guy go just now. He could not even hear the meaning of the sentence clearly. Deserved not to be killed. The actuality is that the actual people who have been in the market for a lot more than a few years have been in the market for a lot more than a few years. And the actual people who have been in the market for a lot more than a few years have been in the market for a lot more than a few years. And the actual people who have been in the market for a lot more than a few years have been in the market for a lot more than a few years. The first time I saw him, I saw him in the back of my head, and I was so happy to see him. I was so happy to see him. The first time I heard the old man's reminder, Flanders, who was looking sideways with the old man's eyes, suddenly realized that he had hit his head hard, and then smiled awkwardly as he walked over to Zhu Sheng. Coronation Zhu Sheng, I was only joking, right? Zhu Sheng's state of mind then calmed down, slowly turning around to look at Tang Sundang before coldly saying in that case, I'm sorry to bother you. The old man's face smiled as he turned towards Flanders and said, Dean, you can accompany the coronet inside. I'll bring the little monster in later to finish the examination. We'll bring the little monster to finish the examination process later. Flanders angrily glared at the old man and secretly cursed. Im on top of your lungs. Don't you know how terrifying this guy is when he fights? He even asked himself to accompany him in alone. On his face, he had to smile and say coronation Zhu Sheng. Please follow me, although our Shrek Academy has nothing to entertain, but not so poor that there is no resting place. Damn guy, the number Duluo and so on. Hurry to rest after the hurry to roll. Zhu Sheng did not answer. 
cold gaze, deeply towards the side of Tang, three next to the small dance, swept away. Small dance's gaze coincided with Zhu Sheng staring at their own eyes together. Trembling, she could not help but quietly towards the back of the Tang, three shrinking, darkly said this Zhu Sheng, has really seen his true body. Zhu Sheng silently retracted his icy line of sight. Before slowly nodding his head well, Zhu Sheng and Flanders then left the Shrek enrollment office. Heading towards the real academy, Tang San then wrapped Zio Deus in his arms and hugged her, comforting him little dance. Were you just afraid of Brother Sheng? Zio Dance's every move before was in his eyes, but because of Zhu Sheng's problem. That's why he didn't ask in person. Zio Dai felt Tang San's warm embrace, only to feel the fear of just now have disappeared. Then replied in, See really so, Tang San Gentle said don't need to be afraid. Sheng is actually very good. I'm afraid it's him who is affected by that kind of seemingly evil martial soul. The kind of seemingly evil martial soul influence only. The second to see such a greasy scene, the surrounding Zhu Zhuking, Ning Rongrong, as well as Dai Mu, by eyes have brought a few points of acidity. Can't eat dog food Dai Mu, I reminded Tang San. Small dance. You still have to hug how long. Immediately have to carry out the next examination. Dai Mu by so said, tightly embraced together, Zhao Mai and Tang San realized that there are other people around. Fiercely loosened his hands. The Shrek tutor who was left behind stroked his beard and sighed it's really a group of energetic little monsters. Let's go. It'll take you to the fourth level of the examination. Anyway, it has already been estimated that there are no other cadets to be collected. Lu Kibben, 66 level control system soul emperor, martial soul, star Liu chess weapon call Zin, 71 level food system soul saint, martial soul, sugar bean plus, the two that are being assessed outside are Lai Yusong, strong attack department battle soul emperor, martial soul, dragon stripe stick, Zhao Wuji, level 75 strong attack department battle soul saint, martial soul, Vigorous Vajra Bear Flanders patiently introduces the teachers of Shrek Academy, one by one, to Zhu Sheng. Lu Kibben was puzzled and said Flanders, who is, this, can't it be that it's a new student who joined Shrek Academy? Several other teachers also felt that it should be so. After all, Zhu Sheng was so young and didn't look like a powerful character. But this kid was quite demonic looking. Flanders' face changed and he hurriedly explained gentlemen. Next to me is Coronation Zhu Sheng. 90. Three levels of auxiliary control, dual system, seal Duluo. Martial soul, nine hearts blood tang, seal demon tang. He doesn't want his college teachers to anger Zhu Sheng. And then, one by one, like himself to be blasted hammer, listening to Flanders say this, the other teachers are the whole person suspected that they have hallucinations. What did Flanders just say? This young man is already a sealed duluo, and also what auxiliary control dual system. Flanders can't be bullshitting, right? Where is there such a thing as aiding and controlling dual systems? They had never seen such a thing in half their lives. Jackson frowned. I say, Dean Flanders, you're not telling a joke. Are you? Even the sealed duluo has boasted about it. Lou Kibben nodded his head in deep thought and said you're just making a joke out of our boredom these days. How could such a milky child cultivate to a sealed duluo, hearing these words from the two? Flanders knew that they would definitely be finished. Silently backed away a little, it's none of my business, I've already specially reminded. You two also try that feeling. Zhu Sheng's eyes flashed through a few threads of coldness, milky, his palms slightly clenched. Countless vines of the Nine Hearts Blood Begonia rushed up through the earth, directly towards Lu Kibben and Jaxin to submerge. A few seconds later, the Nine Hearts Blood Begonia suddenly dispersed, only to see the two men collapsing to the ground. Looking unbelievably at Zhu Sheng, the sole power on their bodies, the sole power of their body. Just a blink of an eye. But all of them were sucked away by that strange plant in an instant. This is the strong power of the sealed Duluo level. 
How is it, even if there were hundreds or thousands of them, under this terrifying strength, they would turn into a pile of white bones in minutes? The two men with aching legs helped each other to stand up, and respectfully said coronation Zhu Sheng. We were rude and presumed to judge you. The bespectacled Flanders shrugged his shoulders helplessly. Secretly saying, I told you all. You have to do this to be happy if he hadn't been beaten up himself. How could he have willingly become a licking dog? Bah, this is not called licking. I, Flanders, am a man of honor. After that, the other Shrek members also successfully passed Zhao Wuji's examination, but of course, because of Zhu Sheng, a sealed duo, the examination ended very early, and Zhao Wuji didn't receive a surprise attack from Tang San's concealed weapons. Thus, under the leadership of Zhao Wuji and Lai Yusong, Tang San's five people also followed the two to where Zhu Sheng was. After seeing Zhao Wuji and the others come, Flanders walked over and gently patted his shoulder, pointing at Zhu Sheng and explaining Wuji. This is coronation, Zhu Sheng, Zhao Wuji nodded, and then looked at Zhu Sheng with a measuring gaze. And when he saw the terrifying cold aura Zhu Sheng was constantly releasing all over his body, even when he didn't use his martial spirit, he secretly said, is this person, the one that Lai Yusong said, had already reached the level of a sealed duo at a young age. This aura really should not be underestimated, moreover. It seemed like the reason why Flanders' face was bruised and swollen was because this Zhu Sheng punched him. So, he bowed down and cupped his fists and respectfully said, My name is Zhao Wuji, Vice President of Shrek Academy. Seventy, five-level strong attack system battle soul Saint Martial Soul. Powerful Vajra bear Zhu Sheng's calm eyes flashed through a trace of surprise. This courage, really worthy of the immovable king Zhao Wuji, is still the only Shrek tutor to remain calm and composed when he sees himself. As expected, there is a difference between those who have experienced all kinds of enemies and ordinary people. At least the state of mind is not easy to set off waves. Only then did Zhao Wuji slowly get up and calmly said, Where, 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 a small name in front of you is not worth mentioning being able to beat up Flanders is a horrible guy. It is not impossible to beat up yourself, and Zhao Wuji next to Lai Yusong saw this scene, remembered that he had not reported his name. To open his mouth, but was interrupted by Flanders, smiled and said, Yusong has been introduced to you. To see Flanders said, Lai Yusong just nodded his head towards Zhu Sheng, he just nodded his head towards Zhu Sheng and signaled. Flanders turned his head towards Dai Mubai, who is already considered an old man in Shrek Academy and urged Mu Bai. You go and call Oscar and Ma Hongjun over. Yes, Dean, Dai Mu. Bai nodded and after glancing at Zhu Zhuking with a gentle smile, he turned around to call the other two Shrek members standing behind Zhao Wuji, Tang San, and the others walked over. See Shrek boys, Zhao Wuji heart jumped. Out of the voice boy. You guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh that is a sealed duluo. If one is not careful, the whole Shrek is going to play finished, however, I can only say that he wants more. Words have not said out of the mouth was violently Flanders a hand to cover the mouth. Embracing him, turned around whispered ear. Wuji, that Tang San called Zhu Sheng brother, and the seven treasures Li Lizong little girl, seems to be intimate relationship with him. You an outsider to get together what the hustle and bustle. Zhao Wuji frowned and pondered hiss. Then wouldn't Tang San and this Ning Rongrong be the equivalent of bringing capital into the group? Then how do we train them afterward? If there was this big Buddha Zhu Sheng around, then they definitely couldn't be too harsh in terms of training the Shrek little monsters. The corner of Frank's mouth curled up don't worry. This Zhu Sheng is just resting at Shrek Academy for one night. We can train them however we plan to train them, before Zhao Wuji heard this and then said thoughtfully, so that's how it is. I thought that this Zhu Sheng would be at Shrek all the time. Frank somewhat amused dumbfounded said Wuji, How can this be possible? How can a hall of sealed Duluo think it is impossible to stay in our small academy? Right, can't think of Zhao Wuji also lazy to think about things after. Also, Tang San to Zhu Sheng thumbs up Sheng brother. 
can really have you as soon as he came. He gave the Shrek Academy Dean a downward spiral, although it was a compliment. There was no joy on his face, seeing Tang San's intention. Zhu Sheng's eyes narrowed slightly, and he bluntly said, Junior, just say what you have to say. He and Tang San had known each other for so many years. His little mind could easily be seen. Tang San pursed his lips and said gruffly, Brother Sheng, your soul power was already at level 90 when you awakened. Right, Zhu Sheng didn't deny it. A few hints of surprise flashed through his icy pupils, that's right. Zayo San, how did you know? I happened to see the huge light that burst out when you awakened that day, so I guessed after associating some things, Zhu Sheng raised an eyebrow. Puzzled why, little three, then you mean? Tang San's face flushed with a few moments of struggle. Brother Sheng, your soul power level is far beyond the innate full soul power. I once asked my teacher a similar question, and the result I got was that you probably want Lie for more than a few years. He was also hesitating whether or not to tell Zhu Sheng. In case it irritated him, Zhu Sheng smiled at him stiffly, thank you, Ah Junior, but don't worry about me. This matter I have already solved it. I didn't expect that in the three years of separation, Tang San still didn't forget to think about his own affairs. Tang San heard Zhu Sheng's reply and touched his nose awkwardly, really. Then Brother Sheng congratulations. He thought Zhu Sheng would be gloomy upon hearing this, who knew that the latter had actually solved it perfectly. Although he didn't know what method was used, Zhu Sheng shouldn't lie to himself. Zhu Sheng's gaze looked towards the hut hiding behind him. Inquiring towards Tang San, by the way, Zayuo San, can I say a few words to your little dance? Tang San glanced at little dance. Quite a bit worried Brother Sheng, associated with little dance's fearful appearance just now. Tang wasn't too sure if he should. Just as he was pondering, a light when he was pondering, a light palm patted his shoulder third brother. It's okay, Tang San looked at Little Dance behind him, looking at the firm gaze on her face, as if she had made up her mind about something, and sighed Little Dance. Well, I understand. The latter looked at Zhu Sheng with a gaze that was not the least bit fearful, changing her appearance from before. Then, Brother Sheng, you and Zayo Dai chat. I'll go over there first. Tang San gestured before turning towards Ning Ronggrong, Zhu Zhuking sighed and walking go. Zayo Dai took a deep breath, stared at Zhu Sheng without showing any weakness, waiting for his following. Zhu Sheng's mouth corners slightly curved. His face didn't show any expression. His tone leisurely said, "Should I call you a one hundred zeros zero zero year old soul beast, or the humanoid little dance?" Her eyes condensed, and she directly rebuked, "I am both little dance and a one hundred zeros." Euro zero year old soul beast. If you want to make a move, I will never resist. But I hope you don't tell Zayo San, compared to being hunted down by Zhu Sheng. Little Dance is even more unable to withstand the disappointment and cold eyes from her closest friend. Little San San, Zhu Sheng was a little confused by this series of words and was surprised to say, Oh, it seems that you already have the determination to die, ah. He clearly has not yet said anything. This little dance already thought that he guessed what he wanted to do, and even have the determination to die, if he had not yet become a sealed duluo before he might have considered it. But now he has become a sealed duluo, but now his own soul ring is already full, completely useless. Kill her for what? As for the soul bone, he already has a full three pieces on his body, and there is no shortage of this piece that was popped out by killing her. Little Dance did not speak. The corners of her eyes reddened a few points, then slowly closed her eyes. Simply did not want to resist the desire. Heart murmured Little Three, if I die, you must live well. She knew that the human form of her own in front of the sealed Duluo simply do not have the possibility of survival. The only wish in the bottom of her heart is that after her death, Zhu Sheng do not tell Tang San this fact. Zhu Sheng's eyes stared at Zayo Dance's cheeks before he coldly said, Your soul bones and soul rings have no attraction to me. 
Since you've already decided to stay by Tang San's side, you have to pay attention to your real body. If the sealed Duluo who came here today wasn't himself, then I'm afraid that Tang San and Zio Dai would also turn out to be a tragedy. Although he didn't look favorably on people and soul beasts, he wasn't against it either. Little Dance heard Zhu Sheng say these words. Obviously caring about himself, so it was rather shocked and opened her eyes. She thought Zhu Sheng would do it the next second, but she didn't expect. Looking at Zhu Sheng's gaze was filled with a few strands of disbelief. But since she was able to continue to stay by Tang San's side, she had already felt a great deal of satisfaction. Zayam, I pursed her thin lips and returned I will. Dean, I brought Oscar and the others, the returning Dai Mu, I had two more lazy and incomparable figures behind him. One looks slightly vicissitudes, cheeks full of broken beard, if not familiar with the person. I am afraid that a mouth is a Uncle Hurricane is Shrek seven monsters in the big sausage uncle. Oscar and the other is looks very a company fat, walk up very funny, but its martial soul is also the top beast martial soul. Evil fire grass chicken, Oscar rubbed the dark circles under his eyes and asked Flanders, Dean, what are you calling us for so early in the morning? Ma Hongjun was extremely dissatisfied and angrily rebuked that's right teacher. I was just working hard. But now you suddenly, this is not tossing disciples randomly. He looked at Dai Mu by with a resentful gaze and said angrily, And boss Dai, can you knock on the door next time? That foot almost scared me to death. Dai Mu Bai scratched his golden hair, smiled awkwardly and said accidentally, accidentally, Im not looking at your fire is a bit heavy. Physically lower the fire well in the bottom of his heart. He secretly said this kid's evil fire is very heavy. Do not call him like this. Im afraid that tomorrow will not be over Flanders stroked his beard. Smiled and said Oscar, you're not a good person. Flanders stroked his beard and said with a smile on his face. Oscar, Red Jun, this time I called you here to tell you that our Shrek Academy has added four new members today. The other four tutors behind Flanders also nodded. Oscar revealed a shocked expression and exclaimed what? There's even someone who joined our Shrek Academy. Flanders' face sank and directly hit Oscar's head with a violent chestnut. What are you talking about, brat? Oscar rubbed his sore head, I'm not happy about it, after casually perfunctory sentence. His eyes began to scan the surrounding. Oscar's eyes saw Zhu Zhuking, Ning Rongrong, immediately flooded with light, and wrapped his arms around Ma Hongjun, pointing in the direction of Ning Rongrong and the two of them. Ning Rongrong pointed in the direction of the two men and said with a sinister smile, Hongjun, look over there. This time the beauty of the schoolgirls who have joined us are so high in color. Ma Hongjun also cast his eyes over. When he saw Ning Rongrong and Zhu Zhuking's slender body, charming face, the evil fire that had just been suppressed burned up again. He instantly felt that his own girlfriend Kuihua was simply unattractive compared to these two beauties. If he could sleep for a while, I am only afraid that his evil fire would be honest for a few days, Dai Mubai who was eavesdropping behind them, grabbed their heads with both hands and said sorrowfully, What are you two thinking about? That one is mine. Oscar saw Dai Mubai's eyes staring straight at Yuzhuking and intentionally delayed his voice. Oh, Tilda Tilda, don't worry. Boss Dai, that one is yours. We definitely want hit on her. His eyes then looked towards Ning Rongrong and Hei Hei laughed that's the one I'm aiming for then. Right, don't look at his current beard. If he cleaned it up a bit, he would be a proper handsome man. He was a good-looking man, and he wouldn't fail when Dai Mubai heard this. The corner of his mouth curled up slightly. Dare to pick that Ning Rongrong. You kid is looking for death. People like but that Zhu Sheng. Seal Duluo level of strong. If the latter know, Oscar that little miserable kind. Think of him feel interesting. Surface a supportive look said well well. It seems that small ow your vision is also quite good. Come on, you will not fail. The first time I saw you, I was very happy to see you, and am very happy to see you, too. Oscar raised his eyebrows in triumph. Hey, boss, your vision is also good. 
We won one Ma Hongjun listened to the two talking about ignoring himself. Angry, hey, hey, boss die, and Oscar. You can see that you have a good eye. And you can see that you have a good eye. Boss die, and Oscar. You two are bullying people too much, aren't you? You all chose. What about me? Die Mubai, Oscar sniffed, tacitly glaring at him with their eyes in unison. Find your Kuihua. Zhao Wuji looked at the energetic appearance of these disciples and laughed lightly. With the addition of fresh blood, the little monsters have an interesting future ahead of them, but I hope they can still smile so happily during training. Flander gave him a blank look in dismay. But come on, who doesn't know that you're the one who can't stand it the most? Yao Wuji said with warm anger Flanders, People are hard to break up, why are you not convinced? Do you want to fight? I'll do it, but you're so bruised and swollen. Shouldn't I put in some water? Bullshit. Fighting three of you is not a problem. Ning Rongrong and Yu Zhuking saw this jostling atmosphere. Both covered their mouths and laughed lightly, while the other three Shrek tutors beside them looked at each other helplessly and laughed bitterly. This one Dean and one Vice Dean can be much more active than these little monsters. Tang San slowly walked over to Little Dance and Zhu Sheng. Smiling lightly at the latter and inquiring Brother Sheng, have you and Little Dance had a good chat? Zhu Sheng coldly swept his eyes for a moment and faintly said, Why are you in such a hurry? Your brother Sheng wants steal your Zai. Oh, my Tang San frowned and seriously explained Brother Sheng. You may have misunderstood. Zayo Mai is my sister. Zayo Mai pulled up his sleeve. Zayo San, stop it. But Brother Sheng he, Tang San felt that if he didn't explain clearly, this misunderstanding would grow bigger and bigger. Little Dance directly stepped on Tang San's foot. Zai, oh, San Tang San's face twitched a few times in pain. Still using a doting tone of voice softly said, Well, 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 little dance what you say is what seeing this little two mouths in front of them putty. Zhu Sheng sidestepped his eyes and head, and headed towards the assembled Flanders, and others went. Flanders and Zhao Wuji saw Zhu Sheng walked over, immediately stopped just funny behavior. Flanders smiled like a flower, said coronation, Zhu Sheng. You finished talking when Oscar and Ma Hongjun saw Flanders in such a respectful manner. They thought they had blurred their eyes. How did Flanders, who was extremely proud in their eyes, change into this kind of bird, and also with a man who looked to be the same age as them? Oscar whispered to Dai Mew, by next to him and asked Coronation, Boss Dai, who is this kid? How dare he make the dean call him Coronation? Dai Mew by spread his hands and said meaningfully this kid, you're really not afraid of being heard. The dean called both of you here. Besides the new members, it's because of him Oscar approached Dai Mubai's back, gently pinched his shoulders. And pandered, Boss Dai, don't hide your words. Hurry up and tell me Dai Mubai's face revealed a few moments of coziness. This is someone who can make you feel comfortable. Dai Mubai's face showed a few points of coziness. The feeling of having someone to wait on him is really wonderful. If it's Zhu Zhuking, then it's even more wonderful, but it's just a thought. Zhu Zhuking hasn't even given him a good face now, thinking about this as a complete dream, seeing Oscar so hard. Dai Mu by slowly explained that his name is Zhu Sheng, to see the two whispering, Ma Hongjun is full of disdain look at the front of the Zhu Sheng. Unhappy cut, really do not understand what the dean is doing, is not a good looking small handsome. But the dean is also a good looking. But the dean is not a good looking small handsome. It's not just a guy with a handsome face. I guess the soul power is not as high as mine, however, he did not seem to deliberately lower his voice. Directly let the surrounding Shrek tutors as well as the gazes of the crowd looked over. Ning Rongrong and Tang San looked at Ma Hongjun's eyes, flashed slightly unhappy. Although this person may be their teammates afterward, but right now, insulting Zhu Sheng to his face was simply like slapping them in the face. And Zhu Zhuking's face chilled a few points. This kind of secret villain was extremely loathed in her heart. Dai Mu by hurriedly pulled Oscar away, gave Ma Hongjun a look, and reminded him with his lips, Ma Hongjun, hurry up and apologize to this one, otherwise the consequences will be disastrous, however, 
Ma Hongjun obviously didn't see Dai Mubai's small action. Seeing the people around him looking at him, he felt weak for a moment, but still summoned up the courage to say what's wrong. Teachers, I didn't say anything wrong. Right. I really don't understand why you guys are treating this guy with respect. Flanders turned around and shouted angrily, Hong Jun, don't be rude. Hurry up and apologize to Coronation Zhu Sheng. This guy's temper was just as irritable as Liu Erlong of their golden iron triangle. And just after the dish had calmed down Zhu Sheng's anger. This good disciple of his was picking another fight, just words. Even if a little far away, Zhu Sheng also heard very clearly. Icy pupils stared at Ma Hong and you this evil fire grass chicken is looking for death. Shrek people are so arrogant. Originally, today, he thought that he could not do anything, but there are always some scum slaughterers who are looking for death. He didn't mind at all that his hands were stained with one more dead soul, hearing Zhu Sheng abusing himself so much. Ma Hongjun angrily roared fuck you, im the evil fire phoenix, after saying that, Ma Hongjun roared. Under the feet of the yellow soul ring floated up, Flanders' cold voice to stop Red Jun, quickly stop. This Ma Hongjun is his personal disciple. If it is because of offending Zhu Sheng have any shortcomings, then, this instant, Shrek Academy teachers know that things are a little big. Ma Hongjun, even if you want to scold, also have to take advantage of Zhu Sheng Gan Ah. Now scolded in front of the Shrek Academy, teachers all knew that things were a bit of a big deal. Zhao Wuji and other Shrek Academy teachers also hurriedly stood up. The former scolded Ma Hongjun, quickly stop. Ma Hongjun wiped his nose, cold HMPH Aurora, drank the first soul skill, Phoenix Fire, only to see Ma Hongjun words have not yet spit out. A ghost like Silo, wet suddenly appeared in front of him. Only a ghost like Silo, wet suddenly appeared in front of him. Appeared in front of him, only to see the man in front of a hand suddenly stretched out, easily strangled his own neck. Hard to lift his whole person up. Ma Hongjun looked at the emergence of the horror of the figure stared at the next second, only to feel that their throats were deadlocked followed by enough to make him suffocate, the feeling of gradually diffuse came. His face began to turn pale, suspended in the air. Ma Hongjun struggled with a face full of pain. His hands pinched Zhu Sheng's palms tightly, trying to wrench them apart. However, no matter how much he used his strength, he could not move the slightest bit. Seeing his dear disciple's agonized appearance, Flanders was a bit anxious and said towards Zhu Sheng Hong Jun. Coronation Zhu Sheng, you quickly let go of him. Zhao Wuji took a step forward. Coronation Zhu Sheng. His character is a bit reckless. Please let him go after Zhao Wuji finished speaking. All the Shrek teachers, including Flanders and Zhao Wuji, had quickly released their martial souls, and colorful soul rings arose from under their feet. The gazes of all of them stared dead on as Zhu Sheng squeezed Ma Hongjun's palm tightly. If Zhu Sheng really wanted to kill their Shrek Academy disciples, their few old bones would never condone it. Even if it was a sealed duo, they could still get through a few moves. Zhu Sheng coldly laughed, shuddering blood. Colored gaze looked at them, full of cold words. Slowly spit out, "You are teaching me to do things." If I want to kill someone, you guys can't stop me. The words fell. Zhu Sheng's feet, nine terrifying ten thousand years soul rings, slowly floated. Then, pinching Ma Hongjun's palm a few points tighter, as if at any time can even with Ma Hongjun's neck will be pinched bones. Ma Hongjun let out a hiss of pain. A ah 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 ah. Flanders glanced at the many teachers. A few hints of murderous aura flared in his eyes. Wuji, everyone. Let's go together, even if it's a sealed duel. You owe. Wouldn't dare to say that they'd securely defeat us. Seventh soul skill, cat eagle true body, seventh soul technique, martial soul true body, powerful vajra bear, seventh soul skill, sugar bean true body, sixth soul skill. In an instant, the seventy level soul saints on the field all released their martial soul true bodies. Only to see huge creatures with the same name as their martial souls appear behind all of Zhao, Wuji, and the others. 
not for anything else, the soul power of several of them was nearly twenty levels lower compared to Zhu Sheng. Only by casting the true form of their martial souls could they have a chance of defeating a sealed Duluo. Oscar pinched his cheeks and said in horror, It's over, it's over. All the teachers seem to be serious. Dai Mu, I let out a sound of sucking in cool, ere the attacks of several soul saints and soul emperors. I'm afraid even a sealed Duluo wouldn't be able to withstand it, other newcomers to Shrek Academy, such as Ning Rongrong, also looked ahead with grave expressions, offended as the words of Flanders, who had flown into the air. Came out of his mouth. All of Shrek Academy's teachers used their most terrifying soul techniques and combined their efforts to blast towards Zhu Sheng. In an instant, a landslide rattled beneath their feet, and the shocking energy that erupted seemed to be able to annihilate the entire surrounding area. Zhu Sheng looked at Flanders and the others who used their martial soul true bodies and attacked with all their might. And not a single fluctuation appeared in his icy gaze, ninth soul skill, blood tongue and domain, the ninth profound soul ring under his feet, which had been cultivated for close to one hundred zero 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 years, suddenly lit up, from Zhu Sheng around a burst of light red ripples suddenly erupted. Towards the surrounding crazy spread out, exercise the martial spirit true body, in the air towards Zhu Sheng bombarded Flanders was this rapidly spreading ripples touched. So out of thin air static in the air cannot move. The Shrek teachers were also affected by the ripples afterward. In just a moment, all of their martial soul real body instantly burst open, turned into blue soul power scattered, as for their body was completely static in place, completely unable to feel the other limbs, can move only the eyes and mouth. Flanders difficult to twist his neck, towards his legs to see, only to see in the case of no support. He was able to float in the air, face ugly he gritted his teeth. Just how horrible is that ripple? Even his own seventy, eight-level soul saint was defenseless, below. Zhao Wuji and the others also cursed and said damn it. Can't move at all. Lai Yusong looked at Zhu Sheng with a scornful gaze and said this guy's sole skill is actually able to make space stagnate. Jackson looked at Ma Hongjun, who Zhu Sheng was pinching in his hands like a chicken. His eyes reddened and cracked. Damn it, if this is the case, Ma Hongjun is only afraid of. Dai Mu Bai retreated a few steps backward. His face pale as he said out Dean them, this is, controlled by a single soul skill of Zhu Sheng, Oscar's face tightened up as he murmured this Zhu Sheng, without even releasing his true body of martial soul, has already reached this terrifying intensity. Surprisingly, he was able to instantly control Flanders, Zhao Wuji's many soul saints. Tang San's gaze deadened as he looked at Zhu Sheng, who had controlled Flanders and the others with his own strength, and his heart was deeply shaken. He clenched his palms, then gradually loosened them, and said with a bitter smile on his face, Brother Sheng, Is this your true strength? It seems like wanting to catch up with you is still unlikely. Zhu Sheng is already a sealed Duluo. To catch up with him is as hard as heaven. Moreover, Tang San didn't even know how many levels his own martial soul blue silver grass could be cultivated to, let alone the daunting sealed Duluo. Although Little Dance was shocked at Zhu Sheng's strength, it didn't take long for her to come back to her senses. And when she saw the expression on Tang San's face, she knew that he was deeply shocked. So she reached out and put her hand on his shoulder, comforting him, Zio San, don't give up, you want lose to him. Tang San was slightly stunned little dance. Zhu Sheng's icy gaze swept over them. Is this the standard of your Shrek Academy teachers? Not good enough to take a hit. Then, with a grip of his palm, he only saw the pupils of the stilled Flanders and the others shaking. The next moment, they only felt the sky and earth spinning before their eyes. The blinding white light caused them to close their eyes. When opened again, the previous seconds seen in their minds had long since ceased to exist. Now, all around them was the moral purgatory that was filled with an extreme heat that made their skin parched, as well as a blood 
tinged light that glowed like the sun and the moon had no light, in front of them was a boiling, raging river covered with the smell of blood, and in the midst of that, countless nine hearts blood begonias were blooming radiantly, and the nutrients that these nine hearts blood begonias were blooming with were none other than the life force of Flanders and the others, whose bodies were completely bound by the roots of the nine hearts blood begonias at this moment. Wisps and wisps of ghostly red crystalline particles were continuously extracted from the bodies of Flanders and the others, and were then devoured by the roots in the next moment, and in the bodies of Flanders and the others. For every bit of life force they lost, the pain they endured from the soul had to be agonized at first. The mild pain was only a mosquito bite. Flanders and the others also only thought that this was an illusion-type soul skill and would not cause real damage. But as their long time here passed, they had also discovered that something was wrong. This is indeed an illusion, but it would feed back the pain they had suffered to their souls in its entirety. Flanders suppressed the despair in his heart, and said with a face full of fear, This weird blood tongue is absorbing our life force, and every bit of life force we lose will cause our souls to suffer more intensely. The disbelieving, Zhao Wuji gritted his teeth and kept trying to mobilize his soul power. The auxiliary soul master on the side. Jackson sighed, Wuji, don't waste your energy. I guess this soul skill is forcing our souls to be pulled out of here. Unless your soul power level is much higher than that guy, plop. Plop only to see in the reality of Flanders and others' eyes began to white. And then one by one fell to the ground. Don't look at the real world after only a few seconds. In Zhu Sheng's illusion, Flanders and the others had been tortured hard for several months especially the kind of attack that brought them stronger soul attacks as time went on. If Zhu Sheng hadn't finally withdrawn his soul technique, if Zhu Sheng hadn't withdrawn his soul skill in the end, I'm afraid that none of the people on the ground at this moment would be normal. Zhu Sheng cold eyes looked at them on the ground and sighed glance at his hands in the fainting Ma Hongjun. He faintly spat out a sentence after waste the next moment will be in the hands of Ma Hongjun like throwing garbage thrown out. Ma Hongjun obese. Ma Hongjun's obese body hit the ground hard. Resounding with the sound of bones clicking, Oscar and Dai Mu, Bai have exclaimed Dean, Fatty, the two rushed over to check the breath of Flanders and the others. Seeing Flanders and the others are still hanging on a mouth. This is a sigh of relief. Then walk to Ma Hongjun's side. Few, fortunately, just broken bones. Tang San saw that Flanders and the others clearly didn't suffer any injuries. But the whitened pupils seemed to have endured a great deal of pain. Could it be that? A thought manifested itself in his heart. Darkly said purple pole magic pupil. Only to see Tang San's eyes glowed with a deep purple light, and then looked toward the ground toward Flanders and the others. The next moment, Tang San affirmed sure enough, it's a spiritual attack, if I'm not mistaken. What Zhu Sheng just used should be his ninth soul skill. I'm afraid that this kind of soul skill is completely out. Flanders and the others can't be unharmed at all. Brother Sheng did not lay down a deadly hand, unsurprisingly. The reason for leaving them alive was for the sake of himself and the others. Tang San's gaze looked at Zhu Zhuking and Ning Rong Grong next to him, gradually narrowing his eyes. After resolving these, Zhu Sheng walked towards Tang San and the others. Zhu Sheng expressionlessly, he patted Tang San's shoulder. Junior, I'll be leaving in a while. I've already wiped out the memories of these guys. But Rongrong will ask you to take care of it. His goal after that was the killing capital. But that place could have a level 99 Tang Chen. And there was only roughly a 50. 50 chance as to whether or not he could beat it. Tang San froze for a moment and firmly said, don't worry. Brother Xing, Brother Xing's soul skill was actually able to erase other people's memories. Ning Rongrong's eyes condensed and she walked over with some exasperation. Zhu Sheng, aren't you staying here? Or do you hate me so much? Zhu Sheng wanted to explain, but realized that after being affected by the Nine Hearts Begonia, he didn't know what to say at all. Silence for a while. His face was ancient and unperturbed. No, I still have other things to do. 
I've already wiped out their memories and you're safe here, moreover, outside of Shrek, in addition to the seven treasure glazed sex sword Duluo. There was also an even more terrifying figure, Tang San's father, Tang Hao, everything that happened just now could not have not been discovered by the two of them. And Si Zusheng do not even want to explain the meaning of, Ning Rongrong suddenly laughed at herself, the corner of her eyes filled with a few wisps of mist, but her eyes were firm and said, Zhu Sheng, do you not have a little like me? I don't like me at all. Next to Tang San raised his eyebrows, it's over, it's over, Brother Sheng's wave is going to overturn. But where exactly is their relationship at that point, even though it looks like Brother Sheng Ning Rongrong cares a lot? It doesn't look like a couple at all, rather. It's more like his own relationship with Zayo Dance, but in comparison. He and Zayo Dance are much closer. Then his eyes doted on Zayo Dai, who was leaning on his arm next to him. Rong Rong, I do have some good feelings for you at the bottom of my heart. Zhu Sheng looked at Ning Rong Rong's heartbreaking appearance and couldn't bear to hurt him. At this time, Ning Rong Rong said with a few moments of crying, then can't you give me an accurate answer? I've been waiting for three years, but it doesn't mean I want to wait another moment. Zhu Sheng, have you ever liked me? Zhu Sheng pursed his thin lips, not knowing what to do. He silently reached out his hand and gently rubbed Ning Rong Rong's head. But he really has no feelings for the latter between a man and a woman. On the other hand, when the latter saw Zhu Sheng's familiar gesture, her eyes, which had already been filled with tears, flashed with hope. However, when Zhu Sheng saw this familiar gesture, her eyes flashed with hope and hope. Hope, however, Zhu Sheng slowly loosened his hand and coldly turned his back. Sorry, Rong Rong, I've never just treated you as a younger sister, receiving such a cold answer from Zhu Sheng. The Ning Rong Rong's face froze in an instant and in the next moment silently buried her head, Zhu Sheng who had her back turned to Ning Rong Rong, tilted her head and looked at the woods in front of her, and then faintly said, Im leaving, Rong Rong, take care of yourself, said, on the head did not return to leave the next moment. Forcefully endure not in front of Zhu Sheng, reveal fragile heart Ning Rong Rong, finally cannot help it. Hanging down the body to cover the face crying and sobbing up, Tang San looked at the pain Ning Rong Rong, even if it is not related to him, the heart was also tugged up. Silently sighed Brother Sheng, this is also too heartless. But he was not always very affable before. What on earth made him turn into this now, Zayo Dai, who had been leaning on his arm in silence? Slowly said, it's his martial soul. Tang San was instantly awakened by this point. Zayo Mai, you mean to say that Sheng Brother's martial soul influenced him? Well, returned a word, Zayo Dai shrunk, and did not say another word. In the grove, Sword Dulio Dustheart viciously cursed, Damn it! This kid dared to reject my family wrong wrong to my face. If it wasn't for the patriarch's command that he couldn't do anything to you. I'm going to whip you to death today. Next to him resounded an extremely thin voice well, indeed. Sword Dulio Dusty Heart's eyes suddenly condensed. Instantly retreated two steps away his face vigilant looking at the front wearing a worn-out cloak, full of the aura of a king, who is this man, actually able to quietly come to his side, and he did not feel his presence at all. Dusty heart palms stretched out, filled with the stern aura of the seven killing sword, appeared in the hands. Eyes coldly said, Who are you? The cloaked man was clearly Tang San's father, Hao Tian Duluo Tang Hao. Tang Hao's indifferent eyes glanced at the wary Dusty Heart. Me? Just a passerby? Dust Heart's eyes stared. His grip on the seven slaughter sword tightened, and he coldly drank, passing through, surprisingly. You were able to approach me silently. How come I didn't know that people who pass by also have this kind of strength? This seemingly ordinary man, all of a sudden even brought him an oppressive force if nothing else. This person... Definitely not simple. Tang Hao's gaze turned a few points colder. Oh, want to make a move at that moment? Nine soul rings gradually appeared under his feet, especially the last one, emitting a pressure that made the surroundings change color. Dusty Heart looked at the scarlet soul ring that brought him a sense of foreboding and exclaimed one. Hundred. Zero's zero-zero-year-old soul ring. 
In the next second, his head suddenly recalled a person, holding the Hayashian hammer in his hand, using his own strength to severely injure the Pope. The youngest sealed Duluo in the continent, Tang Hao, you, are Hayashian Duluo, Tang Hao, if it was him. Then having a one hundred, zero, zero, zero year old soul ring would not be surprising, Dustheart's trembling emotions gradually calmed down. I didn't think that someone would still recognize me. Tang Hao, Tang Hao uttered these words, but his cheeks didn't show half a bit of surprise. Sor Duluo's eyes suddenly widened. Wait, could it be that that Tang San, well, after the last returned a sentence? Dustheart, in front of the eyes of Tang Hao, the figure blinking disappeared. Dustheart's eyes flickered a few times. Heart secretly said Tang, how reappeared in the world. Is he ready to come back for revenge? It seems like the martial soul hall is in. Trouble this time, Zhu Sheng, who was walking slowly, suddenly stopped, his icy tone slowly saying Uncle Hao. Since you're here, come out, behind Zhu Sheng again, Tang Hao's silo. Wet slowly walked out, kid, your talent is really surprising. And has even far surpassed Junior, hearing this, Zhu Sheng slowly turned around, and finally, a pair of eyes filled with cold air faced Tang Hao's eyes directly. Buzz Tilda, both of them didn't speak again, the next moment, from Tang Hao's body. An intense and terrifying killing intent erupted out. And even then, this killing aura had completely condensed into a substance, causing the surrounding space to almost tremble. This, this was the killing god's domain a terrifying domain that could only be obtained after passing through the killing capital and personally slaughtering countless powerhouses. This terrifying killing intent suddenly surged towards Zhu Sheng in an instant from Zhu Sheng's body. A killing aura that was not weaker than the killing god's domain burst out, easily devouring the incoming killing intent. The domain formed by the two horrifying killing auras began to continuously eat away at the other side, for a while, the gap between the two sides had actually stabilized, half a sound. Tang Hao's eyes looked at Zhu Sheng, who easily resisted his own god, killing domain, and blandly said, Kid, it seems that over the past few years, the living beings you have slaughtered are already close to me, have been close to me. Uncle Hao, you're joking. Zhu Sheng's words still didn't have half a bit of emotion in them. Kid, you joined the martial soul hall. Right, as Tang Hao finished speaking from his eyes, a monstrous rage that could not be suppressed was breaking through the restraints and coming out. Aha, uh -huh, Zhu Sheng coldly replied back. He knew Tang Hao's beef with the martial spirit hall, but so what? With just one sentence, let him leave the martial soul hall. Kid, I'm warning you, the palace of martial souls and I, as well as Zeo San, have an undying hatred if you quit the palace of martial souls on your own, I can spare your life. Otherwise, don't blame me for not remembering my old feelings. Tang Hao truly began to have killing intent towards Zhu Sheng as he uttered these words. He would never forget what the palace of martial souls had done in his life, hardly killing Ah Yin. That is, Tang San's mother, that one, hundred. Zero's, zero, zero year soul ring that others talked about. Herculean Ayin had used her last life to exchange it for him. If he could bring Ayin back to life, he was even willing to give up everything he had, after staring at Tang Hao for more than ten seconds. Zhu Sheng returned with a chilling expression. What if I don't? Tang Hao had his own ideas about taking revenge on the martial soul palace. As for himself, he also had his own ideas. The current him would not change because of anyone's instigation. Tang Hao's hand appeared a bing body of about two meters, flooded with blood, colored red light, extremely large Hayashin hammer. Nine terrifying soul rings constantly flickered under his feet. Kid, do you know what you're saying? If you insist on doing so, then, is it already ready to die? The wild wind swished and rattled, blowing Tang Hao's cloak constantly stirring up. There was quite a calm before the storm. Zhu Sheng's face was cold, knowing that today's battle, I'm afraid, could not be avoided. He moved his mind, only to see the surrounding area grow rapidly, and in an instant, countless strips of dense and terrifying nine-heart begonias suddenly appeared. 
beneath Zhu Sheng S feet. Nine pitch black ten thousand year old soul rings emerged. Tang Hao S cold eyes lit up. Since this is the case, at the next moment, Tang Hao's figure, holding the Heiashan hammer tightly, reached Zhu Sheng's front in the blink of an eye. Only to see Zhu Sheng's third soul ring light up and around him, a layer of thin shield condensed. Tang Hao looked at the shield, and gave a cold humph. Directly swinging up the Heiashan hammer and smashing it down with a baton on his head, bang! Facing the Soul Saint, the Soul Emperor's steel, like shield shattered apart like paper under Tang Hao's attack. Without a trace of resistance at all, Zhu Sheng, who had already expected it, said with a fearless face, "It's really worthy of being the first Heiashan hammer of the Continental Artifact Martial Soul Attack." Swinging the Heiashan hammer towards Zhu Sheng, step by step toward Tang Hao, the tone of voice with a strong anger, kid. This is the last chance I give you. In the next strike, he would not let go of anything, even if it would kill Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng didn't answer him and took a step back. The sixth soul ring underneath his feet lit up. Sixth soul skill, blood mango illusion mirror, blood mango illusion mirror. Allows the person who sees the blood tongue blossom to temporarily and compulsorily fall into an illusion, only to see that in front of Zhu Sheng, an illusion of a large nine-hearted blood begonia bud gradually appeared, and then the tightly closed petals began to gradually blossom. After Tang Hao, who had been caught off guard, saw it, his eyes suddenly flashed with a white light. In this brief second, Zhu Sheng's fifth soul ring lit up again. Blood poisons Tang, only to see that on the arm of Tang Hao, who was caught in the illusion, a few green blood begonias of the nine hearts were drilling out of the skin. The skin that was touched gradually became black and swollen, and began to spread wildly. However, accordingly, because of the pain caused by the blood poisons Tang, it instantly made Tang Hao, who was caught in the illusion. Come back to his senses. His icy gaze only lightly swept his right arm, the black toxin that was madly spreading. Without a trace of panic, Zhu Sheng narrowed his eyes. Can't just that little bit of toxin make a swift flow through Tang Hao's body? The fourth soul ring under his feet brightened. Crazy growth. The several green blood begonias on Tang Hao's arms began to grow crazily, and in a few moments. Their number was already enough to cover Tang Hao's entire person. Tang Hao's eyes condensed slightly. His body suddenly shook, and the desperate killing Kai from the inside and outside leaked out crazily. The green blood begonias that were blown by this killing Kai seemed to be unable to suffer from the power in general, and one after another quickly withered. In a few seconds. A large number of green blood begonias that were growing on Tang Hao's body were all growing up. In a few seconds, a large number of green blood begonias growing on Tang Hao's body all withered and died, falling to the ground one after another. And the toxins that had been injected into his body by the green blood begonias before, even began to drip out of his blood towards the wounds. Tang Hao, by virtue of his horrible physical quality. Hardened Zhu Sheng's fifth soul skill, the toxin of blood poison's tongue was forced out hard. Tang Hao's unchanging icy gaze looked at Zhu Sheng. Is this your strength? If his strength was only at this level, then today he would definitely die in his own hands. The corner of Zhu Sheng's mouth lifted slightly. Uncle Hao, your old injuries—they should not have healed yet, right? After Tang Hao was hit by his own set of soul techniques, it seemed that it didn't seriously injure him, but the old wounds in his body had definitely been triggered. This kind of old wound that had been left in his body for more than ten years was by no means something that could be easily suppressed. At this moment, Tang Hao's tone finally heard a few points of surprise. Oh, you actually know his body has the old disease thing. Even if even the little three have never said this kid, could it be that today's female pope, the woman of the thousands, search disease? Bai Bidong said, "Uncle, how do not have to guess? One person's body hard enemy, three sealed duo, naturally impossible to be unharmed." Kid, you know a lot. Ah, cough. Pfft. Tang Hao's cold words were only half spoken.
his chest began to twitch. And blood filled with the smell of blood flowed out from the corner of his mouth. The pain from his body tearing came continuously from his limbs. Even if his body was as strong as he was, he couldn't help but bite his dry lips tightly for the pain. Uncle Hao, now you, do you still want to make a move? Zhu Sheng gazed at Tang Hao with cold eyes. Not a trace of pity appeared in his eyes. He wouldn't make a move on Tang Hao, who was suffering from a recurrence of old illnesses at the moment. Tang Hao's bloodshot pupils slightly lifted up, and he laughed coldly. Kid, I probably understand how much weight you have in the Marshall Soul Hall's weight. This time I'll let you go. Next time. Cough, cough, he had wanted to spell out the aftereffects of the old disease's repercussions to decapitate Zhu Sheng. But who knew that he would actually be triggered by Zhu Sheng's attack in advance? The reoccurrence of the old disease. His true battle power couldn't even exceed 60%. Thinking of this, Tang Hao's chest rose and fell once again, violently spitting out a mouthful of blood. Witness Zhu Sheng slowly turn his body and then took a step, his silhouette walking further and further away. If Uncle Hao, you can do it, looking after Zhu Sheng left. Tang Hao, who was affected by his old illness, his weak body was forced to squat down, and the Heiashan hammer in his hand disappeared. He reached out to tightly cover his paroxysm of pain in his chest. Now he might be able to only fight Tang Hao evenly. But the next time he encounters it, relying on Tang Hao alone, he won't have any more chances. Snow Knight slowly stood up from his throne, straightening his chest to look at Ning Fengjiai who walked in. As well as the bone Duluo beside him, after his gaze looked over, his tone softened as he said, I don't know that sect leader Ning has arrived. Forgive me for being so slow, Ning Fengj. I was not only the sect leader of the seven treasure glazed sect, but was actually also his Snow Knight's son and Zhu King's teacher. So the only way to treat Ning Fengjai. Snow Knight showed more respect. Ning Fengj, I was a refined smile, slowly said back there, rather, Ning uninvited. Ning Feng, I nodded slightly towards Bone Duluo, who nodded and turned to walk out, Sect Master Ning. Please sit down, Snow Knight reached out to invite a sentence, then slowly sat on the throne, Ning Feng, I put the scepter in his hands and stood up. After standing the scepter in his hands, Feng Zhai courteously sat down on the chair in front of him. I wonder what it is that Sect Master Ning has come to discuss with me this time. Every time Ning Feng, I came. He would send out a message in advance, but this time it seemed a little different. Obviously, there was something extremely important. Ning Feng, I nodded, his face gradually becoming a few points more grave. Your Majesty Snowy Knight is still wise eyes like a torch ah. Ning Mu, this time to come, precisely have important things to discuss with you. Seeing always lighthearted about anything, Ning Feng Jai's face so gloomy. Snow Knight's attitude is also serious. I see. Is it surprising that Sect Master Ning has already anticipated this situation? Zhu Knight silently sighed and spoke out with a few sad tones. Ning Feng, I seem to feel that the atmosphere was too grave. And once again smiled faintly, softly saying not bad, but it's just speculation. Your Majesty Snowy Knight need not focus too much on it. Sect Master Ning is too modest Snowy Knight shook his head. Ning Feng, I was able to think of this point. Surely he had already seized enough evidence, just perhaps not arrived at that moment. Ning Feng, I changed the topic and said with some doubt, Your Majesty Snowy Knight. I wonder where King is now, Snow Knight replied. I've just sent someone to call King He. He should be here soon. Ning Feng, I pursed his lips. Really? The words just fell only to see an ethereal male voice coming from outside the room. Father, I'm coming. Snowy Knight sniffed and faintly said, King. Come in, only to see the room being pushed open. A calm and collected-looking man slowly walked in through the door. He was none other than Emperor Zhu Knight's eldest son, the Heavenly Dipper Empire's crown prince Zhu King. Only to see Zhu King wearing a golden palace robe. The robe is connected as one seems to be woven with gold silk. Without too much pattern decoration, classical soft and elegant golden stan up collar protects his snow-white and slender neck. 
A head of long golden hair is very casually draped behind him, and not carefully combed. All exudes a high and cold momentum. Golden eyes calm as flowing water. Let a person rise want to get close to the charm of Ning Feng. I saw his own this satisfactory disciple. The corner of his mouth could not help but rise an arc. King, long time no see, Zhu King looked sideways. When he saw Ning Feng Jiai, his eyes that didn't ripple flashed through a few hints of surprise, and he respectfully said, Teacher. Only then did Zhu Knight point to the seat next to him. King, come and sit down. Zhu King nodded and silently sat down in the center seat, yes. Father, after that, it was unknown how long the three of them talked. Ning Feng, I silently gripped his scepter tightly and slowly stood up. A look of relaxation appearing on his face, since that's the case. Then Mr. Ning will take his leave first completely in thought. Snowy Knight came back to his senses. Forgive me for not being able to send you away from afar. The information Ning Feng I had instilled today was somewhat massive, and he needed to take the time to sort it out. Otherwise, I'm afraid it would only lead to a major disaster. Then, teacher, he'll send you back. Zhu King also stood up and spoke towards Ning Feng, I before nodding towards the snowy night emperor. Ning Feng, I smiled back, that's good. It's been a long time since I've had a chance to talk to you, King. And I'm going to be incompetent, as a teacher's are incompetent. Zhu King quickly explained teacher, you say their words. No matter how, you are my most respected teacher, outside the palace place two extremely rare-looking sedan chair, and surrounded by hundreds of soldiers' protection, surrounded by hundreds of soldiers to protect, the leader of the soldiers will sedan chair curtains open. Respectfully said Crown Prince, Ning Clan Master, please, Zhu King and Ning Feng, I nodded, movement elegantly afterwards. The soldier on the other side of the room said to Gu Rong, who was alone, Lord Bone Duluo, please. Gu Rong only gave a faint hem and then entered the sedan chair, closed his eyes and began to meditate. The other side, Ning Feng, I took the lead and smiled suavely. King, I haven't seen you for a while. And judging from your insights just now, you're already about to surpass me. Zhu King also was rare smile. King, from the teacher is still far away, and how to talk about more than Ning Feng, I quite seriously said do not have to be presumptuous. At least as far as I know, no one has been able to reach your level. Suddenly, the just also smiled Zhu King's body shook violently, only to feel that his body's six, winged angel martial soul began to appear abnormal changes, his face gradually ugly up. His heart secretly said, What's going on? This share of familiar feeling. Could it be that it is the same as the one that happened three years ago. Three years ago, he was also sitting in the sedan chair and felt almost exactly the same situation as at this moment. The only thing that had changed was that the resonance emitted by the six-winged angelic martial soul within him was even stronger now. Next to him, Ning Feng, I sensed that Zhu King's situation was not right and gently reached out to shake the latter's shoulder king. King, what's wrong with you, just after touching it? Ning Feng, I narrowed his eyes. He felt that something wasn't right. King was clearly a man. So why was his body, why was it so weak? Could it be that Zhu King, his body had actually always been criticized? No, we need to find a time to completely conduct an examination of King's body. Zhu King forced a smile and said, Teacher, it's fine. I just feel a familiar aura affecting me. He then closed his eyes and quickly sensed the direction of the aura that made his martial soul resonate. This aura came from the south three years ago. She hadn't thought about this, but now this time, she had to figure out what exactly was affecting her. Afterwards, Zhu King lifted the curtain and said to the soldiers outside, Wait, now quickly walk towards the south. If you encounter any suspicious people, quickly stop them upon hearing the order. The soldiers outside shouted in unison. Yes, after doing all this, Zhu King looked at Ning Feng, I next to him with an apologetic gaze, teacher. Maybe y'all have to go back later, Ning Feng, I shook his head and blandly said, it's no problem, it's just as good as taking a walk. Just now, this disciple's performance was too abnormal. 
it seems that there is still something that he doesn't know about. And the south, Ning Fengjie's eyes gradually narrowed slightly, outside the gates of Tiandu City, a man with an extremely cold face suddenly stopped in his tracks. The man was Zhu Sheng, who had rushed all the way here. Zhu Sheng's eyes were slightly raised, looking at the very familiar busy streets in front of him, muttering, I didn't expect to go half a day or to return to Tiandu City. He had originally intended to go to the Shrek Academy and then go directly to the Killing City, but the fact is so unfortunate. There is no direct line in the Killing Capital. Next to it is a big canyon after a big canyon, so to get to the Killing Capital, the only way for Zhu Sheng to get there was to redirect after passing through Tiandu City. After he slowly walked inside the Heavenly Dipper City, Zhu Sheng's brows couldn't help but wrinkle him. Marshall's soul resonance, just as he was puzzled, a thick and deep sound of neat footsteps came from directly in front of him. Bang, 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 bang when this fully loaded army of a hundred people approached Zhu Sheng about fifty meters later. Zhu Sheng finally got a good look at their general appearance. Hundreds of soldiers' regiment will two exquisite sedan chair protection in which. No need to think can also know that these two sedan chair in the person's identity must be extremely honorable. Zhu Sheng's eyes condensed, and he secretly said, That's it. Let's leave first. He didn't want to cause more trouble for the time being. So, Zhu Sheng quickly turned around, towards another direction to go, in front of the sedan chair leading the march of the soldiers. The rusty patches of armor under the eyes staring at the front to leave Zhu Sheng, shouted fast, Quickly will be that person stop. He definitely has a problem the first time he saw that man before. He obviously intended to walk towards the sedan chair this side of the... But as soon as he encountered himself and others, he quickly turned around and left. There is definitely a problem. Also associated with the order given by the crown prince before, he decisively made his own judgment. If it is wrong at most is to be scolded a bit, but if it is caught, this guy has a problem, then he can be a great credit. Promotion and wealth are not in the dream, the soldier in charge of him said loudly yes as the words fell. Nearly fifty soldiers rushed out, jogging towards Zhu Sheng's surroundings and blocking them off. Zhu Sheng, who had just realized that something was wrong, looked around again and the soldiers had already surrounded him. His icy eyes looked at the soldiers, full of chill, and spat out his voice. He looked at the soldiers with cold eyes and spat out a word full of coldness, huh? I don't want to cause trouble but I didn't expect that there would always be fools to provoke myself. A strong to the extreme horrible killing intent exploded from his body after those soldiers were stared at by this strong killing intent. They only felt that their legs began to tremble, as if they were being gazed at by an ancient beast in the abyss. Putong, a few seconds later, finally began to have soldiers who could not control themselves. One after another began to kneel down on the ground. It did not take long, but even neatly knelt down into a circle, at this moment, the surrounding passers, by who were walking around stopped, and one by one. Their gazes were stunned as they looked at Hiss. Who is this guy? Surprisingly, he was able to make His Highness the Crown Prince's subordinates kneel. Kneeling is not much more than that, but even kneeling out of the circle shape, am only afraid that this person's identity is even more terrifying. A woman pointed at Zhu Sheng and said slowly, Ay, hey, hey, you guys look, that man is so handsome, but looking at his body. He is inexplicably cold. Another woman's face blushed, really. This handsome man is so elegant. This handsome man is so temperament. Identity and so honorable, if I can be with me then, the man next to the two people cannot stand to see. Cold voice dislike, don't think of farts to eat again. Do people look at you? Zhu King felt the strange movement outside and lifted the curtain to inquire. What's going on outside, Ning Feng? I also looked over with curiosity in his eyes. The leader of the soldiers clasped his hands and respectfully explained. Reporting to your highness, the crown prince, and sect leader Ning, we've found a suspicious character in front of us. Oh, is it possible to stop it? Zhu King's calm eyes flickered with shock as he secretly said I really did encounter it. Could it be that this person is the one behind the resonance of my martial soul? 
The soldier's gaze looked ahead for a moment, then hastily returned to his senses, his gaze apprehensive as he said it's just that. There's something not right about this fellow. Your Highness the Crown Prince, Sect Leader Ning. Yao'd better take a look with your own eyes. Ning Fengjiai and Zhu King glanced at each other, and then the two slowly walked down from the sedan chair. And the ancient banyan on the other sedan chair felt the intense killing intent erupting in front of it again. And then it had already withdrawn from the meditation. The next moment, the figure disappeared into a ghost-like. The soldier, who reported the incident, lifted the curtain and hurriedly said bone dew. Luo, a however. It was found to be empty. Fengj, I be careful. The person in front is not simple, Gu Rong who had flashed and appeared beside Ning Fengjiai and Zhu King, clasped up her arms and reminded the former with a grave expression on her face. This intense killing intent had even surpassed himself. However, his priority was to protect Ning Fengjiai, and it wasn't good for him to leave without authorization to check on the situation. When Ning Fengj, I saw that even Uncle Bone had sensed that it wasn't simple. The corners of his mouth curled up slightly, HMPH, he then looked at Zhu King next to him, King. Let's go. Let's go over there and take a look. He also wanted to know who exactly would make his own pampered disciple care so much. Zhu King respectfully said yes. Teacher, is it finally time to meet that person? But what was this intense and longing aura that his own martial soul was suddenly emitting? Bold thief, don't be wild. As long as you wait for the adults to come over, you want to be able to escape. This guy is so terrifying. I feel my limbs trembling. Zhu Sheng looked indifferently at the people kneeling on the ground and coldly said, Why are you blocking me? One of the kneeling soldiers said with incomparable fear. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince ordered that if you encounter anyone suspicious, you should stop them immediately. Zhu Sheng's eyes stared. His Highness the Crown Prince, Zhu King. That's right. It is His Highness, the Crown Prince Zhu King. The only name of the Crown Prince Highness in his memory was Zhu King. And it was still impersonated by Kyan Rangsu using the soul bone in his head. On the contrary, Ning Feng Zhai, who was walking in unison with Gu Rong and Zhu King, only felt as if he had seen it there after seeing the slightly familiar silhouette in front of him. Yet it was very different from the impression. Ning Fengj, I frowned and looked towards Gu Rong, inquiring Uncle Bone. Do you recognize him? Gu Rong's gaze also looked towards Zhu Sheng and narrowed his eyes. It does look familiar. But there's no way to tell who it is for now. The current Zhu Sheng was completely different from the one from three years ago. Not only his appearance, but even his temperament had become so cold. It is expected that no one will be able to connect it with the man from three years ago. Teacher, do you recognize this man? Zhu King, who heard the conversation between the two, asked in surprise. What a powerful aura, and, being so close to this man himself, the six, winged angel martial spirit seemed even more excited. Ning Feng, I shook his head with a bitter smile. It's just that I always feel like I've seen it, their Jun, Ye Zhu King, couldn't help but purse her thin lips. Really, Gu Rong's body condensed countless bones. Nine soul rings suddenly emerged under his feet, Feng Zhai. Il go and try to find out, at the end of his words, his entire body rushed towards Zhu Sheng, a figure quickly landed in front of Zhu Sheng. And it was none other than ancient Banyan, who had nine soul rings on his feet and was gazing at Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng averted his gaze from the soldier as he said in a cold tone, Gu Rong. Gu Rong narrowed his eyes when he heard that this high and cold man in front of him, whose face value was a bit demonic, was able to call out his name, Oh, kid, you actually know my name. The soldiers on the ground who had fallen on their knees saw Gu Rong's arrival and joyfully climbed up from the ground. Lord Bone Duluo is here. Everyone retreat first, subsequently. The soldiers who surrounded Zhu Sheng picked up their fallen weapons and ran to the back. The passers-by, when they saw the terrifying nine soul rings underneath Gu Rong's feet, what, this lord is actually a terrifying powerhouse at the sealed Dulyo level. I'm afraid that young kid will have a hard time escaping death. 
Lord Bone Duluo seems to be the protector elder of the Seven Treasures Glazed sect. With a terrifying cultivation of level 95, and the title of number one defense isn't called for nothing, I didn't expect to be able to see a sealed Duluo level powerhouse so close in person. This life is worth it. However, thinking of the temperamental nature of sealed Duluo powerhouses, they retreated dozens of meters. Fearing that they would be affected by the attack, with an attack of this level, they wouldn't be able to withstand it even if they were given dozens of lives. Since you're here, Sect Master Ning must be here as well, right? Zhu Sheng's gaze glanced towards Ning Fengjai, who was holding a scepter in his hand, who was protected by countless soldiers beside him. However, when it became clear that there was also a very handsome man beside Ning Fengjai, he secretly said is that the Zhu King that Kyan Rangsu is pretending to be. On the other side, when Gu Rong heard Zhu Sheng's words, his face turned cold. Since this guy knows about Feng Jai, could it be that this person's purpose is to assassinate his seven treasure glazed sex patriarch in that case? He doesn't have to stay his hand the next moment his body shape stormed, directly rushed towards Zhu Sheng, and a fist blasted towards his head. Zhu Sheng, with a speed not inferior to Gu Rong's, sensitively sidestepped the incoming fist, and then retreated a step and said in a light tone, Oh, he said, oh, you don't even use soul techniques. Ancient Banyan, this guy does not use soul techniques. Is it because he thinks that he can handle himself with his physical body? He took a deep breath, stared at Zhu Sheng, and said in his heart, This kid... He was able to dodge my attack based on his reflexes. Dealing with you as a junior, there is no need to use soul techniques. After coldly shouting, the ancient Banyan once again rushed towards Zhu Sheng. The corner of Zhu Sheng's mouth curled, his palm held. Countless vines of the nine heart blood tongue instantly ambled up. The ancient Banyan, who was unable to take precautions, was instantly bound. He was not so patient. Since this ancient Banyan's words were so full, he couldn't let him down, could he? Since this ancient Banyan has spoken so much, he can't let him down. Can he, moreover, the account of the last time has not been counted. This time is interest in midair. His left hand and right leg were bound. Ancient Banyan quickly gathered soul power in his right hand and blasted his fist towards the blood, colored vines of the nine hearts blood tongue, however. After his attack was blasted onto the Nine Hearts Blood Tong, it only caused a few more cracks to form between the vines and did not have the slightest trace of breaking. Ancient Rong silently frowned and blasted a few times again, still not breaking it down. Damn it. What kind of martial soul is this? It's actually able to defend against my attacks, although he was primarily a defensive sealed duluo and his attacks were of lower success amongst the sealed duluos. It wasn't something that just any guy could withstand. Gu Rong's gaze looked towards Zhu Sheng. Kid, I say you. The words suddenly came to an abrupt end. What did he see? This man's feet actually emerged nine black pitch black soul rings. Ancient Rong's heart was shaken. Shocked what? This kid is actually a sealed duluo, and nine ten thousand year old soul rings. Could it be that he is the one from back in the day? His gaze took another look at the plant that bound him, only to see the Nine Hearts Blood Begonia, which was scarlet in color overall and extremely tough. I see, this is the martial soul of the Nine Hearts Blood Begonia that Dusty Heart had told himself about. No wonder, no wonder it was able to defend against his own attack, emotionally. This kid was the Zhu Sheng who was with Ning Rongrong back in the Sunset Forest. After figuring it out, he hurriedly stretched out his hand and was about to tell Zhu Sheng that he had misunderstood. However, Zhu Sheng's face turned cold, and he directly controlled the nine-hearted blood tang to throw Gu Rong into the air. The Gu Rong who was thrown into the air fiercely stared with wide eyes, and angrily cursed crap, little, Sun Yu, ah, 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 Zhu Sheng, who had a face full of ice coldness. The first soul ring under his feet lit up. First soul skill, blood tong blossoms, countless petals of the nine hearts, blood begonia blossomed from Zhu Sheng's heart. And these petals brought with them a powerful attack 
that fluttered towards the ancient banyan in the air. Countless petals of the nine hearts' blood begonia cut madly at the body of the ancient banyan, constantly emitting a ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Sound, ancient banyan who was bound in the air, only felt a weak cutting sensation coming from his body, and was quite surprised. Obviously, it's only a flower petal, surprisingly. It can cut through one's skin so easily. Although Zhu Sheng's first soul skill appeared to be quite useless, its greatest feature was that it had the characteristic of breaking defense. The ancient banyan, who was constantly cut upside helplessly, that's just it. Just think of it as the last time I couldn't do right by him, and let him vent a little bit. Thinking that these attacks didn't hurt him anyway, he didn't care about it at all. Seeing the ancient banyan who didn't resist, Zhu Sheng knew that this guy must be belittling himself. He knew that this guy must have belittled himself. He said coldly at the corner of his mouth, Stupid. Your defense can withstand attacks. Can your defense withstand an attack? But can it withstand a toxin? The last time I fought against Dusty Heart, if it wasn't for the fact that the latter had a ceiling type of soul skill, I would have lost the battle in that fight. Even if he had lost, then Dusty Heart would have been poisoned and died. Subsequently, the fifth soul skill under Zhu Sheng's feet lit up again, the blood poison's tong after Gu Rong, who was unable to make a move in the air, was locked by Zhu Sheng's fifth soul skill. An inexplicable feeling of uncertainty surfaced from the bottom of his heart, especially when he saw Zhu Sheng's palm aimed at him. Gu Rong, for some unknown reason, had a few drops of cold sweat running down his forehead. He shook his head and said vigilantly, Nope, this guy's attack. It's not right. However, in the next moment, a feeling of intense dizziness quickly came from his head. Damn, this is a poisonous soul technique. This move, it can no longer be resisted by the flesh. Seventh soul technique, bone dragon true body. Ancient Banyan angrily shouted. The seventh soul ring under his feet fiercely lit up. His body surfaced countless bone, like things, and began to accumulate strength and expand. Even the extremely resilient vines of the Nine Hearts Blood Begonia began to fester. Below, Zhu Sheng, who had long anticipated this step of his, started to use the poisonous soul skill to fight back. Zhu Sheng, who had anticipated this step of Gu Rong. The sixth soul ring under his feet lit up again. Blood Mango Dream Mirror You, Can You Use It, In Front of Zhu Sheng. The phantom of the huge nine-hearted blood begonia flower buds once again appeared, and these buds suddenly twisted and bloomed. A strong scarlet red light shone directly in the pupils of Gu Rong. His eyes gradually blanched, and the seventh soul skill that he used, the bone dragon true body, was also was instantly interrupted, and his body was forced to return to its normal size. Ancient Banyan's body subconsciously wanted to move but found that it could not do so at all, for such a long time. His limbs had been gradually and deeply paralyzed by the toxin of the Nine Hearts Blood Tongue, and he had also been affected by the Sixth Soul skill, not to mention moving. Right now, his brain could not even think. Ninth Soul skill, Blood Tongue and Domain, Zhu Sheng's Ice, Gold Face did not have the slightest intention of wanting to let him go and the deep ninth soul ring under his feet fiercely lit up. A voice that made people's hearts feel friendly suddenly rang out. Zhu Sheng, please also let Uncle Bone go. He has no intention of making an enemy of you, and was only trying to test your strength before. The one who spoke was naturally Ning Fengjiai, who had rushed over with Zhu King, and the latter hurriedly spoke out to stop him. Although Gu Rong, who hadn't exerted his true body of martial soul, didn't know what Zhu Sheng's ninth soul skill was. It was by no means something that could be easily resisted. Therefore, he did not dare to gamble. If one of the seven treasures glazed sex sealed Duluo level powerhouses was lost because of this, then I'm afraid that only the entire seven treasures glazed sect would be destabilized. Zhu King, who was next to Ning Fengjiai, had a few moments of essence flashing in his eyes. This fellow, who is the same age as me, has actually reached sealed Duluo, and is that begonia with the smell of blood 
the reason why it resonates with his own martial soul. Moreover, under the bone Dulio's dropped carelessness, he was actually able to instantly behead him after controlling him perfectly. Zhusheng turned around, and after his icy cold eyes swept a glance at Ning Fengjai, the ninth soul ring under his feet gradually dimmed down. Then with a wave of his hand, the vines of the nine-hearted blood tongue contracted back. The ancient banyan that had fallen into paralysis in the air had no support and fell straight to the ground. Smashing out scattered dust, Lord Bone Dulio actually lost. What exactly is the strength of this young man? Next to the passers, Bai were shocked off their jaws. That Bone Dulio Lord is a 90-level Super Dulio. Not these grizzled, weak cannon fodder of theirs ah. That is the entire continent has a certain authority of the strong. Today was actually hard to be hung in the sky and beaten by a young man less than 20 years old. Oh my god, mom, what did I just see? A person of my age about the same age as me actually almost abused the seven treasure glazed sex veteran powerhouse. Bone Duluo, let's go quickly, let's go quickly. In a moment, there might even be a bigger fight. Ning Fengjai's face was gloomy as he instructed towards Zhu King King. Tell the soldiers to clean up the scene. In addition, this matter absolutely cannot be spread. A terrifying genius like Zhu Sheng. If it reached the ears of the Pope of the Martial Spirit Hall, he would definitely not let go of the opportunity to draw him in. And if once he refused to join them, he was only afraid that Zhu Sheng's future would be in trouble, of course. He also had selfish motives, although according to Dusty Heart, Zhu Sheng wasn't in love with Rong Rong as a man or a woman. But if he was able to get the Seven Treasures Glazed sect to bind with Zhu Sheng, then his future accomplishments would even allow the former to advance another notch. And becoming number one in the upper three sects was not impossible, after hearing Ning Feng Jai's words. Zhu King said, Yes, teacher, then his eyes turned cold, and he calmly ordered the soldiers at the back. All of you clean up the scene and issue a gag order. Today's events, whoever spreads the word. All the soldiers who got the order at the back started to disperse the civilians of Tiandu City, centered on Zhu Sheng and others. Idle people rush out of here, or else they will be killed on pain of death. All those who are here will swallow this matter in their stomachs. If they leak information privately, they will be punished as sinners quickly leave. What are you still looking at? Soon, under the soldiers' intimidation and dispersal, all the civilians left the place in fear. Teacher, have dispersed all the people Zhu King. His gaze looked towards the ancient banyan that had collapsed on the ground. And secretly said Bone Duluo in this state, he should have been subjected to the dual effects of toxins and paralysis. Ning Feng, I nodded and stood up again trouble. King, he had looked at Gu Rong's injuries roughly and hadn't been subjected to any substantial trauma. But the paralyzing toxins were too much, resulting in the death of the bone Duluo, who had been paralyzed. However, the paralyzing toxin was too much, causing, even if he wanted to move around, he didn't have the strength to do so, Ning Feng, I then stretched out his hand, his martial soul, the seven treasure glazed pagoda that was flooded with a seven, colored halo slowly coalesced in the palm of his hand. Yellow, yellow, purple, violet, violet, black, 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 black seven soul rings appeared under his foot. Appeared, seven treasure lioli, six said increase, the faint light emanating from the seven treasure glazed pagoda enveloped the ancient banyan only to see that the latter's consciousness gradually came to his senses, and the toxins that flowed into the bloodstream from the pitch-black limbs were also receding. For a long time, the almost healed ancient banyan slowly stood up from the ground, looking at the Zhu Sheng who was standing next to him with an ice-cold look. His heart was slightly fearful. Uncle Gu recalled the scene that had just happened the whole person as heart was thumping. Fluttery and secretly said if it wasn't tea for Feng Jai stopping him. He was almost taken away by this kid. This time it was indeed his gullibility. But the terror of Zhu Sheng's soul skill was also beyond his imagination. Ning Feng Jai cordially inquired Uncle Bone, Are you all right? He laughed bitterly in the bottom of his heart. 
This time Uncle Bone had flipped in the hands of a junior, and he didn't know that if Uncle Sword knew about it, it would definitely be another wave of relentless mockery. Gu Rong shook his head, then looked at Zhu Sheng from the bottom of his heart. It's nothing. It's just that the waves of the Yangtze River push the waves of the front. Zhu Sheng boy. This time the competition, it's me, Gu Rong, who lost, Zhu Sheng sniffed. His icy cold eyes looked at him indifferently and did not make a sound in response. Seeing Zhu Sheng who ignored himself, Gu Rong who was full of embarrassment coughed, Ning Feng, I glanced at Zhu King and introduced himself towards Zhu Sheng by the way. Zhu Sheng, let me introduce you. This is the crown prince of the Tiandu Empire, Zhu King, and also my disciple. Zhu Sheng's eyes, measuring up standing in front of him, dressed in royal robes, moving between the elegant and easy-going Zhu King. Vaguely has a few minutes of Ning Fengjai's temperament. On the contrary, the latter, also in the eyes of the careful measurement of Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng heart silently sucked in a breath with a bland face. She said, Zhu Sheng, I've seen your highness the crown prince. This Zhu King looks completely devoid of the appearance of a woman, even the knot in the throat, the surface of the body type. Are no different from normal men, must be the merit of that piece of soul bone. It was no wonder that Kyan Ren Zhu was able to replace Zhu King He, and spent several long years unharmed in the imperial family of the Heavenly Dipper Empire. This composure was enough to be admired. The corner of Zhu King's mouth rose slightly, stretching out his hand in a cordial manner. There's no need to be like this. Zhu Sheng, just call me King. Zhu Sheng frowned, still reached out his hand and gripped it, lightly between the touch. Thousand ranks you palm from the soft smooth feeling. Let Zhu Sheng heart cannot help but flooded a few ripples. Only because thousand ranks you skull mask the appearance, but if it is the real after going to touch it, Feeling that Zhu Sheng, who held his palm tightly, froze, Zhu King's heart panicked and subconsciously shrunk back. Just now, she could clearly feel Zhu Sheng's palm squeezing a little tighter, and had to withdraw her hand in order to avoid being discovered from these small details. She herself is aware that the skull changes only the appearance, and the difference between a woman and a man is also easy to distinguish through the tiny contact of the skin. This man called Zhu Sheng must have sensed something. Zhu Sheng also realized that he was out of line, but just his eyes did not move away from Zhu King's face. Seeing this funny little behavior of the two, Ning Feng, I didn't think much of it and smiled suavely. Ahum, Zhu Sheng, is. Is it a bit impolite for you to stare at King like that? Zhu Sheng pursed his pale lips. His gaze once again swept deeply at Zhu King before slowly moving away. I'm sorry, your highness, Zhu King. It's me who was abrupt. He didn't hear a bit of apology in his bland words. Zhu King smiled in a pretense of calmness. No harm done. This true nature is rarely seen. I wonder if King would have the honor of knowing your seal and soul power level. The corner of Zhu Sheng's mouth flicked evilly. It's naturally fine if it's his highness, Zhu King. Ima 90. Three level auxiliary and control dual system. Sealed duo seal. Devil Tong. Zhu King raised his eyebrows slightly and said in a pleasant manner, Auxiliary control, dual lineage soul master. That's really surprising. Ning Feng, I looked at the two people who were making good friends, so he reached out and patted Zhu King's shoulder, softly instructing King, seeing as you guys are chatting so much, please show Zhu Sheng around Tiandu City. Uncle Bone and I still have things to leave. Letting them two geniuses of matching ages and minds, both far beyond their peers, talk alone, might make something incredible emerge. The palm of Zhu King's hand hidden behind his back clenched a little tighter. Alone with Zhu Sheng, the possibility of her being exposed was very high. By the way Zhu Sheng looked just now, he could tell that he must have already discovered something, but just didn't say it out in the way for some reason. Zhu King bit her thin lips and forced a smile, teacher. I know Ning Feng. I nodded, and only then did he turn his gaze towards Zhu Sheng, waving at the latter and saying rather cordially, then Zhu Sheng, Uncle Bone and I will leave first. If you have any needs or don't understand, you can communicate with King after Ning Feng and Gu Rong exchanged glances. They turned around and left. 
Zhu King bowed slightly and respectfully said, Take care. Teacher, take care. Sect Master Ning, Zhu Sheng, coldly perfunctory sentence. So coldly watched the two turn to leave. Is he expected to be familiar with Ning Feng Jai? Why do you feel that his attitude towards himself is a bit too eager? If they were on slightly better terms with Ning Rongrong, they shouldn't have reached a level that would allow Ning Feng Jai to treat them so well. Or is it that even I am in Ning Feng Jai's calculations? After Ning Feng Jai left, Zhu Qing's eyes flooded with a deep light, staring at Zhu Sheng's eyes unsaltedly, then I'll take the liberty of calling you Zhu Sheng. I wonder if you've come to Heavenly <coughs> Dipper City. Is there any place you want to go? Given that Zhu Sheng may have discovered the problem of his own identity, Zhu King's tone was also a little less gentle. Zhu Sheng did not shy away from looking straight at Zhu King and slowly said, I am also new to Tiandu City this time, and I don't have any place that I want to go to for the time being, so I wonder if your highness the crown prince can introduce me. Is it your first time in Tendu City? I'm only afraid that's not the case. Zhu King thought with dissatisfaction when he heard this answer. This person may have already come to Tiandu City three years ago. It is the time to let oneself produce martial soul resonance. What was more important at the moment was not knowing if he had experienced the same situation as himself, or if this problem had occurred unilaterally with his own martial soul. Either way, it doesn't seem like a good omen. Zhu King decisively invited, since there's no place you want to go now, Zhu Sheng. If you don't mind, follow me into the palace. I think it might need to be quiet there if he really found out to come to his own identity with his own strength is still far from enough to kill him off. Their own soul power today is also only more than 40 levels. The gap between the two is not conceivable. Then with its necessary negotiation will be less. Zhu Sheng narrowed his eyes, trying to see through Zhu King's purpose. Yet the latter's flawless face did not reveal a single crack. That's very good. I'm sorry to trouble your highness the crown prince. Instead of thinking of avoiding himself, he invited himself to the palace. Could it be that he wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to settle himself? No, it shouldn't be possible. The current Kayan Ren Zhu definitely didn't have any sealed Duyuo level powerhouses by her side, while relying solely on her as well as the cannon fodder, like soldiers. She would definitely lose. Could it be that he's planning to have a showdown with himself? Interesting. After that, Zhu Sheng and Zhu King sat in two separate sedan chairs and quickly returned within the palace. Led by Zhu King, Zhu Sheng followed him to reach his room. Zhu Sheng glanced around in all directions. Just see Zhu King's room is very spacious, but lack of not show cold. Every item placed in the position are extremely neat, as if let a person can through the room to see the owner's character. Seeing this, Zhu King slowly walked across to Zhu Sheng and sat down, softly saying Zhu Sheng, Please sit, Zhu Sheng is not pretentious, just so straight down to sit down. Zhu King, very meticulous, take out the cup, pouring tea posture elegant and not lose proportion, like a feast generally pleasing to the eye. After pouring the tea, the mouth of the cup was filled with a misty vapor tilde tilde. He slowly handed the teacup to Zhu Sheng and made himself another cup, only to see it gently holding the cup. After covering his mouth with his sleeve and taking a sip, Zhu Sheng, this is the tea I made myself. Taste how it tastes. Zhu Sheng revealed a bland smile, since it's the tea made by His Highness the Crown Prince himself. I'm sure there aren't many people hove had the honor of drinking it. So ill respectfully follow your order he gently picked up his teacup and sipped it in silence. The bitter with sweet flavor wraps around the tongue and gives the taste buds a sense of satisfaction. Tilda Tilda Zhu Sheng put down his teacup and praised with a bemused look, worthy of being the crown prince, good tea. He didn't know much about tea, but he had once drank a lot of it. And just this kind of tea that satisfied one's taste buds was superb. Being praised, Zhu King modestly said, I don't know why you came to Tiandu City. Zhu Sheng, but I don't know what you're doing here. You don't seem to be from the Tendu Empire. Zhu Sheng Hart quickly thought for a while. Off the mouth said, Your Highness is really witty. I am indeed not a person of the Tiandu Empire. This time to come to Tiandu City is only to go to the place need to go through here. 
Kayan Rengsu is full of not mentioning the martial soul or identity issues, then he himself is not in a hurry. He believes that before long, the former will certainly take the lead because of these two issues. Martial spirit identity. That one, for her, is an unspeakable hidden danger. Zhu King elegantly rested his polished chin and said in a thoughtful manner, I see, but Zhu Sheng, according to my observation, your martial soul should belong to the extreme evil, and this kind of martial soul, the higher the level of soul power, the greater the impact on oneself, right? Evil martial soul, by definition, should have been hunted down by all the soul masters on the continent. After all, in addition to the use of the way is all the soul masters are not allowed, there is also that no matter how firm the initial mind of the evil soul masters, but also gradually assimilated by the martial soul. That's the real reason why evil soul masters are hunted. However, although the martial soul of the man in front of him made himself feel endlessly evil, it was completely different from the other evil soul masters he had touched before. This evil of his is very pure and unadulterated by any desire. Hearing Zhu King's inquiry, Zhu Sheng's obscure pupils brightened had he begun to knock on the side. That's really prudent. Zhu Sheng once again picked up his teacup and took a slight sip. His expression was bland, Your Highness, I think you should know that my soul power level has reached level 90. To say that there is absolutely no effect is impossible. He didn't want to know the significance of Zhu King's inquiry about this, but there was no harm in telling her. After all, his own teacher, Bai Bidong, was the Kayan Rangsu who was pretending to be Zhu King in front of him, and they should be on the same side. Moreover, the relationship between himself and Tang Hao was already extremely bad, and as long as he didn't quit the martial soul hall, wanting to ease it was basically impossible. Then there is no need in losing a future ally, even though Kayan Rangsu can't help himself now, but always feel that her martial soul will play a big role in the future of himself. Zhu King made a curious face and lightly laughed, oh. Then I wonder if you, Zhu Sheng, can talk about what has changed. He had to steer the issue past him as quickly as possible. His true purpose was for the matter of the resonance of the martial soul. Zhu Sheng's eyes were cold, and a huge killing intent had surged out from within. It directly made Zhu King's room begin to shake wildly, and in the next moment, these killing Kai of his directly bombarded the former. Zhu King's pupils were stunned, and then he only felt as if he had left the palace and was pulled into the countless living resentments by this materialized killing intent. He stood on a high platform, the blood, colored surrounding climbed out countless densely packed, stained with the smell of blood hideous creatures are afraid toward their own. It contains dead soul masters, slaughtered soul beasts, great grievances to color this space into scarlet. For a moment, even calm as he was, his entire heart trembled uncontrollably. Under this atmosphere of mingled resentment and murderous intent, she only felt endless suffocation. Zhu King's gaze shifted slightly downward, only to see his feet. It was being piled up on top of a mountain of countless blood and flesh, piled up by a single corpse. The only thing that came to mind was one sentence. How many living beings has this Zhu Sheng actually? Slaughtered, seeing the dull-eyed and colorless Zhu King in front of him, Zhu Sheng frowned and suddenly, coldly, shouted Your Highness King. If he didn't wake him up, he was only afraid that Kyan Ren Zhu would lose himself in this strong aura of resentment. Buzz, Zhu Sheng's alarming cry caused Zhu King in front of him to instantly awaken from his resentment, and at this time, his back was clearly dampened by countless cold sweats. Under Zhu Sheng's icy face, the corners of his mouth flickered blandly. Is it clear to His Highness the Crown Prince now? He hadn't actually slaughtered so many living beings. Most of them had absorbed blood and souls for the sake of maintaining the Nine Hearts blood tongue, which had allowed him to breed the extreme <laughs> killing intent that could compete with Tang Hao. The pale face Zhu King slowly covered his chest, then braced himself for the discomfort in his heart and smiled with an ugly face I see. I didn't expect that. You've been suffering from such a <coughs> horrible grudge. Zhu Sheng pursed his tea and faintly said, Your Highness King, in fact, you do not need to disguise yourself in front of me. Zhu King's pupils tightened and he didn't move. Zhu Sheng, what do you mean by this? 
I've never had a disguise. Sure enough, this guy had realized something was wrong with him. Never so nervous, he was ready to unleash his martial spirit. Despite knowing that the chances of you being able to pull it off are less than 0.1%. Zhu Sheng saw his pretense of calmness, but in fact his heart was already flustered and smiled faintly, oh. Then, Your Highness Zhu King He, can you tell me why your fingers are so slender and smooth that they don't resemble a man's hands at all? Zhu King clenched his hands and mentally began to think about how to cope with. Half a second later, he laughed dumbly, my fingers are slender. Zhu Sheng, you may have been overly concerned. I grew up in the palace since childhood. My body is much weaker than the average man. Then the tone turned, a few points of coldness mixed in the tone moreover. To guess based on the slenderness of the fingers is too ridiculous, isn't it? Zhu Sheng slowly stood up and walked towards the door, his tone cold. Your Highness Zhu King is truly worthy of being a disciple of Sect Master Ning. Since this is the case, I wonder if I could move a bit. Kyan Rengsu does not admit at this moment. It does not matter anyway. He has a large amount of evidence to be able to force it into a dead end. At first glance, it's still quite attractive to psychologically break such a calm and collected person as Kyan Rengsu. Zhu King frowned move. What the hell is this guy planning to do? He has always been able to penetrate other people's thoughts. He only felt that his brain at the moment has been unable to run over. Zhu Sheng's this step-by-step -step move, completely out of the routine, can't even imagine what he's going to do next. But in the way of this current situation, he slowly stood up and walked towards Zhu Sheng's direction. When Zhu Sheng, who had his back turned, saw Zhu King, who was walking towards him step-by-step, -step, he did not move. But on the contrary, Zhu King slightly buried his head. His state of mind is incomparably grave. What the hell is he trying to do? Move. Is it ready to take itself somewhere else? Just as Zhu King cautiously came to a stop behind Zhu Sheng, seeing the man in front of him not saying a word, he opened his mouth to inquire Zhu. Without waiting for him to finish, Zhu Sheng quickly turned his body, easily squeezing the unaware Zhu King into the corner of the wall by the door, and then violently braced his solid hands on the wall by Zhu King's head. Zhu Sheng stared at the latter's eyes that were so pure and quiet that one would want to love them well, and the corners of his mouth exuded a very icy, faint smile. Facing Zhu Sheng, who was leaning so close, the reactive Zhu King subconsciously retreated towards the back, but suddenly realized that his back was the cold wall, and he had been completely trapped. Zhu King's head was on the spot for a moment, Looking at the near handsome man in front of her, her cheeks coldly flushed with a few lines of red. The rapid acceleration of her heartbeat gave her an intense sense of shame. Although she herself had lived for many years as Zhu King, she was also a real woman. Some of the Zhu King who couldn't catch her breath, the cheeks that were filled with blush rolled up, and her tone was a little weak Zhu. Zhu Sheng, what are you doing? Zhu Sheng's face slowly approached Zhu King only millimeters away from her, and he could already clearly hear the sound of the latter's heart beating violently. Zhu Sheng pursed the corners of his lips, staring at Zhu King, with eyes filled with a thick, ambiguous color. What do I want? Your Highness King, you can't really know nothing, right? Looking at Zhu Sheng talking in front of himself, constantly bubbling flotsam hot air, Zhu King's face of the calm has long disappeared, but climbed on the color of panic, the former fiery gaze so that she could not help but bury her head. Tone of anger said Zhu. Zhu Sheng, you are not some of these too much. I, we can all be men the palms of her hands, which were placed by her legs, were clenched so tightly that they left a faint pinch mark on the skin in the center of her palms. Damn it, being so close, one was completely unable to think in front of this Zhu Sheng. And what the hell am I doing? Why am I, who has been pretending to be a man for so long, having a violent emotional reaction to this man as well? Zhu Sheng's eyes flickered with a few moments of light, slowly extending his fingers to lift up Zhu King's delicate chin, suavely saying, Oh, is it a man? Being forced to hook up the chin of Zhu King's face is as hot as a hot pot, especially when he vaguely feels that his soul power is indisputably disordered. On Zhu Sheng's point of view, a faint purple light flared up between Zhu King's forehead, 
then dimmed violently. In the next moment, without the influence of the soul bone ability, the image that Zhu King had created for himself using the soul bone instantly collapsed. A head of light golden, and people cannot leave the eyes of the hair exposed, as a golden waterfall from the top of the head, pouring down, soft, charming, filled with high cold. People are willing to be addicted to the charm, dressed in a pale yellow lady's robe that perfectly outlined her enviously perfect figure. At first glance, Kyan Renzu's pair of clear and bright brown eyes were like exquisite works of art, while her fair and flawless cheeks were lightly flushed, and her single thin lips were as delicate as roses. However, she was unaware that her soul bone had already failed due to the fluctuation of her heart's emotions. Zhu Sheng's eyes flashed a touch of stunning. Kyan Rangsu, now this beautiful posture completely makes people want to approach. He coughed violently a few times. The words he had just been brewing getting stuck because of Kyan Rangsu's perfect face. Zhu Sheng, this embarrassing action instantly let just look fascinated Kyan Renzu back to God. She blinked her brown pupils. The face of the faint shyness immediately disappeared. Color once again. Cold down, Kyan Rangsu, who was trapped in the corner, coldly swept a glance at Zhu Sheng and slowly said Zhu Sheng. Is almost done, if you are joking. It is better to let me out first, Zhu Sheng slowly loosened his hand and took a few steps back. He knew that it was useless to stimulate Kyan Ren, Zhu any longer like this, but it was good that he had already achieved his goal, and Kyan Ren, Zhu's sole bone, was ineffective. Thousand Renfru was silent and walked away from the wall of the door. When Kyren Yuki slowly took her seat, her eyes happened to look at the sill wet on the mirror directly in front of her, the one that even she herself found a bit unfamiliar, she knew that she was completely exposed. Kyan Renzu's eyes resurveyed Zhu Sheng, secretly pondering this man, the reason why he did that. Was he trying to make his emotions change and lift the soul bone? Why is he so clear about it? This soul bone of hers was known to no one at all other than her own grandfather, Kyan Dao Liu, and that woman. The corner of Zhu Sheng's mouth curled up, as he also sat down opposite Kyan Ren Zhu, and faintly said, Your Highness Zhu King. You don't want to explain something. Kyan Ren Zhu looked at him. What do you want me to explain, or are you willing to believe me if I explain? Then her gaze froze, but who exactly are you? Why do you know the method of lifting the soul bone in my head? Now that it's been exposed, there's no point in covering it up. Now it's important to find out who this guy really is. Looking at Kyan Ren, Zhu's vigilant gaze, Zhu Sheng faintly said, There's no need to worry. I'm not an enemy to you. On the contrary, we're all the same kind of people. The face of Kyan Ren, Zhu, on the opposite side was much more somber. This Zhu Sheng had said so much and still hadn't revealed a single bit of useful information about himself. Damn, this guy is still irritating. Zhu Sheng did not rush to pick up the cup of tea that was slightly cooled, leisurely said, There is no harm in telling you I am your mother, Bib. I dong three years ago to accept the disciple. That's why I know your name, Soul Bone, and even Martial Soul. Originally, with his pre-crossing memories, he only knew that Kyan Ren Zhu's Martial Soul was a six, winged angel pretending to be Zhu King. Other than that, he didn't know anything. However, it was good that before leaving, Bidden didn't hide it from himself and told him all of Chiron's information. I guess I also guessed that because of my own martial spirit, I would probably come into contact with Chiron Yuki. Chiron Renzu suddenly realized, his tone of voice icy cold, I see, that woman, this makes sense. I didn't expect her to even tell this man her information, which could only mean that the latter's role within the martial soul palace was important. She closed her eyes and took a deep breath, trying to calm down her anger over the woman. Then what exactly is going on with your martial soul? Three years ago, as well as today, it caused my martial soul to resonate strongly. This was the last question on Chiron's mind. Zhu Sheng silently shook his head, I'm not sure about this. Perhaps the only way to find out the reason is to release all of our martial souls. He really didn't know what this martial soul resonance was really about. If he did, he would have only looked for Kyan Ren Zhu three years ago. On the opposite side, Kyan Ren Zhu looked around sideways for a moment, 
then narrowed her eyes and took out a circular soul guide from her own storage soul guide. This was what Chidoru had specifically instructed her to bring with her when she left the Marshall Soul Hall. Kayan Renzu's slender fingers pressed down the small triangle of the circular soul guide and explained towards Zhu Sheng if you're just releasing your martial soul, then you can just use the shielding soul guide. She was desperate to understand the situation now. Even if there was a good chance, she would reveal her identity now. Only to see that the circular soul guide began to emit a ripple visible to the naked eye, shielding everything around it from all soul power in a matter of moments. When Zhu Sheng saw this, he was a bit surprised and secretly said, a shielding type soul guide, Kyan Ren Zhu carries this with her, in order to shield soul power fluctuations when practicing. After all, in this era, soul guides are still far from being developed to the point of universal use, and those who can have them are nothing more than the Pope of the Palace of Martial Spirits, as well as the sealed Duluo located at the pinnacle of the continent can have them. Zhu Sheng, now you and I will release our martial souls together, please. Kyan Ren Zhu stood up from her chair, her words carrying a faint plea. Zhu Sheng raised an eyebrow and said gruffly, Are you sure you want to release it here? Kyan Ren Zhu's martial soul, the six, winged angel, he remembered that it was a very huge martial soul, and this small room was only afraid that it would have to be instantly toppled when he used it. Moreover, if his own martial soul and hers caused any great reaction, it would only be difficult to conceal her identity. Kain Renzu nodded with a firm face, then bit her thin lips and said, Uh huh, it's right here. Zhu Sheng, your soul power is too strong, please suppress it. Zhu Sheng stood up and agreed to her request good. He was also somewhat interested in the two's martial soul resonance. Otherwise, he wouldn't have agreed to Kyan Ren Zhu coming to the palace. Zhu Sheng coldly shouted Nine Hearts Blood Tong, the blood. Colored glow of the Nine Hearts Blood Tong drilled out of his hand, and the smell of blood filled the air. Beneath his feet, nine terrifying pitch, black soul rings emerged. Opposite Kyan Ren Zhu's forehead broke out in a cold sweat, despite having seen Zhu Sheng's terrifying soul ring matching before. But now that he examined so close, he still felt a huge pressure coming towards him. She wiped the cold sweat from her forehead, and against this raging pressure, her mind moved and said six, winged angel. Words fell, Kyan Ren Zhu body burst out violent golden pure light, like a god, as if able to purify all the world's evil spirits. Yellow, yellow, purple, purple, four soul rings emerge from the feet and Zhu Sheng sealed Duluo a level of pressure quietly by Kyan Rengsu's six, winged angel martial soul to dissolve most of the. Then, behind Kyan Rengsu's back, a statue even more splendid than her main body gradually appeared. Just see the statue wearing armor with flames and feather, like patterns spread in every part of the armor, behind the six white feathers have been completely turned into a brilliant and transparent gold, a circle of golden ripples continue to spread from the center of the statue's body. The large sword blade in its hand gradually turned into a golden, angelic sword. Zhu Sheng looked at Kyan Ren Zhu's terrifying martial soul and stared at the angelic statue. Murmuring is this the six, winged angelic martial soul. It is able to use pure light to dissolve the pressure emitted by its own nine hearts blood tongue. If they were at the same level, it could only mean that Kyan Ren Zhu's martial soul was comparable to Zhu Sheng's, but right now Zhu Sheng was a level 90 sealed Duluo, while Kyan Ren Zhu was close to a level 50 soul power. It could be seen that Kyan Ren Zhu's six winged angel martial soul was even at a higher level than Zhu Sheng's number one martial soul, the Nine Hearts Blood Tong. Kyan Ren Zhu's pupils glowed with a golden light as she raised her head to stare at Zhu Sheng. The six-winged angelic martial soul she felt behind her was trembling, and seemed to be frantically urging her to let Zhu Sheng's martial soul come closer to her. The expressionless eyes could not see any emotion, and his tone coldly said Zhu Sheng, Bring your martial soul closer, Zhu Sheng frowned. This tone, it's still a bit off, putting, however, he also knew that it was the effect of the six-winged angelic martial spirit that made her briefly become calm about anything. Zhu Sheng silently sighed, his pace slowly approached towards Kyan Rengsu, 
suppressing the restlessness of his martial soul as much as possible. When he approached in front of Kyan Ranksu, who was radiating a holy light, the long-suppressed nine-hearted blood tongue and six-winged angel began to engage in a mingling between their breaths. Only to see the nine hearts of blood begonia toward the surrounding began to grow crazily, enough to grow to have the same height of the six-winged angel, and then against the scorching temperature of the six-winged angel will be wrapped around wrapped. At this time, the breath of the nine hearts blood tongue and the six-winged angel have disappeared, and the only place where you can see that the two have not stopped intermingling is that the former <coughs> vines are constantly supplying scarlet liquid toward the six, winged angel inside. Kyan Ren Zhu's extremely beautiful face was filled with coldness underneath. She wrinkled her pretty brows and said towards Zhu Sheng in a questioning tone, Zhu Sheng, how did the changes stop? She could actually see that the reason why the two's martial souls resonated was probably because they possessed the possibility of casting a martial soul fusion technique. Zhu Sheng looked at the six, winged angel behind Kyan Rangsu, wrapped in the nine hearts blood tang, and narrowed his eyes. It shouldn't be. How can nothing happen now that the two that have been made to crave have become one? And so on. Imagine Dai Mubai and Zhu Zhuking using a martial soul fusion technique. In addition to their martial souls mingling, their bodies seem to have made contact as well. When Zhu Sheng thought of this, he probably already knew the key to the problem. He had to gaze at Kyan Ren Zhu who was staring at him and said in a light tone, our current situation has already established that we are able to use the martial soul fusion technique. However, the most crucial step is missing. Zhu Sheng felt that he had already said this, and Kyan Ren Zhu would definitely be able to discover what the problem was. Otherwise, for him to open his mouth and say that he wanted to make contact with Kyan Ren Zhu, it would feel as if he was taking advantage of the situation. As expected, Kyan Ren Zhu's eyes flickered with a thoughtful look darkening to a crucial step. Murphy, physical contact, thinking of this place, Kyan Ren Zhu's gaze at Zhu Sheng, also appeared a few changes. That is to say, to be in contact with one's man, but in all my years, I have never had intimate contact with a man. Now all of a sudden you have to be with a man, there's still an insurmountable hurdle in her heart. Zhu Sheng's amber, like eyes looked at Kyan Ren Zhu, now you should know right. If our bodies don't make contact, it's impossible for the two martial souls to completely fuse and use a martial soul fusion technique. Kyan Ren Zhu's state of mind fluctuated as she secretly said, Damn it, obviously, I was already going to succeed. Why was I blocked here? But if she didn't, there was no way for her to truly understand just what would happen to her martial soul with this man. These questions were like a fascinating vortex that she couldn't give up. Kyan Ren Zhu buried her head in silence for half a second before slowly saying, just touch it with your palm. That's good. If it's just touching in an insensitive place like the palm of her hand, then she should be able to get over it. After all, at the bottom of his heart, he wasn't very disgusted with Zhu Sheng, on the contrary, because of the martial soul. He was still quite fond of him. Seeing that Kyan Ren Zhu had already made up her mind, Zhu Sheng slowly extended her slender hand. A slightly stiff smile followed Triot, then only then did Kyan Ranks raise her eyes to look at the palm hanging in midair in front of her, then silently closed her eyes and also stretched out a hand. Kyan Ranks's slender fingers crossed and interlocked with Zhu Sheng's, holding tightly together. In the next moment, the spiritual power of the two people through the contact between the body quickly have to be fused into one. In this wonderful process, they can feel each other's emotions, heartbeats, Kyan Ranks, who only felt as if he was under the fierce sunshine and his body was warm. The corners of her mouth unconsciously rose in an arc as she murmured, Is this the martial soul fusion technique? It feels so warm moreover, it seems that touching with this man is not so disgusting. On the other hand, Zhu Sheng on the other side felt almost the same as Kyan Ren Zhu, and at this moment only felt that all of his emotions affected by the Nine Hearts Blood Tongue had temporarily eased. Kyan Ren Zhu and Zhu Sheng, two people behind the stationary six, Winged Angel, 
and the nine heart blood tang once again began to intermingle. The breath of the two once again leaked out. During the subsequent intermingling process, the two martial souls' auras gradually assimilated, and it was simply impossible to distinguish between the two martial souls' unique auras. Just as Kian Ren Zhu and Zhu Sheng waited for the fusion of the martial souls with a few moments of anticipation, the six, winged angel, and the nine hearted blood tang after their breaths were completely assimilated, stopped mingling once again. The two were already stuck in a semi fusion situation, but the final proverbial foot just couldn't be stepped into. The warmth Zhu Sheng and Kian Ren Zhu felt gradually disappeared. And at this moment, with their eyes tightly closed, they also knew that something had gone wrong Kyan Rangsu opened her brown eyes, whose golden light had dimmed and looked toward the six, winged angel at the rear, which was wrapped in the nine hearts blood tong and obscured. Her face turned ugly for a few moments, and in her heart she muttered hum, What's going on? Can't it be fully fused like this? She and Zhu Sheng had already done the basic steps of the martial soul fusion technique yet they still hadn't succeeded. Could it be that the two men's martial souls were actually not able to merge, but rather, it was a misjudgment brought about by extreme evil and extreme positive? At this moment, Kyan Rangsu smiled bitterly. His eyes had begun to lose part of their hope. Maybe she and Zhu Sheng had started off on the wrong foot. How was it possible to use a martial soul fusion technique across a near-extreme contradiction between a righteous and an evil martial soul. It was naive of them to think so, and then Zhu Sheng, who opened his eyes, did not have much change in his face. He had already more than half-guessed the reason for the failure, and was certain that the two were absolutely capable of using a martial soul fusion technique. Otherwise, the fusion of martial souls will fail at the very beginning, instead of appearing in a half fused state like this. Zhu Sheng faintly said towards Kian Ren Zhu, who was next to him, Why are you so disappointed? I'm sure we can use the martial soul fusion technique. Originally, Kian Ren Zhu, whose eyes were still dull, heard Zhu Sheng say this, and her eyes regained their previous light. What you say is true, but her gaze glanced behind her at their fusion of interrupted martial souls. She wanted to believe Zhu Sheng's words, but this martial spirit brought her back to her senses. Zhu Sheng raised his eyebrows slightly and said coldly, then it depends on whether you want them to merge or not. It might cost you a little bit of a small price, Kian Rang Su's eyes condensed, his mind thinking quickly. If their martial soul fusion technique required a price to be paid in order to succeed, then as the subject of another martial soul fusion, Zhu Sheng should also pay the same price. She decisively asked Zhu Sheng paying a price. Then you're on the other side of the same martial soul fusion, and you won't be in this situation. Zhu Sheng pointed at himself with some consternation, not knowing what to say. This price can be said to be a cost or a benefit to Zhu Sheng, so it's not a big concern. Zhu Sheng pursed his thin lips and patiently explained you mean me. This price is dispensable for me, but for you it's different. It's up to you to decide next to Kyan Ren, Zhu's beautiful eyes, even more. What exactly will that cost be? Life expectancy? Or maybe it's in terms of one's spiritual power as well as one's martial soul. She couldn't learn any of this from Zhu Sheng. Kyan Ren Zhu nodded in agreement with Zhu Sheng's suggestion, none of her eyes revealing seriousness good. As long as the martial soul fusion can take place, I am willing to pay the price. The cost of the most serious martial soul fusion technique that had appeared in the history of the continent was only some life expectancy, and there was no harm in losing a little bit of oneself. Zhu Sheng moved a few steps to the side and said with a bland expression, since you're willing, then walk to the position closest to me. It was as if Chiron's cautious heart was reminding her of a scam, but somehow a sense of familiarity rose in her heart. Why does that sound so familiar? She sized up Zhu Sheng with a skeptical gaze, suspecting that the latter had actually grasped it all, but was just setting herself up step by step. And one has no resistance yet but to do what he wants. 
Zhu Sheng saw the contemplative Kayan Ren Zhu and did not rush to urge, slowly asked, How is it? Have you thought about it? Kayan Ren Xu bit her thin lips, did not answer Zhu Sheng, but made a move to walk to the position closest to Zhu Sheng, and the two bodies seemed to stick together. She felt a little ashamed of her actions now, and a few blushes spread across her face. Zhu Sheng saw that she had already come over, and reminded again very seriously, Yao'd better be mentally prepared. Once you start, there is no chance to back out. He didn't want to be insulted by Kayan Rengsu after his martial soul fusion was finished. Responding to him were Kayan Ren Zhu's firm words, There's no need to say more. I've already made up my mind. At the next moment, Zhu Sheng wrapped his arms around Kayan Ren Zhu's petite body and held it tightly in his arms. Then, in her confused condition, he directly lowered his head and kissed. Reacting, Kayan Ren Zhu's eyes widened, wanting to make a sound to stop Zhu Sheng's action. Yet she sadly realized that her thin lips had already been blocked by Zhu Sheng's lips. Uo, well... There is no way to detach Kayan Ren. Zhu can only be forced to kiss with Zhu Sheng. Zhu Sheng, who was kissing, looked at the jealousy, inducing cheeks in front of him from a close distance, and secretly said, This time it's a big game. But what he did not expect is that Kayan Rengsu, who has always been passive, has started to become active. This time it's his turn to be completely confused. Moreover, he saw a hidden color of revenge between Kai and Rangsu's eyes. The two were in the middle of kissing. Behind the nine heart blood tang has begun to integrate into the six, winged angel as much as possible. The latter's hand of the angel's sword was gradually dyed. Scarlet, a murderous intent appealed out. Not only that, the six feathered wings of the six winged angel also began to change toward deep black. The entire statue released the holy light has been rendered into a heart, throbbing blood. Colored red aura, the horrible killing intent gradually spread out. Suddenly, like a statue of the six, winged angel eyes emerged red light. It moved, only to see its hand covered with endless scarlet aura of the angel sword instantly raised. The sharp blade easily pierced the top of the room. The angel sword was just held up in the air by the six, winged angel, continuously accumulating wisps of scarlet particles, and in just a few seconds, a huge to suffocatingly terrifying sword or swirled above the tip, coalescing into a length that surpassed the six, winged angel by three times. Under this sword that was flooded with a destructive aura, it seemed as if it was able to tear apart everything in heaven and earth. It was their true martial soul fusion technique, fallen angel. Kazai Kazai, the violent and terrifying soul force fluctuation, made the shielding soul guide begin to flood with gusts of cracks, as if it would disintegrate in the next moment. Zhu Sheng's pupils, who was kissing fiercely with Kai and Rangsu, tightened, oh no. If this soul guide shattered, the fluctuations created by their martial soul fusion technique would be enough for everyone in the surrounding royal family to notice. Zhu Sheng wanted to speak. But the fierce attack on Kayan Ranks, whose soft and sweet lips, made him unable to speak at all. Well, 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 and these words seemed to provoke Kayan Ren Zhu's desire even more, directly gave up all the reserve, hands clasped Zhu Sheng's neck, violently kissed up. It had even been forgotten that they were performing a martial soul fusion technique at the moment. The naked eye could see the martial soul fusion technique behind them, and the fallen angel, already somewhat uncontrollable, raised the angelic sword that had been dyed black and slowly chopped. Down, the whole sky began to throb, and the winds suddenly blew. The eyes of Zhu Sheng, who was tightly kissed, condensed, and he slowly stretched out his left hand, on which a light blue halo gradually coalesced. With that, a cold ice sword such as the one used by the god, divined one coalesced in his hand, and the ice sword continuously released cold to the extreme coldness, easily forming the petals of a blue ice rose around it. The nine soul rings with infinite oppressive power that rose beneath his feet, red, 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 and gold. 
One could only see the nine pitch black soul rings of the nine hearts blood tang violently shrinking towards the inside, wrapped in a circle by the eight red and one gold soul rings. The terrifying pressure that erupted from Zhu Sheng, who had used his second martial soul, directly caused the shielded soul guide to explode. And that ice sword was none other than his second martial soul, the sword of the ice rose. Zhu Sheng mentally shouted coldly ninth soul skill, attack transfer. The ninth golden million, year soul ring under his feet lit up. At the end of his words, Zhu Sheng inserted the ice rose sword, which was filled with light in his left hand, into the ground. But behind them, the six black feathered angels wouldn't stop, and with endless killing intent bubbling in its eyes, the angelic sword it raised had already slammed down. The terrifying sword Kai easily tore the air apart, and the huge blood, colored red, on came down toward destruction. However, this chopped to half of the enough to tear everything blood. Colored sword Kai instantly in the halfway, suddenly by an invisible space force block down. Subsequently, this spatial force gradually swallowed up the scarlet sword Kai and disappeared. The root cause of all this happening was none other than Zhu Sheng's second martial soul, the Sword of the Ice Rose, one of the soul skills in the Million Year Soul Ring. Spatial Transfer The ability to absolutely cancel out an attack of any level and the ability to transfer it to be cast elsewhere. And the eyes of the fallen angel who unleashed this attack reverted back to normal as his body faded away. Zhu Sheng at this time hurriedly took the Ice Rose Sword back into his body and the eight red and one gold soul rings under his feet dimmed. The heart murmured, finally, I've blocked it. The martial soul fusion technique used by the two just now, without his judgment, had barely reached the ordinary strike of a second-grade divine champion. Anticipating this, if both he and Kai and Ren Zhu had obtained the position of divine gem, wouldn't they be able to achieve an attack that surpassed that of a divine king when they used their martial Soul fusion technique at that time. Only then did Kayan Rangsu, already feeling satisfied, quickly let go of Zhu Sheng's neck and lurched back a step or two. Rolling cheeks seemed to be shy for the previous action. The heart still somewhat cannot believe that it is their own initiative to kiss Zhu Sheng. I just actually went ahead and kissed this man. Zhu Sheng pursed his thin lips with some amusement. Vaguely able to feel the fresh scent of Kyan Ren, Zhu's soft jade's petite body, that remained on his body earlier. He couldn't help but stare closely at Kyan Ren Zhu and joked Kyan Ren Zhu, I didn't realize that your previous appearance was all pretend. He thought he was bold enough, but he didn't expect Kyan Reng Zhu to be even bolder in the process, directly hugging his neck tightly and kissing. Feeling, though, was not bad, you, you're the one pretending. It's not because you were strong, strong before. Lazy to take care of you. Kyan Ren Zhu retorted up with some defiance, but it came to an abrupt end when she thought of those words that followed. However, its grudging eyes stared fiercely at Zhu Sheng, as if the latter had done something unforgivable to her. It was clearly this guy who had started the forceful kiss, and now he was even snarking back at himself. It's shameless, she took a deep breath and pushed herself to calm down quickly, Emotionally returning to normal, she used her skull's ability again, her forehead glowing lavender, and the image of her body shifted from Kyron Yuki to Yuki Kyo again. The soldier outside knocked on the door of the room and cautiously inquired your highness, Zhu King, may I ask what has happened? Do we need to come in? Zhu King, who was already in an unpleasant mood, returned with an icy tone no need. This is, then we will take our leave first. Kyan Ren Zhu, who had sat down again, scraped Zhu Sheng and coldly said, Did our previous martial soul fusion technique succeed? Her mind went blank at that time, only focusing on getting back at Zhu Sheng, completely not noticing the matter that the two of them were in the process of fusing their martial souls. And after that, when he came back to his senses, he realized that all of his soul power had been drained to the bone. The corner of Zhu Sheng's mouth lifted slightly as he faintly said it's already succeeded. If it wasn't for the fact that your soul power level is too low, I probably wouldn't have been able to withstand. 
It Kyan Renzu lifted her chin and thought carefully, resist. Could it be that the reason why there was no point in being attacked just now was that you blocked the attack of the martial soul fusion technique? Kyan Renzu's gaze was immediately filled with questioning. Then, your martial soul and my martial soul should both be unusable during the martial fusion. So how did you block it? Zhu Sheng's heart was shocked hiss. Himself, this is digging a hole for himself, ah. With this thousand rank, Su Zike, you is not so good to fool. One is really not good to explain to her casually. Helpless, Zhu Sheng could only choose the straight man of steel way of answering. Guess is two words that come out of your mouth. Kyan Ren Zhu ignored what Zhu Sheng said, still full of skepticism. Zhu Sheng, you wouldn't have a duel. Born martial soul, would you? After all, in her impression, that woman was also a duel life martial soul, and as her disciple, it was still possible that Zhu Sheng could really be a dual life martial soul. Zhu Sheng's heart weakened a few points and rolled his eyes in a pretense of not having a good mood. You're overthinking it. It'd be good if I had a duel. Born martial soul, Kyan Rangsu narrowed her eyes. Really? Zhu Sheng immediately stood up and coughed. It's almost time to stay. I'm going to continue my journey, and this time, I'd like to thank His Highness King for his hospitality. The flavor is great. After saying that, before waiting for Zhu King's reply, the whole figure of the person left like a ghost. Gone, Zhu King blinked again, only to see the room empty, and a strong sense of loss rose in his heart. But when she savored what Zhu Sheng said when she left, her face instantly sank, and she clenched her delicate palms. Taste good, Zhu Sheng, who had hastily left inside the Heavenly Dipper's royal chamber, still had some tension in his chest from being dismantled. His face was gloomy, he was almost discovered, but he shouldn't be able to hide the secret of his twin martial souls for much longer if Kyan Ren Zhu had told Bibai Dong or Kyan Dao Liu the information that he possessed a second martial soul, then his position would be a bit awkward. If one is trusting the martial spirit hall, but actually did not even tell one's teacher by Bidong about the second martial spirit. I am only afraid that the latter's trust in himself for many years will change, though it's true that one doesn't care that much about position. With that out of the way, the first order of business was to head to the killing capital. There, one could allow oneself to condense the killing domain, and it might not be certain that the first martial soul, Nine Hearts Blood Tongue, could be given a boost. In the days that followed, Zhu Sheng continued walking towards the north, crossing rivers and stepping through deserts in the middle of nowhere on his own, finally arriving at a place that possessed a few hints of human habitation. With special eye jewelry, it made Zhu Sheng, who was already full of stern killing intent, invisibly hide his temperament. Zhu Sheng frowned, his pace slow after stepping into this place. I scold line of sight toward the surrounding survey, only to see the whole place is shrouded in a round round of darkness of the outline. While the front looked similar to a village, it was only after entering that one could realize that this place had stores of all sizes, only that a faint sense of blood was emanating from within each store. It is thought that within these stores, many of those who came have been ruthlessly killed. Bloody Mary, give me Bloody Mary, Next to the large trees dotted with countless withered trees, countless men hanging from the branches like withered bones were howling in agony. When the lust-filled gazes of these withered bone men swept to Zhu Sheng, who was standing in place, they immediately went crazy. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, kill you and ill trade for Bloody Mary, kill you, kill him, kill him. After these withered bone men swayed and fell from the trees, their densely ragged and tattered bodies flocked towards Zhu Sheng like zombies. If an ordinary person saw this scene, they would only wonder if they had entered hell. Of course, there is no shortage of men who have craved it so much that they don't want to put up with it and turn their heads directly toward the nearest person to tear into them. They only saw each other tearing and sucking up each other's blood, as if they didn't care about their injuries. Countless scarlet liquids look appalling in the moonlight, while others, with their hands propped up straight, walked step by step towards Zhu Sheng. Seems intent on giving it a slice. Zhu Sheng's eyes went cold. 
The situation in this killing capital was worse than he thought, however, he did like this kind of unrestrained place. He quickly released his own martial spirit and then swung his palm towards the zombies that were surging towards him. Countless vines of the nine-hearted begonia strangled toward the front like a huge, dense forest of thorns. These killers who had already lost their minds were bound by the vines of the nine-heart begonia in an instant and began to absorb their souls and blood. In an instant, the entire dense pile of people instantly resounded with desperate wails. But even when they already knew they were going to die, these people's mouths were still slurring and repeating words. Ah, bloody, bloody Mary, kill him, kill. Zhu Sheng swept a glance before continuing toward the front, his palms gently clasping. The densely packed crowd that was strangled by the nine-hearted blood begonia at the back was instantly turned into a set of withered bones that fell to the ground and lost their vitality, while their remaining blood and souls became the nutrients of the nine-hearted blood begonia. Zhu Sheng stopped in front of an eerie store and looked at the sign above it that was covered in blood, colored lettering. From the outside, you can vaguely see inside the countless strong man is as intoxicated as a pain in the hand, emitting a strange red aura hot liquid. A naked man said with bravado drink, drink, after saying this, he gulped down the boiling scarlet liquid in the cup. But in the next moment, his chest was instantly pierced by a weapon, and it was none other than the other big man next to him who was dressed extremely similarly to him. The latter stared at him greedily, go to hell, do you deserve to drink this stuff too? The burly man pierced by the weapon pointed at him with wide eyes you. Before he could finish, the whole man lost his life and fell to the ground and the guests at the other tables are used to seeing this scene. They still continue to enjoy what they have in their hands. The waitress of the store came over, coldly swept the corpse on the ground, and faintly said to him, Want to change into a Bloody Mary? The man who killed the burly man nodded and licked the corners of his dry lips. MMM. When Zhu Xing saw this place that made him somewhat long for it, some kind of shackle in his heart seemed to have been opened. Is this the real place that leads to the killing capital? That's pretty interesting. The corners of his mouth curled up slightly as he slowly walked inside this store. The gazes of the people at the other tables around them were all staring at Zhu Sheng in an unsympathetic manner, but they converged in the next moment. Zhu Sheng glanced at them coldly for a moment and silently found a seat where no one was sitting. Soon, the previous waiter quickly walked up to Zhu Sheng and said with a rather disdainful gaze, What do you want to order? Zhu Sheng's eyes were cold, and his killing intent surged towards the service staff, whose face changed drastically in an instant, and he pandered, May I ask what you want to order? When the burly men at the other tables saw this terrifying killing intent released by Zhu Sheng, their pupils all shrunk and sized them up in silence. Zhu Sheng blandly said, Give me a Bloody Mary. A Bloody Mary is a must when visiting this killing capital. He was also curious about how this Bloody Mary really tasted. The waiter dared to say no and said with a fake smile, One Bloody Mary, yes, please wait. After he left, he soon walked over with a cup of bubbling scarlet liquid, carefully handing it to Zhu Sheng. The waiter smiled and said enjoy your meal. After that, he turned around and left. Zhu Sheng turned his gaze to the table, the cup that was piping hot and glowing with scarlet liquid. He slowly held it in his hands, just close to have smelled an extremely tantalizing smell of blood. His face was icy cold as he brought it to his mouth and drank a mouthful, and the next moment his whole face changed for a moment. Setting the cup down violently, he coughed violently a hum. It's not the flavor of this Bloody Mary at all. Rather, it's the fact that when you drink it, the hot liquid seems to be able to pull you into the infinite abyss of the dead. Even though he was prepared for this, he was still surprised by the eerie feeling. But from the moment, Zhu Sheng put the Bloody Mary in his hand on the table. The burly men who had been scornful of Zhu Sheng at the other tables before the gazes they looked at him with had changed drastically, each with undisguised killing intent in their pupils.